The night slowly deepened, a silence, and the night sky was shining. On the hillside, a six or seven year old child stands there in a strange posture. The child is open on both feet, the toes are on the ground, the heels are lifted, the hands are raised high, standing on the top of the head, the head is slightly raised, if there is if there is no heaven and earth aura around the body constantly whirls around. The moonlight is clean and tidy, pouring down and covering the child's body. The child always maintains this position, constantly breathing, and the aura of heaven and earth enters into the body as it passes through, and continuously flows through the meridians in the body. Night, slowly passing. When the moonlight faded and the first sun shone on the child, the child slowly took back his palms, his eyes glanced, and among the deep eyes, he flashed two sharp and sharp eyes. Huang Xiaolong spit a sigh of gas. If the eyes of the stars stare at the rising sun, he has been in the world for seven years from birth to the present. From the age of three, he has been practicing Yu Jinjing for four years. Time, four years, he has already cultivated Yi Jinjing to the third potential, holding the Tianmen. In the last life, his ancestors used to be the disciples of the Shaolin Temple. This Yi Jinjing was uploaded by his ancestors. Until now, Huang Xiaolong still can't understand how he is a rare martial artist who has been praised by the family for a hundred years. After awakening, I suddenly crossed the world. And what made him depressed was that he was attached to the newly born little guy. Huang Xiaolong looked at his tiny arms and smiled. He was 17 years old and worked hard for 14 years. He finally cultivated Yi Jinjing to the ninth style. He did not expect to practice from scratch now. At this time, a small footstep sound was introduced into Huang Xiaolong's ear, and the footsteps came from under the hillside. Huang Xiaolong didn't have to look back to know who was coming. Sure enough, a squeaky voice sounded, Big brother, I will knowing that you are watching the sunrise again, you and my mother are looking for you. Huang Xiaolong turned to look at it. I saw a five or six year old look with two long braids, and the cute little girl with round eyes went up from the hillside. This is Huang Xiaolong's sister Huang Min. In addition to Huang Min, Huang Xiaolong also has a younger brother, Huang Xiaohe, who is three years old. Why are you looking for me? Huang Xiaolong, what? I don't know. Huang Min's voice is still a little milky, big brother, let's go back, or go back late and you and my mother will hit you again. Huang Xiaolong heard a smile and pinched his cute little face of his sister Huang Min. He smiled and said, Let's go. Huang Min touched the little face pinched by Huang Xiaolong. He whispered a small mouth and said, Big brother is so annoying. I told you that I will not pinch my face in the future. However, Huang Min's voice just fell, and the little face was pinched by Huang Xiaolong. After Huang Xiaolong pinched it, he ran and laughed. Huang Min screamed and shouted in the back. Big brother, you stand. So, the two brothers and sisters frantically rushed back and forth from the hillside to the Huang Jiazhuang at the foot of the mountain. In the last life, although Huang Xiaolong was already a 17-year-old boy, he and his sister Huang Min sometimes had a childlike heart. Soon, the brothers and sisters returned to Huang Jia's Wang. Returning to Huang Jia's Wang, Huang Xiaolong came to the east side of the temple. When he came to the temple, he saw a 30-year-old man, a long-shouldered, savvy, and sinister, middle-aged man in a white robe sitting there, middle-aged next to the person is a pretty young woman, this is the father of Huang Xiaolong's father Huang Peng and his mother Su Yan. Hey, mother, are you looking for me? Huang Xiaolong entered the temple and asked. Huang Pengjian eyebrows vertical, where have you been in the morning? Well, don't scare the children. Su Yan said with a smile at this moment, longer, you are seven years old in a few days, about seven years old, the body martial arts can already wake up, wait for us to take you past the martial arts hall, awaken the body of the soul. Wuhan awakened? Huang Xiaolong has a glimpse. In this world, there are martial arts in the human body. 
the strength of a soldier is closely related to the soul of the body. The martial arts have low level, intermediate, and high level points, divided into ten levels, and the super Wu soul is above the tenth level. The existence of the anti day, only with the martial arts can absorb the aura of heaven and earth to become a warrior. Of course, there are no martial arts in the body, or some people's martial arts are waste martial arts, unable to cultivate. Such people are completely waste. Wu Hun. Huang Xiaolong blinked, and he also wanted to know if there was any Wu Hun in his body, or what his Wu Hun was. Thus, under the leadership of Huang Peng and Su Yan, Huang Xiaolong came to the Wu Dian of Huang Jia's Wang. When he came to the Wu Dian, the Wu Dian had already stood a lot of people. This time the Wu Hun awakened, in addition to Huang Xiaolong. There were other disciples in Huang Jia's Wang. In the center of the Wu Dian, there is an imposing middle aged man with a rough face and a powerful face, which gives him an invisible oppression. This is Huang Xiaolong's father's eldest brother Huang Ming, Huang Xiaolong, and Huang Ming standing next to a young age in Huang Xiaolong. The same child is Huang Ming's second son Huang Wei. Huang Wei is a month older than Huang Xiaolong. This time also came to the Wu Dian to awaken the Wushan. Huang Peng and Su Yan walked with Huang Xiaolong to the center of the main hall. They first said, Big Brother. Huang Xiaolong called the uncle after his parents. When Huang Ming saw Huang Peng and Su Yan arrived, the original expressionless face was loose and nodded. You are here. In the memory of Huang Xiaolong, he has never seen this big bow Huang Ming laughed. Huang Jia's Wang criminal law is run by Huang Ming, who is strict. After Huang Ming finished speaking, he did not speak again. Huang Peng knew the big brother's temper, and he was not surprised. Not long after the arrival of Huang Xiaolong, there was a burst of laughter outside the hall. Huang Xiaolong and everyone looked out of the temple. I saw a child, and the tall old man walked into the hall with a group of people. The old man Huang Xiaolong, the grandfather of Huang Xiaolong, is also the owner of Huang Jia's Wang. Forty years ago, Huang Jia's Wang was established by Huang Kai. Old Zhuang Zhu. Huang Kai arrived, and all the disciples of Huang Jia's Wang in the hall quickly rushed to salute. And Huang Ming, Huang Peng, and Su Yan are all stepping forward, hey! Huang Xiaolong and Huang Wei both called forward, Grandpa. Huang Kai smiled and nodded to Huang Ming. Then he smiled at the disciples of Huang Jia's Wang on the main hall, well, no need to be polite, I just come over and see it today. Originally, the Wu Dian opened every year. The disciples of Huang Jia's Wang are awakened by Wushan, Huang Kai will not come, but this year is different, because Huang Xiaolong and Huang Wei, who originally retired, deliberately went out. Huang Kai came to the front of the main hall and scanned the people in the hall. Finally, his eyes fell on a grey-robed old man. He smiled and said, Since everyone is here, let's start. Yes, the owner. The old man in the grey robe respectfully responded and then walked to the center of the hall. The old man in the grey robes was Chen Ying, a big housekeeper in Huang Jia's Wang. Huang Xiaolong heard from his father that Chen Ying was the oldest man who followed his grandfather Huang Kai. When he had not established Huang Jia's Wang, he followed his grandfather Huang Kai. Chen Ying came to the center of the main hall, his hands were shining, and a heart wrenching terrorist force was radiated from his body. Huang Xiaolong's eyes blink, is this the vindictive power of the Ninth Order powerhouse? So strong. Even if he used to practice the Yi Jin Jing to the ninth style in his previous life, he was definitely not the one. As Chen Ying's vindictive power permeated, he saw the hexagonal pattern of the central hall suddenly flashing, and then the light was shining, forming a beam of light. Huang Wei, go up. Huang Kai looked at Huang Wei. Yes, Grandpa. Huang Wei answered, and before he came to the hexagonal pattern, he walked into the light column. Everyone in the hall stared at Huang Wei, who entered the light column. Huang Ming, who was always expressionless, looked at it. With his son, the look is not nervous. 
hexagonal pattern light column wrapped Huang Wei, not long after, Huang Wei suddenly appeared a group of black light, black light surging, a black virtual shadow appeared behind Huang Wei, is a black tiger with three eyes, as the black tiger phantom appeared, a sound of the tiger's whistle sounded and the hall oscillated. Everyone is not shocked. Huang Kai looked at the tiger-shaped black ghost behind the grandson Huang Wei, his eyes brightened, and then he was pleasantly surprised. He laughed. This is a ten-level martial art, three eyes black tiger. Chen Ying, the big housekeeper, shouted. The tenth-level martial arts, the top martial arts among the senior martial arts, infinitely close to the existence of the super martial arts. Huang Wei's Wuhan is actually a ten-level Wuhan, three-eyed black tiger. The tenth-level Wuhan is actually a ten-level Wuhan. The tenth-level martial arts, not to mention the county, is the rare kingdom of La Tong. Huang Ming looked at the three-eyed black tiger suspended behind his son. He clenched his fists and could not restrain himself from shaking with excitement. Huang Kai's laughter continued to reverberate over the hall for a long time. This time I came to the Wu Dian, I did not expect to give him such a big surprise. Good, good, good. Huang Kai laughed loudly. He took a deep breath and tried to suppress his heart. His eyes are full of joy, lovingly watching this grandson with a ten-level martial arts. He believes that after their hard work in Huang Jia's Wang, this grandson with a ten-level martial arts can definitely break through the dream of Huang Kai's life and cannot reach it. Realm. At this time, Huang Peng came to Huang Ming and congratulated him, congratulations to the older brother. Huang Ming looked at Huang Peng, who was sincere, and took a picture of Huang Peng's shoulder. He smiled and said, Thank you two brothers. After a pause, he said, When the dragon's soul is awakened, there may be a level 10 martial arts. But anyone can hear that Huang Ming is a consolation. Who can have a 10th level martial arts? The elders of the main hall of Huang Jia's Wang, some of the management have also come to Huang Ming in front of congratulations. Wei, come over. At this time, Huang Kai came to the center of the hall and smiled at Huang Wei. Yes, Grandpa. Huang Wei responded, passing by Huang Xiaolong and going to Huang Kai. When Huang Xiaolong passed by, Huang Wei seemed to look at Huang Xiaolong inadvertently. Others may not see it, but Huang Xiaolong saw Huang Wei's eyes. Proud and proud. Ten level martial arts. Huang Xiaolong looked at Huang Wei's back to his back and looked calm. Although Huang Wei is his uncle's son, his relationship with him is not very good. Two years ago, Huang Wei and the sons of several elders in Huang Jia's Wang bullied his sister Huang Min. Later, he was met by Huang Xiaolong. The consequences are naturally conceivable. Huang Wei and Huang Wei several elder sons in Huang Jia's Wang were very badly picked up by Huang Xiaolong. Since then, Huang Wei has been extremely unhappy with Huang Xiaolong. Huang Wei came to Huang Kai in front of him. Huang Kai smiled and reached out and touched Huang Wei's head. His eyes were soft and soft. He smiled at Huang Ming. Huang Ming, you did a good job and gave birth to a good grandson for me. Huang Ming listened to his father's praise and smiled. Some were embarrassed, hey, look, do we continue to carry out the awakening ceremony first? Huang Kai nodded and knew that it was not suitable to continue talking about it at this time. He smiled and said, well, continue the awakening ceremony. After Huang Wei, it was the turn of Huang Xiaolong to awaken the Wushan. With Huang Kai's voice falling, the elders in the hall, the governors and disciples could not help but look at Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong and Huang Wei are the grandsons of Lao Chuang, and Huang Wei is a ten-level martial artist. So what about Huang Xiaolong? Under the watchful eyes of everyone, Huang Xiaolong calmly walked into the hexagonal light column. Looking at his son into the hexagonal light column, Huang Peng and Su Yan could not help but hold the other hand, and the heart tightened, and their eyes were not instantaneous. It didn't take long for Huang Xiaolong to enter the light column. Like Huang Wei, Huang Xiaolong had a black light around his body. 
he watched the black light around Huang Xiaolong's body. Everyone couldn't help but at this moment, suddenly, Huang Xiaolong was there is a blue light, and the blue light is constantly shining, which is extremely fascinating. Subsequently, a black and blue phantom appeared above the head behind Huang Xiaolong. Everyone looked and saw that there was a black and blue head with a shape resembling a snake. Everyone looks at each other. Two-headed snake Wuhan? But as far as they know, the two-headed snakes in the beast and the soul of the soul are both red and yellow, but the eyes are black and blue, and the body is black and blue. Huang Kai looked at the martial arts behind Huang Xiaolong, and he was disappointed in his eyes. In his view, the martial arts of this grandson Huang Xiaolong was only a variant of the two-headed snake martial arts. It is not uncommon for some family disciples to have mutated martial arts. The double-headed snake martial arts is only a seven-level martial arts. Although the seventh-level martial arts is also a high-level martial art, compared with the ten-level martial arts of the grandson Huang Wei, it is a different day. Huang Peng and Su Yan looked at the soul behind their sons. The reaction between them and Huang Kai was not much different. They were somewhat disappointing. Although the seven-level Wuhan was better than other disciples in Huang Jia's Wang, the parents did not want their son to have ten. Wuhan? Shuang, you see. The big butler Chen Ying could not help but look at Huang Kai. Huang Kai said, this is a seven-level martial art, a variant double-headed snake. The elders of the Huang Jia's Wang on the main hall, the management also secretly nodded, apparently they all agree with the view of the old Zhuang, Huang Kai. Seven levels of Wuhan, mutated double-headed snake? Huang Xiaolong walked out of the hexagonal pattern light column, and his face was calm. Only he knew that his body martial arts should not be as simple as the seven-level martial arts mutant double-headed snake. Seeing Huang Xiaolong Wuhan is only a seven-level mutant double-headed snake, Huang Wei's mouth can not help but bend down and look at Huang Xiaolong with provocative eyes. Huang Wei's eyes were provocative, Huang Xiaolong naturally looked in his eyes, his face was indifferent, and he was too lazy to blink with a little boy. After Huang Xiaolong, the next is Huang Suez Wang's son Zhou Zudong, the son of Zhou Guang's elder, who was awakened by Wu Hun. This week, Xue Xue was one of the disciples of Huang Jia's Wang who was bullied by Huang Wei and Huang Xiaolong. After a while, Zhou Zudong Wu's soul awakened, but only six levels of martial arts wolf. After Zhou Zudong, there are more than twenty younger generations in Huang Jia's Wang who have successively performed the Wushu Awakening. Most of them are grade 4, grade 5, and level 6 Wuhan, and several are the Wushu and the second and second level of Wuhan. This time, the martial arts awakened, Huang Xiaolong Wuhan second, but like other children in Huang Jia's Wang, they became the foil of Huang Wei who had the tenth martial arts. At the end of the Wushu awakening ceremony, Huang Kai smiled and met with Huang Ming, Huang Peng, and the veterans of the field. In the future, Huang Wei is practicing, and I personally give instructions. Personally pointing? The people were taken aback. Yes, hey. Huang Ming's face was a happy one. Hearing that his father Huang Kai wants to personally point his eldest son Huang Wei, Huang Peng looked at his son Huang Xiaolong and sighed in his heart. After a while, the martial arts hall was closed and everyone dispersed. Back to the east side palace, Su Yan was dissatisfied with the heart, he is too eccentric, he actually wants to personally point to Huang Wei's cultivation, Huang Wei is his grandson, isn't our little dragon. Huang Peng frowned and waved his hand and said, Well, don't say anything about this matter. He didn't bother with his heart, but he also knew that Huang Wei had a ten-level martial arts, and his father Huang Kai had to personally point out his cultivation. This is also normal. Xiao Long, your talent is also good, with your talent, after hard work to cultivate, it is not difficult to become the eighth order powerhouse. Huang Peng turned to the first, against Huang Xiaolong. I know, he he. Huang Long said, he said this, he opened his mouth and wanted to say to Huang Peng and Su Yan that his martial arts should be more than a seven-level martial arts, but after thinking about it, 
there was no opening. After a while, Huang Peng gave Huang Xiaolong a practice of cultivating vindictiveness, and said something to Huang Xiaolong about the cultivation of vindictiveness. Huang Xiaolong was recorded in his heart. After leaving the temple, Huang Xiaolong returned to his small yard, read through the practice of martial arts given by his father Huang Peng, and then sat down and absorbed the aura of heaven and earth according to the first layer of practice. With the operation of Huang Xiaolong, Huang Xiaolong's martial arts mutated double-headed snake floated behind Huang Xiaolong. In the eyes of Huang Kite and others, the mutated double-headed snake of the seven-level martial arts suddenly opened his mouth, swallowing the aura around the heavens and the earth. At a very horrible speed, they came together and they burst into flames. The aura of the heavens and the earth swallowed by the two-headed snakes constantly rushed into the body of Huang Xiaolong, and continued to flow in the veins of Huang Xiaolong, and gradually transformed into vindictive. The night, slowly coming, the moonlight is like water, coming in from the window of the small courtyard. After a while, Huang Xiaolong opened his eyes and his face was very strange, because just now, he was running according to the first layer of vindictive operation of his father's martial arts, Xian Qing Gong. There is no block and difficulty. He only spent a few hours, not only condensed vindictive success, but also successfully broke through to the first order, becoming a first order warrior. Huang Xiaolong's heart was filled with a ridiculous feeling. He remembered that his father had said that his grandfather Huang Kite had spent half a year successfully breaking through the First Order and becoming a First Order fighter. And his grandfather Huang Kite is the top martial arts six-winged golden monkey among the eight. If you let Huang Xiaolong know within a few hours, not only will he be successful in fighting, but he will become a First Order fighter, but he will be scared to death. Don't talk about it, even Huang Xiaolong can't believe it. Although Huang Xiaolong had previously felt that his Wuhan should be more than seven levels of Wuhan, it was too bad. According to his father, the higher the level of Wuhan, the higher the talent and the faster the cultivation speed. His grandfather Huang Kite has the top martial arts six-wing golden monkey among the eight grades. It takes only half a year to break through the first order fighter. He only used a few hours which shows that his martial arts level is definitely far higher than his grandfather Huang Kide. Tenth Martial Arts? No, even if the level 10 martial arts cultivation speed cannot be so abnormal, higher than 10, then only? Huang Xiaolong's mind flashed, Super Wuhan. Super Wuhan. The legendary Super Wuhan. Above the 10th level, there are 11th and 12th grades, but the highest level of the world's martial arts is not 12, although it is still not sure how many levels of martial arts are, but what is certain is that his martial arts are absolutely it is a super martial art of 10 or more. After a while, Huang Xiaolong pressed down the excitement and ridiculous feelings in his heart, and once again operated the Xianqing Gong Gong method. The two-headed snake martial arts appeared behind him, and the two mouths opened their mouths, suddenly swallowing the aura around the world, fighting on the first floor of Huang Xiaolong. The meridian running route continues to flow. Compared with the previous one, this time the fighting power is running faster. At the same time, Huang Xiaolong found that the vindictiveness in the meridians was thicker. Although it is not obvious, but after running for more than ten times, the fighting power in the meridians it was about half thicker before. When Huang Xiaolong opened his eyes, the bright moonlight had dissipated, and the faint sunshine had passed through the window from the horizon to his small body. The morning sun was a little warm, and Huang Xiaolong stretched out and stood up. He cultivated this night. He not only broke through to the first stage, but also became a first order fighter, and reached the middle stage. The first order midterm. Huang Xiaolong's eyes look at the rising sun. According to his cultivation speed, it should be able to reach the first order peak in three days, and even break through the first order to reach the second order. Huang Xiaolong came out of the room and came to the small yard. The small hand clenched into a fist, and the vindictive movement, the light flashed, directly hitting a stone half a meter high in the corner of the small yard. Hey! Then a shock, 
I saw that the half-meter high stone fell back and flew out a few meters before falling to the ground, surrounded by ground, scattered with some gravel. Huang Xiaolong looked at the flying stone and nodded. Generally speaking, the First Order late warrior had a stone power, and he also repaired the Yi Jin Jing. Although it was only a First Order midterm, the attack was comparable to the First Order late stage. The person. The power of one stone is 120 pounds. At the same time, Huang Xiaolong discovered that after a night of vindictive cultivation, his body muscles have solidified a lot. The first to third order of the warrior is the first step. When the temperament flows through the meridians of one to three layers, it can quench the whole body muscle. If Huang Xiaolong reaches the third order peak of the warrior, the whole body muscle will be full and full, and the reaction is several times more sensitive than now. And the physical defense and strength will be much stronger than it is now. At this time, a slight footstep sounded from outside the yard, Huang Xiaolong moved in the heart, then shook his head and smiled, knowing that it was the second sister Huang Min. Sure enough, then Huang Min's milk sounded like a voice, Big brother, big brother. When Huang Xiaolong turned around, he saw Huang Min running in from outside the yard and came to Huang Xiaolong. He gasped, Big brother, you and your mother are quarreling. Hey and her mother are quarreling? For what? Huang Xiaolong was amazed. In his memory, his father and mother never quarreled. Not very clear, it seems to be related to the uncle. Huang Mindao. Related to the uncle. Huang Xiaolong's little brow wrinkled, let's go see. After that, he took Huang Min out of the small yard and came to the East Temple, but Huang Xiaolong had not yet reached the main hall of the East Temple. In the distance, I heard the voice of my parents quarreling from the hall. Big brother is too bully. Mother Suyanyan sounded with anger, why is this martial arts awakened, other disciples have vindictive Dan and we have no dragon. Huang Xiaolong could not help but stop. Fighting Dan? This is a kind of two-pronged medicine. After the Wushu awakens, if you can swallow the vindictive Dan, you will get twice the result with half the effort. Of course, for the first-time fighters, the swallowing of the martial arts can also improve the temperament. Isn't that big brother said? Zhuang Zhong does not have much arrogance, just finished, and will supply Xiaolong next time. Then, his father Huang Peng's irritating voice sounded. Just finished? Well said, this kind of ghost, who will believe? This martial arts awakened a total of 26 children, even those who ruined the soul, the first level, second level low level Wuhan children also have vindictive Dan, our little dragon seven martial arts did not even, and only our little dragon did not. Mother Su Yan's angry voice raised again, Why? Why? Our little dragon is still his nephew. Huang Xiaolong's brow wrinkled, and he heard it from his parents' quarrel. This time, the martial arts awakened, except for him, other disciples got martial arts. Two years ago, Huang Xiaolong smashed Huang Wei very badly. Although Huang Ming did not say anything, but now it seems that the uncle Huang Ming's resentment against Huang Xiaolong is not small. Although Grandpa Huang Kai has not passed the position of the owner to the uncle Huang Ming, but in the past few years, the big and small things in the village are in charge of the uncle Huang Ming, in the words of the mother Su Yan, Huang Xiaolong is Huang Mingzi, the other those who have the waste Wu elders, disciples who are in charge of management can get vindictive Dan, but Huang Xiaolong does not. This is two bullying people. How to say, Huang Xiaolong is also Huang Mingzi, Huang Ming Ming is doing this, as for. Huang Ming's doing this is not only a resentment against Huang Xiaolong, but also equals the elders in Huang Jia's Wang. In front of the management, he swept his parents Huang Peng and Su Yan's face. No, I am looking for a comment. In the hall, Su Yan couldn't swallow this breath and angered. You, give me back. Huang Peng yelled, a little thing, you will be there to squat, I still think I am not shameful. Outside the hall, Huang Xiaolong heard this and silently turned and walked back, a little thing? 
Huang Xiaolong's eyes are shining, and the uncle Huang Ming has already begun to do so after he has not taken over the position of the owner. If he takes over the position of the owner in the future, I am afraid that such a small thing will become a bigger event. Huang Min saw Huang Xiaolong not saying a word, turned and left, could not help but stay, and then reacted after a while, catching up with Huang Xiaolong, big brother, big brother. Huang Xiaolong did not open his mouth, and took his sister Huang Min out of the East Temple. Coincidentally, just after coming out of the East Temple, he met Huang Wei, who was on the way. Huang Wei followed several children from Huang Jia's Wang, who was bullying his sister. A few people in Huang Min. Huang Wei saw Huang Xiaolong coming out of the East Temple. He was surprised and then took a few people to come to Huang Xiaolong. Huang Min met Huang Wei and several people came over and could not help but hide behind Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong stood there, looking at Huang Wei with a look of indifference. Huang Wei came to Huang Xiaolong and stood up. His eyes were condescending, Huang Xiaolong, do you think you can protect your sister for a lifetime? Huang Xiaolong heard the words, showing a sinful smile, his eyes flashing blood, why, want to fight? Just out of the East Temple, his heart is burning. After Huang Wei, the elders Zhou Guang's son Zhou Zudong saw Huang Xiaolong's demeanor and his heart was uncomfortable. He couldn't help but say, You're, you, your mother, you really thought you were. But he just said this, not finished, suddenly a miserable called, Huang Xiaolong squatted in the belly, like a big yellow shrimp, bowed and flew out. Huang Xiaolong's heart was on fire, and the strength of this foot was naturally not light. Zhou Zudong flew, rolled all the way, and rolled out six or seven meters away before he stopped. He bowed his waist and pressed his hands to his belly, where the mouth could open more stools. However, I couldn't make a sound, but I felt that the internal organs were so hot that I turned to the sea. After a few breaths, Zhou Zudong cried, crying, his mother's earth shattering, ugly, Huang Xiaolong looked at the dust, tears wow wow DC Zhou Zudong, could not help but a small mouth, the little boy is little child, tears are like urine, and they come out. You. Huang Wei and several disciples of Huang Jia's Wang behind him reacted at this time, watching Huang Xiaolong, his eyes panicked with surprise, Huang Wei did not expect Huang Xiaolong to be so embarrassed, than two years ago. What am I? Huang Xiaolong looked at Huang Wei and other elders in Huang Jia's Wang with a smile. You want to give me a kick? Huang Wei heard a few words, and stepped back a few steps without reflection. He scanned Huang Xiaolong's right foot and his eyes were shocked. When Huang Xiaolong saw it, he couldn't help but smile. He listened to Huang Xiaolong's laughter. Huang Wei's face turned red and purple, and his heart was angry. He sighed and said, Huang Xiaolong, you dare to beat the elder son for no reason, you are waiting to be punished. No reason to beat. Huang Xiaolong looked coldly at Huang Wei, his eyes like a knife. Huang Wei did not dare to look directly at Huang Xiaolong's eyes and said, You, wait, until the end of the family annual meeting, I want you to look good. After that, with a few elders behind him panic and urgency going away, leaving, with Zhou Zudong still holding his belly. Big brother, you played Zhou Zudong, when Huang Wei complained, will the uncle be against you? Huang Min looked worried, thinking of the uncle who took the whip to the family of some family criminals, Huang I am afraid in my heart. Nothing, don't worry. Huang Xiaolong looked at Huang Wei and several people wandered away from the back, and they didn't care. He is still sure about his foot and Huang Ming, Zhou Guang, and others check that there is no injury or even scar on Zhou Zudong. Even if the uncle Huang Ming wants to punish himself, he must also say that the evidence is not, there is no evidence, I can't take Huang Xiaolong, just like two years ago, Huang Wei was cleaned up by himself. Huang Xiaolong is fine. The end of the family meeting. After Huang Wei's backs disappeared, Huang Xiaolong said to himself, his eyes were cold. At the end of each year, Huang Jia's Wang will hold a family year-end meeting. 
At the end of the family meeting, the same age disciples can compare each other. Huang Wei seems to be planning to deal with him at the end of the year. At that time, Huang Wei can not only show his talent and strength in front of everyone, but also report evil enemies. Now there are still five months from the end of the year, five months, with Huang Wei talent plus grandfather Huang Kai personally pointing and training, should be able to reach the first stage of the warrior. Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but laugh, and smiled a little bit strange. In this case, after five months, he was in the face of Huang Ming, and his son could not even recognize him. At the time of the annual meeting, Grandpa should also appear. Huang Xiaolong thought, Huang Wei is the grandson of his grandfather Huang Kai personally pointing to practice, he will definitely appear at this annual meeting. After a while, Huang Xiaolong let his sister Huang Min go back first, and he went out of Huang Jia's Wang and came back to the mountains. In Hushan, after Huang Xiaolong practiced for a while, he turned back to his small yard. Yi Jinjing is the secret of the martial arts of the previous Huaxia. Even if he does not practice vindictiveness, Huang Xiaolong will also cultivate Yu Jinjing. After the rumors of Yu Jinjing cultivation to the highest level, he has mysterious power. And when practicing vindictiveness last night, Huang Xiaolong found that his body's internal gas also operated with the vindictiveness at the same time, and with the help of the meridians in the meridians, Huang Xiaolong could practice the vindictiveness to the first order midterm overnight, and he had previously cultivated four with himself. Yi Yijing also has a relationship, otherwise, even if Huang Xiaolong has a super Wuhan, it is impossible to reach the first order midnight. After returning to his small yard, Huang Xiaolong runs Xian Qinggong and continues to cultivate and fight. Three days, it will soon pass. In these three days, in addition to eating and drinking Lazarus, Huang Xiaolong stayed in his own small yard almost every day to practice vindictiveness and go to Hushan to practice Yu Jinjing. The fourth day. The moonlight is like silver, and the night is quiet. As usual, Huang Xiaolong sat in the room on the bed and played Xian Qing Gong. The two-headed snake martial arts behind him swallowed the aura of heaven and earth at a horrible speed. The heaven and earth aura burst into the body of Huang Xiaolong and turned into vindictiveness. Compared with three days ago, Huang Xiaolong the fighting spirit in the meridians is ten times thicker, and the fighting spirit flows rapidly over and over again in the meridians of Huang Xiaolong. Three days regardless of day and night cultivation, Huang Huang has reached the peak of the first stage, he has a hunch, tonight, he will break through the second layer, advanced second. After more than an hour, the vindictiveness that had flowed rapidly in the meridians of Huang Xiaolong became more and more mad. In the veins of Huang Xiaolong, like the waves under the storm, because of the madness of the meridians, the meridians faintly pain, but this point pain is nothing for Huang Xiaolong. At the time of madness, Huang Xiaolong always had a kind of breakthrough, but it was blocked and could not be broken. It was like a huge wave rushing to the front of the and being blocked back. Huang Xiaolong did not feel discouraged. He knew that at the crucial moment, the more profound operation of Xian Qinggong urged the fighting airflow in the meridians, just in the moment when Huang Xiaolong's fighting spirit was madly flowing. Suddenly, a slight shock only Huang Xiaolong could hear from it. In the body, the second layer of barriers finally broke. The vindictiveness in the first meridian is like finding a venting vent, and instantly rushes into the second meridian, impacting, tumbling, cheering. Huang Xiaolong's heart is a happy one. After a few days of hard work, he finally broke through the second layer, and the advanced warrior second order. Warrior Second Order From the beginning of cultivation to the second stage of the warrior, Huang Xiaolong only spent more than three days. Although I dare not say that there is no one to come, but there is absolutely no one before. Generally, a disciple with a ten-level martial arts will break through the second order for a year or so. Even if it is a general super martial art, it will take about half a year. However, Huang Xiaolong is only three days. Huang Xiaolong suppressed his heart and excited, running the exercises, 
and the vindictiveness in the second meridian slowly calmed down, quietly flowing, and then slowly flowing. If the first meridian is likened to a stream, then the second meridian is a small river that is wider and larger and accommodates more vindictiveness. A night passed. When the warm sunshine in the morning shines through the window to Huang Xiaolong, Huang Xiaolong stopped practicing and opened his eyes. After a night of cultivation, he has stabilized the second order strength of the soldiers. I don't know how Huang Wei's kid practiced. Huang Xiaolong thought, then stood up, jumped out of bed, walked out of the room, and greeted the sun with his limbs. After walking out of the room, Huang Xiaolong's eyes swept to the corner of the small courtyard. The half-meter stone that was hit by himself a few days ago, could not help but walked over. Before coming to the stone, Huang Xiaolong raised his right hand, his palms flashed, and his temper was bursting. When the palm of the hand was photographed, the stone violently shook, and a small piece of gravel shattered and scattered. Huang Xiaolong took back the right palm and stretched a small fine mark on the stone. Looking at the effect caused by this palm force, Huang Xiaolong nodded with satisfaction. As he expected, he was promoted to the second stage and the attack power was comparable to the second order. In the later period, the power of one hand has the power of two stones. If in the past, a seven-year-old child had two hundred pounds of power, this is simply an incredible thing, but it is not surprising in this world of martial arts. Huang Xiaolong came out from the small yard and came to the East Temple. However, just after walking out of his small yard, he heard several villagers in front of him talking about it. Hey, I heard that Huang Wei's master has only used three days to succumb to vindictive success. We used it for almost two months in the first time. According to this, Huang Wei's owner is afraid that it will not take four months. Can break through the first order. I don't know how the little dragons practiced. Little dragon and less master? Xiao Long Shea's talent is also good, but it takes a month to be successful in fighting vindictiveness. It can't be compared with Huang Wei's master. It takes at least one year to break through the first order. Huang Wei that kid has a good fight? Huang Xiaolong stood shoulder to hand, like a small adult watching the several insiders of the Zhuang Nei guards. Looking at the backs of the guards disappeared, Huang Xiaolong turned and went to the East Temple. After a while, he came to the East Temple and entered the hall. His father Huang Peng and his mother Su Yan were there except for his father Huang Peng and his mother Su Yan. In addition, sister Huang Min and her four-year-old brother Huang Xiaohe are also there. Hey, mother! Huang Xiaolong walked into the hall and opened his mouth. Sit! Huang Peng looked up and pointed to the seat next to the main hall. There was a slight worry between the eyebrows. After Huang Xiaolong sat down, he found Su Yan's expression as well. He could not help but ask, Hey, mother, what happened? You played Zhou Guang's son a few days ago. Huang Peng stared at his son and asked. Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but look at her sister Huang Min. Needless to say, this matter was Huang Min's gimmick. Seeing Huang Xiaolong looking over, Huang Min spit out his tongue and dared not look at Huang Xiaolong. The kid is owed. Huang Xiaolong's face was calm. Huang Peng and Su Yan both looked at each other and looked at each other. How have you been practicing in the past few days? After a while, Huang Peng did not continue to ask questions on this issue. He asked, Huang Xiaolong stayed in his small yard for a few days, staying up late, Huang Peng and Su Yan also looked in the eyes, the two felt very comforted. When he heard his father ask about his cultivation, Huang Xiaolong could not help but hesitate to tell his parents the truth. Or is it to conceal some of the strength, and say that you have already cohesively succeeded? Huang Peng saw his son's look hesitated, and could not help but comfort, in a few days, you didn't have a temper and nothing, and it took more than a month to succeed. Yeah, Xiaolong, your talent is higher than yours, and you will be able to seduce after a month. Su Yan continued. Dare to love, the two saw Huang Xiaolong hesitant, 
mistakenly thought that Huang Xiaolong did not condense the vindictiveness, so I am sorry to answer. After listening to the words of his parents, Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but sneak a smile. But Huang Xiaolong thought about it, or he followed the words of the two, Hey, mother, you can rest assured that within a month, I will be able to seduce. Of. Huang Peng and Su Yan were very pleased to hear the son's vance. However, the worries between the two people's eyebrows are heavier. When Huang Xiaolong was puzzled, Huang Peng said, Xiaolong, the day before yesterday, Huang Wei released his words and said that he would kill your hands at the annual meeting. Huang Xiaolong understands what the parents are worried about. Others may not dare to do this, but since Huang Wei said this, it is really possible to kill Huang Xiaolong with his hands at the annual meeting. Huang Xiaolong knows that even if Huang Wei ruined his hands, he said that he lost his hand and only injured. I am afraid that Grandpa Huang Kai will only swear a few words and will not be punished. Will my hands be disabled? Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but smile, and a sigh of relief rose from his heart. Su Yan saw his son's face not care, afraid that his son did not know that the matter was serious, and hurriedly said, Xiaolong, Huang Wei has been cohesive and successful. By the end of the year, it should be possible to reach the first stage of the warrior. He said that he can do it. When you really will kill your hands at the annual meeting. Speaking of this, Su Yan Yi thought of his son's hands being disabled when his hands were left, his eyes could not help but red. What can I do? This can be done. Su Yan's tears fell and she cried. When Huang Peng saw his wife crying, he couldn't help but worry, what is the use of women, women, crying, crying. Su Yan turned to the first, tearful eyes, if Xiao Long was really disabled by Huang Wei. Xiao Long hands were disabled, how to live in the future? Huang Peng, or else, you go ask for you big brother, tell him to let Huang Wei let us go. Seeking big brother. Huang Peng frowned. I know that this is a very lost face, but do you want to watch the dragon being beaten by the Huang Wei? Su Yan coughed louder. Huang Min, Huang Xiaohe these two little guys saw their mother crying, and they all came to the mother Su Yan and cried, crying. Just when Huang Xiaolong wanted to open, Huang Peng suddenly stood up and bite his teeth, well, I am going. After that, he came to Huang Xiaolong and took Huang Xiaolong's small hand to the North Palace where Huang Ming was. Father, I. Out of the East Temple, Huang Xiaolong was just trying to explain that he didn't have to go to Huang Ming. Huang Peng interrupted Huang Xiaolong's words and looked serious, Little dragon, you will be in front of your uncle, you must to obey, do you know? After that, not to be said by Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong came to the North Palace. When they came to the North Temple, Huang Ming and Huang Wei were both in the hall of the North Palace. The coincidence was that the elders Zhou Guang and his son Zhou Zudong were also there. Sitting in the hall, Huang Ming saw Huang Peng walk in with Huang Xiaolong, some accidents, but did not stand up, still sitting in the seat. To Zhuang Zhu. Zhou Guang and his son Zhou Zudong saw Huang Peng come in but did not dare to sit still like Huang Ming, get up. Huang Peng glanced at Zhou Guang and Zhou Zudong, and nodded, then turned to Huang Ming Dao, big brother. Huang Xiaolong screamed, De Bo. The voice is somewhat reluctant. Huang Ming no expression, opening, the second brother is coming, sit. Huang Peng and Huang Xiaolong sat down next to the main hall and sat down. After sitting down, Huang Peng was sitting in danger and thinking about the wording, but for a moment he did not know how to speak. Second brother, come over, what's the matter? At this moment, Huang Ming asked. Huang Peng hesitated a bit, truthfully said, Big brother, I heard that Huang Wei said that he would break the hands of Xiao Long at the annual meeting of the family, so, therefore. When it came to this, Huang Peng stopped. Oh. Is there such a thing? Huang Ming's face was amazed. Huang Xiaolong looked at the look of the dead face of the uncle Huang Ming, and sneered in his heart. 
even his father Huang Peng heard about it. This matter must have been spread in Huang Jia's Wang. Huang Ming will not know? Huang Wei, is there such a thing? Then Huang Ming turned around and asked his son Huang Wei. Huang Wei did not jump, his face was not flustered, and he said, there is no such thing at all. When it comes to this, Huang Wei swept Huang Peng and Huang Xiaolong and continued, I think someone deliberately used this excuse to come to us. The North Hall is making trouble. When Huang Peng heard it, his face turned red. This Huang Wei meant that his father and son were full and supported to make trouble for no reason. Huang Xiaolong looked coldly at Huang Ming and Huang Wei. The two fathers and sons were there to answer and play, and they sneered. Big brother, do you see this? Huang Peng pressed his anger and turned to look at Huang Ming. Huang Ming waved his hand, still the dead face, no expression, well, my second brother, since there is no such thing, you can go back now. No such thing. The meaning of Huang Ming's words is undoubtedly also saying that Huang Peng is coming to make trouble for no reason. Huang Peng tried to press his heart's anger, big brother, what you mean is that our father and son are full today and have nothing to do, so come over and make trouble. Huang Ming's brow wrinkled and his face was cold, even if this is true, then what? The annual meeting of the family, it is normal for the disciples of the same age to learn from each other. Huang Ming said that the wind was light, but there was no mention of Huang Wei's disfigurement of Huang Xiaolong's hands. Huang Peng's face was angry, and Huo Ran stood up and stared at his eldest brother Huang Ming, you mean, it's normal for Huang Wei to break the hands of Xiaolong's hands when he arrives. Huang Ming's face is cold and indifferent, there is what you mean by letting me prohibit the comparison between the same age disciples at the annual meeting. At the annual meeting, the disciples of the same age are more determined than the rules. What you mean is that you are determined. The rules are wrong. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are cold, and his father Huang Peng only wants Huang Ming to let his son Huang Wei pay attention to his own. Anyone in the hall can hear his father, but Huang Ming deliberately said that his father is forbidding his peers to test. The next meaning is that the father did this deliberately to make it difficult. Zhou Guang and Zhou Zudong and his son sat there without opening, but their eyes were full of gloating smiles. Huang Peng's face turned red and purple and his fists clenched. Obviously, his heart was extremely angry. He took a deep breath and said to Huang Ming, the dragon is your nephew. Huang Ming raised his eyelids and looked at Huang Xiaolong. He said to Huang Peng, I still need you to remind me of this matter. Do I know that he is my nephew? Even if he is my nephew, you beg me. Useless. Huang Peng screamed with great laughter, good good. Now, he finally saw the real face of his eldest brother, and suddenly there was a feeling of desolateness in his heart. For decades, his brother's feelings were so strange. Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but sigh, Huang Ming, do you think that your son can really kill my hands at the annual meeting? Let's relax. Huang Ming sees Huang Xiaolong, a little boy who even shouted his name in the face of Zhou Guang, and his heart was annoyed suddenly stood up, and a palm shot to Huang Xiaolong, a violent martial force flocked to Huang Xiaolong, and he saw it. Huang Xiaolong's chest, suddenly a flash of a figure, blocked in front of Huang Xiaolong, a palm shot. Boom! There was a shock, and the figure in front of Huang Xiaolong continued to retreat. Hey, how are you? Huang Xiaolong was anxious, and he came to Huang Peng's side. It was Huang Peng who just took Huang Ming's palm. Huang Peng waved his hand and shook his head, I am fine. Huang Xiaolong said that Huang Ming is a relative of Huang Ming. Although Huang Ming is angry, he still has a sense of proportion. Otherwise, Huang Peng's sixth order late strength is unable to pick up Huang Ming's palm in the late seventh. Huang Xiaolong was relieved to see his father, and he was relieved. At this time, Huang Wei, aside, said, Uncle, you want me to let Huang Xiaolong not let it go, as long as Huang Xiaolong kneels down, give me three heads to admit the mistake, and let me withdraw twenty slaps. 
at the end of the year, I let him go. Hey three heads and twenty slaps? Huang Peng frowned and looked at his son. Huang Xiaolong looked at Huang Wei and smiled coldly, no matter whether it is before or now, I am Huang Xiaolong, I have never been awkward. Then Huang Peng said, Father, let's go. I have never been jealous of people. Huang Peng glanced, and then appreciated a smile, Okay, son, let's go. After that, he turned and left with Huang Xiaolong. Huang Wei looked at Huang Peng and Huang Xiaolong and left the figure. He was angry and shouted at the back of Huang Xiaolong, Huang Xiaolong, you think that at the annual meeting of the family, I really dare not to ruin your hands. Huang Xiaolong did not return, and his father Huang Peng disappeared at the entrance of the Hall of the North Palace. Huang Ming looked at the two disappeared and his eyes were complicated. Does Wang Zhu, this Huang Xiaolong holds his identity and has no elders. He dares to face the name of Daz Wang in person. This is too. At this time, Zhou Guang, who was on the side, opened his mouth. However, he has not finished, Huang Minji swept the past, and Zhou Guang's face was clear. Huang Ming looked at Zhou Guang, his face was expressionless, his eyes were like a knife, this is something between our brothers, and it is not until you come to the socket. Yes, yes, the big Zhuang, the subordinates are ignorant, the subordinates are ignorant. Zhou Guang panicked and nodded. After a while, Huang Xiaolong and his father Huang Peng who left the North Hall returned to the East Hall. When the mother Su Yan saw Huang Xiaolong and Huang Peng coming back, they could not help but step forward and asked, How? Huang Peng didn't know how to open it. Huang Xiaolong said, Mother, the annual meeting of the family, you can rest assured, I will not have anything. Su Yan heard the words, thinking that Huang Wei had promised to let go of his son at the annual meeting. The hanging heart could not help but let go, and smiled, Well, that's good. Looking at his wife with a happy smile, Huang Peng opened his mouth, but did not say anything. After returning from the East Temple, Huang Xiaolong sat on the wooden bed of the room, recalling the scene of Huang Ming and his son's arrogance, indifference and hypocrisy in the North Palace, and his heart was constantly rising. Originally, he had some scruples about not being able to recognize Huang Wei's kid at the end of the year, but now the last trace of his heart has completely disappeared. I think Huang Ming thinks that he can already sit in the position of the owner. Huang Xiaolong sneered. Since the awakening of Huang Weiwu, almost all of the elders of Huang Jiazhuang have moved closer to Huang Ming, so they have had a fight with Dan and today. After a while, Huang Xiaolong suppressed his anger and continued to run Xian Qing Gong to cultivate vindictiveness. The mutated double-headed snake sorcerer opened his mouth behind Huang Xiaolong and swallowed the aura around him. Huang Xiaolong discovered that after his second order advancement, the speed of the two-headed snake martial arts engulfed the surrounding world was even faster than before. Moreover, in the past, only two palm-sized double-headed snakes were full of laps, and the black and blue rays of the body became thicker. The two-headed snake martial arts swallowed the aura around the world, black and blue rays. Constantly vomiting. A group of heaven and earth aura constantly poured into the meridians of Huang Xiaolong, transformed into vindictiveness, constantly flowing in the second layer of meridians, over and over again. Soon, a few days passed. In the past few days, Huang Xiaolong has been practicing day and night, and can almost be described as crazy. After a few days of cultivation, Huang Xiaolong gradually reached the peak of the second stage. In these few days, Huang Peng and Su Yan came to Huang Xiaolong's small courtyard every day to see Huang Xiaolong. Seeing his son is so crazy, Huang Peng and Su Yan are naturally distressed, especially Su Yan is crying a few times. Although Huang Peng and Huang Xiaolong did not say it, she still learned from the next population in Zhuangzhou what happened in the North Hall a few days ago. Half a month passed. In the past half a month, in addition to practicing vindictiveness in the small courtyard, Huang Xiaolong practiced the Yujinjing in the back hill and cultivated the things of the Yujinjing. Naturally, 
he could not be exposed. Therefore, Huang Xiaolong could only choose to go to Hushan for cultivation at night. The night is dark, under the dense forest, a small figure stands there in a strange posture, the moonlight is transmitted from the leaves, and the ground is mottled. Huang Xiaolong raised his head with his hands up. With the operation of Yu Jinjing, the heaven and earth aura surged into the meridians of the Huang Xiaolong body at a speed visible to the naked eye, and then transformed into internal forces, gathering the navel danshan. The night faded away, and the sky became clearer. When the sun shone on the grass around the dew, Huang Xiaolong opened his eyes and stopped the Yu Jinjing operation. Huang Xiaolong suddenly drank, his palms waved, his body leaped and jumped up above the grass. As Huang Xiaolong waved, the grass was over, and the palm of his hand was heavy. The airflow in the surrounding space is constantly turning and whistling. This is the superior martial arts passed by Huang Xiaolong's predecessor family. When Huang Xiaolong swings his palms, his hands are soft and boneless. When he exercises to the end, he shoots his palms every time, and a palm print formed by water vapor is printed in the air for a long time. The highest level of the palm of the palm, condensed and not scattered, the dark force is endless. In the last world, Huang Xiaolong was a martial arts wizard, not only referring to Huang Xiaolong's body as a good material for practicing martial arts, but also Huang Xiaolong's terrible comprehension ability to martial arts. Half an hour later, Huang Xiaolong slowly stopped. After a few breaths, I saw that the trees of the size of the bowls had fallen down, and each tree had a faint print on it. Huang Xiaolong looked at the faint palm print of the tree, and his brow wrinkled. If it was a past life, he would take a palm to the top of the tree and would not leave any palm marks. In the end, it is because he is too weak. I don't know how the fighting power of this martial arts world is. Huang Xiaolong thought. However, the general family children must reach the fourth order warrior in order to practice fighting skills, because only a certain temperament basis can play the fighting power, even if the warriors begin to practice fighting skills is not much use. At this moment, suddenly there was a strange noise behind him. Huang Xiaolong's heart moved and looked around. He saw a large tree in front of the tree hanging a half-meter-sized, full-body lavender, blue-eyed monkey. Psychedelic purple monkey. Huang Xiaolong was taken aback. In the past life, Huang Xiaolong has seen it in the family classics. The devouring purple monkey is a rare beast of heaven and earth. See Huang Xiaolong look over, the devouring purple monkey suddenly grinned and screamed, screaming, hands crossed, then turned around and ran to the depths of the forest. When Huang Xiaolong saw it, he hesitated and then followed the devouring purple monkey and ran to the depths of the forest. What Huang Xiaolong didn't think was that the speed of the fishing monkey running on the tree was extremely fast. If Huang Xiaolong had cultivated the Yujinjing for several years and applied the Tianrui step, it was really difficult to keep up. Half an hour later, I did not know how many small rivers, woods, and Huang Xiaolong came to a valley with the devouring purple monkey. The valley was silent and a yin blew out from the valley, causing Huang Xiaolong to frown. Hey! Just when Huang Xiaolong hesitated to enter the valley, the psychedelic purple monkey that entered the valley ran out again, yelling at Huang Xiaolong, apparently calling Huang Xiaolong to go in with it. After thinking about it, Huang Xiaolong still lifted his footsteps, followed the little guy into the valley, and into the valley, a damp air rushed in the face, carrying an unpleasant smell. Not far from the valley, Huang Xiaolong I saw the ground scattered and scattered with dead bones. These bones seem to have been dead for many years. With the deepening, there are more and more bones along the road, which can be described as mountains. Even if Huang Xiaolong is a human being, the heart is not comparable to ordinary children. Seeing this scene, there is also a feeling of trepidation. However, when Huang Xiaolong was about to withdraw from the valley, he suddenly came to a green meadow. The grassland was full of life, exotic flowers and grasses, a paradise scene, and the middle of the grassland was a green lake. 
Huang Xiaolong looked a little dumbfounded and did not expect the valley. The first half of it is the bones of hell, and the latter half is the human world. At this time, the demying purple monkey came to the front of the mountain wall and stood in front of the mountain wall. He yelled at Huang Xiaolong, his hands were crossed, pointing to the top of the mountain wall. Huang Xiaolong came over and looked along his hand. He saw the mountain wall. On top of it is a thick short green branch with a few red fruits on the green branch. This red fruit is dazzling red, and bursts of fragrant scent come out from it, making people feel drunk. This, is it a golden fruit? Huang Xiaolong was shocked and his heart burst into surprise. Yanguo, which grows in the extremely yin, but gathers the gas of the heavens and the earth, and the people who cultivate the vindictiveness can not only improve the vindictiveness, but also wash the marrow, which has unimaginable benefits for future cultivation. Huang Xiaolong looked at a few sun fruits above the mountain wall, his eyes were burning, his throat swayed, and then he looked at the devouring purple monkey. He finally understood the meaning of this little guy taking him here. These several fruits grow on the mountain wall 20 or 30 meters, the little guy should want to eat and cannot eat, so ask yourself to come and help it pick? Little guy, are you asking me to come over and help you pick this golden fruit? Huang Xiaolong asked. Hey! The spirited purple monkey had a happy eye and nodded. Huang Xiaolong smiled, this little guy was very cute. Huang Xiaolong turned his head and looked at the Yangguo, which was 20 meters high on the mountain wall, and then glanced around the mountain wall. The mountain wall is smooth and almost rises in a straight line. There is no place to land. The difficulty of picking up several centuries of fruit at a height of 20 meters on the mountain wall is not that big, at least for the current Huang Xiaolong. After a while, Huang Xiaolong jumped up and jumped up. At the height of 4 or 5 meters, the right hand was clawed, and the inner strength burst out. The mountain wall was suddenly inserted, the mountain wall was extremely hard, and Huang Xiaolong was now in internal force. Below, the five fingers only did not enter a small section of the mountain, but just enough to support the small body of Huang Xiaolong fell in the air. Subsequently, Huang Xiaolong's left hand was clawed, inserted into the mountain wall, completely stabilized the body, and then step by step to climb the sun fruit. At each step, Huang Xiaolong needs to run inside the inner force support, so it is extremely difficult. When it reaches a height of more than 10 meters, Huang Xiaolong has been panting and the speed is slow. The devouring purple monkey, which was originally screaming on the ground, was quiet, and the little blue eyes were worriedly staring at Huang Xiaolong, who seemed to be falling at any time. Under the watchful eyes of the demying purple monkey, Huang Xiaolong's thin body finally came to the place where the sun wall was more than 20 meters high. Huang Xiaolong looked at the five sun fruits in front of him, and his eyes were happy, and a small cloth that had already been prepared was taken. Out, one by one, put it in a small cloth, and then jumped to the ground. In the middle of the air, Huang Xiaolong's feet were connected several times under the mountain wall and the ground was calm. Seeing Huang Xiaolong succeeded in picking the Yangguo down, the devouring purple monkey screamed and cheered, where he danced and looked very happy. After a long dance, the devouring purple monkey stopped and then stared at the yellow fruit in the hands of Huang Xiaolong. Look like that. Little guy, then. Huang Xiaolong met, could not help but smile, and then took out two Yangguo thrown over. The spirited purple monkey jumped up, hands caught two Yangguo, cheering Huang Xiaolong, then go to the side, put the two Yangguo directly into the mouth, sit down and absorb the Yangguo spirit. Looking at the spirit of the purple monkey to absorb the Yangguo spirit, Huang Xiaolong is also strange, and these ordinary beasts can cultivate themselves, not to mention the spirit of the purple monkey is the best existence among the spirits. Seeing the spirit of the purple monkey to absorb the Yangguo spirit, Huang Xiaolong glanced around the valley, after confirming the safety, also sat down to the side, took out a Yangguo swallowed, and then run Xian Qing Gong to absorb the sun's spiritual power. As the Yangguo spiritual power spread out in the body of Huang Xiaolong, 
soon, Huang Xiaolong's body appeared around the body of a Nine Yang Qi. The Qi of Zhu Yang is the most pure and high quality fire attribute between heaven and earth. Reiki. Wrapped in the air of Zhu Yang, Huang Xiaolong has a very comfortable, warm feeling, as if in the hot springs, the fighting spirit in the veins of Huang Xiaolong has rapidly circulated. A few hours passed. Huang Xiaolong, who sat on the plate, slowly opened his eyes. For a few hours, he finally refining the Yanguo spirit. He absorbed it. Huang Xiaolong discovered that his body was more than twice as strong as before, and he even reached the second order late stage. Originally, according to his estimation, he had to reach the second order late for at least a month, but now it is easy to reach. Huang Xiaolong's heart was a joy. At this time, a stink smelled into Huang Xiaolong's nose. Huang Xiaolong looked down and saw that the whole body's skin was sticky and covered with a layer of black mud. The previous Huang Xiaolong also swallowed a similar elixir. This is the body's impurities. Huang Xiaolong jumped up and was light and full of body. He felt that there was a kind of unspeakable refreshing in the body. He moved his hands and feet. Huang Xiaolong couldn't see the psychedelic purple monkey still sitting there, knowing that this little guy is still refining. Yang Wo Lingli, then ignored it, went to the green lake in the middle of the green grass. Before coming to green lake, Huang Xiaolong took off his body clothes and put away the remaining two Yang Wo. Then he threw himself into the green lake. The whole body was sticky and sticky. Now he has to take a comfortable bath. Ro. Jumping into the green lake, Huang Xiaolong will wash the body dirt quickly. But when Huang Xiaolong wants to jump on the lake shore, he suddenly finds a cold air coming up from the bottom of the lake. This air conditioning is not big. If you don't pay attention, it is hard to find. Huang Xiaolong's heart moved and dived down to the bottom of the lake. Not long after sneaking into the bottom of the lake, Huang Xiaolong found a hole in front of it, and the air conditioning came from the hole. After a while, Huang Xiaolong jumped in before he came to the hole. Entering the hole, I found that the walls of the cave were dry, and there was no imaginary tidal wave. The wall of the cave was inlaid with a goose-sized water-avoiding bead. This is just a water-avoiding bead, and it is sold outside, worth 100,000 gold coins. Huang Xiaolong was not curious about this cave. He walked a dozen meters along the cave passage and came to a hall of more than 100 square meters. The hall was empty and there was nothing. You can see it at a glance, and there are three around the hall. Room, Huang Xiaolong went to the first room. Nothing in the first room, the same empty, came to the second room, so that Huang Xiaolong was a little dumbfounded as the second room was empty. Rely, don't you have anything in the third room? Huang Xiaolong couldn't help himself. When I came to the third room, Huang Xiaolong looked in and saw a jade bed placed in the third room, and there was a book on the jade bed that was made of unknown materials. There are two black and half-length long blades hanging above the stone wall. After stopping for a while, Huang Xiaolong's eyes fell on the book above the jade bed, and then he walked over and picked it up. A seemingly thin book was in his hand and he let Huang Xiaolong's arm sink and Huang Xiaolong eat. I was amazed at what the book was made of, and it was so heavy, I was afraid that there would be twenty or thirty pounds. Huang Xiaolong looked in writing and saw only the written words. He wrote the three words Shu Luo in ancient scriptures. At this moment, a horrible killing scent emerged from it, and Huang Xiaolong's mind slammed into his eyes. A flash came to a mountain of bones piled up by infinite bones, and surrounded by mountains, there is boundless blood. Huang Xiaolong stood at the peak of Bone Mountain, as if he had become an infernal shura. Over the bones, a horrible grievance opened the mouth and rushed to Huang Xiaolong. When I saw that countless horrible sorrows would devour Huang Xiaolong, suddenly, Huang Xiaolong's eyes flashed and returned to the cave room again. Although it was only a matter of an instant, Huang Xiaolong was cold and sweaty. He looked at the shura in his hand, but when he saw it again, the scene of the blood sea corpse did not appear again. Huang Xiaolong spit a heavy breath. 
After a while, Huang Xiaolong pressed his heart and was shocked, and his hands opened the first page of Shura. Open the first page of Shurao, I saw only the first page with only one pair of red eyes, the upper body is strong and the muscles are red, and the white hair is upright and the human figure is repaired. Looking at this human figure Shura, a seemingly innocent sea from hell, such as the endless sea, drowns Huang Xiaolong instantly, Huang Xiaolong's eyes are red, his eyes are confused and painful, just when Huang Xiaolong wants to fall into a crazy situation, suddenly, Huang Xiaolong is behind the head of the snake martial arts emerged, the two heads screamed in the sky, the whistle shook the sky, Huang Xiaolong's eyes disappeared, and this was sober, and my heart was shocked. At this time, the first page of the repair Luo Tu flew out of the book page, the light flashed, and instantly printed into Huang Xiaolong's eyebrows, Huang Xiaolong had a layer of exercises in his mind. This layer of exercises is the first layer of practice. The source of hell, the beginning of sin. Silently recited the first layer of martial arts practice in Xiu Luo, Huang Xiaolong only felt profound and mysterious. In the world of Wuhan, the martial arts exercises are divided into four categories, earth, earth, and yellow. Each grade is divided into three levels, low, medium, and high. I don't know which grade is the practice. After a while, Huang Xiaolong opened the second page. The second page is also a human figure Shura, but unlike the first human figure Shura, the second human figure has two black wings behind it, black wings. Open, kill and domineering. As before, when Huang Xiaolong opened the second page, a killing gas from instantly drowned his consciousness, but Huang Xiaolong appeared behind the two-headed snake martial arts, and made the pressure of the killing, and repaired the second layer. The spell was branded in the mind of Huang Xiaolong. Third page, fourth page, fifth page. Huang Xiaolong read it one by one. Every time he turned over, he had a layer of Shura's back exercises in his mind. Because Huang Xiaolong didn't read it quickly, he turned to the last page after more than an hour. The last page is not a practice of meditation, but a dragon and a phoenix dance. Take thee and kill the suffocating temper, I have to practice the slogan, and I will pass on my disciples and take over the Shura Amen. Shura will come out, invincible. The summer name behind this line is the first doorkeeper of Shura Amen, let me be crazy. Shura is out, invincible. Huang Xiaolong was surprised. What is the first director of Shura Amen? I am too mad at the moment. No one in the world dares to say that he is invincible. But this is my madness, but I said that I have cultivated Shura to be invincible. The short line of words is arrogant and domineering. At this time, a drawing fell out of the mezzanine. As the drawing fell out of a black ring, Huang Xiaolong was amazed and picked up the drawing and the ring. From the description of the drawings, Huang Xiaolong knew that the ring was called Shura Ring, and the two black blades hanging on the stone wall were called Shura Blade. What Huang Xiaolong didn't think was that this Shuluo ring turned out to be the legendary space ring, the space ring, he knew, he heard his father said that the entire Latong kingdom only had a king, even his grandfather Huang Kaid nothing. A space ring appears, which can cause competition. After a while, Huang Xiaolong pressed his heart and excited. According to the above method, the little finger was cut, and a drop of blood was sent to Shura. Blood stagnates, Shura quits black radiance, then flies up, automatically wears Huang Xiaolong's left ring finger, and then hides into Huang Xiaolong's body. When Huang Xiaolong meditation, Shura automatically appears. Huang Xiaolong feels that there are hundreds of square meters in the space of Shura, and there is no happiness in his heart. With this repairing ring, you don't have to worry about others discovering it after you carry it with you. Later, Huang Xiaolong turned around and looked at the two black Shura's blades on the stone wall. They jumped up and took the two Shura's blades down. The two Shura's blades were taken down, and the blade was faintly issued. A whistling whisper that makes people feel a chilly feeling. Huang Xiaolong looked at the two swords in his hand and found that the black light of the demon was slowly flowing above the blade 
faintly forming a vague horror image. Huang Xiaolong looked at the blade of Shura in his hand, and the more he saw it, the more he liked it. Sword of Shura, Blade of Killing, well, you will kill all enemies with me in the future. Huang Xiaolong touched the blade and opened his mouth. The blade of Shura seemed to understand Huang Xiaolong's words, and the blade actually screamed and cheered. When Huang Xiaolong saw it, he liked it. Then, like the Shura ring, two drops of blood were dripped onto the two swords of Shura. With the blood in the blade, the blade flicked and then flew up, respectively, without Huang Xiaolong. Left and right arms, Huang Xiaolong's arms above the skin, appeared two narrow Shura blade patterns, like two long-edged tattoos. After a while, Huang Xiaolong took the drawing and Shura to the Shura, and he had to walk out of the room. When he walked to the door of the room, he stopped and turned to look at the Hanya bed. He also took it away. Out of the room, Huang Xiaolong made a circle in the cave. It was confirmed that there was nothing, and he went out of the cave. However, when he passed the cave entrance, he did not take away the clear pearl. This valley cave is hidden. I often come here to practice, so it is beneficial to keep this cave. Out of the cave, swim out of the green lake, Huang Xiaolong returned to the shore of the ground, put on clothing, and earned Yang Guo to repair the ring. Hey, hey! At this moment, the devouring purple monkey who swallowed the Yang Guo refining Yang Yang spirit also woke up and saw Huang Xiaolong, screaming and running. Huang Xiaolong discovered that the deconstructed purple monkey with refining and rejuvenating Yang Guo spirit is more shiny, and the eyes are more agile and cute, but the body shape has not changed. Little guy, I have to go back now, I will come to see you later. Huang Xiaolong looked at the eyes of the spirited purple monkey, leaning over and said. However, just when Huang Xiaolong wanted to turn around and leave, the devouring purple monkey screamed, his body flashed, and he came to the shoulder of Huang Xiaolong, then sat down safely. Huang Xiaolong glanced and smiled, little guy, you won't want to go with me. Unexpectedly, the spirited purple monkey nodded. Huang Xiaolong didn't expect this little guy to really go with him. He thought about it and smiled. That's good, let's go. Then, one person and one monkey walked out of the valley. Out of the green grass, through the countless white bones, Huang Xiaolong thought in his heart, these people are killing me. After leaving the valley, Huang Xiaolong did not stop and went back to Huang Jia's Wang. When I rushed back to Huang Jia's Wang, it was afternoon. Huang Xiaolong walked back to his small yard. However, when he returned to his small yard, he met his sister Huang Min from the small yard. Big brother, where have you been? Huang Min asked, but just said this, his eyes wide open, staring at the devouring purple monkey on the shoulder of Huang Xiaolong his hands flashed, and shouted, A cute little monkey big brother, where did you go to buy it? Where to buy? Huang Xiaolong listened to the cheers of his sister Huang Min, could not help but smile, like the spirit of the purple monkey, a rare animal in the world, but not money can buy. Hey! The spirited purple monkey saw Huang Min call it a little monkey, and suddenly screamed and screamed, and Huang Min, who had to reach out and touch it, was shocked. After Huang Min was shocked, his eyes roared and stared at the devouring purple monkey, so one person and one monkey blinked at each other. After a while, Huang Xiaolong finally got rid of his sister Huang Min, let him go back, watching his sister Huang Min leave, Huang Xiaolong spit a breath. Back to the room, Huang Xiaolong let the devouring purple monkey come down from the shoulder, then take the Hanya bed out of the Shura ring sit on it and try to cultivate according to the first layer of cultivation. It didn't take long for the Shura to run, and it seemed that the chilly air from the nine secluded fell from the void, and was constantly swallowed by the two-headed snake martial arts behind Huang Xiaolong, pouring into the veins of Huang Xiaolong. When this chilly gas poured into Huang Xiaolong's body, Huang Xiaolong couldn't help the body tremble, as if he had fallen into the thousand-footed ice cave. Huang Xiaolong was shocked, kept his mind, and practiced the exercises. 
he's slowly refining this chilly atmosphere. This chilly gas flows extremely slowly in the meridians of Huang Xiaolong. Every step of the flow, Huang Xiaolong's blood has almost a feeling of being frozen. Huang Xiaolong clenched his teeth and continued to run the first layer of exercises in Shura. Over and over again, finally, the chilly gas was slowly refining and transformed into pure vindictiveness. When this chilly gas was transformed into pure vindictiveness, Huang Xiaolong discovered that less than half an hour before and after, the body's vindictiveness actually increased by one point, which was ten times better than Huang Xiaolong's previous practice of Xian Qing Gong. This discovery made Huang Xiaolong's heart happy, it seems that the drawings are correct. Although it is difficult to refine and refine, it is very beneficial once refining and refining. The clip on the drawing in the Shu Rao said that the cultivation of Shu Rao can communicate with the void and the nine spirits to quench the body. The chilly atmosphere should be nine secluded. Nine secluded qi is the highest quality of the heavens and earth. The higher the aura, the better the tempering body and the stronger the vindictiveness of transformation. This is the difference between advanced and low-level exercises. The higher the level of the gong method, the higher the quality of the heaven and earth aura, the stronger the vindictiveness of the transformation, the world of martial arts, and the strong people who practice the advanced techniques of the advanced level can often challenge the strongest of the advanced martial arts. This is the truth. Wuhan determines the strength of a person's strength and future achievements, and the practice of cultivation is equally important. Time passed, and a month passed quickly. This month, in addition to cultivation or cultivation, Huang Xiaolong is different from the previous one. The previous practice was the family's Xian Qing Gong, but now it is changed to Shu Rao. In addition to practicing Shu Rao, Huang Xiaolong has always insisted on practicing Yu Jin Jing. After the revision of Xiu Luo, Huang Xiaolong's cultivation speed is faster. After returning from the valley for one month, he reached the second order peak and may break through the third order at any time. The night is fascinating, and the silver moon is pouring. Huang Xiaolong sat on the bed of the cold jade, and the nine secluded cheese descended from the void, and the two-headed snake martial arts opened openly and swallowed. The vindictiveness in the Huang Xiaolong meridians, such as the huge waves, constantly undulates, impacts, this feeling is like the first stage of the late stage when the peak breaks through the second order. However, the breakthrough of the third order barrier is thicker and more resistant than the second order breakthrough. Huang Xiaolong did not give up, urging the meridians to slam the third order barrier over and over again. So, I don't know how long it has passed, finally, the third order barrier appears. A small gap. Induction of the third order barrier finally loosened, a small gap appeared, Huang Xiaolong a high, urging vindictive more crazy impact. The gap continued to expand, and finally a small shock from the body of Huang Xiaolong. The vindictive floods into the third meridian, and the call is joyous. The third order finally broke through. Huang Xiaolong opened his eyes and couldn't conceal his heart. The third order breakthrough, then the fourth order is not far away. If you can advance to the fourth order, then he can practice fighting skills, and advanced fourth order, Wuhan will be transformed when you can have the life of the soul. Huang Xiaolong secretly. At the age of seven, the Wuhan awakens, but the awakened martial arts is only the initial state. Only when the martial arts reach the fourth order, the martial arts will change. The martial arts will become stronger after the transformation, and at the same time, the owner of the martial arts will be made. Has a life-threatening technique. The higher the level of Wuhan, the stronger the life-threatening skills that will be born when you change. However, the fourth order is a watershed. Some people with low-level, one, two, and three-level martial arts are confined by Wushan. If there is no adventure, it is difficult to break through to the fourth order. Therefore, some people who have low-level martial arts have a lifetime. They can't have their own life skills, because they can't break through the fourth order, and their own low-level martial arts can't make the first change. Huang Xiaolong came down from the cold jade bed and walked out of the room. At this time, 
the night was still a little embarrassed, the moonlight shrouded, Huang Xiaolong flew in a flash, stunned the night out of Huang Jia's Wang, and then came to the back mountain, after coming to the back mountain, Huang Xiaolong running Shura, his eyes gradually became blood red, and the original black the hair also slowly stood upside down and turned white, and a black killing stream continued to surround the body of Huang Xiaolong. This is the body of Shura that was cultivated after the cultivation of Shura, but now it is only the initial state. According to that drawing, after Huang Xiaolong will practice and cultivate to the highest level, he will be transformed into a real Shura. After the body of Shura, Huang Xiaolong's figure flashed and floated like a black cloud in the moonlight. With a wave of his hands, he suddenly patted the palm of the tree in front of him, and it contained a cold the palm print of the force broke out and was printed on the tree of the tree, and then straight out from behind the tree, and then printed on the second, third and four trees. The trees of the four trees are all printed with a small palm print. Huang Xiaolong looked at the palm tree of the four trees, and nodded with satisfaction, advanced third order, with nine smug, the power of the palm damage is about three times stronger than before. Now, with his strength, it is enough to kill the third order late strong. Of course, after the advanced third order, the nine secluded gas is hardened, and the body of Huang Xiaolong is also fuller and firmer. After practicing a period of Yujinjing in Hushan, the sky became clearer, and Huang Xiaolong returned to Huang Jia's Wang. After returning to Huang Jia's Wang, Huang Xiaolong was called to the East Hall by his father Huang Peng. Hey, mother, are you looking for me? When he came to the East Hall, Huang Xiaolong sat down and asked. Huang Peng and Su Yan look complicated and want to stop. Huang Wei has been promoted to the first level yesterday. In the end, Huang Peng spoke. Huang Xiaolong understood that his parents called himself to come over and said that parents still worried about the end of the year. However, it is only two months now, Huang Wei has already been promoted to the first level, so fast. It stands to reason that even if Huang Wei has a ten-level martial arts three-eyed black tiger, it is impossible to reach the first order so soon. He spent a lot of money to buy a Millennium Loxenco at the county auction. Huang Peng continued. Thousand years of Luo Zinko. Huang Xiaolong was shocked, and then sneered, no wonder that Huang Wei was promoted to the first level in less than two months. It turned out that Grandfather Huang Kai did not hesitate to buy a thousand years of Lox and Co to let him swallow and cultivate, a thousand years of Lox and Co the price is not cheap, it seems that Grandpa Huang Kai has regarded Huang Wei as the future hope of Huang Jia's Wang to cultivate, and he is the grandson, not to mention the Millennium Rosie, even if it is a vindictive Dan. Even if Huang Wei has a ten-level martial arts, but he does so, it is too eccentric. Su Yan dissatisfied, at the end of the year, will our little dragon really want? Speaking of this, Su Yan's eyes red. I went to find out what to say. At this time, Huang Peng stood up and was annoyed. No, uh. Suddenly, Huang Xiaolong said, don't go to grandpa. Huang Peng and Su Yan could not help but look at their son. When Huang Peng was about to speak, suddenly, he saw the vindictive radiance of his son's body. Fighting, vindicing outside. After Huang Peng and Su Yan stunned, they exclaimed, and they couldn't believe it. Fighting outside, then? Huang Peng and Su Yan both have a flash of their minds. Only when you reach the first level of the warrior can you fight outside, even if you are successful in cohesiveness, you can't do it. Xiao Long, you, have you been promoted to the first level? Huang Peng trembled and asked, even if he saw it with his own eyes, he still couldn't believe it, fearing it was not true. Yes, hey, mother, I have been promoted to the first order. Huang Xiaolong nodded, Huang Xiaolong did not want his parents to worry about the end of the year, so this is going to expose some strength. I heard my son personally admit that Huang Peng and Su Yan believed in what they saw, and then they were overjoyed, especially Su Yan's surprise, even ran over and clung to Huang Xiaolong, too good. It's great, my son has finally been promoted to the next level. Su Yan cried, 
tears fell straight, this is the tears of joy. Su Yan's chest is very large, holding Huang Xiaolong tightly, so that Huang Xiaolong has a feeling of suffocation, and finally breaks out, Huang Xiaolong's heart is a bitter smile, but it is only a step, not so big reaction. However, he can truly sense the love of Huang Peng and Su Yan. After a long time, Huang Peng and Su Yan slowly calmed down from the big joy. Xiao Long, how do you promote the first order? Huang Peng said the question in his heart, with the talent of Huang Xiaolong's seven level Wuhan, it takes about one year to advance to the first level. Su Yan also looked at her son. Apparently she also had doubts in her heart. Huang Xiaolong didn't open his mouth and put his hand into his arms. Under the eyes of Huang Peng and Su Yan, the two hands were sticking out and two more red fruits were added. Red fruit red is dazzling. This is, is the fruit. Huang Peng and Su Yan exclaimed. Not bad. Huang Xiaolong said with a smile, one month ago, I accidentally found a valley in Hushan, a total of five, I have swallowed three. The fruit is indeed five, but Huang Xiaolong just swallowed one. Swallowed three. Huang Peng and Su Yan looked at each other. At this time, the two finally understood the real reason for the son's promotion to the first order. Well, haha, Xiao Long, I didn't expect you to have such a big adventure. This Yangguo is a wonder of heaven and earth. The effect is not worse than the millennial Loxenko that your grandfather bought for Huang Wei. Huang Peng laughed. Happy in my heart and it will be of great benefit to your future cultivation. Su Yan also smiled. Hey, mother, these two Yangguo, you one and one, swallowed cultivation. Huang Xiaolong said. Huang Peng and Su Yan smiled and stopped. Huang Xiaolong interrupted and said, I have swallowed three, and then swallowed these two effects. The two fruits are not enough. Serve cultivation, the role is better. Huang Peng and Su Yan did not speak. After a while, Huang Peng nodded, that's good. After that, he took the son Huang Xiaolong's hand Yangguo, looked at the Yangguo in his hand, Huang Peng took a deep breath and tried his best to suppress the excitement in his heart. He has stagnated in the sixth stage. More than a year, with this Yangguo, then within two months, he should be able to reach the sixth order late peak. He really needs this fruit. Su Yan looked at the Yangguo in her hand, and her expression was similar to that of Huang Peng. Su Yan was in the late stage of the fifth stage. With this Yangguo, she had hope for breaking through the sixth stage. Xiao Long, you break through the first order thing, don't say anything to others for the time being. Huang Peng came back to his son and said, and, although you swallowed the sun fruit to break through the first order, you must work hard to cultivate and fight for the end of the year. Break through to the first half of the period. In Huang Peng's view, as long as the sun breaks through the first order midterm, then Huang Wei will reach the first order late stage, and it is impossible to kill his son's hands. The gap between the first order midterm and the first order late is not large. Hey, mother, don't worry, I won't let you down. Huang Xiaolong said. Huang Peng and Su Yan heard the words, and they were pleased. After a while, Huang Xiaolong left the East Hall, returned to his small yard, and returned to his small yard. Huang Xiaolong went on to practice. After breaking through the third stage, he was running Shura, and the speed of the two-headed snake martial arts behind him was getting more and more fast, and his body is getting stronger and stronger. Almost every other day, Huang Xiaolong's vindictiveness will increase one point. The small yard where Huang Xiaolong is located is in the easternmost corner of Huang Jia's Wang. Therefore, except for the parents and sister Huang Min, few people have passed, which is convenient for Huang Xiaolong to practice. In the madness of day and night, Huang Xiaolong's vindictiveness and internal strength have increased at an alarming rate. The third order initial peak, the third order midterm, the third order mid-peak peak, the third order late. When the three months passed, Huang Xiaolong's vindictiveness reached the third order late peak, 
and he could break through to the Fourth Order at any time. At this time, it was only ten days from the family annual meeting. However, the Fourth Order is a watershed. The Fourth Order barrier is thicker than the previous Second Order and Third Order barriers. It is much larger. To break through the Fourth Order difficulty is not Second Order, Third Order comparable. In Huangjia's Wang, some disciples with seven levels of martial arts have stagnated in the Third Order late stage. In the past two years, they still can't break through the Fourth Order. Even some of the eight-level martial arts owners are only one year away from the Third Order late peaks. Ten days passed quickly. With the arrival of the annual family meeting, Huangjia's Wang is full of joy, because the family annual meeting is two days as the new year, so the village is full of lights, compared with other places in Huangjia's Wang, Huang Xiaolong's small yard seems lonely, quiet. Tomorrow is the annual meeting. Huang Xiaolong walked out of the room, worked hard for ten days, and eventually stagnate the third order late peak. It seems that he has to break through to the fourth order is not a few days and a half. Huang Xiaolong walked out of the small yard. Tomorrow is the annual meeting of the family. I heard that, this family annual meeting, the old master will also appear. This year is the first time that Huang Wei's martial arts awakened to participate in the annual meeting of the family. The old lord will certainly participate. Not only that but I also heard that the old lord also invited the Li patriarch to come over. So, the Li family patriarch also came over. Li Jia and Huang Jia's Wang are the two major forces in Gangxian County. The relationship between Li Mu's old patriarch Li Mu and Huang Xiaolong's grandfather Huang Kai has always been good. This annual family meeting, grandfather Huang Kai actually invited the Li family patriarch Li Mu, it seems that it is really good intentions. Huang Xiaolong thought. However, Grandpa invited the Li family patriarch Li Mu to come over, but the intention is not so simple. Huang Xiaolong came to the East Hall. Along the way, some guards and maids who saw the lights hanging up saw Huang Xiaolong and stopped, Little Dragon Master. Huang Xiaolong nodded. But along the way, Huang Xiaolong can feel the strange eyes behind the guards and the maids. When he wants to come to the annual meeting, Huang Wei will pass all the disfigurements of Huang Xiaolong's hands to these guards and maids. Huang Xiaolong came to the East Hall. On the main hall, Huang Peng and Su Yan are there. Hey, mother! Entering the hall, Huang Xiaolong said. Xiaolong, you are here. Su Yan asked Huang Xiaolong to sit next to him and then asked, Tomorrow is the annual family meeting. How is your cultivation? Huang Peng is also staring at Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong smiled, Hey, mother, don't worry, tomorrow, I won't let you down. Unexpectedly, Huang Xiaolong's voice fell, Su Yan would surprise, Xiaolong, you broke through to the middle of the first order. Dare. Su Yan thought that the sun refers to the breakthrough of the First Order midterm. At this time, Huang Peng also smiled, Well, son, you really didn't let you down. When Huang Xiaolong heard it, he smiled in his heart. Before the annual meeting, was the First Order midterm the highest expectation of parents? Hey, I heard those guards say that this year's annual meeting, the Li family patriarch Li Mu will come. Huang Xiaolong asked. Huang Peng nodded. I have heard about this. In addition to the Li Lao patriarch, he also brought his granddaughter Li Wei to come over. His granddaughter Li Wei. Huang Xiaolong was a little surprised, and then joked, is the Li Lao patriarch not wanting to bring his granddaughter to come and kiss? However, Huang Peng said, your grandfather and Li Lao patriarch should have this meaning. After the annual meeting of the family, Huang Wei and Li Wei were engaged, and Huang Jia and Li Jia became in-laws. Huang Xiaolong has a glimpse. I heard that Li Wei's talent is also very good, Wu Hun is the top martial art among the nine levels, the Dark Sword. Su Yan continued. The top martial arts among the nine levels, the Dark Sword. Huang Xiaolong was surprised. 
I didn't expect that the martial arts of Sun Mu, the granddaughter of Li Mu, was a dark sword. In the world of Wuhan, there are many classifications of Wuhan. There are beasts of martial arts, martial arts, martial arts, and even some people have natural martial arts, such as thunder, wind, water, and fire. The dark sword is one of the martial arts. Of course, most of the martial arts in the Wuhan world are the beasts of the beasts, such as Huang Wei's three-eyed black tiger, Huang Kai's six-winged golden monkey and Huang Xiaolong's mutant two-headed snake. After a while, Huang Xiaolong came back from the East Temple and continued to practice Shura. The night is slowly coming. Huang Xiaolong stood on the top of Hyushan Mountain, but he did not move, but he was not practicing, but quietly looked at the sea in front. For Huang Wei, to be honest, Huang Xiaolong never put it in his heart. Huang Xiaolong released the double-headed snake martial arts, suspended behind the head, and after reaching the Third Order Late Peak, Huang Xiaolong could feel the power of his two-headed snake martial arts. This kind of power, only Huang Xiaolong himself can deeply understand. It seems that I will find an opportunity to go to the library to find out what kind of martial arts my soul is. Huang Xiaolong thought. However, the library of Huang Jiazhuang must reach the Fourth Order Disciple to enter, so Huang Xiaolong must break through to the fourth stage as soon as possible. Moonlight pulled Huang Xiaolong's thin figure long and long. The night faded slowly, and when the sky became clear, Huang Xiaolong flew and flew back to Huang Jiazhuang. The family annual meeting is finally about to begin. The family annual meeting is finally about to begin. Huang Xiaolong returned to Huang Jiazhuang and came to the East Temple. His parents Huang Peng and Su Yan met Huang Xiaolong and did not say much. They took Huang Xiaolong to the front hall of Huang Jiazhuang. The front hall of Huang Jiazhuang is twice as large as the martial hall, enough to accommodate thousands of people. The central part of the front hall is a martial arts stage, and the martial arts are surrounded by seats. These seats are for the elders of Huang Jiazhuang. Other disciples can only stand in the open space behind the seat. When Huang Peng and Su Yan came in with Huang Xiaolong, many elders were on the main hall, and all the management was here. Tu Zhuang Lord. Tu Zhuang Lord. The elders, the governors, the disciples have seen the ceremony. Huang Peng nodded, and Su Yan took Huang Xiaolong to the front seat in front of the front of the main hall. When Huang Xiaolong sat down, he felt a cold look staring at himself. Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but look up and saw the seat. Huang Wei, who is opposite himself. At this point, Huang Wei and Huang Xiaolong collide with each other. Huang Wei eyes, arrogant, condescending, provocative, proud, and so on. Next to Huang Wei, sitting Huang Ming. Huang Ming sat there, still the dead face. Without a trace of expression, Huang Peng sat down and did not say hello, since the last time the North Hall, the two did not say after a conversation, the two brothers are like passers-by. It was not long before Huang Xiaolong arrived. At this time, there was a burst of laughter outside the hall. When I heard the laughter, everyone stood up. Huang Xiaolong looked and saw his grandfather Huang Kai's smile coming, grandfather's side. It is a silver-haired, spirited old man, the age is similar to that of his grandfather. Huang Xiaolong knows that this is Li's old patriarch Li Mu, and Li Mu is followed by a cute girl with a head and two eyes. Old Zhuang Zhu. Li Lao Patriarch. Everyone rushed to see the ceremony. After the crowd, Huang Ming and Huang Peng also came forward, Hey, Li Lao Patriarch. Grandpa, Li Lao Patriarch. Huang Wei and Huang Xiaolong also followed. Huang Kai smiled and nodded to everyone. Then he pointed to Huang Wei, and said, This is my grandson Huang Wei. But he only introduced Huang Wei and did not mention Huang Xiaolong. Li Mu looked up and down Huang Wei, and his face admired, Well, yes, it's German brother, I heard that Sun Xiu Chen was promoted to the First Order fighter in less than two months. I wanted to promote the first order fighter in the same year. Many months. 
Huang Kai's words were even more hearty and laughed, Li Mu's brother smiled, and later Li Mu's younger brother pointed out that he was. In the future, this is natural. Li Mu laughed. After a while, everyone returned to their seats and sat down. Then, the big housekeeper Chen Ying stood up and started the speech at the annual meeting. After the speech was finished, he turned his head and looked at Huang Kai. After Huang Kai nodded, he began to shout, Now, the annual meeting begins. As Chen Ying's voice fell, the hall was silent. In accordance with the rules of the previous annual meeting, it is generally the disciples who awakened this year. Everyone could not help but look at Huang Wei. Everyone knows that the main purpose of this old party is Huang Zide, and Huang Wei is destined to be the most eye-catching existence of this annual meeting. Huang Wei, you go up and show your efforts for five months, let everyone see your achievements. Huang Kai smiled at the grandson Huang Wei below, his eyes full of encouragement. Yes, Grandpa. Huang Wei stood up and shouted loudly. After he finished, the flying body jumped up and fell to the center of the main hall to perform on the martial arts. After falling into the martial arts stage, Huang Wei runs the exercises and the whole body is exhausted. With Huang Wei's vindictive release, his ten-level martial arts three-eyed black tiger floats out, and a weak atmosphere is released. The first stage of the peak. Inducted to Huang Wei's vindictive atmosphere, Huang Jia's Wang all elders, management, disciples are all shocked, turbulent, only five months of cultivation and vindictive, Huang Wei actually reached the end of the first stage. The first stage of the late peak. Li Mu looked at Huang Wei, his eyes were equally astonished. Originally, he thought that this Huang Wei had a ten-level martial arts. In five months, it was the first order late stage, but now it has reached the peak of the first stage, and it looks like it is always may break through to the second order. This Huang Wei's surprise to him is really not small. Originally, he still had a bit of doubt about the marriage, but now this doubt has completely disappeared. Looking at Huang Wei on the stage, Li Muyu looks at the satisfaction. Huang Kai saw Li Mu's expression and couldn't help himself. In the past five months, he devoted himself to training his grandson Huang Wei, and this grandson did not let him down. Like Li Mu, he looked at Huang Wei on the stage, and Huang Kai became more and more gratified and happy. Huang Peng and Su Yan couldn't help but worry about it. Huang Wei was not the first order late stage, but the first order late peak, then the sun waited. On the stage of the martial arts, Huang Wei listened to the shocking discussion around the crowd, and his heart was even more proud. At this time, he spoke to Huang Kai, Grandpa, I heard that Xiao Long has been working hard for a few months, and I think compare it with Xiao Long. When everyone listened, all the faces were colorful, and they brushed up to look at Huang Xiao Long. Huang Kai sneaked, then nodded and smiled, Well, compare and try, and point to the end. Huang Xiaolong's face is indifferent. If his martial arts is really only seven, then five months will definitely not break through the first order. It is only a shame to go up, but Huang Qi Deming knows that Huang Xiaolong just went up and still nod his head and agree. Huang Kai did not think about the feelings of Huang Xiaolong. Huang Wei heard the grandfather agree, and turned back to look at the audience under the Huang Xiaolong, laughing, Little dragon, how? Do not dare to come up. Rest assured, I will let you both hands. Huang Wei smiles brightly. Little dragon. Huang Peng and Su Yan couldn't help but look at Huang Xiaolong with a look of concern. Huang Xiaolong shook his head to his parents and let the two rest assured. Then they calmed down and slowly stood up, then slowly walked up to Wu Tai and stood still. In front of Huang Wei. Huang Wei looked at Huang Xiaolong and his eyes flashed through the blood, do you regret that you didn't kneel down and ask me? Huang Xiaolong's face is cold and indifferent, you have too much nonsense. When Huang Wei was angry, Huang Xiaolong suddenly turned around and looked at the chairman's stage Huang Kai. He said, Grandpa, according to the annual meeting, try to learn the rules, compare and test, other can people not interfere with the prevention. 
Huang Kaid, I don't understand what Huang Xiaolong asked if he said this, but he nodded, not bad. Just when everyone in Huang Kaid doubted what Huang Xiaolong said, Huang Xiaolong suddenly smiled at Huang Wei, wait, I will beat you even if you can't recognize it. Everyone heard a word and then smiled. Li Mu sat next to Huang Kaid and smiled. Your brother, is your grandson crazy? He should be the little dragon with the seven level martial arts. If you don't have the strength, you dare to be so arrogant. I don't like such children. Huang Kaid also felt that the old face was dull, and he smiled. Looking at the son Huang Peng below, it seems that it is time for the second child to discipline his son, so that he would not be able to say such unruly words on important occasions and lose the face of the family. On the stage, Huang Wei smiled, what do you say? I won't get it wrong. You, can you beat me and I can't recognize it. However, he just finished speaking. Suddenly the figure flashed. Huang Wei was shocked. When he saw his eyes, he saw a big fist coming to his left eye. At this time, he did not evade it. When he was about to open his mouth, the big fist hit him in the left eye, and he screamed and screamed again and again, his eyes staring at Venus. The audience originally whispered and sneered at Huang Xiaolong's incompetent Huang Jia's Wang. They stopped and looked at Huang Wei, who was screaming and screaming with horror. At this time, Li Mu did not frown by the brow, the young age has learned to sneak attack, and when I grow up, I still have it. It must be an insidious villain. Huang Kai looked at Huang Xiaolong, and he also frowned. You, you actually attacked me. On the stage, Huang Wei put down his left hand and put his left hand down. He watched Huang Xiaolong roar and saw that his left eye was black and became a panda eye. Huang Xiaolong didn't open his mouth, and his body flashed. He came to Huang Wei and punched his right eye. A punch hit again. Huang Wei is blaming again and again. Looking at Huang Wei's panda eyes, Li Wei, sitting next to his grandfather Li Mu, finally couldn't help but smiled softly, revealing two lovely little dimples. Li Mu couldn't help but look back at his granddaughter. Li Wei tried to hold back the laughter, but looking at her, she endured very hard. Under the stage, everyone looked weird. Huang Xiaolong, I want to kill you. Huang Wei finally violently angered, screaming, the whole body vindictive release, suddenly punched Huang Xiaolong chest. Seeing Huang Wei's fist, he had to bombard the chest of Huang Xiaolong. Huang Peng and Su Yan's heart were tight, and they couldn't help but exclaim. Huang Wei was the last step of the martial arts. He punched down and took Huang Xiaolong's thin body. How can he bear it? But on the rostrum, Huang Kai did not stop, in his opinion, let Huang Wei teach Huang Xiaolong. Just when Huang Wei had to smash into the chest of Huang Xiaolong, Huang Xiaolong suddenly flashed his body and escaped from Huang Wei's attack. Then he held a right fist and smothered it. He shot Huang Wei's back and Huang Wei screamed. Come, a dog eats cockroaches and falls forward to the ground. Extraordinary. Warrior First Order. The hall was turbulent, and everyone looked at Huang Xiaolong with surprise and could not believe it, including Huang Kai, Li Mu, and Huang Ming. In five months, Huang Xiaolong actually reached the first stage of the warrior. Huang Wei, who fell to the ground, turned over and stood up. His face turned red and purple. Compared with the shock of other people, his heart was so full of anger that his eyes were red, and he rushed to Huang Xiaolong again, and his fists broke. Now, the only thought in his mind is to kill Huang Xiaolong and kill him. Dead. Huang Wei, who looked at the crazy rush, Huang Xiaolong's eyes were indifferent. This time he did not hide again. Instead, he raised his fists and mentioned the vindictiveness to the peak of the first stage. Under the watchful eyes, he greeted Huang Wei. Four punches collided, hey! When it sounded, Huang Wei repeatedly retreated, and Huang Xiaolong pretended to retreat at the same time. What? This, this. The first stage of the peak. Just now, 
Huang Xiaolong, who was shocked by Huang Xiaolong, broke through the first order, and all the governors of the Huang Jia's Wang, stood up from the seat. Huang Kai, Li Mu, and Huang Ming also stood up in disarray. Even Huang Peng and Su Yan were the same. Huang Peng and Su Yan Yi had big eyes and looked at the sun with surprise. Isn't the sun a first order midterm? After a while, Huang Peng's heart was pleasantly surprised and bitter, and this kid was so bitter. I don't even know that he has reached the peak of the first stage. The first stage of the late peak. Su Yan and Huang Peng reacted similarly, but she was more happy in her heart. She looked at her son on the stage and her eyes suddenly became a little rosy, this kid. She smiled. Now, she finally understands what the son said before will not let you down. It turned out that the son has reached the peak of the first stage. No wonder, no wonder the son has always been fearless. Huang Wei, who was repulsed by Huang Xiaolong's double boxing, slowly woke up from the madness, and repeatedly angered, impossible, Impossible, you, can't break through to the end of the first stage. He has a ten-level martial arts, but the pride of the sky, and swallowed a thousand years of Luozinko, five months of hard work to achieve the first stage of the peak. And Huang Xiaolong? Wuhan is only a seven-level martial arts. Like Huang Wei, Huang Kai, Huang Ming, and others are also confused. At this moment, Huang Peng explained to Huang Kai, Hey, more than four months ago, Xiao Long found five Yangguo in a valley in Hushan. What? Yangguo. Huang Kai and everyone were shocked. Yes, later, Xiao Long swallowed three cultivations, and the other two gave me and Su Yan. I have now reached the sixth order late peak. Huang Peng nodded, and finished, the sixth order late peaks were released. Out. Swallowed three Yangguo cultivation. Huang Kai looked at Huang Xiaolong on the stage, I don't know what to say. In the hall, everyone in Huang Jia's Wang realized that Huang Xiaolong had reached the real reason of the peak of the first stage. Three Yangguo. Every Yangguo is comparable to a thousand years of Loxenko. I didn't expect Xiaolong to have such an adventure. This is a good thing. At this time, Huang Kai smiled and said, he laughed very naturally. If these three Yangguo swallowed Huang Wei for cultivation, now I am afraid that I have already broken through the second order. Huang Kai thought in his heart. Even Li Mu also felt that Huang Xiaolong, the seven-level Wuhan, swallowed three golden fruits, which was a violent thing. After a while, everyone recovered from the shock. Sit back slowly to your seat. On the stage, Huang Wei's eyes narrowed and looked at Huang Xiaolong in a hateful way, I said that you left the dog and swallowed and swallowed three Yangguo cultivations to the end of the first stage. Huang Xiaolong smiled coldly, so, you broke through the first stage of the peak, not because of the Millennium Loxenko. Huang Wei's face turned red, and no anger rushed over. Suddenly a boxing to Huang Xiaolong, Huang Xiaolong raised his hand and ushered in, and Huang Wei was shaken back. Huang Xiaolong was physically deceived and raised his foot. Huang Wei's belly is a foot. Just like Zhou Zudong a few months ago, Huang Wei screamed and flew out with a waist and flew out seven or eight meters. Huang Wei licked his belly and felt that the internal organs were all displaced. The painful tears rolled out of the corners of his eyes. Huang Xiaolong came to Huang Wei and sneered, five months ago. Did you mean to kill my hands at the annual meeting? After that, he stepped on his face. Huang Wei screamed again. Hands disabled? On the rostrum, Huang Kai frowned and looked at his eldest son, Huang Ming. He didn't know about it. Huang Ming didn't dare to look at his father's eyes and hide. At this time, Huang Wei's screaming voice rang again. Huang Kai looked at it. He saw Huang Xiaolong stepping on another foot. He opened his mouth and just wanted to stop, but he thought that Huang Xiaolong had previously asked him if he had to intervene when he tried to learn. The things that stopped, could not help but stop, and smiled in my heart. Now, he finally understood what this grandson had asked before. 
Huang Xiaolong stepped on his three feet. Huang Wei's face, which was still quite good, finally turned into a pig's head. Huang Ming looked at his son and he was so stunned that he couldn't recognize it. His hands couldn't help but clenched. The face was not angry, and his eyes flashed. However, Huang Kai did not stop, Huang Ming did not dare to destroy the rules in public. Ah! Huang Xiaolong stepped on three feet in a row. Huang Wei, like a beast that was caught in a madness, gave out a beast, and the whole body violently swelled up suddenly. A different breath rushed out from Huang Wei. This sudden change made everyone stay, and then their eyes narrowed. Inductive changes in his son's body, Huang Ming's face disappeared, and turned to be overjoyed. Huang Wei's young master has broken through. Second order, this is the second order breath. Some elders in Huang Jia's Wang could not help but marvel. Second order. Huang Peng and Su Yan saw Huang Wei actually broke through the second order at this time, and the heart could not help but tighten again. Huang Wei broke through the second order, so what about his son? Okay. Good. Huang Kai looked at Sun Zi Huang Wei's change, and laughed heartily. This year's annual meeting, Huang Wei actually broke through the second order, it is really an unexpected joy. Huang Xiaolong stepped back a few steps and looked at the breakthrough Huang Wei, and there were some accidents. Warrior Second Order Huang Xiaolong's face is calm. At this time, Huang Wei slowly stood up from the ground. His eyes looked at Huang Xiaolong with blood, and he felt that the body was twice as powerful as before. Huang Wei stared at Huang Xiaolong and said, Wait for me. You kneel down and rub my toes. Only in this way can he wash his previous shame. Yes. Huang Xiaolong didn't care. Huang Wei screamed in an instant, and immediately came to the front of Huang Xiaolong. The double fists rushed out and rushed to Huang Xiaolong. After breaking through the second order, Huang Wei not only had the strength, but even the speed was much faster. Huang Peng and Su Yan both clenched in their hearts, and when they were about to exclaim, suddenly, Huang Xiaolong, who stood there, raised his hands, and his breath suddenly soared, and his fists slammed up. Hey! A louder sound rang, Huang Wei was shaken back. What? Impossible! How is it possible? Warrior Second Order This is the second order vindictive power of the warrior. The elders of Huang Jia's Wang, who had just sat back in their seats, screamed in disarray. Once again, Huo Ran stood up from his seat and looked at Huang Xiaolong unbelievably. Huang Kai, Li Mu also shocked to stand up, his eyes straight. This, what the is going on? This kid's dog is too strong. Huang Kai turned to look at his son Huang Peng, and Huang Peng, who was shocked, couldn't help but smile, Hey, this, I don't know. Son, son, concealing him hard. I did not expect that the original son's true embarrassment is not the first order peak, but the second order. Second order, second order. Huang Peng looked at the son on the stage, and his body could not help but tremble because of his excitement. At this time, he had the urge to rush to hold his son to cry. A pride from the heart of Huang Peng, this cultivation of five months to break through the second order is his son, is the son of his Huang Peng. Su Yan stood there, her eyes red and her expression was similar to her husband. No, no, it won't be true, it's not true. On the stage, Huang Wei, who was repulsed, looked like Huang Xiaolong and shook his head. Looking at the mad screaming Huang Wei, Huang Xiaolong sneered and slowly walked toward him. Looking at the closer Huang Xiaolong, Huang Wei, who was mad and screaming, could not help but stop, panic and panic. Retired, but when he was about to open his mouth and admit defeat, suddenly the figure flashed, and Huang Xiaolong punched his left face, screaming and retreating. After Huang Xiaolong hit a fist, he was deceived and was a punch. After a few punches, Huang Wei stunned and turned, and he couldn't tell the difference between the north and the south. He had already become a pig head and he became a big pig. Under the stage, 
Huang Ming looked at his son's misery, and his heart was extremely angry. He finally couldn't help but turn around and said to Huang Kaid, Hey, look, isn't it? Huang Kaid hesitated, and said, Okay, Xiao Long. After hearing the grandfather Huang Kaid's opening, Huang Xiao Long kicked his foot again and it stopped. You. Huang Ming glared. Huang Xiao Long ignored Huang Ming's glare and smiled at Huang Ming. Debo, Xiao Xiao lost his hand for a while. Please forgive me. Lost for a moment? Everyone looked at Huang Wei, who was smashed into a pig's head, and his face was weird. Li Wei, next to Li Mu, couldn't help but laugh again. Huang Kai looked at Huang Xiao Long on the stage. His brow wrinkled, but he did not say anything. He could see that Huang Xiao Long did not die. Huang Wei was only a flesh wound. Huang Ming is even more angry and vomiting blood. At this time, Huang Wei finally had a chance to cry out, crying, and came to Huang Ming, Hey, he hit me, he hit me. He pointed at Huang Xiaolong, tears surged. Huang Wei is a child who is more than seven years old. He was smashed by Huang Xiaolong and he was crying. The elders of Huang Jia's Wang, the manager looked secretly shaking their heads, and Huang Ming's face was extremely embarrassing. At this point, Huang Xiaolong and Huang Wei tried to learn to conclude that Huang Wei was smashed into a pig's head. Next, other disciples conducted comparative tests. However, compared with the previous comparisons between Huang Xiaolong and Huang Wei, the later disciples did not seem to look at it. After a few hours, the annual meeting is over. After the annual meeting, Everyone in Huang Jia's Wang secretly stunned. At this annual meeting, Huang Wei, who should have been the most dazzling, turned out to be the laughing stock of this annual meeting, and Huang Xiaolong, who has never been valued by everyone, has become the most dazzling existence. North Palace On the main hall, Huang Wei roared, if it wasn't for Huang Xiaolong, he took a dog and swallowed three Yangguo. With his talent of the seven level Wuhan, how could he break through the second order? I don't accept it, Huang Xiaolong, I want revenge, next the next year, I must revenge, I will return this humiliation a hundred times and return it to you thousands of times. His face that was smashed into a pig's head became awkward and distorted. Huang Ming sat there, his face was expressionless, and the cold mang flashed from the bottom of his eyes. At this annual meeting, Huang Xiaolong simply let him lose his face. Compared to the North Temple, the East Temple has a laugh. Good son, this time you really didn't let you down. Huang Peng laughed and said, Shuang, it's so cool. He thought of the angry expression of the dead face of his eldest brother Huang Ming at the annual meeting. Very. Little dragon, come, let the mother take a good look. Su Yan pulled Huang Xiaolong to the front looked at it, and smiled, you, break through the second order and don't tell my mother, let her mother worry for a long time. Huang Xiaolong did not know how to speak, only to laugh. If the beggar and the mother know that he is actually not the second order fighter, I don't know what it will be. However, Huang Xiaolong still intends to temporarily conceal his true strength. If he exposes the strength of the third order late peak, I am afraid that it is not as troublesome as it is. Now, the second stage of his warrior can also be explained by swallowing three Yangguo, but the third order late peak will definitely cause others to doubt. If anyone knows that his martial art is a super Wuhan, I am afraid that it will be given to Huang Jia's Wang. Bring the evil of the genocide. In the East Hall, it was a long time for his parents to pull for a long time, and Huang Xiaolong returned to the small yard. Just entering the small yard, a small figure rushed to the face, Huang Xiaolong did not hide, smiled, little guy, where have you gone in these two days? This little figure is the devouring purple monkey. In the past six months, there has been little change in the shape of the demonstration violet monkey. However, the eyes are more agile and the eyes of the ice blue are shining. Hey! The spirited purple monkey came to Huang Xiaolong's shoulder and shouted, his hands crossed. You mean, you want me to see you after the mountain? 
Huang Xiaolong asked, half a year, for the body language of the spirited purple monkey, Huang Xiaolong can understand. Hey! The spirited purple monkey had a happy face and nodded. That's good, let's go. Huang Xiaolong nodded. Anyway, it was fine now. Then he took out the Huang Jiazhuang with the demystifying purple monkey. Under the guidance of the devouring purple monkey, he came to a mountain in the back mountain and came here. After the mountain, I saw a large flower pot about 10 meters in front of the front. Looking at this big flower bud, Huang Xiaolong took a sip of cold air, and at the same time understood the meaning of the singular purple monkey who brought himself to the back mountain, and dare to bring himself to the shelf. Seeing the arrival of Huang Xiaolong and the spirited purple monkey, the big flower buds suddenly raised their heads, staring at Huang Xiaolong and the spirited purple monkey, and spit the long tongue and rushed over. Huang Xiaolong's face is dignified. He can see that this large flower bud is supposed to be a four-level monster. Although it is only a four-level, it is extremely dangerous for Huang Xiaolong, who is only the third-order peak of the warrior. However, Huang Xiaolong's figure just flashed, and he escaped from the big flower scorpion attack. The devouring purple monkey screamed and jumped from the shoulder of Huang Xiaolong, and came to the top of the big flower hoe, and the two monkey claws shot. Under The big flower taro was photographed, and under the pain, a strange scream was made, the body shape was twisted, and the blood plate was huge, and it swallowed up to the devouring purple monkey. Huang Xiaolong's heart was tight, at this time, the devouring purple monkey slid a few meters in the middle of the air, and was able to escape the mouth of the big flower buds. He saw Huang Xiaolong breathe a sigh of relief. Huang Xiaolong runs from Shura, the whole body of black killing air flows crazy, his eyes are red, his hair turns white, and he rises upright. However, Huang Xiaolong did not attack immediately, but stood aside, blood red eyes staring coldly and positively. The large flower buds in the slaying purple monkey. When the big flower squat was once again twisted, suddenly, Huang Xiaolong, who had been standing aside, moved and flew up, looking far away, like a black cloud under the sun, I don't know when, too the blade of Shura appeared in the hands of Huang Xiaolong and came to the head of the big flower python. Huang Xiaolong's hands slammed, and two black lights flashed past. The big flower screamed, and the blood squirted directly, and it fell to the ground. After a while, it stopped rolling. Huang Xiaolong's eyes, his hair slowly recovered, he took the sword of Shura back to his arm, and then walked over with the devouring purple monkey. Just before coming to the body of the big flower bud, the lingering purple monkey jumped over the big flower hoe, and cut a pair of claws, broke a blood hole, and took out a small cocky bead. Seeing this cocky bead, Huang Xiaolong's eyes are big, demon. In general, the chances of the middle-level monsters condensing the demon Dan are only 1 in 10,000. The senior monsters above the seventh level are only 100% condensed, and the four-level scorpion is actually there. The fourth-level demon, if it is sold in the market, at least two or three hundred gold coins. At this time, the devouring purple monkey came to the big flower scorpion, with two claws and one stroke, and then dug out two things that were green and somewhat disgusting. Snake Huang Xiaolong's eyes are bright like the snakes of this four-level monsters and big flowers, but they are a big compliment. After swallowing, they can not only improve their vindictiveness, but also strengthen the body. The devouring purple monkey dug out the snake gallbladder, gave the snake gallbladder to Huang Xiaolong, and then smiled and swallowed the four-level demon Dan. Eat! Huang Xiaolong was surprised. The demon of the demon beast condenses the demon power of the demon beast, but this demon power is not a pure demon power. Only when it is combined with other elixir to make it can be swallowed, if the cultivator directly swallows it, the demon Yuan Li violent, will explode and die. But now the little guy who is devouring the purple monkey can actually swallow the demon, and there is nothing. Huang Xiaolong was speechless. After a while, he turned to look at the heavy cockroaches on the ground. 
he thought about it and simply did not deal with it. He returned to Huang Jiazhuang with the demon purple monkey. After returning to Huang Jiazhuang, Huang Xiaolong asked the Zhuang Zhong to buy some wine back, and then broke the snake's gallbladder and mixed it with the wine. At first, it was cold, and then a warm current continued to emerge. Huang Xiaolong rushed to run Shura, refining the snake's gallbladder. A night passed. Huang Xiaolong woke up, his eyes were happy, and this night he practiced, and his vindictiveness improved a lot. A snake scorpion is equivalent to his half month of hard work. Huang Xiaolong has a feeling, breaking through the fourth order, just in these days. The fourth order barrier is getting thinner and thinner, and it is possible to break through at any time. He came down from the cold jade bed and just took the Hanyu bed back to repair the ring. He heard the voice of Xiao Min, the younger sister outside the small yard, sounding, Big brother, big brother. Huang Xiaolong was a little surprised. It was just dawning. This little girl came to find himself. I didn't know anything. He walked out of the room. Big brother, you and my mother let you go to the main hall. Huang Min came in and said. Go to the main hall. Huang Xiaolong was puzzled in his heart. Only when the family discussed major events would it be held in the main hall. Out of the small yard, Huang Xiaolong came to the main hall and saw that his parents were already in the main hall. In addition to his parents, the uncle Huang Ming, Huang Wei, and the family elders arrived. Huang Xiaolong came in. Everyone in the hall looked over and looked different. Huang Wei looked at Huang Xiaolong and his eyes were poisonous. Hey, mother. Huang Xiaolong came to Huang Peng and Su Yan, and then sat down. Huang Peng and Su Yan looked at their son, nodded and smiled. Just then, outside the hall, Huang Kai and Li Mu walked in. Li Mu followed his granddaughter Li Wei and saw Li Mu and Li Wei. Huang Xiaolong faintly guessed what it was. Sure enough, Grandpa Huang Kai sat down and glanced at the hall, then smiled and said, Today, everyone is coming, I want to tell you something. Later, we will be married to Huang Jia's Wang and Li Jia Wai. Become an in-law. The hall was a little commotion, but the crowd was not very surprised, because the matter had been spread before. Huang Wei, who sat there, listened to his face. At this time, Huang Kai then smiled and said, Yes, that is, Huang Jia's Wang Huang Wei and Li Jia Li Yan girl are engaged. The elders in the temple stood up. Congratulations to the old master. No, I don't agree. Suddenly, a voice rang and the voice was abrupt, letting everyone stay and watched the past. The person who spoke was awkwardly sitting next to Li Mu. Hey, you. Li Mu Zheng wants to swear, Li Wei then said, No, Grandpa, I don't like this Huang Wei. Speaking of this, suddenly turned around and pointed to Huang Xiaolong. I like him, if I am engaged, I am going to get engaged with him. Above the main hall, suddenly a dead silence. The look of everyone has become rich and colorful. Huang Ming, who just smiled, Huang Wei's two fathers and sons are smiling, and his face is ugly, how ugly it is, especially Huang Wei, his face is red and purple. Looking at Huang Xiaolong, the eyes can't eat Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong also looked at the little girl who pointed at his own, Li Wei. Noisy. After Li Mu stayed, he snarled. Li Zia's wise mouth was stunned and his eyes were firm, Grandpa, I am not a fool, I mean, I like him. Li Wei looked at Huang Xiaolong, he was very handsome when he was a curse. Huang Xiaolong and everyone heard the words, but they couldn't help but laugh at it. Because yesterday at the annual meeting, Huang Xiaolong was very handsome when he was Huang Wei, so this Li Wei likes Huang Xiaolong, isn't Huang Xiaolong not married? Li Mu is also a little bit sorrowful, but regardless of how he swears, Li Wei insists on choosing Huang Xiaolong, not Huang Wei. The brothers, this. In the end, Li Mu looked at Huang Kai with some helplessness. Originally, they decided that they had already decided. Now, just telling everyone, 
but now. Huang Kai sighed for a while and smiled, that will wait two years to say. Li Mu nodded, and this is only the case. Huang Wei saw this incident because of Huang Xiaolong and stirred yellow. Looking at Huang Xiaolong, his eyes were even more blaming, and Huang Xiaolong sat there, his face was indifferent, Huang Wei's resentment against himself, he certainly knew, but did not mind. After a while, everyone dispersed. When Huang Xiaolong left the main hall and separated from his parents, he returned to his small yard and continued to practice. After breaking through the fourth stage, his martial arts will have any soul skills for the first time. Huang Xiaolong is looking forward to it. Soon, five days passed. This night, Huang Xiaolong sat on the cold jade bed, Xi Luo impacted the fourth order barrier. In the same way as the second order and third order breakthroughs in the past, under the perseverance of Huang Xiaolong's perseverance, the fourth order barrier finally broke a gap, and then the gap expanded. Fourth order breakthrough. However, just when Huang Xiaolong broke through the fourth stage, suddenly, Huang Xiaolong's two headed snake martial arts light suddenly rose, and a blue light and black light rose from the sky, a whirlwind like a dragon, not a dragon. Double the double head of the head snake martial arts split apart and became a blue snake and a black snake. No, to be precise, it is not a blue snake and a black snake. Because of the splitting, four claws grow under the two snakes, and the scales on the body also grow scales like dragon scales. Huang Xiaolong sensed the change of the martial arts behind him, and was deeply shocked by the depths of his heart. This, what is a two headed snake? clearly is the ancient dragon. And it is two dragons. Double martial arts. Huang Xiaolong's mind flashed, I can't believe that in the world of Wuhan, the people who have the twin martial arts are extremely rare, and each one is not the pride of the sky. Moreover, Huang Xiaolong's twin martial arts turned out to be twin super martial arts. Although the form of the martial arts behind him is far from the ancient dragon, but now it is only the first transformation. When the seventh step is broken, the martial arts will undergo a second transformation. At that time, the martial arts behind Huang Xiaolong will completely change. Become a dragon form. After the shock, Huang Xiaolong's inner surprise surged out. I did not expect this martial arts to change, turned into a twin super martial. So what is the life-threatening skill of this awakening? Of course, actually too. In the mind of Huang Xiaolong, there is a memory, which is the inheritance of the soul of the black and blue double dragon Wuhan. After the first mutated change of the other martial arts, the life-threatening technique is one, but Huang Xiaolong has two martial arts souls, two. Meditating on the soul of the soul in the mind, Huang Xiaolong's body sitting on the cold jade bed suddenly became blurred, and finally disappeared completely. About six breaths passed, and Huang Xiaolong's body slowly emerged from the cold jade bed. This is Huang Xiaolong's first life-threatening technique, space is hidden. The space is hidden, hidden in the space, invisible. This is too strong. Huang Xiaolong's eyes flashed with joy. Imagine, in the killing, Huang Xiaolong's body shape suddenly disappeared, came to the other side, a blow to kill, the other side is invincible it is simply the soul of the assassination. Although now, Huang Xiaolong can only maintain six breaths in concealment, but in the future, as the cultivation is improved, the life-threatening skills will be stronger and the hidden time will be longer. The first life-threatening technique is space concealment, so what is the second life-threatening technique? At this time, Huang Xiaolong suddenly flew up from the bed of cold jade, like a phantom, and immediately went out of the room and came to the small courtyard. The second life-threatening technique, the shadows follow the shape. After using the second life-threatening technique, Huang Xiaolong's figure speed is almost a third faster. The same level of strong killing, the speed is extremely important, Huang Xiaolong's second life-threatening skills with the first life-threatening skills, is simply tough. Huang Xiaolong breathed a deep breath, a passion, and domineering from his body. After a while, Huang Xiaolong's mood slowly recovered and calmed down. Suddenly, 
he flew up and his hands flicked. One by one, the palms of the palms are printed to the night sky. Before the breakthrough, Huang Xiaolong clearly felt that the body was agile about twice, and every time the attack, the physical attack broke out fiercely, especially the strong expansion of the whole body, which was not available in the previous three-stage peak. Warriors from one to three steps, the muscles of the meridians temper the whole body muscles, so that the whole body muscles are full, solid, and the strength is enhanced. After breaking through the fourth order, the meridians of the qi are not only quenching the whole body muscles, but also quenching and strengthening the whole body. Huang Xiaolong shot the half-meter stone to the corner of the small courtyard, then flew down, and the night wind blew through. I saw that the half-meter stone turned into stone powder and was blown to every corner. One to three orders, each step increases a stone power, after breaking through the fourth order, the power doubles, and now Huang Xiaolong hits the force, there are six stone power. At this time, the sky is getting brighter, and the rising sun shines on the body of Huang Xiaolong, and it is coated with a golden light. Huang Xiaolong stood in the small yard until the sun was shining warm and he came out of the yard and came to the East Hall. However, when he came to the East Hall, his father Huang Peng was not there, only his mother Su Yan was there. Is it going to the main hall? Huang Xiaolong had some accidents. Su Yan nodded, in the morning, your grandfather told you to sneak past, Huang Ming and Zhuang Zhong elders have passed, but I don't know what to discuss. Listening to this, Huang Xiaolong will return to his father in the East Hall. At this time, in the main hall, Huang Kaid, sitting in the main seat, glanced at the crowd and said, Tomorrow, open Lingqi, Huang Wujin went to Lingqi for a month. On the main hall, the elders face each other and look at Huang Peng. Huang Jia's Wang was created by Huang Kaid, and Huang Kaid's opening was decided. No one of the elders dared to oppose it. It was just according to the rules set by the past. When the Wushan awakens every year, the disciples who are the first to learn from the annual meeting can enter the Lingqi cultivation. One month, the first of this annual meeting, obviously Huang Xiaolong, it is reasonable to say that Lingqi is open, it should be Huang Xiaolong to go to practice. Huang Peng listened to his father's decision. After a glimpse, his heart was angry and stood up and said, Hey, this is not fair. This year's meeting is more than a test. It is clear that Xiaolong won Huang Wei, Wai Lingqi opened, but Huang Wei go in and practice. Huang Kai's face was awkward, but he also knew that there was a fairness in doing so, so there was no reason to smother the two sons. He said, although at this annual meeting, Xiaolong's trial is to win Huang Wei, but this is only an accident, if the talent is single, Huang Wei talent is much higher than Xiaolong talent. Xiaolong just broke through to the second order because he swallowed three Yangguo. I decided to enter the Lingqi pool at the first meeting. The stipulation, in fact, means that the best disciple of Wushu awakening talent can enter the Lingqi cultivation every year. Huang Peng's heart is in anger, and the interface says, Shit! The best disciple of talent can enter the Lingqi cultivation. Why didn't you say that before, now that Xiao Long won, he changed to the best disciple of talent to enter? Huang Qi Dananayer, some do not know how to answer. At this time, Huang Ming said, the second brother, is the owner, or are you the owner? The decision to do it is not allowed to question and comment. Huang Peng held his hands and glared at Huang Ming, but he also knew that Huang Ming was telling the truth. No one can change what he decided to open. Two Zhuang owners, Lao Zhuangzhu decided this way, but also for Huang Jia Zhuang. Elder Zhou Guang also said, who knows that Xiaolong Xiaozhu talent is worse than Huang Wei's main talent, if Xiaolong less master enters Lingqi cultivation it will only waste the power of Lingqi essence. Huang Peng pointed to Zhou Guang and yelled, close your dog's mouth, and you won't be able to speak here. Zhou Guang is stunned, his face is red, but he dare not say anything. After a while, Huang Pengqiang angered himself and turned to Huang Kaid, Well, hey, since you said this time is an accident, then the next annual meeting, 
Xiao Long can still win Huang Wei. Huang Kite is a glimpse. Do you think Xiao Long can still run the dog at the next annual meeting? Huang Ming said, Well, if the next annual meeting, Xiao Long wins again, then I will pay you a hundred pieces of fighting spirit and apologize to you. One hundred pieces of fighting spirit Dan, arrived in the Lingqi pond for a month to practice. Good. Huang Peng looked directly at Huang Ming, remember what you said today. After that, he did not ask Huang Kite and turned to leave the hall. Huang Ming looked at Huang Peng who turned and left. He secretly sneered in his heart. He naturally did not believe that Huang Xiaolong could still run the dog and win his son at the next annual meeting. Therefore, the so-called 100 Vindictive Dan is simply impossible. As for an apology, it is even more impossible. On the main hall, the elders face each other and no one dares to speak. When Huang Xiaolong of the East Hall just sat down, he saw Huang Peng, the father who came back from the North Hall. Hey, what's wrong? Huang Xiaolong could not help but ask. Su Yan also got up and greeted him. Huang Peng saw his son, his heart was awkward, did not speak, came to the seat of the hall and sat down, his head down, the anger in his heart not only did not disappear, but more prosperous. Deceive too much. Deceive too much. Recalling the cold eyes of the older brother Huang Ming and his father's preference for Huang Wei, Huang Peng couldn't help but anger, and the right palm took a seat next to him, and the chair collapsed. Huang Peng smashed the seat next to him, and Su Yan was shocked. Peng Ji, what happened? What happened? Su Yan asked anxiously. Huang Peng looked up and looked at his wife Su Yan and his son. He sighed in his heart and finally said what happened in the main hall. When he said that his father Huang Kaid would open the spirit pool, he should have given Huang Xiaolong the qualification to practice. Instead, he gave Huang Wei, and Huang Peng was angry and took a shot. Oh, doing this is simply too eccentric. In his eyes, there is only Huang Wei's grandson. Su Yan listened, and the apricot eyes were round and angry. Does he still regard our little dragon as his grandson? Huang Xiaolong didn't open his mouth and sneered in his heart. Although he won Huang Wei at the annual meeting a few days ago, although he showed his second-order strength in front of his grandfather Huang Kaid, his grandfather Huang Kaid still did not really regard him, presumably in the heart of his grandfather Huang Kaid, he broke through the second order, that is, he walked the dog, and the achievement was far less likely to compare with Huang Wei. There is still Zhou Guang, who dares to say that our little dragons are practicing in Lingqi, which is a waste of the power of Lingqi essence. Su Yan said, This dog slave, if you are behind the big brother Huang Ming to support him, he dares to say this. Although Zhou Guang is an elder, in Huang Jia's Wang, the status of the elders is higher than that of some senior guards. In the end, he is still a slave. Little dragon, I am sorry. Huang Peng looked at his son. His voice was a little low and he said, it is useless. The qualification for opening this spirit pool has not only failed to win for you, but has taken Huang Wei away. Huang Xiaolong heard the words and smiled lightly, Hey, mother, you can rest assured that the next annual meeting, I will not only recognize Huang Wei, even his cockroaches, but also one him even his grandfather cannot recognize it. Since Grandpa Huang Kai is so eccentric, so value his grandson Huang Wei, then his grandson who has the seventh level Wuhan will let his grandfather Huang Kai see clearly, his dog will be better and better, and will come more and more the stronger. Not only the next annual meeting, but every annual meeting, he will win Huang Wei into a super invincible big head hunter. Huang Peng and Su Yan listened to Huang Xiaolong's words and thought that it was the son who comforted them. He just wanted to let the two people not worry, and Huang Peng was even more embarrassed. In Huang Peng and Su Yan, the two men want to come. The son only has a level 7 martial arts. As time goes by, the gap with Huang Wei will become bigger and bigger. After one year, Huang Wei should be able to break through the third order or even higher. However, 
if a son with a seven-level martial arts wants to break through from the second to the third, it usually takes about two years. At the next annual meeting, can my son really win Huang Wei? Unless, the son can swallow three more elixir like Yang Guo. Huang Peng sighed in his heart, but how many of the elixir like the sun fruits in the heavens and the earth were met by his son again? Huang Xiaolong saw his parents' feelings and knew that his parents could not beat Huang Wei at the next annual meeting. Hey, mother, later, I want to practice in the back hill. Think about it, Huang Xiaolong said. This is also convenient for practicing Yu Jinjing in the future, otherwise it will always run back and forth, some trouble, and now, Huang Xiaolong does not want to expose his cultivation of Shura. No. Su Yan listened and almost shook his head against it. Huang Peng also said, Xiao Long, I know that you have to go to Hushan to practice and want to cultivate with peace of mind, but now you only have second order strength, it is too dangerous. Parents objected, Huang Xiao Long had long expected that after all, he is now only a seven year old child, which parents will not be assured that their seven year old child left the home to practice. Hey, mother, I am just outside the back mountain, as long as you don't enter the depths of the back of the mountain, there will be no danger. Huang Xiaolong said, you can rest assured. However, regardless of how Huang Xiaolong persuaded, Huang Peng and Su Yan did not agree. The next annual meeting, if I can defeat Huang Wei. Huang Xiaolong was helpless, and finally set a tone. Defeat Huang Wei. Huang Peng and Su Yan looked at their son. If it is the next annual meeting, you can really defeat Huang Wei, then I will allow you to go to Hushan to practice. After a while, Huang Peng said, However, you have to wait for the next annual meeting, you defeat Huang Wei. That's okay. Huang Xiaolong said, In this case, can only wait another year, this is no way. At this time, the North Hall, Huang Wei listened to his father Huang Ming said in the main hall when the grandfather Huang Kai's decision, could not help but smile, still grandfather wise, know that Ling Qi is even a waste to the kid cultivation. Back from the main hall, Huang Ming's mood is also very good. He said with a smile, since your grandfather will give you the opportunity to practice this spiritual pool, then you should not let your grandfather and me disappoint, then your talent is very high but still have to work hard to cultivate. Huang Wei smiled and said, Hey, don't worry, enter Ling Qi cultivation, don't use a year, I will definitely break through to the third order. When it comes to this, the eyes are full of hatred, at the next annual meeting, I want to let that small the dog is in front of me, I want to kill his hands and feet. After Huang Xiaolong returned to the small courtyard from the East Hall, he did not continue to practice Shura, but took the drawing from Shura. Now, he has broken through the fourth order and can already practice fighting skills. On the drawing, there is a set of fighting techniques, one set is the Shura sword method that cooperates with the sword of Shura, and the other is the Shura ghost claw. There are a total of 18 strokes in the Shura swordsmanship. Each stroke is divided into three styles, but the Shura ghost claws are less, only five claws. After reading Shura's swordsmanship and Shura's ghost claws, Huang Xiaolong's eyes fell on the first small map of Shura's swordsmanship. He decided to practice Shura's swordsmanship first. From the room, came to the small courtyard, Huang Xiaolong summoned the blade of Shura, recalling the attacking posture and the method of running the first small figure of Shura's swordsmanship. The blade of Shura's blade swayed out and saw only a dozen blades. The light appeared out of thin air slowly rotating, forming two groups of wind groups, constantly rotating and rolling in the small courtyard. The first trick of Shura's swordsmanship, the wind of hell. However, the hell winds did not last long, rolling in the small yard, and disappeared after four breaths. After a blow, Huang Xiaolong did not slash again, but felt the wind of formed by the attack of Shura's blade. He stood there, in his mind as if the wind of a group of was constantly spinning, and the wind of swept. The trajectory that scrolls through is clearly presented before his eyes. Half an hour later, Huang Xiaolong suddenly moved, 
and the blade of Shura suddenly slammed out again. This time, there were eighteen blades of pure hair born out of nowhere, stirring constantly in the space, the airflow swirled, and two groups of wind formations formed. Compared with the previous time, the two groups of wind groups were bigger. After a blow, Huang Xiaolong stood still and did not move, thinking back to the direction of the wind and the wind from the formation, to the rotation, to the rolling track. Half an hour later, Huang Xiaolong once again waved the blade of Shura. Repeatedly, over and over again. After each attack, Huang Xiaolong stood there for half an hour and then attacked again. From the morning, to noon, to the evening, when the last sun began to disappear, when Huang Xiaolong's two-handed Shura's blade was again thrown out, the two groups of Hell's Wines continued to turn, and there was a faint whimper. This whimper seems to come from the depths of Hell. And the Hell Wines have been able to sustain five breaths. Huang Xiaolong listened to the sound of In the Wind of Hell, and could not help but breathe a sigh of relief. According to the drawings, the first stroke of kin produced the sound of Hell, then even a small. If I was the first director of Shure Men, I was mad at seeing Huang Xiaolong here. I will practice the first trick of Shura's swordsmanship in the day. I am afraid that I will be shocked and incoherent. When I was a mad chance to get this practice, I practiced Shura's swordsmanship for the first time, but it took more than two months to cultivate the sound of hell. And Huang Xiaolong only used one day. The practice of fighting skills has nothing to do with the martial arts. This requires comprehension of talents. In the past, Huang Xiaolong was a martial arts centuries-old genius. The past martial arts and fighting skills were similar. When Huang Xiaolong practiced for one day, he cultivated the first stroke of hell's swordsmanship to the small this is not surprising. Looking at the nightfall, Huang Xiaolong stopped the Shura sword practice, returned to the room, and sat on the Hanyu bed to run the Shurao practice. Since breaking through the Fourth Order, Huang Xiaolong's double-headed snake martial arts not only split into twin Super Wu Soul, but also changed shape and rose a big circle. When Huang Xiaolong Wuhan was just awakened, the two-headed snake martial arts had only two slaps, and now each martial art has a size of half a meter. The black and blue double dragons are coiled behind Huang Xiaolong, and Zhang Kao constantly devours the nine secluded air that falls in the void. After breaking through the fourth order, the nine secluded air from the void is darker and thicker and more pure. The faint long way was distributed from the black and blue dragons. Time passed, and soon a month passed. In this way, in addition to practicing Shurao and Yu Jinjing, Huang Xiaolong cultivated the Shura swordsmanship in the small yard every day during the day. One month later, when Huang Xiaolong's blade was shriveled, the blade Mando reached more than forty. The road, and the wind squad of is twice as big as a month ago. One night, Huang Xiaolong came to Hushan to try the power of Hell's Wind. The swords of the two hands shook out, the wind of swept, rolling, all the trees within ten feet were cut off, these trees were cut off. It was covered with a number of blade marks, as if it had been cut by a few hundred people. Looking at the trees that were cut off, Huang Xiaolong was nodded with satisfaction. The fighting technique of Shura's swordsmanship was indeed very strong, and he was much stronger than the swordsmanship of his previous family. However, at this speed, it is necessary to practice this trick of to the realm of Dachen. It should be half a year. Huang Xiaolong thought. Although it is a month of hard work, the power of Hell's Wind is not weak, but it is far from the Dachen situation described in the drawings. If the of this wind is cultivated into the realm of Dachen, a single attack will come out, and the two groups of hells can change direction with Huang Xiaolong's mind. After practicing the Shura swordsmanship in Hushan, Huang Xiaolong slowly converges his mind, his feet are open, his palms are lifted over his head, and he constantly absorbs the aura of heaven and earth. The aura around the world is constantly pouring out of Huang Xiaolong transforming internal forces and gathering in Huang Xiaolong Danchen. Among them. It didn't take long for the cultivation. Suddenly, the golden light of Huang Xiaolong Danchen flashed. Then, the whole body shone, 
and the surrounding airflow rushed out to the four sides. The inner strength of the road was sent from Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong's palm slowly recovered, stopped, his eyes opened, the internal force worked, and finally the internal forces of Yu Jinjing's third force were running through the veins. Then you can cultivate the fourth potential to change the stars in the future. Recalling the fourth trend of Yi Jinjing, Huang Xiaolong's right foot moved slightly to the right front, forming a diagonal slash with the left foot, bending the knee, the body sinking slightly, the right palm is high and the head is straight, the palm is downward, the head is slightly right oblique, the left arm then he bends to the back and begins to breathe slowly. The heavens and the earth come to breathe and rush into his body. A night passed. When the day was white, Huang Xiaolong recovered the right palm and the left arm, and his body posture recovered. He stopped the fourth style of Yi Jinjing. After stopping the Yu Jinjing cultivation, Huang Xiaolong breathed a sigh of relief and practiced the palm of his hand. Then he returned to Huang Jia's Wang. When he returned to Huang Jia's Wang, the sky was already bright. Huang Xiaolong walked to the East Hall and found that both parents Huang Peng and Su Yan were in, however, the atmosphere of the hall was somewhat wrong. Huang Xiaolong could not help but ask, Hey, mother, what happened? Huang Wei has cultivated from Lingqi. Huang Peng looked at his son and said that the voice was a bit low, I heard that he has reached the peak of the second stage. Huang Xiaolong remembers that it has been one month since the opening of Lingqi, and the second peak of the second stage? It seems that Lingqi has been practicing for a month, and the effect is really good. Huang Xiaolong sneered. Hey, mother, next year, you don't have to worry. Huang Xiaolong said, in fact, I have reached the second peak of the second day yesterday. After Huang Xiaolong finished, his body was released. This, the second peak of the second stage. Huang Peng and Su Yan sensed the son's vindictiveness and surprise on his face. Little dragon, this. Huang Peng could not help but look at his son. Did the son have another adventure? Otherwise, it is impossible to reach the early peak of the second order so quickly. Huang Xiaolong smiled and said, Hey, mother, this matter, you should not ask more. Huang Peng and Su Yan look at each other. It seems that there is another secret in their son. However, since the son did not want to say more, the two did not ask more. Well, Xiaolong, as long as you can break through to the third order at the end of the year, even if you can't win Huang Wei, you will be allowed to practice in the mountains afterwards. Huang Peng looked at his son. As long as you break through the third order at the end of the year. Huang Xiaolong listened to his father's words and his face was strange. Huang Peng saw his son's look and thought that by the end of the year, Huang Xiaolong was required to break through the third order. The difficulty was too great. He couldn't help but say, in fact, you and your mother know that it is too difficult for you to break through the third order at the end of the year, so Xiaolong, you don't want to. There is too much pressure. At this time, Huang Peng hesitated and said, as long as you can reach the second order peak in the end of the year, you can do it. The second order late peak. Huang Xiaolong's face is even more weird. Yeah, Xiaolong, if we can't reach the second order late peak, and we reach the second order late stage, we are very happy. Then, the mother Su Yan said. Huang Xiaolong is speechless and has no choice but to smile. Third order? Second order late peak? Second order late? Hey, mother, then I will go back to the small courtyard first. Huang Xiaolong stood up. He was afraid to go on. The parents would not lower the requirements to the second order mid-peak peak. He was afraid that he would not stand up when he arrived. Parents say that their sons have already reached the peak of the fourth stage. Right, Xiaolong. However, just when Huang Xiaolong was about to leave, Huang Peng thought of something and said, A few days is the 80th birthday of the Li Lao Patriarch. The Li Lao Patriarch had a big birthday party and invited us to Huang Jia's Wang. However, the Li Yan girl is not yelling at the Li Lao Patriarch and wants you to participate. 
looking for me to go. Huang Xiaolong stunned, Niang Zipai, this little girl will not really look at him? Just because at the annual meeting, I am very handsome in the posture of Huang Wei into a pig's head? Hey, mother, can you not go? Huang Xiaolong asked weakly. What do you say? Su Yan looked at her eyes. Huang Xiaolong is depressed, it seems that he can't go. Su Yan saw his son's expression and couldn't help but smile. You don't know how to be content with your child. Li Wei is the most loved granddaughter of Li Lao's patriarch. He has a ninth level martial arts, and he must be a beautiful embryo after growing up. Huang Xiaolong is speechless. What does this mean? If the mother knows that her son has a super martial arts, and it is a twin super martial, I am afraid that I will not think so. At this time, Huang Peng also smiled and said, Yes, Xiaolong, your mother said yes, in fact, if you really want Li, the granddaughter of Li, is the wife of my granddaughter, then I am with you. However, Huang Peng said that Huang Xiaolong would stop and say, Okay, hey, I know, I can't go when I get there. When will I go? Are you taking me? Su Yan heard the words and said, Hey, our son is still afraid of shame. When it comes to this, he has not continued to joke, saying, the day after tomorrow, but in addition to you and you, your grandfather, your uncle is still there is that Huang Wei will go. Huang Xiaolong frowned and nodded. Okay, I know. If nothing happens, then I will go back first. Huang Peng and Su Yan nodded. Huang Xiaolong turned and left. Su Yan looked at his son's back and sighed and said, If we can really marry Li Wei as a wife after the dragon, how good. Huang Peng shook his head, with Li Wei's identity, talent, I don't really look at our Xiaolong. That's just an eight-year-old child. When I grow up, I will understand. When the parents talked, Huang Xiaolong did not hear it. After returning to the small courtyard, he continued to cultivate the wind of hell. Soon, two days later, on the day of departure, when Huang Xiaolong came to the East Hall, he was brought to the main hall by his father Huang Peng. When he came to the main hall, his grandfather Huang Kai, Dabo Huang Ming and Huang Wei had arrived. Seeing Huang Xiaolong's arrival, Huang Wei's face was hated. It seems that Huang Kai was not present, but he was afraid that he would have already rushed. Hey! Grandpa! Huang Xiaolong and his father came to Huang Kai, ignoring the eyes of Huang Wei's fierce beast and bowed to Huang Kai. Huang Kai nodded and smiled, since all are here, let's go now. After that, they will step up and Huang Xiaolong will follow. Although Huang Jia's Wang and Jia are both the two forces in Gangxian County, the distance is not close. Li Jia is in the county seat of Jixian County while Huang Jia's Wang is a few hundred miles away from the county seat. Therefore, when Huang Xiaolong and his grandson arrived in Jixian County, it was already afternoon, close to dusk. The German brother, for the younger brother, the soul came from afar, never greeted, forgiveness and forgiveness. When he arrived at the county, Li Lao's patriarch Li Mu smiled and he had already waited there. Li Mu's brother is polite. Huang Kai smiled heartily. Huang Xiaolong looked and saw that Li Xiao's little girl was standing behind a round-faced middle-aged man. The middle-aged man was a little fat, his eyes were not big, and he looked smiling. This is the only son of Li Lao's patriarch, Li Cheng, and Li Wei's old girl? Huang Xiaolong thought. At this time, Li Cheng behind Li Cheng looked at Huang Xiaolong and spit out his tongue, smiled and looked very cute. Huang Xiaolong rolled his eyelids and ignored it. Li Wei saw Huang Xiaolong's look and couldn't help but beep. This scene fell to the side of Huang Wei's eyes, and Huang Wei's heart was filled with hatred. Although his engagement with Li Wei was yellow because of Huang Xiaolong at the annual meeting, in his heart, Li Wei was already determined by him. His wife, now his wife is actually browing in front of him with Huang Xiaolong, after everyone turned cold, they entered the city and came to Li. Li Fu is not located in the center of the county, 
but in the southern area. When Huang Xiaolong and others came to Lifu, they saw the streets of the 20-meter-wide street before Lifu, and the lights were very busy. In the 80th birthday of the wood, in addition to the arrival of Huang Jia's Wang, the patriarchs of the large and small families of Jixian have already arrived. However, tomorrow is the day of great life, so there are still some family leaders who have not arrived. After arriving at Li Fu, Li Mu personally took Huang Xiaolong to the arranged courtyard. There is a need for his brother, despite the need to order the guards in the government, and take care of them, please forgive me. Li Mu laughed at Huang Kai. Huang Kai put his hand and smiled and said, Polite, good, you should go ahead, tomorrow, the two brothers will have two more cups. Li Mu he, he smiled, sure. Finished, leave to leave. However, what made Huang Xiaolong somewhat sullen was that Li Mu had just left, and Li Xiao's little girl had passed. After Huang Kai, Huang Ming and Huang Peng asked for a good voice, they came to Huang Xiaolong and said, Xiao Long, you are come to the county for the first time, go, I will take you out to go shopping. After that, did not wait for Huang Xiao Long to open, he took Huang Xiaolong's hand and walked out of the yard directly. Huang Wei stared at Li Wei's hand holding Huang Xiao Long, and then watched Li Wei and Huang Xiao Long walk out of the yard, his face was ugly, and Huang Ming's face was naturally not good. Huang Kai opened his mouth but eventually he did not know what to say. Only Huang Peng stood there, and his heart had already turned over. Huang Xiaolong was pulled out of the yard by Li Wei, and his brow wrinkled and said, I said that the little girl, don't pull it, let people see the misunderstanding. Li Wei couldn't help but smile, and then smiled and revealed two small dimples on his face, what about misunderstanding? I am your wife, my wife is pulling her husband's hand, it is normal. I am not afraid of misunderstanding. Also, don't call me a little girl in the future, I am already very big. Speaking of this, it is quite a small chest. Huang Xiaolong's forehead black line emerged. Wife? Very big? He looked at Li Xiao's small chest that had not yet developed, and he smiled in the heart. It was still plain. Li Wei saw Huang Xiaolong staring at his chest, his face was red, his voice was a bit low, you, watching people like this, people will be embarrassed, and so many people. Huang Xiaolong was speechless and simply closed his mouth. He took out his hand and turned to Li Fu. He came to the street. He was indeed the first time to come to this county town. He wanted to take a good look. Xiaolong, wait for me. Li Wei saw Huang Xiaolong leave his hand and couldn't help but whisper, followed closely, but this time he did not pull Huang Xiaolong's hand, but took Huang Xiaolong's arm. Son, full of like a little wife of grace, a body scent that is not a woman is drilled into the nose of Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong's body hided and said, You go back first, I will go shopping myself. Li licked his mouth and suddenly his eyes turned red, well, I will go back and tell my grandfather, and say that you bully me. Huang Xiaolong reached for a stop and had some headaches, well, let's go, but you promise me that you are not allowed to pull. Li Wei broke this and laughed. His eyes turned and nodded. That's all right. Seeing Li Hao nod, Huang Xiaolong breathed a sigh of relief and turned around. Li Wei was on the right side of Huang Xiaolong's side. It was very well behaved. The round eyes looked at Huang Xiaolong's right face from time to time. Huang Xiaolong also ignored it and went shopping. Along the way, the two did not say anything. After a round of laps, when Huang Xiaolong was about to return to Li Fu, he suddenly saw a group of pedestrians on the street in front of him pointing and pointing and talking about something. Huang Xiaolong's heart was strange and Li Wei walked up to the front and then went into the crowd to see it. I saw a middle-aged man with a unkempt hair, a smudged face and a ruined body in the middle of the crowd. It was obviously a coma. There are still a few small blood on the ground next to the middle-aged man. It seems that the middle-aged person is sick and sick. 
Huang Xiaolong stared at the middle-aged man for a while, hesitated for a moment, then went forward, and then lifted the middle-aged person. He now breaks through the fourth order, and his arm strength is not weak. It is not difficult to lift an adult. Seeing that Huang Xiaolong lifted the injured middle-aged man, Li Wei could not help. Let's go. When Huang Xiaolong carried the middle-aged man and passed by Li Wei, he saw Li Wei still standing there, and could not help but open the door. Li Wei just woke up and followed up, could not help but ask, Little Dragon, you why are you going to take this person back? You didn't understand it when you said it. Huang Xiaolong didn't return. Did you understand? Li Xiao's mouth was screaming, but he did not ask again. On the way, Huang Xiaolong asked Li Yu Li Fu back door, then carried the middle-aged man from the back door of Li Fu and placed in a remote room in Li Fu. Looking at the middle-aged man on the bed, Huang Xiaolong ran his internal force, raised his hand, and suddenly pointed to the middle-aged man's chest, and then went down, a little more than a dozen times, after the point, Huang Xiaolong panted, his forehead sweating. Li Wei stood behind Huang Xiaolong and watched Huang Xiaolong confuse him in the middle-aged man. His eyes were puzzled. You make people take a suit and help him wash it. After Huang Xiaolong took a break, he opened his mouth and said to Li. Oh, good. Li Wei came back to God and nodded. After a while, the servants of the Lifa government took the clothes and washed the middle-aged people. However, the middle-aged people still did not wake up. You go back first. Huang Xiaolong saw the middle-aged man still not awake, and said to Li. Li Xiaogang wanted to say that he stayed here with Huang Xiaolong, but when he met Huang Xiaolong, he decided to nod his head, that's all right. It didn't take long for Li Wei to leave. On the wooden bed, Fei Ho slowly opened his eyes and woke up. He supported his body and slowly rose. He glanced around and finally his eyes fell on Huang Xiaolong. His eyes were puzzled and asked, Little brother, did you save me? Not bad. Huang Xiaolong nodded. Where is this? Here is the Li County of Lixian County. Fei Ho tried to walk down from the bed, his brow wrinkled, G County. In his memory, I don't remember where this county is. Little brother, thank you for saving me. I have something to do. I have to leave first. When Fei Ho was about to leave the room, he suddenly had a severe pain in his body. Wow, the blood in his mouth spurted out and fell to the ground. Huang Xiaolong hand fast, hands to hold it, let him sit on the bed, said, Your injury is very serious, the body meridians have been broken, I temporarily use the return soul to point out your important points, stabilize your injury if you going around indiscriminately. Speaking of this, Huang Xiaolong stopped, meaning it goes without saying. Returning to the soul? Acupoints. Fei Ho looked at Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong did not explain, and his tone changed. He asked, Are you a sure Amen disciple? At the time, Huang Xiaolong saw a statue of Xiu Luo's head in Fei Ho's left arm. This is the symbol of Shura's disciple, so Huang Xiaolong will bring it back. What? Who are you? How do you know that I am a Shura Amun disciple? Fei Ho was shocked. Huo Ran looked at Huang Xiaolong and looked alert. Huang Xiaolong did not answer. Under Fei Ho's gaze, he raised his left hand and a black ring appeared on Huang Xiaolong's left ring finger. Repair, repair, repair Luo Ring. Fei Ho looked at the dark ring, after a look of stunned, shocked, and excited, cannot believe. Huang Xiaolong pays attention to the Fei Ho reaction. According to the drawing, this Shul ring is a symbol of the master of Shur Amen. After any disciple of Shur Amen sees it, he will bow down to the ceremony. After Fei Ho was shocked and excited, he came back to God and quickly bowed to Huang Xiaolong, the Shur Amen disciple Fei Ho sees the door the doorkeeper is invincible. When Huang Xiaolong saw it, his heart was loose. If this time, the response of Fei Ho's expression was wrong, 
his Shura blade would not hesitate to cut Fei Ho's throat. This time, the meridians of the body were broken and seriously injured, and certainly could not hide from Huang Xiaolong's. The blade of Shura. Fei Ho? You get up. Huang Xiaolong nodded. Yes, Zeman Lord. Fei Ho stood up, and looked very respectful. Huang Xiaolong could see that this time, the conspiracy is not pretending, but from the heart. How did you get hurt? Huang Xiaolong thought about it and asked. Go back to the main, subordinate to the Silver Moon Forest, I wanted to hunt a ten-order ghost-eyed demon spider, use its demon to make alchemy, but unfortunately the ghost-eyed demon spider is a male and a female, so... Fei Ho said this, some embarrassed. So being killed? Huang Xiaolong secretly, but this fee can escape from the two ten-order monsters, it seems that the strength is very strong, at least stronger than his grandfather Huang Kai. After listening to Fei Ho's answer, Huang Xiaolong understood that Fei Men's meridians were shaken and the injuries were so heavy. You sit down, I will heal you first. After a sigh of relief, Huang Xiaolong said, although he now wants to know more about Shure Men, but this time the injury is too heavy, the most important one is completely stable first. Its injury is only okay. The doorkeeper, my body's meridians were shaken. Fei Haoyi, hesitated, said. The meridians are shattered. In general, it is impossible to repair them unless you can find some legendary holy medicine. You don't have to worry. Huang Xiaolong waved his hand and said, I can bring back your meridians, but it should take half a year. The doormaster can continue to break the meridians in my body. Fei Ho was shocked. He did not doubt Huang Xiaolong's words. He just thought it was somewhat ridiculous. Is the doormaster with the legendary holy medicine? You are sitting down now. Huang Xiaolong continued. Fei Ho's heart was doubtful, but he did not dare to disobey. After respecting it, he should sit down and sit down. He just sat down. Huang Xiaolong's palms were attached to his back, and the internal force was running. He entered his body from his back and suddenly Fei Ho feels that the back of the road produces a warm current, and quickly converges on the mind, with Huang Xiaolong, guiding the warmth to nourish the whole body. More than an hour passed. Huang Xiaolong just pulled back and his face was pale. Although he has cultivated Yu Jinjing to the fourth potential, but the internal force is still weaker, but after more than an hour of his internal force input, Fei Ho has been able to guide the body to repair the internal muscles. After a while, Huang Xiaolong looked at the bed while still sitting on the bed, and then went out of the room and then went back to his yard. Huang Peng saw his son's face tired and came back. He couldn't help but feel strange. Didn't the son go out shopping with Li Wei? Little dragon, are you okay? Huang Peng could not help but ask. Huang Xiaolong looked at his father's concern for his eyes and couldn't help but smile, Hey, I'm fine. Huang Peng looked relaxed and asked, Is Li Yan girl going back? Huang Xiaolong nodded. Suddenly, Huang Peng smiled and smiled a little bit strangely. He stared at Huang Xiaolong and joked, Is Li's girl's hand very soft and soft? Is it comfortable to be held by a beautiful woman? Huang Xiaolong stunned, and then smiled bitterly, I said Lao Jio, what do you say, my girl and Li Wei really have nothing. Huang Peng smiled and said, well, I know that you and Li Yunyang have nothing, but what is Li Wei girl and you? When it comes to this, Huang Peng smiles very happy, you don't know, just now Li Yan girl took you. When the hand went out, Huang Wei's look was ugly and ugly, just like taking a sip. Huang Xiaolong shook his head and smiled. However, Xiaolong, you have to guard against Huang Wei in the future. Huang Peng turned his voice and looked worried. I know, hey, you can rest assured, nothing, then I will go back to the room first. Huang Xiaolong said. Huang Peng nodded, that's good, go back to rest. After Huang Xiaolong returned to the room, he took the Hanya bed out of the Shura ring and sat on it. He began to practice Shura. 
After a night, when the day became clear, Huang Xiaolong stopped the movement, and all the fatigue disappeared and stretched out. The spirit is better than ever. From the room, Huang Xiaolong went out of the yard and went to the room where Fei Ho was. When Huang Xiaolong had just arrived, he saw Fei Ho coming out of the room. Seeing the doorkeeper, the owner is invincible. Fei Ho saw Huang Xiaolong, and hurriedly greeted him. He respectfully bowed and said that after Huang Xiaolong healed him last night, he became more respectful to Huang Xiaolong. You get up. Huang Xiaolong nodded. Fei Ho is respectful to stand up. Fei Ho, in the face of others, you will call me a lesser master. Huang Xiaolong said, and, the door is invincible in the world, don't call it later. The door is invincible, and Huang Xiaolong knows how to be awkward. He knows that this was what I was mad at the time. Fei Ho hesitated a moment and said, The door owner, the invincible king of the door is the old door of the year, will this be? Huang Xiaolong waved his hand and said, I know that this was set by the master in the same year. However, the rules are fixed. Now I am the owner. This rule will be abolished in the future. Master? Fei Ho had previously doubted the relationship between Huang Xiaolong and the old door. Now, I finally know, but I think, in addition to the pro-disciples of the old door, who else can take over the position of the master of Shura? At the moment, Fei Ho respectfully said, follow the order of the Lord. How is your injury recovered? Asked Huang Xiaolong. Returning to the main, the injury has been restored to the 6-7, and it should be able to fully recover in three days, but the meridians in the body. Fei Ho said this and stopped. You don't have to worry about your meridians. Huang Xiaolong said, you tell me about the situation of Shure Men now. When Fei Ho listened, it was not difficult to see the face. How? Huang Xiaolong frowned. When Fei Ho saw Huang Xiaolong's look, he knew that Huang Xiaolong had misunderstood and quickly replied, The door owner, not his subordinates, is not willing to report, but his subordinates are not very clear. Not very clear. Huang Xiaolong stunned. Yes. Fei Ho nodded, and then explained to Huang Xiaolong. It turned out that Fei Ho joined Solomon for nearly two decades, and he never went to Shure Men headquarters. Twenty years ago, he met to his master, he was treated as a disciple by his master, because his master is the elder of Shure Men, so he joined Shure Men, and his master did not say how to repair Shu Men. His teacher is called Yu Ming. But Shai Zun said that since the disappearance of the old doorkeeper fifty years ago, within the Shure Men, in order to compete for the position of the gatekeeper, split into two factions. Fei Ho said. Split into two factions. Huang Xiaolong frowned, where is your teacher, Ming Ming is now. Three years ago, I separated from the master, and I never saw master again. At that time, master said that I would go to the king of Mohi to do something. Fei Ho replied. Mohi kingdom? This Mohi kingdom, Huang Xiaolong knows, but it is not close to the Latong kingdom where Huang Jiazhuang is located. From the kingdom of Latong to the Mohi kingdom, it is necessary to pass through more than a dozen kingdoms. From this point of view, it is impossible to understand the details of Shura Gate now. At this time, Li Wei ran from a distance, and saw Huang Xiaolong far away. He said with a pretty face, Xiaolong. I know that you are here, let's go, the banquet will start, let's go now. Huang Xiaolong saw Li Wei, had some headaches, and turned to Fei Haodeo, you will go with me. Yes, less master. Fei Ho respectfully said. Although Li Wei's heart was puzzled by Fei Ho as Huang Xiaolong, he did not think much. When he ran to Huang Xiaolong, he pulled up Huang Xiaolong's hand and ran to the front hall. It seems that pulling Huang Xiaolong's hand has become one of her habits. Huang Xiaolong wanted to pull his hand back. Unexpectedly, this little girl was very tightly held. He couldn't get out of it for a while. Huang Xiaolong could only let Li Wei pull himself to the front hall. 
when he came to the front hall, he just came across the small yard. Father Huang Peng five people. Huang Wei saw that Li Wei took Huang Xiaolong's hand, and the look could be imagined. As for Huang Peng, he gave Huang Xiaolong a weird and awkward smile, and secretly gave Huang Xiaolong a thumb and looked at his father's vertical thumb movement. Huang Xiaolong was depressed. After entering the hall, everyone sat down. Huang Kai naturally accompanied Li Mu to the main table. However, when he sat down, Li Lan took Huang Xiaolong to sit beside him. As for Fei Ho, he immediately stood behind Huang Xiaolong. Huang Kai and Huang Peng also noticed the Fei Ho behind Huang Xiaolong. Because Fei Ho called Huang Xiaolong as a young master, he thought that Huang Xiaolong had bought a new slave in the slave market when he went out shopping last night. Fei Ho, you also go to sit by. Huang Xiaolong sees Fei Ho standing behind him, pointing to the empty space next to another table. After all, Fei Ho is also a ten-order powerhouse. Standing is always bad. At this time, Huang Wei's harsh voice sounded, Sit. Huang Xiaolong, today is the banquet of the Li Lao Patriarch's birthday. Are you a newly bought slave who is also qualified to sit here? Huang Xiaolong looked at Huang Wei, cold and cold, if he is not qualified to sit here, then you are not qualified. What? Huang Xiaolong, you. Huang Wei heard, his heart was angry, he had a ten-level martial arts, and later was the future owner of Huang Jia's Wang. Huang Xiaolong even said that he was not even a slave. At this time, Huang Kai suddenly said, Well, here is Li Fu. It is the banquet of the Li Lao Patriarch. Huang Wei listened to Grandpa's opening and couldn't help but look at Huang Xiaolong with a hateful look. Then, Huang Kai turned to Huang Xiaolong, Xiaolong, this person is your new slave? He is really not qualified to sit here. Huang Xiaolong's brow wrinkled, Grandpa still favored Huang Wei in the end. Since the two souls awakened, Huang Kai went to Huang Wei. This time, if Li Wei is not letting Huang Xiaolong come, Grandpa Huang Kai will definitely bring Huang Wei to come. At this time, Huang Kai said, You let your slaves leave first, go back to the courtyard and wait. Go away? Huang Xiaolong is somewhat angry. Grandpa's meaning is that Fei Haolian has no qualifications to stand here. Xiaolong, you didn't listen to what your grandfather said, still don't let your slaves get out of the way? This is the banquet of the Li Lao Patriarch's birthday. You come with a slave. Isn't that a shame to us? Huang Ming also said. The language is ridiculous. Get out of the way. Huang Xiaolong angered and sneered, even if I am a new slave, I will not be able to take the lead. You. Huang Ming did not expect this occasion, Huang Xiaolong even dared to hit him, his eyes vertical. Well, Xiaolong. At this moment, Huang Peng said, listen to your grandfather, let him go back to the courtyard first. Although I feel that Huang Huang and Huang Ming said too much, but Huang Peng also feels that it is a bit inappropriate for a son to bring a slave to this occasion. Huang Xiaolong stunned, pressed his heart to anger, and finally nodded. He said to him afterwards, Fi Hao, you should go back and wait for me. From the beginning to the end, Fei Ho calmed down, yes, less master. After finishing the ceremony, he turned and left. Huang Wei looked at Fei Ho and left, and he was proud of it. Sitting next to Huang Xiaolong, Li Wei looked at Huang Wei's smug look, and his eyes glanced at Huang Wei. At this moment, the laughter sounded loudly outside the hall. It was Li Lao's patriarch Li Mu. Everyone looked and saw Li Mu, Li Cheng and others coming to the hall under the crowd of Li Fu's Hong. When everyone saw it, they couldn't help but stand up. But when Li Mu and others just smiled into the hall, they suddenly heard a shout, Old patriarch, not good, big things are not good. The voice was abrupt, and the hall of laughter and laughter was not silenced. Li Mu looked shocked and turned to look at it. I saw a in Lifa flustered and ran in horror from outside the Lifa gate. 
He came to Li Mu and Li Cheng, gasping, pointing to the door, and trembled, Old Patriarch, outside, outside. Outside? What happened? Li Mu felt a bad feeling in his heart, asked. Everyone is a tight heart. Outside, there is a big coffin. The of Li Fu returned to the air and trembled. What? A big coffin. What happened? Above the main hall, all the family leaders who came to Hesh Hu, the masters were all taken aback and talked about it. Li Mu's heart was a hop, his face was dignified, go. After he finished, he and his son Li Cheng went outside the gate of Li Fu, and Li Fu's Hong followed closely. Let's go out and see. Huang Kai said, then stepped out of the hall, and Huang Xiaolong and the five out of the Lifu gate, and Li Wei followed Huang Xiaolong, although she was not able to understand her grandfather's birthday when she was at the door. What a big coffin represents, but she also looks nervous. Huang Xiaolong followed the grandfather Huang Kai out of the Lifu gate, and saw that there was a red coffin on the street in front of the Lifu gate, facing the Lifu gate. Above the coffin, dyed with human blood, bloody, a smell spread out, pungent. Looking at this strange sight, everyone was shocked. Li Mu came to the big coffin in front of the big coffin, his face was cold, and he said, Where is the mouse generation? Dare to come to Li Fu to chase? Give me out. Li Mu, drinking, surrounded by turbulence, forming a huge lion in the sky, the griffin for a long time. Everyone was shocked and looked odd. Huang Xiaolong's eyes flashed. His father and he said that Li Mu's fighting skills, this should be the metaphysical intermediate fighting skills, Tian smashed. After a while, the huge lion at high altitude disappeared and it was quiet around. Oh! Just then, suddenly, a sneer came from the void, in all directions, let people not know the direction of the voice, Li Laotu, today is your 80th birthday, we sent you this gifts, you should be happy, what are you doing with such a big fire? People who are angry are short-lived. Everyone glanced around and tried to find out where the person who was pronounced was hiding. After a while, Li Mu and Huang Kai looked at a government house across the street at the same time. Li Mu Fei stood up, suddenly sipped, and took a palm, and saw that under the palm of the hand, countless palm prints rotated, forming a huge storm, and the sky was over the storm. Fenjiun Palm the huge storm formed by the palm print instantly slammed into the front court. Suddenly, a miserable green boxing broke through the air and greeted Li Mu's power. The two sides collided together and banged loudly. Two horrible green figures rushed from the front court, standing in the air, Huang Xiaolong and everyone. Look, I saw these two figures, even the body is covered with snake-like scales, black eyes, green stripes on the face and a tail like a snake tail behind. Soul. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are condensed. After reaching the seventh stage of the warrior, the martial arts will change for the second time, and the body can be merged with the martial arts. This ability is called soul. After the soul, you can have some innate ability of the martial arts, such as a person's martial arts. The soul is a viper, then after the soul, his body is full of anger it has a certain poison. Obviously, the two souls in front of you are a kind of snake, and it looks like a snake. Hey, Li Laotu, your style is just that. We will not kill you now, within three years, you will take your dog. You open the coffin and look at the birthday we gave you. The other two appeared, cold smile, flying flash, the whole body was shrouded in two green light, the speed is very fast and soon disappeared in front of everyone. Li Mu apparently did not expect the other party to escape when they came out. When they reacted and wanted to catch up, it was no longer possible. Hey! After a while, Li Cheng came forward and came to Li Mu's body, then looked at the closed coffin, let's open. Li Mu turned to the first and took a deep breath, open it. Li Chen Gwen said that when he came to the mouth of the big coffin, he felt a little nervous in his heart. He shot the palm of his hand and shot it. When he saw it, 
he saw a person lying inside the coffin. A dead man. A 16-year-old boy. The teenager is green and green. Seeing the face of the teenager, Li Cheng suddenly shuddered, his eyes were red, and his tears fell, finger. My peak. After that, the young boy was taken out of the coffin and held tightly. My peak. You can't die, my peak. Li Cheng cried so loudly. Li Mu saw the face of the teenager, and his face was full of tears. He stood there and even cried in the face of everyone. Brother, brother. At this time, Li Wei, standing next to Huang Xiaolong, also walked out and rushed over to the young man, crying and shouting, shaking his teenager's body with his hands, Brother, what happened to you? Brother, you wake up, I don't want you to die, I don't want you to die. Brother, wake up. You wake up. Li weeping is not making a sound. At this time, Li Fu's guards, maids and many masters also went forward and cried, crying, crying, the dead teenager is Li Xiao's eldest brother Li Feng, and Li Cheng's only son, Li Feng is very talented. Like Li Wei, he has nine top-level martial arts souls. Three years ago, he was seen by Chu Yunzong, a large sect of the Latong Kingdom. He became a disciple of Chu Yunzong. He did not expect this 18-year-old Li Mu to be killed. Death, when Cheng Shuli is sent. All the great family leaders who came to celebrate the birthday, the masters secretly shook their heads, did not expect this Li Jia Li patriarch's birthday, this will happen. Fenger, it's grandpa who killed you. Li Muzhen was there, his hands trembled, he touched his grandson's face, and his tears dripped on his grandson, but his grandson could not move, and he could no longer hear his call. You can rest assured that Grandpa will revenge for you. Certainly. Li Mu's eyes are decided. In the distance, Huang Xiaolong looked and his eyes were red. There was silence in the surrounding people. After a long time, Li Mu Kai picked up his grandson and walked back to Li Fu. After everyone followed him, he entered Li Fu. The red cloth of the joyful lanterns hanging in the former Li Fu was so glaring at this time. The feast of the longevity did not last. Not long after, the great family leaders who came to celebrate the birthday, the masters have left and left, the original lively Li Fu suddenly became silent and dead. Finally, there are only five Huang Xiaolong left to come to the birthday. Li Laodai, the festival is sorrowful. Huang Kaid came to Li Mu's side and said with relief, There is something in the future, and the voice is heard. We are here to help each other. Huang Kaid did not expect that this would happen. Now, they are not allowed to stay, they can only leave. Yellow brother, thank you. Li Mu's voice is sad. Huang Kaid nodded, and he couldn't say anything. He had to leave with Huang Xiaolong, but at that time, Li Wei suddenly ran over and hugged Huang Xiaolong and cried, Xiaolong, don't go, okay. Everyone around them looks at Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong's face was sore, hesitated, and took a shot of Li Wei's shoulder. He said, I will come to see you often. You can rest assured that I will kill each other and avenge your brother. Everyone heard the words, and they all shook their heads and smiled. Only when the children talked casually, no one took Huang Xiaolong's words seriously. Even Li Mu did not fully grasp the other side, let alone a child under eight years old. Then you must come to see me often. Li Yu tears her eyes. Huang Xiaolong can only nod. Li Mu personally sent a few people from Huang Xiaolong to Li Fu. After several people disappeared, Huang Xiaolong returned to Li. In the evening, Huang Xiaolong returned to Huang Jia's Wang. After returning to Huang Jia's Wang, Huang Xiaolong did not practice Xiu Luajin that night. Instead, he stood on the top of Hyushan Mountain and watched the stars flashing in the night sky. Two meters behind Huang Xiaolong, Fi Hao stood there and waited. Fei Ho, you said, after death, will it turn into a night sky star? Suddenly, Huang Xiaolong said. Fei Hao Yi, Night Sky Star. 
obviously did not expect Huang Xiaolong to suddenly ask this question. I used to live in the hometown, saying that when people die, they will turn into night sky stars, and then guard their loved ones. Huang Xiaolong secluded. Is it a night sky star? Guarding my loved ones. Fei Ho shook his head and said, In this world, only strong strength can protect and protect your loved ones. Strong strength. Huang Xiaolong stayed. Yes, strong strength. Fei Ho nodded. That's right, strong strength. Huang Xiaolong has a double fist and a double-eyed flash under the night sky. Only strong strength can protect and protect his loved ones. He wants to be stronger. Be strong and stronger. Only in this way can he protect and protect his loved ones. An invisible momentum emerged from Huang Xiaolong, and even Fei Ho was shocked. Go, let's go back. After a while, Huang Xiaolong took back the momentum and said, then turned and went back to Huang Jia's Wang at the foot of the mountain, and Fei Ho followed. After returning to Huang Jia's Wang, Huang Xiaolong took out the Hanya bed, sat down, and ran the Shura, and the nine secluded air continued to roll down from the void. Time flies. Ten months passed quickly. After returning from Li Jia's Yashao, Huang Peng discovered that his son was more crazy than he used to practice. He stayed in the small yard all day, almost without a step. Looking at his son's crazy practice, Huang Peng and Su Yan naturally felt distressed. Come to the small courtyard to see Huang Xiaolong. In the past ten months, Huang Xiaolong's fighting spirit has been improved at a horrible rate. When he came back from Li's birthday, Huang Xiaolong was the fourth peak of the fourth stage. After half a month, he broke through the fourth order mid-term. After one month, he reached the fourth order mid-peak peak. After the month is the fourth order late. In October, Huang Xiaolong not only broke through the fifth order, but also reached the fifth order late peak. As for Yi Jinjing, Huang Xiaolong also cultivated to the fifth potential. This morning, the sun was shining, and on the hills and mountains, Huang Xiaolong's hands with Shura's blade swayed out. More than 100 knives appeared out of thin air. Only two whistles with a height of 5 meters were constantly rolling and rotating. When the wind of hell passed, all the trees were broken into more than 100, and the two winds that had been rolling forward suddenly turned one turn, turned to the left, and then turned to the right. Ten months. The Hell's Wind has not only increased its power by ten times, but Huang Xiaolong has been able to control his attack direction at will, and the Hell Wind will dissipate after rolling twelve or three breaths. The wind of is finally great, and now it is only the power. Huang Xiaolong looked at the fallen trees around him, and said to himself, the mood of the wind of Hell, he has fully realized, and later with his vindictive improvement, the power of this wind will continue to increase. The drawing said that there was a man who used the wind of to swallow a radius of 100,000 miles. Within 100,000 miles, all the lives were exhausted, and the grass did not stay. There are more than 20 days to be the next annual meeting. Huang Xiaolong took Shura's blade back into his arm and thought. After practicing the Shura swordsmanship in Hushan, Huang Xiaolong practiced a magical sword. Although the swordsmanship of the previous life was not overbearing than the Shura swordsmanship, the power was not weak. In normal times, Huang Xiaolong could display the swordsmanship against the enemy. The demon swords are unfolded, and a sword follows a sword. The sword shadow is heavy, and the circle and the circle are displayed. At the end of the exhibition, more and more fierce, there are demons and demons, and all the ghosts are exhausted. After practicing for a while, the sun is already very big, and the sun is shining. It shines on the body for a long time, and it feels hot. Huang Xiaolong stopped and returned to Huang Jia's Wang. When he returned to the small yard, Fei Ho had already waited there. The doorkeeper. Fei Ho saw Huang Xiaolong come back and respectfully said that he knew that Huang Xiaolong would come back from Hushan every day so he waited in front of the gate of the yard. Huang Xiaolong nodded and walked into the small courtyard and asked, How is your Luhan sword practice? 
Five months ago, Feihou's meridians had been completely connected, and Huang Xiaolong taught a set of Luhan swordsmanship to pay this fee. Ho! Oh. Returning to the door, the subordinates have already cultivated to the tenth move. Feihou respectfully, grateful to the heart, the doorkeeper not only completely continued his internal meridians, but also taught him the high-level fighting skills Luo Han swordsmanship, these ten months, after his meridians were cured, the fighting spirit was broken again. The tenth move. Huang Xiaolong nodded, less than half a year, this Fei Ho will practice the Luhan swordsmanship to the tenth move, it is also very rare. Hey! When Huang Xiaolong entered the yard, a small figure broke through the air, and Huang Xiaolong did not evade. The small figure fell on the shoulder of Huang Xiaolong, which was the devouring purple monkey. In the past year, there is still no change in the shape of the demying purple monkey. Although there is no change in the shape of the demixed purple monkey, the strength is even more terrifying than Huang Xiaolong. Although Huang Xiaolong is now the fifth order peak, but if he does not use Shura Sword Law, cannot hurt this devouring purple monkey. Little guy. Have you been hunting the monsters in the past few days? Huang Xiaolong looked at the shoulders of the devouring purple monkey, laughing, precisely because the devouring purple monkey went hunting every once in a while, swallowing serve the demon, so the strength is not slower than Huang Xiaolong. Even if Huang Xiaolong has a twin super martial arts, he has to envy the ability of the demonized purple monkey to directly swallow the demon. The devouring purple monkey listened to Huang Xiaolong's questioning, raised his hands and screamed, and screamed triumphantly, showing off to Huang Xiaolong the results of hunting the monsters in the past few days. Looking at the cute appearance of the demon purple monkey, Huang Xiaolong smiled and said, OK, little guy, I know you are very good, OK. The devouring purple monkey is arrogant, and that means it is clear, of course. Huang Xiaolong shook his head, and then let the spirited purple monkey go to play by himself, and he used his skills to show off the magic sword and Fei Ho. Of course, when compared with the test, Fei Ho made the pressure of the bucket to the peak of the fifth stage. In the past two months, Huang Xiaolong has tried and learned from the Ten Order powerhouse of Fei Hao, and his practical experience has been enriched. However, when Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho learned, the fishing monkey, which was originally called to play by Huang Xiaolong, ran back again, and suddenly flew a longitudinal attack. Therefore, the original comparison between Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho became a scene in which two people and one monkey attacked each other. Sometimes Huang Xiaolong attacked the devouring purple monkey, the devouring purple monkey attacked Fei Ho, Fei Ho attacked Huang Xiaolong, and sometimes Huang Xiaolong and Ph. Ling purple monkeys joined forces to attack Fei Ho. The entire small courtyard, sword shadow, monkey claws flashed. The monkey claws of the devouring purple monkey are very sharp, comparable to the weapon of the gods, and sometimes the pressures that have been suppressed by the temperament are accidentally caught, and they are all grinning. Because of the devouring purple monkey and Fei Ho, the days of Huang Xiaolong's cultivation are not so boring, and they are full and happy. Soon, twenty days passed. The end of the year is coming. In Huang Jia's Wang, as in previous years, the lights, the guards, the maids, and the slaves are also busy, a joy. Next year is the family annual meeting. Huang Xiaolong stood in the yard, watching the snow falling from the sky, the snow is very white and pure, reaching out, the snow fell on the palm of the hand, some cold. Huang Xiaolong remembered that it has not been three years after snowing, Huang Xiaolong likes the sun, but he also likes the snowing days, a white day, as if to cover up all the ugliness and dirtiness in the world. Fei Ho stood two meters behind Huang Xiaolong and waited. I don't know what Li Wei is doing now. Huang Xiaolong thought. After returning from Li Fu's birthday, Huang Xiaolong took his father Huang Peng to Li to visit Li Wei twice. Since the birthday banquet, Li Xiao's little girl has become very ignorant, and like the Huang Xiaolong, he fell into madness. Practice. The snow continued to fall. After a while, Huang Xiaolong was covered with a thick layer of snow. 
Huang Xiaolong's body was shocked, his body was snowy and colorful, then he turned and left the yard, and Fei Ho went to the East Hall. Just did not go to the East Hall, Huang Xiaolong heard the cry of his mother Su Yan, the heart is strange, stepping up, when entering the hall, I saw my mother Su Yan holding her sister Huang Min and her brother Huang Xiaohe, eyes red, obviously just cried, and my father Huang Peng is also, with a look of anger. My sister Huang Min's left face and right face are printed with two red and clear five fingers, while her younger brother Huang Xiaohe's mouth is broken, blood is flowing, his eyes are black and swollen, and it is obviously being embarrassed. Who is playing? Huang Xiaolong looked at his sister and his brother, and he said. Except for Huang Wei, who else? Su Yan cried. Huang Wei. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are cold, and it is really him. I want to come. In Huang Jia's Wang, except for Huang Wei, no one should dare to fight. At this time, my sister Huang Min cried, I played with Xiaohe in Zhuang Neiz Wan today. When I came back, I met Huang Wei and Zhou Zudong. Huang Wei said that we blocked his way and then shot us. Min crying. Su Yan then cried, and that Huang Wei poisoned Min and Xiao Hai after a meal, and Minor and Xiaohe clothes were all smashed. What? Huang Xiaolong was angry, and his heart was flashing. On such a deep winter snowy day, my sister and my brother did not practice vindictiveness, and the whole body clothes were smashed, and it was possible to freeze them. Big brother, that Huang Wei let me tell you, he said that at the annual meeting of the family, he wants you to look good. Huang Min cried to Huang Xiaolong. I want to look good. Huang Xiaolong's heart is suppressing the intention, since tomorrow is the annual meeting, then good then he will let Huang Wei more happy day. A night passed. The snow has stopped. It was getting clearer, but there was no sunshine. Huang Xiaolong stopped practicing and took the yard out of the yard, came to the east hall, and then came to the front hall with his parents. When I came to the front hall, many elders in Huang Jia's Wang, management and disciples have arrived. Huang Xiaolong glanced at him and saw Huang Ming, Huang Wei and his son were already sitting there. At this time, Huang Wei also looked over and touched Huang Xiaolong's eyes. Huang Wei's mouth sneered with sneer, disdain, and his eyes showed strong hatred. After returning from Li Fu's birthday, Huang Wei's hatred of Huang Xiaolong increased every day. Whenever he thought of Li Wei's face in his face, he pulled Huang Xiaolong's hand and thought that before leaving, Li Wei actually held Huang Xiaolong and cried. Huang Wei did not want to smash the flesh and blood of Huang Xiaolong. The two collided and then removed. Huang Xiaolong and his father Huang Peng, his mother Su Yan came to Huang Ming and Huang Wei sat down opposite the father and son. Not long after, Grandpa Huang Kaid will arrive. Grandpa looked at Huang Kida appearance. Huang Xiaolong naturally understand Huang Kida grandfather came to attend the annual meeting of the reason, he dedicated training Michael, but last time the annual meeting that he beat up Michael, this is how much brush his face, this time, he came to nothing but want to watch Huang Wei defeat himself and then find his face. Huang Kai arrived and everyone got up and saluted. Well, everyone is sitting. Huang Kai smiled on his face and pressed his hand. The people resit back. As in the previous year, the big housekeeper Chen Ying stood up and started the speech at the annual meeting. After the speech, after Huang Kai nodded, Fang began to shout, The annual meeting begins. The annual meeting begins. There was a brief silence in the hall. Then, the disciples who were awakened by the martial arts this year went on stage to learn from each other. In the past years, Huang Xiaolong and Huang Wei, who were awakened by the Wushan, can only wait for the disciples who have awakened this year to compete and test. Everyone on the main hall looked at the disciples who were awakened by the martial arts on the stage this year. They all looked at each other and they were all absent-minded. Apparently, everyone was expecting a comparison between Huang Xiaolong and Huang Wei. Last year, Huang Wei, the best genius of Huang Jia's Wang talent, 
the grandson who was cultivated by the old Zhuangzi was turned into a pig's head by Huang Xiaolong, so this year? Huang Kai sat on the podium, and he was full of expectations. Soon, in the expectation of everyone, this year's martial arts awakened disciples ended their trials. When the disciples awakened by this year's martial arts ended their trials, there was a brief silence on the entire hall. The silence was a bit strange, almost at the same time. Everyone's eyes were cast on Huang Wei and Huang Xiaolong. Different from the previous year, this time, Huang Xiaolong stood up first. After Huang Xiaolong stood up, he slowly walked onto the stage of the martial arts in the center of the main hall. Everyone saw that Huang Xiaolong was actually more surprised than Huang Wei's first appearance. Huang Xiaolong came to the station to stand, watching Huang Wei under the stage, cold and cold, how? Do you dare to come up? Huang Wei stood up, ha ha smiled, flew and jumped, standing in front of Huang Xiaolong, I will not dare to come up? It is a big joke. Huang Xiaolong, the last time you attacked me. I was lucky enough to win me a half-style, this once, do you think you are still so good? Huang Wei's words fell, and the main hall was silent. Everyone looks weird. Sneak attack? Fortunately, I won a trick and a half. Huang Xiaolong did not expect Huang Wei's skin to be thick to this extent. Huang Wei did not pay attention to the expression of the people. He turned his head and said to Huang Kai, Grandpa, According to the rules of the annual meeting, the disciples are more than trying to learn from each other. It can't be intervened, isn't it? After that, I looked at Huang Peng on the stage, that means obviously, however, he was afraid that when Huang Xiaolong was half dead, Huang Peng couldn't help but stop. Yes, no matter who, cannot intervene. Huang Kai nodded, tone of voice, unquestionable, everyone heard. Know that the old Zhuang is warning the second owner Huang Peng. Huang Peng and Su Yan could not hear the meaning of Huang Kai's words. Although they were angry, they were more worried about their sons. Huang Wei got the grandfather Huang Kai's assurance, completely let go of his heart, turned to look at Huang Xiaolong, his eyes flashed blood, and the hatred of the heart broke out in this year. Huang Xiaolong, I will let you see the gap between my 10th martial arts and your 7th martial arts. I want you to see how my horror has reached my strength. Huang Wei voice is low, whole body the vindictive rushing out like a flood, completely exposed in front of everyone, at the same time, his martial arts three-eyed black tiger floated behind him. Compared with a year ago, the three-eyed black tiger has risen two laps. The whole body is black and white and it is even more powerful. The intimidating force from Wuhan is spread out from the Black Tiger. Good and strong vindictive. This is the Third Order, no, it is the Third Order Mid-Peak Peak, God, it is actually the Third Order Mid-Peak Peak. The talent of Huang Wei's young master is too bad, even after one year, from the Second Order to the Third Order Mid-Peak. On the main hall, all the elders in Huang Jiazhuang were shocked by the management, and some even could not stand up from the seat. On the rostrum, Huang Kai saw that Huang Wei exhibited the strength of the Third Order Midterm Peak. All the elders of Huang Jiazhuang had a look of shock and a smile on their faces, and they could not help but laugh. Under the stage, Huang Ming also smiled and looked at the sun on the stage and nodded. Huang Wei thoroughly revealed the Third Order Midterm Peak vindictiveness, watching Huang Xiaolong proudly sneer, Huang Xiaolong, Seeing my strength now, my heart is not very fearful. Rest assured, your fear is normal, no one will laugh at you. Now, you finally understand the gap between our talents? The gap between us is not compensated by your dog's ability to eat three golden fruits. Fear. Huang Xiaolong looked at the smug Huang Wei, secretly shaking his head, cold voice, this is your full strength? Shot, this time. I want to fight you not only can not recognize you, and even Grandpa can't recognize you. Everyone heard the words, and they couldn't help but shook their heads. They didn't believe that this time, Huang Xiaolong's lord could still win the Third Order mid-peak peak of Huang Wei. On the rostrum, 
Huang Kai's face was not angry, and this grandson Huang Xiaolong was too arrogant. Is it? Huang Wei sneered, his eyes violently shot, and his body shape came to Huang Xiaolong in an instant, and the double fist slammed out. He hit the whole force with this blow. Little dragon! Looking at Huang Wei's double fists, he had to blast to Huang Xiaolong. Huang Peng and Su Yan's face changed. They couldn't help but stand up. At this time, Huang Kai, who was angry because of Huang Xiaolong's words, released his mind and locked it out. Sun Huang Peng, his eyes are sharp, and he said, Who dares to intervene? Dispose of according to family criminal law. At this moment, suddenly, Huang Kai found that the atmosphere of the hall became a bit weird. I saw all the elders in the hall, and the disciples were watching the central stage of Wu Tai. Huang Kai could not help but look at the eyes of the people and saw the original double boxing. When Huang Wei, who was rushing to Huang Xiaolong, didn't know when, his double fists were actually held by Huang Xiaolong's hands and blocked there. Under Huang Kai and everyone's gaze, Huang Xiaolong looked at Huang Wei with a cold look, in this case, I will let you see some of my strength now. Part of the strength? Just when everyone still didn't understand what Huang Xiaolong meant, suddenly, a number of times more than Huang Weiqiang, no, ten times, even stronger vindictive from Huang Xiaolong, and directly hit the roof of the temple. Everyone was stunned. After the stunned, the whole body trembled, as if he was a ghost. He looked at Huang Xiaolong ately and eaten. All the elders who were still sitting before, as if the was on fire, all picked up from the seat. The fourth order. It turned out to be the fourth order. God, it turned out to be the fourth order. Is it an illusion? It's not an illusion, it's not an illusion. His mother, what do you want me to do? Some disciples were screamed by the disciples. The entire hall was caught in an unprecedented shock, and even some people were so excited that they couldn't help but feel too long. Huang Peng and Su Yan, as well as Huang Ming, are as shocked as everyone else. As for Huang Kai, his eyes are stagnant, watching Huang Xiaolong, his mind is blank. No, you can't break through the fourth order, no more dogs can be transported. On the stage, Huang Wei's eyes are only infinitely frightened and mad. He really can't believe that Huang Xiaolong actually got the dog to move, breaking through the fourth order. Huang Xiaolong looked coldly and horrified, and Huang Wei, who was mad and screaming, did not speak. The strength of his hands and martial arts suddenly broke out. Huang Wei screamed and screamed and slammed into the stage. Huang Xiaolong came to Huang Wei in front of him and stepped on his foot. Huang Wei's eyes were frightened, angry, and shouted, I am not willing. I am a family genius. Why? Why do you have a dog that is always better than me? Genius? Dog stuff. Huang Xiaolong looked at Huang Wei coldly, and suddenly stepped on his foot again. At the same time, he kicked Huang Wei's belly and kicked Huang Wei to roll over and rolled to the edge of the stage. Huang Wei screamed. At this time, the shocked people in the hall completely woke up. Huang Ming looked at the sun lying on the ground, his hands clenched his eyes sparkling with chills, but he finally endured. Huang Kai wakes up and looks at the grandson Huang Xiaolong on the stage. His eyes are twinkling. Is it true that his grandson Huang Wei said that he has swallowed what genius treasure has broken through the fourth order? At this time, Huang Wei stood up from the ground and Wei Weidi, looked at Huang Xiaolong, his eyes hated like a flaming fire, I fight with you. Then, rushed to Huang Xiaolong again, like an injured beast. Looking at the rushing Huang Wei, Huang Xiaolong's eyes flashed, and Huang Wei rushed to the front, his hands suddenly raised, and he shot Huang Wei's arms. Hey, the sound of the broken bones sounded. When Huang Wei just screamed, Huang Xiaolong raised his feet and kicked his feet again. The voice of Hey sounded again. However, this is not finished yet. Huang Xiaolong's two palms are running, and one palm is in the chest of Huang Wei. Hey! Then, 
Huang Wei's body clothes burst open, there was no piece of cloth left, and he screamed and flew back. Akasaka, slipped from the stage to the ground. Wei Er. Huang Ming screamed in anger, flew up, and both hands caught Huang Wei from the stage. I saw Huang Wei's mouth vomiting blood, his hands and his feet were all broken. Huang Ming saw heart and pain and anger, and Huang Wei gave the elders Zhou Guang, look at the young master. After that, he flew up and fell to the stage, and went to Huang Xiaolong with a slap in the face, hello. Ruthless. Huang Xiaolong looked at Huang Ming who came over coldly. Huang Wei had to kill Huang Xiaolong with his hands last time. At that time, he did not see Huang Ming saying his son. And the last annual meeting of Huang Xiaolong has spared Huang Wei once, did not kill his hands, did not expect Huang Wei Wei's strength, but retaliated against his sister Huang Min and his younger brother Huang Xiaohe. This time, Huang Xiaolong will naturally not be soft again. Huang Xiaolong looked at the grandfather Huang Kai on the rostrum. He said, the disciples of the annual meeting are more than the test. It is not allowed to intervene. Otherwise, it should be disposed of according to the family criminal law. Grandpa, this is what you just said, right? Huang Kai's face was fair, but he did not answer. Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but sneer and ridiculed, What? I just wanted to shoot, you have to deal with the family criminal law. Now Huang Ming wants to shoot me, Grandpa will turn a blind eye? It is really fair. The elders of the hall are silent. You, let go. Huang Kai could not help but be ashamed, take a seat next to the chair. After seeing his father's attitude, Huang Ming completely let go of his heart and looked at Huang Xiaolong, You broke my wire's hands and feet. Now, I will break your hands and feet. After that, the whole body of the Seventh Order Late Stage is completely released, suddenly double the palm of the hand came to Huang Xiaolong with both hands. Little Dragon On the stage, Huang Peng was shocked. When he was about to fly, suddenly, a figure was faster than him. He came to Huang Xiaolong in an instant and lifted his hands to meet Huang Ming's palms. Hey! Under the watchful eyes of everyone, Huang Ming Kao smashed blood in the mouth, flew out, fell from the stage to the ground, and knocked down some seats. What? All the people looked at the fallen ground with horror, and Huang Ming, who was screaming at the blood, couldn't react for a while, and then all looked at the figure in front of Huang Xiaolong. Yes, is he? It turned out to be him. How come? Everyone in Huang Jia's Wang saw the face of the person who shot it. It is hard to believe that it was the slave that Huang Xiaolong bought back. Huang Kai, Huang Peng, Su Yan, and others also have big eyes. Being able to fly Huang Minji, then there is definitely eight levels of strength. Eighth Order At this time, Fei Ho turned around and respected Huang Xiaolong, Less Lord, are you okay? Huang Xiaolong nodded, I'm fine. Finished. Looking at the Huang Ming under the fallen platform, I saw Huang Ming holding a chair and standing up in a dizzy position, his eyes full of horror and anger. Hey! He looked at Huang Kai, his voice was hoarse, he just spoke, and it was a spurt. Huang Kai wakes up, flies and flies, and comes to the stage. He looks at Fei Ho coldly, I didn't expect you to be a master who is hidden, but you are too much to be seen but dare to be in front of me. Face, hurt my son. However, Huang Kai has forgotten that if Huang Ming does not care about the family rules, he must abolish Huang Xiaolong's hands and feet, how can Fei Ho shoot? Now, he has pushed all the faults to Fei Ho. Fei Ho did not speak, his face was indifferent, and he retreated to the back of Huang Xiaolong. When Huang Kai saw Fei Ho, he did not care about himself. He couldn't help but feel angry. He said, Say? You lurked in my Huangjia's Wang. What is the intention? Now, I can still spare you a life, otherwise, you will wait for death. Difficult. Although Fei Ho was seriously injured by Huang Ming, Huang Kai did not pay attention to it. 
In his view, although this Feho strength is not weak, it is at most eighth order late. Is it hard to die? Feho looked at the angry Huang Kaid, his eyes were cold and with a trace of disdain, yes, it was disdain. Huang Kaid saw Feho not only did not pay attention to him, but looked at him with disdainful eyes, his heart was angry, his intentions were tumbling, his body rushed out, and the golden lines continued to spread all over the body, only Huang Kaid's arms were actually it has doubled up and is covered with golden hair like a monkey. Soul Huang Kaid's martial arts is a six-winged golden monkey. After the soul is merged with the martial arts, Huang Kaid is taller than half a meter, his eyes are golden and red, and the whole person is violent and violent. Obviously, in the face of everyone in Huang Jia's Wang, Fei Ho repeatedly ignored himself, Huang Kaid was completely angry, otherwise it would not be possible to get a hand. The beast is in the palm. Huang Kaid's voice was low, and his body shape came to Fei Ho. The palm suddenly slammed out and the vindictive radiance, the palms, and waves, and the faint voice of the beasts desperately screaming. The beast of the beast, the high-end fighting skills of Xian Pin, is also one of the three major fighting skills of Huang Jia's Wang Town Zhuang. Because Fei Ho is behind Huang Xiaolong, Huang Kai is so violently attacked. The palm of his hand will naturally affect Huang Xiaolong. If he hits, Huang Xiaolong is at least seriously injured. Huang Xiaolong sees his grandfather Huang Kai even in order to kill Fei Ho and seriously hurt his grandson. Because Huang Kai is the grandfather of Huang Xiaolong, there are some concerns when Fei Ho's shot. At this moment, Huang Xiaolong's cold voice sounded, Get out of the way. Fei Haoyi, instantly understood the meaning of Huang Xiaolong, and now he did not hesitate, and then did not hide his own temperament a temperament more than the temperament of Huang Kai's body, from Fei Ho's body like a flood, and earth-shattering, the souls of all people around them felt a strong oppression. This kind of oppression was not in the early tenth stage of Huang Kai. Fei Ho's eyes were like a blade, and the fists slammed out. Crushing heart. Broken heart punches, broken punches, screaming with violent whistling, colliding with Huang Kai's beast. The two phases collided, the horrible tempering of the horror, the swell of the air, the screaming of the hall, some elders close to me, the management was not squatting and then retreat, all the seats were smashed. Under the watchful eyes of everyone, Huang Kai's body continued to retreat, and he stepped back a dozen steps, and he retreated to the edge of the stage to stabilize. Wow, Huang Kai only felt a hot throat, and the blood in his mouth spit out. Huang Kai, the first master of Huang Jia's Wang, actually lost. The defeat is so thorough. Everyone is shocked. Hey! Lao Chuang. After a few breaths, everyone reacted and flew to the side of Huang Kai, exclaiming one after another. Huang Kai shook his hand to everyone, indicating that it was okay, looking at Fei Ho, his eyes could not hide his fear, and slowly said, The Tenth Order Late Peak. The Tenth Order Late Peak Everyone in Huang Jia's Wang looked at Fei Ho, shocked, feared, and sometimes, and Huang Ming's body was stiff, and then trembled, and his heart was constantly overwhelmed by fear. Seven or more orders, each small breakthrough, the strength varies greatly. Although Huang Kai is a ten-order powerhouse, it is only an early stage. The Tenth Order Early Stage and the Tenth Order Late Stage Peaks are different. Therefore, even if Fi Hao does not release the Wuhan, there is no soul, and it is easy to defeat Huang Kai. After Fei Ho's attack, Huang Kai repulsed, but did not take the opportunity to attack, but the momentum converges, and retreats behind Huang Xiaolong, standing in a respectful manner. Seeing the action of Fei Ho, everyone looked at Huang Xiaolong, an eight-year-old who had been ignored by everyone. Obviously, Fei Ho can no longer be a slave to Huang Xiaolong, but why does a strong 10-level late peak call an 8-year-old child a minority? And respectful? Also, Huang Xiaolong really took the dog to move, and swallowed what Tnd Daibao broke through the fourth order? Even if it is a few times more than the rare fruit of the fruit, 
it is impossible to let a person break from the second to the fourth in a year? Huang Xiaolong also said that this is only part of his strength. So what is the real strength of Huang Xiaolong now? If Huang Xiaolong is not a dog, then Huang Xiaolong has a horrible talent. From cultivation to the present, more than a year, to reach the fourth order strength? Everyone thought of a lot at the moment. Huang Peng and Su Yan have too many questions. Huang Xiaolong, you actually instructed the outsiders to seriously hurt Grandpa, you can't do it. At this time, Huang Wei, who did not know when he was already awake, yelled at Huang Xiaolong, Is there any Huang Jia Zhuang in your eyes? Is there any grandfather as you? Grandpa. Everyone's face changed. I didn't expect Huang Wei's words to be unscrupulous. At this time, I even dared to sip Huang Xiaolong. Huang Ming also suddenly turned to swear his son, Huang Wei, you give me a stop. Huang Wei is rather louder, hey, what are you afraid of? What about the peaks of the tenth stage? Is it that we are afraid that thousands of people in Huang Jia Zhuang are afraid of him alone? Huang Wei yelled, said to Huang Kai, Grandpa, like Huang Xiaolong according to the rules of Huang Jia Zhuang, this kind of grandfather and grandson should abolish all his cultivation and drive him out of Huang Jia Zhuang. Huang Kai did not speak yet, Huang Ming angered, stop. After the end, under the urgency, a palm fan went over. Huang Xiaolong listened to Huang Wei's resentment, cold, and chuckle, and looked at Huang Wei, I didn't regard him as a grandfather? So did he regard me as a grandson? One refers to Huang Kai. In the last year, I got the first, but the spirit pool opened, but let you go in and practice. This year's test, Huang Ming shot regardless of the rules, to waste my hands and feet, he turned a blind eye. Just in the past, if it wasn't for the strength of Fi Hao, both of us and Fi Hao might be seriously injured by him, and might even die under his command. Huang Xiaolong listed one after another coldly. Huang Kai heard the words and lowered his head. He did not dare to look at Huang Xiaolong's eyes. The hall is quiet. At this time, Huang Wei screamed again, Huang Xiaolong, what qualification do you have to say Grandpa? I have a ten-level martial arts, and your martial arts only have seven levels. Grandpa prefers me and trains me. This is for the future of Huang Jia Zhuang. What's wrong with you? You are jealous of me, yell at me. Stop! Huang Kai slammed the fan and screamed. Previously, his father beat him. Now Huang Wei can't believe that even his grandfather Huang Kai will hit him. His eyes are tears and he is wronged. Where is he wrong? He didn't say anything wrong at all. On the main hall, the elders of Huang Jia Zhuang, listening to Huang Wei's words, secretly shook his head. Hey, mother, let's go. At this time, Huang Xiaolong said to Huang Peng and Su Yandeo, did not pay attention to everyone's eyes, and turned away with Fei Ho, there is no need to stay in this annual meeting. The family rules are not over, everyone is not allowed to leave, but no one dares to speak out now. Huang Kai looked complicated and looked at the figure of Huang Xiaolong leaving the hall. Until Huang Xiaolong opened the hall for a long time, no one dared to speak in the hall. Hey, look! After a long time, Huang Ming looked at Huang Kai's face, whispered. Huang Kai sighed and sighed, then waved his hand, all scattered, this annual meeting, this is the end. After that, turned and left, the figure was a bit sloppy and lonely. It ends here. The elders of Huang Jia Zhuang, the governors, the disciples face each other. All are scattered. Huang Ming waited for Huang Kai's figure to disappear, waved his hand, and then left under the support of the elders Zhou Guang and others. After a while, the elders of Huang Jia Zhuang, the management, the disciples left. This is the end of the first annual meeting since the establishment of Huang Jia Zhuang. After Huang Xiaolong left the front hall, he returned to the small courtyard. It was not long before he returned to the small courtyard. Huang Peng and Su Yan passed. Seeing their parents, 
Huang Xiaolong knew that there were many questions in the parents' mind and did not wait for Huang Peng and Su Yan. When people open, Huang Xiaolong will sink and say, Hey, mother, I know that you want to ask me to break through the fourth order thing, but there are some things that I can't explain to you now. Huang Peng and Su Yan looked at each other. Xiaolong, then, the predecessor, he is. Hesitated, Huang Peng asked. Fi Hao Seniors? Huang Xiaolong thought for a moment and said, I have worshipped a strange person as a teacher. Fei Ho is the master of my master, so he called me a young master. At least the teacher respected me and repaired the door, Huang Xiaolong did not say. Huang Peng and Su Yan both felt stunned in their hearts, and then they were overjoyed. I didn't expect my son to be a wise man. Fei Ho was the tenth order late peak then what is the son's master? At the thought of this, the two were excited. Xiao Long, your strength now, is it in the middle of the fourth stage? Then Su Yan asked, and then looked at his son with Huang Peng. At the annual meeting, Huang Xiao Long said that the beginning of the fourth stage is only part of his strength. The fourth order midterm. Huang Xiao Long stunned, and finally nodded, believing that the fourth order midterm strength, after all, the fifth order late peak is too horrible. Huang Peng and Su Yan saw his son admit his fourth term midterm strength, and his heart was overjoyed, but more shocked, the fourth order midterm. It turned out to be a fourth order midterm. Hey, mother, waited two days to finish the new year, I plan to leave Huang Jiazhuang and go out to practice. Huang Xiaolong said. What? Experience. Huang Peng and Su Yan were shocked. Almost at the same time, the two said the same thing, no. Huang Xiaolong said, I know what you are worried about, there are fees, I will not be in any danger. Xiaolong, I know that you want to leave Huang Jiazhuang now because of your grandfather's business, but he is your grandfather after all, don't hate him in your heart, and you are still too young, or wait two years before you go out. Experience. Huang Peng said in a tone of discussion in Huang Xiaolong. Although Huang Xiaolong has a ten order strongman to follow, but it is too small, it is less than nine years old. Huang Peng and Su Yan can let their sons go out and practice now. Okay, hey, mother, I have already decided. I will leave after the new year. Huang Xiaolong shook his head and looked determined. He admitted that he wanted to leave Huang Jiazhuang now. He didn't want to see Grandpa Huang Kaid, Dabo Huang Ming and his son, but he wanted to leave. It's not entirely because of the two people who went out to practice in Huang Jiazhuang. He wants to use his practice to temper himself and make himself stronger, and he wants to see the wider world outside of Huang Jiazhuang, and more powerful outside. Huang Peng and Su Yan saw his son's eyes and he sighed in his heart. It is useless to know that the two men would persuade their sons. Thinking that his son is about to stay away from himself, Su Yan's heart is soft and his eyes are red, Xiao Long, then you are leaving this time, when will you come back? Huang Xiaolong's heart was warm and smiled, Mother, don't worry, my son will definitely come back to see you before the next annual meeting. The next annual meeting. Su Yan's heart was slightly better. Then, Su Yan smashed a lot to Huang Xiaolong, such as going out to pay attention to the body, paying attention to the sinister outsiders, not fighting with others. Huang Xiaolong can only helplessly nod and say that. After more than two hours, Huang Peng and Su Yan left the small yard. Fei Ho, after two days of the new year, we will leave. You can see what needs to be prepared now and prepare for one or two. After the parents left, Huang Xiaolong said to Fei Ho. Yes, the doorkeeper. Nothing in the night. On the cold jade bed, Huang Xiaolong stopped Xu Rao to practice, looked at the clear sky outside, and walked out of the room. After coming to the small courtyard, Huang Xiaolong practiced the wind of hell. The of this wind has been cultivated into Dachen, and what he owes in the future is only the temperament of the martial arts. Then, the second move of practicing the swordsmanship. One hour later, 
Huang Xiaolong stopped the practice of and practiced the dark. Huang Xiaolong took out the drawing and looked at the small picture of the second move of Shura's swordsmanship. The second trick of Shura's swordsmanship, the Tears of Shura. Tears of Shura? This name is quite special. Huang Xiaolong will look at the tactical running route and attack posture of the second trick when attacking the body. After completely remembering, the drawing will be taken back to Shura. The hands of Shura's blade do not know when it has appeared. Flying in the air, under the air, attacked out, I saw a blade of man's from the air in the air constantly falling, yes, it is falling, just like tears dripping from the air. The first stroke of the Shura swordsmanship is to stand on the ground and attack, and the second stroke of Shura must be in the air. After a blow, Huang Xiaolong's body fell from the air and stood there, recalling the attack posture of the attacking posture and drawings. After half an hour, he flew again and attacked. This time, the blade becomes softer and it seems that there is no power at all, such as extremely fine drizzle. In the past half an hour, Huang Xiaolong shot again. For example, when he began to cultivate the wind of hell, Huang Xiaolong stood there and waited for half an hour before he took another shot. In the cultivation of Huang Xiaolong, the sky was slowly darkening. After another attack, Huang Xiaolong fell from the air and stood in the small courtyard. He shook his head and shook his head. Although the power of the second stroke of Shura was stronger than at the beginning, it still did not. To reach Xiao Cheng, according to the drawings, after the attack, the tears of the swordsmanship produced the sound of Shura's tears and tears, and Fang began to become a small. When Huang Xiaolong was practicing, Fei Ho was outside the small yard. In fact, this Shurao swordsmanship and another set of Shurao ghosts must be cultivated by those who cultivate Shurao, so Huang Xiaolong is not worried about Fi Hao or other people stealing. Huang Xiaolong had just stopped practicing and it didn't take long. Suddenly, outside the small yard, there was a footstep sound. Huang Xiaolong looked at it. He saw the grandfather Huang Kai and Dabo Huang Ming. In addition to the two, there was also his father Huang Peng. Huang Xiaolong frowned. When Huang Kai and Huang Ming came outside the small yard, Fei Ho, who was there, reached out and stopped Huang Kai and Huang Ming. As for Huang Peng, Fei Ho let him enter. Huang Kai, Huang Ming, and their faces are stunned. The two are angry but not angry. Huang Mingjiang smiled and smiled at Fei Ho, Fi Hao predecessors, we came over. There is no malice, just to say something to Xiao Long, just say something. Huang Ming's dead face is a strong smile, it is even more ugly than the dead. Fei Ho looked at Huang Ming's dead face with a strong smile and was indifferent and still stopped there. At this time, Huang Peng went forward to Huang Xiao Long, Xiao Long, look, or. Huang Xiao Long nodded to Fei Ho, and Fei Ho saw it, which made it open. Huang Kai and Huang Ming were in a heart, and smiled and nodded to Fei Ho. Especially Huang Ming, his attitude was extremely respectful. The two entered the small yard and came to Huang Xiaolong. What are you doing here? Huang Xiaolong's face was indifferent, I remember, you are here for the first time. Since Huang Xiaolong had memories, Grandpa Huang Kai and Huang Ming have never been to this small courtyard. Huang Kai and Huang Ming both had some blushing faces, but fortunately the sky was slowly dim and the outsiders did not see it. Xiao Long, your grandfather and your uncle came over, I want to invite you to attend the annual banquet. At this time, Huang Peng stepped forward and could not help but tell his son that it was for Huang Kai and Huang Ming. After Huang Jia's Wang held an annual meeting at the end of each year, the family's annual banquet will be held the next night. In addition to the elders of Huang Jia's Wang, only the best three generations of disciples in Huang Jia's Wang can participate. It stands to reason that Huang Xiaolong won Huang Wei last year and should be able to participate in the annual banquet of the previous year, but no one has informed Huang Xiaolong to participate, but Huang Wei, who lost to Huang Xiaolong in the previous year, can participate, just like the previous year. Ling Qi opened and the qualification to enter Lingqi cultivation gave Huang Wei. 
Yes, yes, Xiao Long, we are coming over, just want to invite you to participate in the annual banquet. Huang Peng's words fell, Huang Ming then began to smile, that look like Huang Xiao Long is the big Zhuang, and he just came over to invite Huang Xiao Long attended a banquet for a Huang Jia Zhuang disciple. Although Huang Kai did not speak, he also smiled brightly. Huang Kai, the old Zhuang and Huang Ming, the Grand Lord even invited a person to attend the annual banquet. For more than 40 years since Huang Jia Zhuang was built, only Huang Xiaolong has this honor. However, Huang Xiaolong has a cold face, no, I still have to cultivate. Huang Kai and Huang Ming have a stiff smile on their faces. Xiaolong, you. Huang Peng, who was on the side, saw his heart and could not help but quit. Okay, hey, you know my temper. Huang Xiaolong said. Huang Peng did not know how to speak, and smiled in his heart. This son, sometimes the temper is reluctant, and the matter of identification, even his own and his wife cannot change it. At this time, Huang Kai waved his hand to Huang Peng and looked at Huang Xiaolong with sincerity, Xiaolong, I know that Grandpa had done something wrong before, it was Grandpa's eccentricity, it was Grandpa's fault, but Grandpa hopes that you don't remember Grandpa, no matter what you have in the future. As long as you ask, Grandpa will promise. Huang Xiaolong's face is indifferent. He knows that Grandpa Huang Kai personally came over and invited him to attend the annual banquet. He once again bowed his breath and smiled at himself. It was because he showed his amazing talent, because he had a late tenth stage. The peak of Fei Ho followed, otherwise, how could Grandpa Huang Kai be like this? Huang Xiaolong did not speak. Huang Kai met, and he was not angry. He sighed and said, Listen to your father and say, after the new year, you have to go out and practice. When Huang Xiaolong looked at his father Huang Peng and Huang Peng was about to speak, Huang Kai continued, You don't blame your father, I accidentally heard it. When it came to this, the tone turned and said, Little dragon, Grandpa does not ask you. I can forgive Grandpa, Grandpa just hopes that you know that Grandpa and Huang Jia Zhuang will welcome you back whenever they are and Huang Jia Zhuang will always be your home. Huang Kai's look and embarrassment, took out a jade bottle, this is a four-character spirit that Grandpa refines when he asked an alchemist to refine it. Dragon Tiger Xian Yuan Dan has greatly helped to improve his fighting spirit. When Huang Ming saw it, he was taken aback. Long Hu Xian Yuan Dan is a high-grade Lingdan of the four products. It is extremely rare. He has been collecting for more than 10 years, and now he has come out to Huang Xiaolong. Four products Ling Dan? Huang Xiaolong hesitated and took the jade bottle. Huang Kai saw Huang Xiaolong pick up his own Ling Dan, his face was full of smiles, as if he did not give Huang Xiaolong a four-pronged spirit, but Huang Xiaolong gave him a four-pronged spirit. However, just when his smile was extremely bright, Huang Xiaolong suddenly gave the jade bottle to Huang Peng, Hey, this dragon tiger Xian Yuan Dan will swallow you for cultivation. Huang Kai's bright smile disappeared instantly, and Huang Ming and Huang Peng were equally shocked. Xiaolong, this. Huang Peng just wanted to refusal. Huang Xiaolong waved his hand and said, Hey, you are now in the late sixth stage, you need this dragon tiger Xian Yuan Dan. Needless to say, this dragon tiger Xian Yuan Dan you are holding it. After that, send the jade bottle. Huang Peng had no choice but to accept it. At this time, Huang Xiaolong turned around and looked at Huang Kai, whose smile disappeared. He said, since you gave this dragon tiger Xian Yuan Dan to me, then I will give it to you, you have no opinion. Oh, no opinion, it's the same you swallow the same cultivation. Huang Kai piled up a smile, said, smile on his face, but his heart was bleeding, for high-grade Ling Dan, he has collected for more than ten years. After a while, Huang Kai and Huang Ming and Huang Peng left the small yard. In the end, Huang Xiaolong did not go to the banquet. 
The annual banquet was held in the front hall of Huangjia's Wang. It was as lively and joyful as in previous years, but Huang Kai sat in the main seat, and laughing was not a taste. The front hall was lively, and Huang Xiaolong sat in the cold jade bed in the room, running the shura, constantly consuming the nine gloom of the void. Now, Huang Xiaolong has cultivated Xiu Luajin to the second floor. According to the drawings, after Xiu Luajin practiced to the highest level, he could open the door of Shura and enter the Shura community. I don't know if it is true or false. Two days passed quickly and the new year arrived. This year's new year, the East Hall is more lively than in previous years, a joy, Huang Xiaolong in the East Hall to accompany his parents, sister and brother, the family laughed and laughed. Because Huang Xiaolong knows that after the new year, I will see my parents next time, my sister and my brother are only one year later. The new year is over. The next day, Huang Kaid, Huang Ming, all the elders of Huang Jia's Wang, all of them standing in the square outside the gate of Huang Jia's Wang, everything, just to bid farewell to Huang Xiaolong. Little Dragon The sun is about to travel, Su Yan's eyes are rosy, holding Huang Xiaolong tightly, besides, you must take care of yourself. Mother, I know. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are also red, then turned to the head, and Fei Ho left. Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho looked at the people in Huang Jia's Wang, and the farther and farther they went, the figure finally disappeared. Huang Peng looked at his wife who was still standing there and staring at his son's disappearing direction. He couldn't help but sigh, swallow sister, let's go back. My son is far away. Su Yan looked back and then returned to Huang Jia's Wang with Huang Peng. After Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho left Huang Jia's Wang, they did not take the avenue. Instead, they took the mountain road and entered the back mountain. They continued to go to the mountains along the back mountain. After a few hundred miles in the back hills of Huang Jia's Wang, it is the Silver Moon Forest. The Silver Moon Forest is vast and vast. It crosses the land of more than a dozen kingdoms. The inside of the monsters breeds. Therefore, Huang Xiaolong intends to enter the Silver Moon Forest while hunting the monsters while practicing. And hurry! The fourth order large flower bud that Huang Xiaolong encountered in Hyushan was from the Silver Moon Forest. Three days later, Huang Xiaolong and his party came to the edge of the Silver Moon Forest. Huang Xiaolong looked up at the sky and saw that the sky had slowly darkened. He said, We will rest here for one night and hurry tomorrow. Yes, the doorkeeper. Fei Ho respectfully should be. The devouring purple monkey on the shoulder of Huang Xiaolong also clapped his hands and screamed. Huang Xiaolong saw it and couldn't help but smile, Little guy, go around and see if there is any fruit, find some. The devouring purple monkey clicked on the monkey head and screamed, jumped off the shoulder of Huang Xiaolong. After several jumps, the monkey shadow disappeared, and Fei Ho went around to find some dry branches and bark fire. After a while, the demying purple monkey came back and held a lot of fresh fruit in his arms. When the little guy came back, he still had one in his mouth. This is ice fruit. Fei Ho saw the white transparent fruit of the devouring purple monkey, and said with amazement. Ice fruit, a rare fruit fruit, although it does not help to repair the gas after swallowing, but it can keep fit, and a piece of ice fruit on the market requires dozens of gold coins. The devouring purple monkey saw Fei Ho's amazed look. He couldn't help but smugly put six or seven pieces of ice fruit in his arms to the open space. Then he ran with his hands and ran again. After a while, he came back again. Six or seven ice fruit. When Huang Xiaolong saw it, he couldn't help but smile. This little guy was quite funny. However, all the way for a few days, every time this little guy runs away, he can hold back some delicious fruits, so these days, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho are not lacking in good fruit every day. Sitting beside the campfire, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho took out some dry food and ate it with ice fruit. Ice fruit into the throat is cool, very fragrant, Huang Xiaolong did not feel tired after eating three. Huang Xiaolong told Fei Haodeo, 
it is a pity that there is no meat. If there is meat, then there is a bottle of good wine. It is beautiful. In the past, Huang Xiaolong was very fond of wine tasting, but this world's wine, Huang Xiaolong has not yet drunk, but I don't know. How is the world's wine? Fei Ho heard a smile, does the owner like to drink too? In his opinion, the doorkeeper is less than nine years old, and even loves to drink? He immediately said, liquor, not now, but meat will be there. Just when Huang Xiaolong was puzzled, suddenly there was a strange noise in the distance. It was the sound of the beast approaching this side, and listening to the sound, this monster should not be light. After a while, one with two sharp fangs, the wild beast resembling a wild boar appeared in Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho's line of sight. Low order monsters, sand beasts. Looking at the sand beast, Fei Ho stood up and smiled, the door owner, although the skin of this sand beast is thicker, but the meat is extremely delicious. After that, he has to go forward, but a figure faster than him, he immediately came to the front of the sand scorpion, and the cold light flashed, and the sand screaming screams and fell there. When Fei Ho saw it, he couldn't help but shake his head. After the slaying purple monkey killed the sand scorpion beast, he took the corpse of the sand scorpion 100 times larger than it and returned to the bonfire. Then he pointed to the body of the sand scorpion and screamed at Huang Xiaolong. Okay, I know your mouth. Huang Xiaolong laughed. After he finished, he took out a sharp blade, cut the sandal beast and cleaned it. He began to put it on the campfire and grilled it while applying spices. Fast, the fragrance drifted away and the devouring purple monkey sat next to the bonfire, his face looked very stunned, his eyes fixed on the barbecue, and the saliva swallowed. Huang Xiaolong looked at the spirit of the purple monkey, and could not help but smile. A year ago, this little guy had eaten his roasted meat. While Fei Ho sat there, he also stared at the barbecue, and his expression was not much different from the spirited purple monkey. Just when the meat was full, suddenly, there was a fight and anger in the distance. Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho couldn't help but said, the doorkeeper, we will enter the Yunya forest and encounter this fight in the future. There are so many things, and it's no surprise that this kind of thing is too much. We still don't care about this kind of thing. Huang Xiaolong nodded. However, the voices of fighting and anger in the distance are far and near, more and more clear and it seems that they are coming in the direction of Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong's brow wrinkled, and then Huang Xiaolong saw the fighting sides coming over here. I saw a pair of young men and women being chased by a group of people wearing purple robes. There were already several sword marks and blood stains on the young men and women in front. Starry Academy, Purple Swordsman. Fei Ho brow wrinkled. Huang Xiaolong looked at Fei Ho. Fei Ho explained, The Lord, the Starry Academy is the first college of your Latong Kingdom, you should have heard it, and the Purple Swordsman is the first door of the Yunhai Kingdom. The young men and women in front are the Starry Academy, behind that the group is the Purple Sword. Starry Academy. Purple Swordsman. Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but see the two sides fighting in the forward direction. Stars College, the first college of the Latong Kingdom. He did hear from his father that this Starry Academy is the gathering place of all the genius disciples of the major families of the Latong Kingdom. If a family disciple can enter the Starry Academy, it is the glory of the entire family. As for the Purple Sword, he did not hear it, but since this Purple Sword is the first door of the Yunhai Kingdom, then the power must be strong, at least not weaker than the Starry Academy. At this time, both sides of the fight also saw Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho, and the spirited purple monkey, all of them, after the hesitation of the young men and women of the Starry Academy, they flew to Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho, and at the same time to Fei Haoji he shouted, Predecessors, please help us. Fei Ho brows, originally meant to do what he meant, but it still seems to be hiding, but Fei Ho did not shoot, he and Huang Xiaolong stood up, he is waiting for Huang Xiaolong. The young men and women came to the bonfire, panting, 
looking at the purple swords and disciples who were swarming behind them. More than a dozen purple swordsmen disciples chased, and instantly separated, surrounded by a group of Huang Xiaolong. Cheng Shixing, what should I do? A purple sword Jianzong disciple came to a middle-aged man and asked, the middle-aged man had a small sword on his left face. Zhang Hua, a middle-aged man in the sword, glanced at Huang Xiaolong's eyes. Finally, his eyes fell on Fei Ho, his brow wrinkled, because he could not see the strength of Fei Ho. Predecessors, we are disciples of Zi Jianzong, I hope you don't interfere with our affairs. Zhang Hua thought about it and said to Fei Ho, as long as you don't interfere with our affairs, we can let you leave safely. After all, this is the land of the Latong Kingdom, not the Kingdom of the Sea of Clouds. Zhang Hua does not want to have more troubles. Fei Ho could not help but look at Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong looked indifferent and looked at each other, so what you mean is that if we intervene in your affairs, then we can't leave safely. Although the other party seems to be polite, but the words reveal threats, Huang Xiaolong naturally listens come out. Of course, Huang Xiaolong was born in the kingdom of Latong. He saw the disciples of the Starry Academy at the kingdom of Latong being chased by foreign sects. His heart was biased towards the disciples of Starry Academy. This is like being on the earth before. If the Chinese are bullied by the Japanese, Huang Xiaolong naturally prefers to the country. After listening to Huang Xiaolong's words, Zhang Hua's face sank. Boy, what are you talking about? A disciple of Zijian Jianzong met each other and a little fart boy dared to speak to them. He was about to swear, but at this moment, suddenly a figure passed by, he was miserable. Scream and squint, my face, my face. I saw his left face and right face, and there were ten more blood marks. It was the devouring purple monkey, which was thrown back to the shoulder of Huang Xiaolong, and screamed at the purple sword disciple. B, you are looking for death. The purple sword Jianzong disciple screamed, his heart was angry, and his sword in his hand waved, and he succumbed to the spirited purple monkey. Around the Zi Jianzong disciple saw his companion injured, and three of them could not help but shoot. The sword shadow is heavy and will cover the yellow dragon. Zhang Hua wants to stop and stop it. It's not enough to see the four swords falling on Huang Xiaolong and the devouring purple monkey. But suddenly the sword shadow disappears, and the four purple swords and disciples who have shot all fall, and the blood in the mouth is mad. When I landed, my body smashed twice, then I lost my movement and died. Fei Ho took back his hands and looked at the four purple swordsmen disciples coldly, then turned to Huang Xiaolong and respected him, Lord, are you okay? Huang Xiaolong shook his head, I'm fine. In fact, even if Fei Ho did not shoot, the four purple swords and disciples could not hurt Huang Xiaolong, and Huang Xiaolong could see that the four purple swords and disciples were also fifth order strength. Zhang Hua and the disciples around the Zi Jianzong looked at the bodies of the four purple robes and disciples lying there, and looked stunned. Then Zhang Hua hurriedly turned his head and stared at Fei Ho, You, dare to kill we are purple disciples and disciples. Fei Ho did not answer, looked at Zhang Hua coldly, dare to hurt the lesser, die. This is the door rule of Shur Amen. All the people who dare to hurt the doorkeeper, the Shulaman disciple must fight all the way. Zhang Hua's heart was full of anger and his face was cold, good. Then he waved his hand and said to other disciples of the purple dress, let's go. After that, they have to turn and retreat. Everyone has a glimpse. Walk. Who let you go? At this moment, Huang Xiaolong's cold voice sounded. Huang Xiaolong saw that the middle-aged man before the sword left, the eyes of hatred, the other party is now leaving and will certainly retaliate in the future, here is not far from Huang Jia's Wang, if the middle-aged people in the sword know that they are the disciple of Huang Jia's Wang, then Huang Jia's Wang I am afraid that there will be disasters, so Huang Xiaolong will naturally not let these purple swordsmen disciples leave. Huang Xiaolong's heart was overwhelmed. In the past life, there were more than a dozen serious criminals who died in Huang Xiaolong's hands, 
so Huang Xiaolong is not a kind-hearted person. The middle-aged man in the sword and the remaining disciples of the swordsman of Zi, listened to his face, and his face changed. At this time, Fei Ho's figure changed again. Fei Ho flew up and suddenly there was a river behind him. The river is full of silver and silver, and it seems to be a sword. This is Fei Wu's Wuhan, Galaxy. The Milky Way is a mutated natural martial art. After Fei Ho called his martial arts, he instantly became a soul. The whole body became soft and incomparably integrated with the Milky Way, as if it had become a galaxy, and it was entangled in the remaining disciples of the Purple Swordsman. The Purple Sword disciple who was entangled in Fei Ho continued to scream and screamed. Spraying, without exception, instantly fell to the ground, all in the blink of an eye. After five or six breaths, all the disciples of the Zi Jian Zong, including the sword-stricken middle-aged Zhang Hua, died. The two young men and women in the Starry Academy were stunned there, looking at Fei Ho with horror. These chasing the strength of their purple swords and disciples, they are very clear, among them, the middle-aged sword is a seventh order late peak. In addition, there are two seventh orders. At this time, Fei Ho took the martial arts back into the body and returned to Huang Xiaolong. The two of them just woke up. This, this brother, the predecessor, thank you for your help, we will thank you later. The starry college man's voice trembled, and he took a punch, then pulled the woman and turned and panicked. After leaving Su Yuan, he still looking back at Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho, I was scared. When Fei Ho saw that he had saved the other party, the other side fled and fled. His face was cold and he asked Huang Xiaolong, Less Lord, do we want it? When it came to this, it made a gesture of swearing. Huang Xiaolong blinked and finally shook his head, forget it. Although he was very disgusted with the two men fleeing, he also knew that they were worried that they would kill them like a disciple of the Purple Sword, so they panicked. Run away! Huang Xiaolong is not worried that the two will leak this out. After all, it is not good for them to say it. Let's go. After the two fled and disappeared, Huang Xiaolong said to Fei Haodeo that Huang Xiaolong had no thoughts to stay. Yes, the doorkeeper. However, before leaving, Fei Ho incinerated the bodies of the dozens of purple swordsmen. Thus, the two men and one monkey continued to move deep into the silver forest. Because there are Fei Hao, the Tenth Order Late Peak is strong, so Huang Xiaolong is not worried about encountering some high-level monsters. A month later, somewhere in the Yunya Forest, two knives flashed past, and a Sixth Order Black Bear screamed and crashed into the ground. The figure of Huang Xiaolong appeared from the air. This month, by constantly hunting and killing the beast, Huang Xiaolong's life-threatening space is concealed and the shadows are simultaneously displayed. With the cooperation, it is easy to kill the Sixth Order monster. The black bear that was just killed by Huang Xiaolong is the Sixth Order mid-term. At this time, the devouring purple monkey jumped from the shoulder of Huang Xiaolong and screamed, and took a pair of claws. He took a demon from the black bear body, swallowed it, and then took a bear bile from the black bear. Huang Xiaolong A sixth order midterm black bear is more than ten times better than the fourth order large flowered snake that was swallowed by Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong took the black bear bile, took out the wine from the Shura ring, broke the bear bile, mixed and swallowed it down. The wine was obtained by Huang Xiaolong who killed a group called the Evil Spirit Mercenary Group a few days ago. The sixth order black bear bears a daring and a warm current is constantly generated. At first, this warm current is very small. After a dozen breaths, this warm current gradually grows. As Huang Xiaolong runs the Shura, it is transformed into vindictive, meridian. The nine sorrows in the air are tumbling. For more than a month, Huang Xiaolong hunted the monsters on the side of the Silver Moon Forest, while practicing, the vindictiveness was improved faster than the previous practice in Huang Jia's Wang. After hunting these monsters, sometimes they encounter things such as the Sixth Order Black Bear Bear, which are very helpful for grudges. 
it's just that the sixth order barrier is too difficult to break through. Generally, there are people who have the top martial arts among the ten. In the late fifth stage, the peak of the peak will be more than one year. Although Huang Xiaolong has a super Wuhan, and is a super super soul, but to break through the sixth order, I am afraid that it will take four or five months. Huang Xiaolong swallowed the sixth order black bear bear to practice, and the little one who was devouring the purple monkey took a purple fruit that he did not know where to pick it up. It swallowed the demon, never needed to sit on the refining. And Feihou is kept ten meters away, paying attention to all the movements around. After a few hours, Huang Xiaolong completely refining the sixth order black bear bile drug, standing up from the ground, this month of cultivation, his whole body muscles are more solid, strong, and the muscles of the whole body are more flexible, and the power ratio of the instant burst is stronger. When I left Huang Jia's Wang, it was a lot bigger. After Huang Xiaolong stood up, he summoned the blade of Shura and flew up. He was in the air, and the blade of Shura suddenly swayed out. Only dozens of Shura's blades turned into a blade of rain, falling from the sky, covering ten meters. Within ten meters, everything is turned into powder. Within the blade rain, there is a cry of crying and crying, and the sound of crying and crying is more shocking than the sound of hell. Huang Xiaolong fell from the air. In January, the second stroke of Shura's swordsmanship, Shura's tears, was finally made. With a stroke, Shura cried. However, this trick, although Huang Xiaolong cultivated a small, but far from the Dachin situation is still far apart, a blade of the blade, the blade rain and then violent, sometimes gentle as water, and sometimes rushing like the water of the river, sometimes invisible, to achieve this effect it is Dachin. Now, Huang Xiaolong has a blade and the blade reigns, but he can't control the big and the small. After stopping the tears of repairing Shura, Huang Xiaolong took the sword of Shura back to his arm. Suddenly, his hands were clawed, and the void was photographed to the body of the black bear. He saw the dark black gas in the body of the black bear constantly flowing out, and then hands from Huang Xiaolong. Constantly pouring into the body. When the black bear's body continued to float out, Huang Xiaolong stood there, his body black light flashing, and suddenly his claws were a claw to the front of a big tree ten meters away. Two dark paw prints appeared, and the sky was dark. Hey! Then the sound was heard, and the paws were printed on the tree. The big tree crashed down, and the paw prints were all dark and revealing a dead air. This month, when Huang Xiaolong practiced the second stroke of Shura's swordsmanship, he also began to practice another set of fighting skills on the drawings. There are only five strokes in Xiu Luo's ghosts, and they have cultivated into Dachin. Every move has the power to destroy the heavens and the earth. The first move of the Shura ghosts is just the first move, and the ghosts are screaming. This trick is a practice when it comes to Dachin. Out, the ghosts appear, overwhelming and invincible. And Huang Xiaolong is attacking now, let alone the ghosts, that is, a ghost has not yet. It seems that this Shurao ghost clause must also strengthen cultivation. Huang Xiaolong secretly said, however, there is a engraving condition for practicing Shura's ghost clause, that is, it must absorb the blood of the soul of the soul. There is only a human or a monster in the body. The black gas that Huang Xiaolong has absorbed from the body of the black bear is the soul of the blood. Because it is necessary to absorb the blood of the soul, so this is why Huang Xiaolong did not cultivate Shurao's claws in Huang Jia's Wang. At this moment, sudden footsteps and faint vocals came from far away. Fei Ho came to the back of Huang Xiaolong, and the devouring purple monkey also jumped from the tree and returned to Huang Xiaolong's shoulder. We avoided it. Huang Xiaolong thought for a moment, said, and finished, with Fei Ho, the spirited purple monkey flew to the top of a dense tree top in the distance, hidden. Huang Xiaolong and the two monkeys just shunned well. I saw a group of people coming from afar. Huang Xiaolong looked at it. The person came to be a disciple of Zijianzong. Seeing that it was a disciple of Zijianzong, 
Huang Xiaolong had some accidents. Huang Xiaolong held his breath. Chen Elder, it has been a month, Cheng Shixiong, they have not come to join us, will there be any accidents? A purple sword Jianzong disciple. Chen Feng's thick grey eyebrows glimpsed, and Cheng Liang's group of purple swords and disciples have not seen each other until now, and I am afraid that there is something unexpected. Thinking of this, Chen Feng Hanmang flashed. Hey, who dares to kill our purple robes and disciples, is impatient. At this time, another purple sword Jianzong disciple said coldly, If we find out, destroy his nine. Chen Feng turned to the next disciple and asked, Is there a drop in the two Starry Academy disciples? A month ago, Cheng Liang and others were missing after the two Star Academy disciples were missing. Just find out when two disciples of the Starry Academy fell, they knew how Cheng Liang and others are now. Responding to Chen Elder, according to our disciples, the two Starry Academy disciples are now near the Poison Fog Valley. The disciple replied respectfully. Poisony Valley. Chen Feng frowned, and then coldly said, Now you follow me through the Poison Fog Valley. Yes, Chen Elder. After a while, the figure of the disciple of Zi Jianzong disappeared. After the figure of the disciple of Zi Jianzong disappeared, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho flew down from the tree. The doorkeeper, then we are now past the Poison Fog Valley. Fei Ho said, but the Poison Fog Valley is the three dangerous places of the Silver Moon Forest. Three dangerous places. Huang Xiaolong indulged, let's look at the past. Thus, Huang Xiaolong and the two monkeys followed the Zizi Jianzong disciples and came to the Poisonous Fog Valley. The Poison Fog Valley was not far from the place where Huang Xiaolong and others set off. One day later, everyone came to the Poison Fog Valley. Standing in the mouth of the poisonous mist valley, watching the grey and green poisonous gas flowing out of the valley, Chen Feng waved his hand, you look around and see if there is any discovery. The disciples of the purple swordsman respectfully responded and then dispersed. After a while, a purple sword Jianzong disciple ran back and respected Chen Feng, Chen Chong, found traces of fighting in front. Oh, let's go see. Chen Feng came to the place where the disciple said with the disciple of the purple robes. He saw the messy footprints on the ground and the sword marks. Many trees were shaken by the palm of your hand. Chen Feng looked at the front along the traces of the fight, flew in a flash, and the disciples of the purple swordsman saw them and followed closely behind them. About twenty miles ahead, Chen Feng and the disciple of the Zi Jianzong heard the sound of fighting in front of them and they could not help speed up. Not long after, Chen Feng saw that five people wearing black robes were besieging two young men and women wearing blue robes. The young men and women were the people they were looking for, the two Star Academy disciples. Chen Feng's heart was happy, and now the disciples of the swordsmen of Zi came forward and dispersed in an instant, leaving all seven in the middle. Two Starfield Academy disciples and five people wearing black robes couldn't help but stop fighting. They saw the purple sword disciples around them, and they all looked surprised. Chen Feng stepped forward and glanced at the seven people coldly. Suddenly, he reached out and pointed five men in black robes. He said to a few purple robes and disciples next to him, You go up and solve them first. Yes, Chen Elder. The black robe five faces changed, one person hurriedly said, Slow. Seniors, we are disciples of Hei Zong, we have no hatred of black cliff and purple swords. Cheats. Chen Feng sneered aloud, Do you think that I need to give you reasons to kill you? Since you have to give reasons, then, I think you are not pleasing to the eye, this is the reason. The five disciples of Hei Zong will have to open again. At this time, Ling Li Jian Guang has killed, and the five disciples of the Purple Sword have already been shot. The five Black Cliff disciples can only panic, but the five Black Cliffs compared with the disciple of Zi Chuang, the disciples of the Zong disciples were weaker in strength. It didn't take long for the five people to lie there, and the blood was stained red. The two remaining Starfighter disciples were terrified, and the two had just tried to escape twice 
but they were forced back by the purple swordsmen who were there. Chen Feng looked at the two Starry Academy disciples, coldly said, We have more than a dozen disciples of the purple swordsmen who killed you. The two Starry Academy disciples changed their faces, and the man suddenly said, Predecessors, misunderstanding. You are not killed by the dozens of disciples of the purple swordsmen. With our strength, how can you kill the purple swordsmen? Several disciples. The woman also rushed to the interface. Yes, yes, the master, is a master with a variation of the Milky Way martial arts kill, really has nothing to do with us. Chen Feng's eyes are condensed, variation of the Milky Way Wuhan. Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho, who were not far away, listened to each other. The two eyes were cold. Yes, the predecessors, and the treasure map has been taken away by the master of the mutated galactic martial arts. The treasure map is not on us now, and the seniors have let us go. The man continued. When Huang Xiaolong heard it, his eyes flickered. I didn't expect to save two people at the beginning. Now, in order to survive, the two of them not only said the day, but also planted a treasure map. That treasure map, Huang Xiaolong did not even look at it. Chen Feng looked at the Starry Sky Academy and sneered. Is the treasure map not on you? The disciples such as Zi Zongjian Zongliang may have been killed by the mutated galaxy Wuhan, but the treasure map is not in the two. On the body, he naturally does not believe. Predecessors, the treasure map is really being. The star school of the woman is about to openly argue, suddenly eyes keep looking at behind Chen Feng. Chen Feng's doubts in his heart and the disciples of the Zi swordsman turned around and saw only a dozen meters away. I don't know when, standing with a child of eight or nine years old and a tall middle-aged man. On the child's shoulder, a cute monkey sits. Predecessors, it is him, that is, he killed your ten purple swordsman disciples. After the stay of the star school, the woman looked surprised and pointed to Fei Ho's delight in Chen Feng. Previously, she was still afraid that Chen Feng would not believe it. I didn't expect that Fei Ho would appear now. This is good. Yes, the predecessor, the treasure map is on him, that is, he took the treasure map. The star of the star school also looked bright, pointing to Fei Ho. Chen Feng stared at Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho who came over. Under the watchful eyes of Chen Feng and others, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho came to the public. Is you killing our dozens of purple swords and disciples? Chen Feng looked at Fei Ho coldly. Fei Ho did not speak, but looked at the two Starry Academy disciples with Huang Xiaolong coldly. Huang Xiaolong looked at the two, coldly said, You, it. The two star school disciples changed their faces. But then, the man looked at Huang Xiaolong sneer, Boy, you killed more than a dozen disciples of the Zig Unzone. I advise you to hand over the treasure map to the elders of Zig Unzone, and then kneel down the elders of the Purple Swordsmen asked for mercy, perhaps they could survive, otherwise, hey. Although he knows that Fei Ho is very strong, Chen Feng is an elder of the Purple Swords, at least the Tenth Order Powerhouse. He does not believe that Fei Ho will be strong enough to ignore the Tenth Order Powerhouse. At the time, the two sides will be in conflict and the two can take the opportunity to escape. Chen Feng saw Fei Ho not only did not answer, Huang Xiaolong, a child, but in front of his face said that the two disciples of the Starry Academy Dam, did not put him in the eye. As the elder of his purple sword, regardless of which King King City is surrounded, he will be greeted by the royal disciples and the major family leaders. Now, I was ignored by a little boy. Chen Feng's face is very polar. However, he is not eager to shoot. Although he is confident in his own strength, the other side is sure to be embarrassed if he dares to come out without fear. This time, there were two elders in the Zig Unzone who entered the Yunya Forest. In addition to him, there was another elder, Fu Yuan. They have a unique contact method. After a while, another elder, Fu Yuan, will come over. Chen Feng looked at Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho coldly, and then waited for another elder, Fu Yuan, to come. 
However, at this moment, Huang Xiaolong suddenly looked like a knife and looked at Chen Feng. It seemed to see through Chen Feng's thoughts. He said to Fei Ho, the disciples of the Starry Academy gave me and the spirit, you will solve the Purple Sword Disciple. Yes, less master. Fei Ho should be. Then, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho flew at the same time. Huang Xiaolong immediately came to the two disciples of the Starry Academy, and Fei Ho came to Chen Feng. The body was slanted and a sword was thrown out. It was the Luhan sword. Chen Feng was shocked, his body shape suddenly twisted, such as the gyro generally rotated, cannot escape the Fei Ho sword, a cold sweat, then, a scream rang, Chen Feng looked, I saw Fei Ho turned back a sword. An instant the thorns passed through the throat of a purple sword disciple. The two disciples of Starry Academy saw Huang Xiaolong, a little boy who actually killed the two. After a stay, the heart was happy, and the two were the sixth order mid peak peak. Can't they still deal with a child and a little monkey? Under the joy of the Starry Academy, they flew up and rushed to Huang Xiaolong and the devouring purple monkey. Huang Xiaolong saw the smile on both faces and sneered in his heart. The sword of Shura appeared in his hand and suddenly burst out. The mouth slowly said, the wind of hell. More than one hundred knives flickered, and two huge groups of wines continued to sweep up. A sound like sounded from the sky, and people listened to the cold. Stars College two faces horrified, physique in the air, panic will have to retreat, but still slow, the wind of swept in front of the two. Star Luojian Fa. The promised star. Under the man's horror, he couldn't escape, the whole body was vindictive, his eyes were stunned, and the sword in his hand slammed out in front of him. Under the sword, countless stars burst into the glory and hit the wind in hell. Together. And the woman's also slammed down. Hey. In an instant, it seems to have hit dozens of hits. However, the wind of did not stop spinning, and the innumerable starlight and swordsmen swallowed between one breath, and then crashed into the two. Hey! The two bodies were bombarded by the wind of hell, and they swayed and slammed into the big trees dozens of meters away. The big trees fell and the blood was sprayed in the mouth. The two fell to the ground, and the whole body robes were cut into countless pieces, and the flesh and blood were blurred. It seemed to be cut by more than one hundred knives. It was terrible, and even the faces of both of them were covered with a sword mark. The sword marks on the face poured out. However, the two did not die. Huang Xiaolong deliberately did not let the two people die immediately. The person who was cut by the wind of hell, the gas of continued to corrode in his body, constantly stirring the internal organs of the five internal organs, and it would be painful. Huang Xiaolong wanted the two to taste this pain. The two continually tumbling on the ground, screaming, screaming and painful. Around the Zijian Jianzong disciples heard the screams, turned around and saw the two people look terrible, their faces changed greatly. What? That little boy is actually. When Chen Feng's face changed, he looked shocked and looked at Huang Xiaolong, who was holding the blade of Shura. In front of this, it seems that only eight or nine year old kid who has defeated two sixth order powerhouses in an instant. How can it be? How can there be such a horrible enchanting existence between heaven and earth? Even the horror of his eyes is not so enchanting when he is eight or nine years old. Just when Chen Feng was shocked, suddenly, several screams rang, and Chen Feng suddenly turned his head. I saw the disciple of the purple sword and the disciples distracted. Fei Ho immediately pierced the throat of five people. Chen Feng was shocked and angry, and said, A group of idiots. Hurry up to call out the martial arts, arrange the blood wolf to kill. After that, his whole body flashed, a giant wolf appeared behind him, this giant wolf, the eyes are red, the skin is silver grey, and there is a strip of black stripes between the silver and grey. This is his beast martial arts, a wolf, a serious. As Chen Feng summoned the sorcerer's martial arts, the remaining seven purple sects and sects also called the martial arts, and the martial arts behind the seven were all wolves. 
Some wolves have golden eyes, some have two tails, and some have dark bodies. Although these disciples are not the celestial wolves of Chen Feng, they are also a kind of wolf. Huang Xiaolong met and was taken aback. At this time, seven purple robes and disciples returned to Chen Feng's side, with Chen Feng as the center, and the whole body was released. The martial arts behind him flew to Chen Feng's sorcerer's soul, and the eight wolf martial arts bloomed, a strong tyrannical the breath spread from Chen Feng's sorcerer's soul. Generally speaking, the same kind of martial arts can be blessed by some kind of exercises or arrays. After blessing, the strength of both sides will be improved to varying degrees. These purple swords and disciples and Chen Feng's body began to rise. Okay. Fei Ho had some accidents. I didn't expect that the martial arts of these purple swordsmen's disciples were all wolf martial arts. Looking at Chen Feng's eight people, Fei Ho sneered, the whole body's silver light burst like a sun, and a galaxy appeared. Constantly entangled in the body of Fei Ho, every time entangled, Fei Ho's whole body of silver light will rise a circle, and the Milky Way martial arts are also constantly rising. Wuhan strengthens. Chen Feng saw the change of Wuhan's martial arts, his eyes were scared and exclaimed. That's right, Wuhan strengthens. This is the life-threatening skills of the Fi Hao Galaxy Wuhan. Now, after the performance of Fi Hao's life-threatening technique, the Galaxy Wushan can be strengthened five times, and it is superimposed. Every time the reinforcement is strengthened, the Milky Way will rise by half. After five intensifications, Fi Hao's Galaxy Wuhan became a silver river nearly 10 meters wide and tens of meters long. After five intensifications, Fei Ho instantly became a soul, and the whole person seemed to have become a general presence of the Milky Way. The whole body muscles, skin, and bones seemed to disappear. Hands. Chen Feng was shocked, and suddenly took a palm to Fei Ho. A huge wolf head opened the mouth of the blood. Tevin's palm. The Wolf King whistle, and the whistling sound echoed the forest. The other seven disciples of the Purple Swordsman also shot, and all of them flew out of a wolf head, but they were twice as small as Chen Feng's huge wolf head. When Fei Ho saw it, his eyes were cold and his arms suddenly lifted up and banged. Crushing heart. Broken heart punch. The punch is empty, and the space seems to have something broken. Eight huge wolf heads exploded. Then, Chen Feng's eight people were all shaken, and they were all shaken off. Chen Feng was fine. After shaking back a dozen meters, his figure stabilized and the other seven disciples flew out. Ten meters away, when landing, the whole body kept ringing the sound of blasting. Every time the blasting, the seven people trembled and fell to the ground. Chen Feng also heard a loud sound in the body. Every time it bursts, the blood in the mouth will be sprayed once. Chen Feng is stunned. His eyes are hard to hide his fear. What kind of fighting skills is this? Suddenly, he turned and flew, and he was going to escape. When Fei Ho saw it, the whole body flashed, like a galaxy drifting, and instantly came to the other side of the body, the body shape turned, the space air whistling, Chen Feng Shen Shen back to the original place. Huang Xiaolong was completely relieved, and then slowly walked to the two disciples of the Starry Academy. At this time, the two were still tumbling on the ground, and the pain was screaming. The two men were full of blood, and then they were covered with Lois, and they were completely unrecognizable. Seek, please, let go, let me go, I can give you the treasure, the treasure map. The man saw Huang Xiaolong, and snorted. Huang Xiaolong didn't open his eyes, his eyes were cold, and Shura's blade waved up. The man ended his screams, his body motionless, and the woman's face was scared. When she wanted to speak, Huang Xiaolong's blade was turned and sent. It is on the road. Killing the two, Huang Xiaolong took back the blade of Shura, and then found a picture on the man's chest. This picture shows a monkey on the front. Looking at this monkey, Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but look at the devouring purple monkey. This treasure map is actually a monkey. 
Just when Huang Xiaolong's heart was unexpected, suddenly, the devouring purple monkey screamed with excitement, and Huang Xiaolong could not help but feel more strange when he saw the spirit of the spirited purple monkey. Is this treasure map not related to the devouring purple monkey? At this moment, suddenly, a scream, Huang Xiaolong looked, I saw Chen Feng, who was entangled in the Yin He incarnation, and screamed in the chest, and the whole chest was recessed. Then, a long sword stabbed from the galaxy, and the sword light flashed. Chen Feng's eyes closed, and suddenly, the throat came with pain. Chen Feng looked down and saw a long sword in front of his throat. The blood was flowing down and dripping down the ground. The blood was very red and very red. Chen Feng looked at the person holding the sword, Fei Ho, Zhang Zhang Kao, wants to pounce on Fei Ho, but just two steps out, they fell. Fei Ho looked at the other party's body coldly, then returned to Huang Xiaolong, and saw Huang Xiaolong's treasure map on his hand. It was also a strange look. He said, the master, this treasure map should be left by the demon strong. Of. The demon strong. Huang Xiaolong stunned. Yes, you see, the text on the back of the treasure map is the demon text. Fei Ho refers to the back of the treasure map. Huang Xiaolong turned over the back of the treasure map. He saw a strange mountain on the back of the treasure map. The mountain is like a giant elephant, and the figure below is a few odd-shaped characters, which is the demon character that Fei Ho refers to. At this time, the devouring purple monkey screamed at the demon script, and his hands continued to draw. Little guy, you said you know this text. Asked Huang Xiaolong. Hey. The spirited purple monkey nodded, then shook his head again. However, when Huang Xiaolong asked for a while, he still couldn't ask anything. In the end, he could only helplessly collect the treasure map into Shura. Although he did not know where the treasured map was and what the demon characters meant, he was sure. The treasure map should be related to the devouring purple monkey. The treasure map was collected, and Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho dealt with the body of Zi Zhan and other people. When dealing with the body, Huang Xiaolong found a secret recipe in Chen Feng, Black Moon, is a high-level practice of Xian Pin, in addition, also found some gold coins and remedies. Huang Xiaolong put all of his income into Shura. Although the high-level exercises of Xian Pin have no effect on Huang Xiaolong, they can be auctioned out, and the price is not low. Like Huang Jia's Wang, there is only one high-level martial art. After a while, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho, the devouring purple monkey left the place. Soon, two months passed. In the past two months, the two men and one monkey continued to advance into the Silver Moon Forest. Two months later, Huang Xiaolong had stepped into the Sixth Order threshold halfway, and the Sixth Order barrier was getting thinner and thinner, and he could break through to the Sixth Order at any time. The second stroke of Shura's swordsmanship is the Tears of Shura. After two months of hard training, the power has also increased greatly. However, the meridians of the fourth trend of the Yujinjing have not yet opened up. Yujinjing has twelve potentials. The more backward, the harder it is to cultivate. However, in the previous world, Huang Xiaolong once cultivated Yujinjing to the ninth potential, so it is now easier to recultivate than before. It is night, the moonlight is like water, and it covers the earth. Looking at the night sky from below the silver moon forest, the moon in the night sky is silver, so the silver moon forest is named after it. Under the moonlight, Huang Xiaolong raised his head with his right hand, his left elbow bent over his back, and he continued to breathe. The inner strength continued to flow in his body, gathering danshan. In the distance, Fei Ho looked at the strange posture of the doorkeeper, and his heart was strange. He had never seen anyone in Feng Shui mainland posing such a strange posture to practice martial arts. The night is slowly faded. The sun rises. Huang Xiaolong stopped the cultivation, and then the two of them continued their journey, and began the journey of hunting and killing the beast while practicing. 
In the past five days, Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho, and the Lingling Purple Monkey appeared on a mountain road at the foot of the mountain range outside the Yunya Forest. After nearly four months of cultivation, Huang Xiaolong decided to go out of the Yunya Forest and go shopping in the nearby city. Huang Xiaolong and the two monkeys walked along the mountain road. After a few hours, they finally saw a huge city. This huge city is many times larger than the county town of Huangxian, where Huang Jiazhuang is located. From a distance, the city walls are 3 or 40 meters high, and the gates are huge. Before the city, it is a moat. Seeing the huge city pool in front, Huang Xiaolong was happy, and he could not help but speed up the pace and approached. At first glance, I saw the top of the city gate with the words, La Tong Wang Cheng. La Tong Wang Cheng. Huang Xiaolong looked at the four characters above the gate of the city, stayed, this is the king of the kingdom of La Tong. It turned out to be the king city of the kingdom of La Tong. Door. After a while, Fei Ho called, Huang Xiaolong only woke up. We are now in the city. Asked Fei Ho. Go, let's go into the city. Huang Xiaolong was excited with a little excitement and excitement. It was a bit like the excitement and excitement of suddenly coming to the capital when he was on earth. However, before entering the city, the gate guards stopped Huang Xiaolong, and glanced up and down Huang Xiaolong, then said, into the city, one person ten gold coins. Ten gold coins, enough for some civilian families to spend a month. Entering the city? At this time, a pair of young men and women rode a fourth-order flame beast and swayed into the city. The guards not only did not stop, but respectfully bowed and sent the other party into the city. Huang Xiaolong's face was cold and he pointed to two people, why don't they go into the city? The guard captain sneered, they? They are Miss Lin and the young master Lin of the Marquis House. They are nobles. You don't understand the nobles. You don't need to go to the city to get into the city. How can you and the low-lying civilians from outside? Lin Shei is on the same page. Dare to love, these guards see Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho wearing, so Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho into the ranks of civilians. Nobles do not need to enter the city to enter the city, but foreign civilians enter the city but one person ten gold coins. Huang Xiaolong frowned. At this moment, the distant mountain road sounded the sound of the beast running, the ground vibrated, Huang Xiaolong turned to look at it, only a dozen people riding a large fourth-order rhinoceros from the distance to the gate the speed is extremely fast, obviously it is also going to the city. Soon, this group of people came to the city gate dozens of meters away, but the speed did not mean to slow down. And Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho stood in the middle of the avenue before the city gate. According to the speed of this group of people, after a few breaths, they would collide with Huang Xiaolong and fly Huang Xiaolong. The guard captain far saw the group of young people in the front of the yellow robe rushing over the rhinoceros. His face changed and he panicked to the side, it's Meng's return, hurry to escape. Hurry to escape apparently, this young man in the yellow robe is extremely afraid. The guard captain saw Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho as if they didn't hear their own yelling. They still stood in the middle of the avenue, and they didn't yell Huang Xiaolong again. Two civilians died when they died. This kind of thing is often in the city of La Tong. Something happened. The young man in the yellow robe Meng Xia rushed on the rhinoceros horn, and saw two civilians wearing cloths blocking the middle of the avenue. The eyes flashed through the blood and the rhinoceros under the legs were caught at a faster speed. Under the watch of the guard captain and the guards around him, Meng Xia rode the rhinoceros and finally rushed to the front of Huang Xiaolong. Seeing that Huang Xiaolong was going to be hit by the rhinoceros, at this moment, Fei Ho suddenly moved, and the sword in his hand did not know when it had appeared. As soon as I waved, countless swordsmen disappeared. Hey! The screams continued to ring and I saw that the rhinoceros that had collided suddenly stopped, his legs were soft, and he fell down. The blood of the beast was sprayed like a fountain, and the young man of the yellow robe Mengxia was on the back of the cow. I flew out. 
the rhinoceros that followed from behind was no exception. When it came to a few meters in front of Huang Xiaolong, all the legs were soft and fell down. The guards all flew. It's a screaming scream. The ground stopped vibrating. Around, there was only the screaming of the young man in the yellow robe. The guard captain and the guards around him stared blankly at the rhinoceros horns that had fallen to the ground, as if they had the madness of the sheep. The blood of the beast was bright red. The guard captain only felt the throat dry, and then looked at Fei Ho with horror. At this time, Meng Xia, a young man in yellow robe who flew out from the back of the cow, climbed up from the ground and looked at the love ride that fell in the pool of blood. He pointed to Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho, and roared, Reverse, reverse. Your low-lying daylets dared to kill my mount, it. Damn. Kill me, don't, cut me off first. Hand. Cut off their legs and feed the dog. Those guards climbed up from the ground, and when they heard, they slammed their swords and rushed over. In Wang Cheng, they only had to oppress these people. Now, these people dare to kill them. These guards were extremely embarrassed, and they cut their hands to Fei Ho and Huang Xiaolong. It seems that they really planned to cut off the hands of Huang Xiaolong and then break their legs. Fei Ho's eyes were cold and cold, and stood there, the sword in his hand was pulled up again, and the cold light flashed. Every time the flash appeared, the screams would ring. Under the horrified eyes of the guards around the guards, the arms of the guards holding the sword suddenly broke off from the body, and they emptied, and more than twenty arms were in the air. My hand, my hand. My hand is broken. Those guards were terrified and screaming. Originally, his face was full of anger, and he screamed and chopped off Huang Xiaolong's two-legged yellow robe young man Meng Xia's anger was a stiff, instead he was frightened and panicked. Fei Ho slowly walked over to him. The young man in the yellow robe Meng Xia panicked back, You, you guys, people, what do you want to do? I am the lord of the duke's house, you dare to move me a hair, you, will die without a place of burial. He felt it was not intimidation. There was once a man who moved him with a head hair. Later, the man and his family went up and down with hundreds of people all dead. Do you move a hair? Fei Ho's face was indifferent, and suddenly he started to swing his sword. Jian Meng flashed on the head of the young man in the yellow robe. Meng Xia screamed again and again, and the whole body trembled. When Fei Ho took back the long sword, Huang Xiaolong I smelled a stench and I saw that the young man in the yellow robe was under the pants of Meng Xia. It was wet. The water is dripping down the other's trousers. Fei Ho saw a duke disciple so timid, his face mocked, Kid, you can rest assured, I will not kill you, you are not dead. The young man in the yellow robe Meng Xia opened his eyes and saw that his head was still there, his neck was still there, but his hair fell on the ground and he was turned into a bald head by Fei Haojianmeng. The wind blew and the scalp was cool. The string of the young man in the yellow robe Meng Xia is constantly shaking, the heart is mad, and the whole body is soaked by cold sweat. The next time I dare to marry me, the Lord is the untouchables, then it is not the hair, I will cut your scalp layer by layer. Fei Ho eyes cold, watching the other side slowly. Meng Xia stayed there, no response, I just wanted to come to Fei Ho Jian Meng constantly flashing on his head, already scared his mind can not be sober. Fei Ho returned to the side of Huang Xiaolong, Lord, are you okay? I'm fine. Huang Xiaolong nodded, let's go, let's go into the city. After that, he turned and walked into the gate. When he passed the guard captain, Huang Xiaolong looked cold and indifferent, do you have to enter the city? The guard captain suddenly squatted down, his face horrified, crying, and said, No, 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 don't want it. Little ancestors, forgive, forgive. Under the horror, even the little ancestors shouted out. Huang Xiaolong continued, I am a low-lying civilian. The guard captain shook his head in a panic and waved his hand, No, no, ancestors, you are a noble aristocrat, a nobleman. I am a nobleman, 
then what about him? Huang Xiaolong suddenly stood in the distance and stood there, his face was still stunned, and the young man in the yellow robe with his trousers still dripping. The guard captain stunned, his face turned red, and he did not know how to answer it. Fei Ho's eyes are a glimpse. The guard captain was so scared that his was incontinent, and he even put a big fart and panicked and said, He, he is a low-lying untouchable. As soon as he spoke, he even had a heart of death. One of his guards dared to say the lord of the dukes, Meng Xia, is a low-ranking citizen? At that time, it was passed back to the duke's house. His guard captain must have been unable to keep it. If he could not keep his life, it would not be. What about you? Huang Xiaolong asked again. I am a dog, I am a dog. The guard captain's face was dead and white, and he continued. Huang Xiaolong's face was cold, and this time and Fei Ho turned to the city gate. It was not until Huang Xiaolong and the monkeys went far, that the guard captain sat on the ground, and the face was ugly than the stepping on the shit. The guards looked at him with a pitiful look. After a while, a guard came to his side and watched carefully, Captain, you see, Master Meng Xia, are we going to inform the dukes? At this time, the young man of the yellow robe Meng Xia still stupidly stood there, the other broken arm guards still scream. Notify the duke's house. The guard Captain Horan stood up from the ground, yes, right, inform the duke's house. When it comes to this, he looks at hatred and looks at Huang Xiaolong with grievances. Fei Ho enters the city gate. Back view, you low-lying people, dare to hurt the duke's house, Master Meng Xia, wait, I will make you cry more than laughter. At this time, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho have entered the city gate. Less lord, you can rest assured, a little duke's house, there will be nothing. Fei Ho said to Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong nodded. He knew that Fei Ho had dared to break the duke's house to guard his hands, and to cut the hair of the duke's house, so naturally he was embarrassed, although he did not know what to do, but since Fei Ho said so, then it's okay. Huang Xiaolong and two monkeys walked on the streets of Latong Wangcheng. The city of Latong is a king city. It is bustling and lively. The streets are very wide. Some large streets are 50 or 60 meters wide, and they are busy. Compared with the county town, it is simply a land of rural back country. From time to time, some people wearing weird people walked past Huang Xiaolong. There are more than 30 counties in the kingdom of Latong. Under each county, there are dozens, 100 counties, and some between counties and counties. The civilians are dressed differently which is a bit like the major ethnic minorities in the past. At this time, a tall man, two meters and two, the limbs are thick and strong, the whole body hair is very thick, and the strong man with a hairy hair like a tiger must pass by Huang Xiaolong. This is an orc. Huang Xiaolong looked at the brawny. In the world of Wuhan, in addition to the Terran, there are dozens of other races. The orcs are just one of them. In addition to the orcs, there is also a half-orc who is very similar to the orcs. It is a descendant of the breeding of the Terran and the orcs. Huang Xiaolong walked with the crowd, and the devouring purple monkey on the shoulders of Huang Xiaolong was also screaming and excited. Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho leisurely stroll, east look, west look. After a while, Huang Xiaolong could not help but stop after a delicious restaurant. Fei Hao Let's go in and eat something. Huang Xiaolong said, These months in the Silver Moon Forest cultivation, the mouth has faded out of the bird, although there are sand beasts and other beasts to eat, but often eat, eat tired early this time, Huang Xiaolong has to eat a good meal. Huang Xiaolong's voice fell, and the devouring purple monkey clapped his hands. I know your mouth. Huang Xiaolong smiled. Entering the restaurant, there are quite a lot of people, and the bustling, the first floor of the restaurant is full. We went to the second floor. Huang Xiaolong said, after finishing, I was going to the second floor. The second floor of the restaurant suddenly came over and stopped Huang Xiaolong. The attitude was quite polite, 
This little brother, I am sorry, we only entertained on the second floor. Noble. It is a nobleman. Huang Xiaolong frowned, his eyes looked at Fei Ho, Fei Ho would like to know, took out a few gold coins and threw it to the second floor of the restaurant, this is our less reward for you. Xiao Er stared at the five gold coins in his hand, this, is this rewarded to me. You must know that he earns more than a dozen gold coins a month, and the former nobles have won a lot of rewards. Silver coins. Can we go up now? Fei Ho said quietly. Yes, yes. Xiao Erhui, big smile, a smile, two lords, please, please. After that, he personally led Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho on the second floor. In fact, although the second floor is stipulated to entertain the nobility, it is not necessary for the aristocrats to do so, as long as the other party can afford to pay. Obviously, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho are rich owners. The second small led Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho came to a good position on the second floor by the window. Two lords, I don't know what kind of wine you want. After Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho sat down, Xiao Erhi smiled and asked. You have any signature dishes, just a dozen or so, and, come to the three altars, the best wine here. Huang Xiaolong said. A dozen. The best wine of the three altars. Xiao Er Mu stunned. More than a dozen signboards, wine to three altar. How? Not yet. At this time. Fei Ho brows a wrinkle, finished, throwing a small bag from his arms to the second, the second to catch, the hand sinking, open a look, only inside the golden light splendid, there are fifty or sixty gold coins. Is this enough? Fei Hao Dao. Xiao Erhui, he nodded in a panic, enough, enough, there are a lot left. Fei Hao Dao, all the rest will reward you, go ahead. Send the dishes up early. All the rest will reward you. Xiao Er heard Fei Ho, full of golden light, and the head is like a chicken glutinous rice, two lords, you can rest assured, very quickly, very soon, I will bring the dishes up. The sweat on his forehead, while walking quickly, the forehead sweat is not scared or happy. Soon, Xiao Er will bring the dishes and wine up. A dozen dishes. The table is full, the fragrance is elegant, let the population water. Two lords, this three altar wine is the best wine of our restaurant, called Suiyu wine, which is specially brewed in our restaurant. When Xiao Er sent the three jars of wine, he smiled. Snow moon wine. Fei Ho nodded and waved his hand, know it, go on. Yes, yes, the two lords, there are things despite the instructions. Xiao Erhi smiled, then retreated. Xiao Ii retired, and the demystifying purple monkey jumped from Huang Xiaolong and came to the jar. When the monkey claws were shot, the wine jar was opened and the wine suddenly overflowed. The jar was opened, and the little guy of the spirited purple monkey bloomed in the eyes. He lifted it up, slammed it, poured a few mouthfuls, and yelled at Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho. When Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho saw it, they couldn't help but smile. Both of them also opened the wine cover separately, then lifted it up, and touched it and poured it directly. As soon as the wine enters the throat, the mouth is cold and the wine is fragrant. Just when Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho were two monkeys and one monkey, Wen Meng Duo, the Duke of Latong Wangcheng, was cut into a bald head by Meng Ho, he stood in the hall and yelled, Hey, you must kill. The two untouchables cut their hands and feet together. After cutting their hands and legs, I will take them to show the crowd, so that everyone in Wang Cheng knows to offend the Duke of our ducal house. Meng Chen looked at his son's miserable appearance, and his heart was swaying. His son, Meng Chen, was beaten by two untouchables before the gate of Wang Cheng. And the hands of the Fuse Hong guards are all cut off. This is simply a shame. Isn't the two people still found out? Meng Chen turned to the head and asked the big housekeeper Xie Fei coldly. The big housekeeper Xie Fei Gong had to open his mouth. Suddenly, outside the hall, 
the guards who had just sent out the investigations ran in and said, Return to the Duke of the Great, the two of them fell in love, just in the delicious restaurant. Delicious restaurant. Meng Chen Huo ran stood up, his eyes bursting coldly, Well, very good, hit my son, hurt my Duke's house guard, even dare to eat and drink in Wang Chang delicious restaurant. The other party is looking at the Duke house in the redness. Call all the masters above the seventh level in the government, and go with me to the delicious restaurant. Meng Chen shouted. Yes, Duke adults. The great housekeeper Xie Fei respected, hesitated, and asked, Duke of the Duke, Mr. Dei, and Mr. Er, also have to call over. Meng Chen is cold, yes. No matter what the other party has, I have to make them die very badly. At this time, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho were still eating at the delicious restaurant. After a while, Fei Ho stopped and stood up and said to Huang Xiaolong, Lord, I am going to meet a person now, he is in the kingdom of La Tong, too. We are the disciples of Shur Amen, and I will bring him to meet the Lord. He knows that the Lord is in the kingdom of La Tong, and will be very happy. Solomon Disciple This is what Fei Ho had dared to fight the Duke of the Lord? Huang Xiaolong nodded, Well, you can go back quickly. He did not ask the identity of the Xiu Luimen disciple in the kingdom of La Tong. He will naturally know when he will bring it. Yes, less master. Fei Ho respectfully, then turned and left. Not long after, Fei Ho appeared in front of a huge government house, on the gate of Daifu, he wrote, Marshal House. The kingdom of La Tong, there are generals, the duke, the marquis countless but the marshal has only one person. The marshal of the kingdom of La Tong Haoshan is the veteran of the three kingdoms of the La Tong kingdom. In several times, the kingdom of the La Tong kingdom was rescued in the midst of danger, and the status is respected. Under the real king, the general will be above. Even the king of King La Tong did not need to kneel down, and he had supreme prestige in the army. However, Fei Ho came to the marshal house, but was stopped by the former soldiers, who, dare to swear to the martial house. Fei Ho did not open his mouth and took out a gold medal from his arms. When several soldiers saw it, his face changed greatly. His face suddenly disappeared and he crouched down, see the adults. Fei Ho's gold medal was given to him by Marshal La Tong a dozen years ago. Get up, I want to see your marshal. Fei Ho said. The soldiers respected it and stood up. He looked suspiciously, this, the grown-up, the marshal has just been called to the palace by Wang, and is not in the house. What? Not in the house? Fei Ho brows. Yes, adults. The soldiers bowed. You are going to the royal palace to inform you of the marshal, and he said that his younger brother is visiting. I am waiting for him at the delicious restaurant. Fei Ho said. Teacher. Several soldiers were taken aback. I didn't expect that the middle-aged man who looked like a civilian in front of him was actually the marshal's younger brother. Just to go to the palace to inform the marshal, let several soldiers hesitate. You go with my gold medal and I have anything to do. I will bear it. However, if you go late, what happened, your life is hard to protect. Fei Ho throws his gold medal, a soldier captain panic then catch it. Yes, adults. The soldier captain did not dare. Fei Ho turned back. Just as Fei Ho turned back to the delicious restaurant, Meng Chen led all the masters of the government to the delicious restaurant, and then broke into the door. All the diners on the first floor of the restaurant met Meng Chen and other people, and they swarmed in. They were all shocked and their faces were shocked. It turned out to be the Duke's adult. I don't know what the Duke's adult came to our restaurant. The restaurant owner came out and saw Meng Chen. His face changed and his face was full of smiles. Meng Chen did not pay attention to the owner of the restaurant, but looked cold and asked the next guard, they are upstairs. Yes, Duke. The hurried. Meng Chen's eyes flashed in the eyes, and his hands waved, Chong up surrounded the second floor, and, hold downstairs, 
I want a fly to fly. After that, push the owner of the restaurant. Many masters with the Duke's house rushed to the second floor. Hey, that's him, that kid. Just on the second floor, Meng Xia of the bald head saw Huang Xiaolong sitting in the window, screaming. When Meng Chen looked at it, he couldn't help but frown. What about the other? Duke of the Duke, this is better, we first caught this kid, the other one can't escape. The big housekeeper Xie Fei smiled. Huang Xiaolong slowly stood up from the wine table and looked coldly at the masters of the dukes who surrounded the group. In fact, as long as Meng Chen led the public, Huang Xiaolong saw it, but he without leaving, now, even if surrounded by the Seven Order, Eighth Order, Ninth Order and Ten Order powerhouses of the Duke's house, Huang Xiaolong is also fearless, because he has absolute certainty to leave safely. When Huang Xiaolong broke through the Fourth Order, the life-threatening space was hidden, and only six breaths could be concealed. Now, ten breaths can be concealed. Ten breaths, combined with the current speed of Huang Xiaolong, so that Huang Xiaolong can completely disappear in front of Meng Chen and others. Huang Xiaolong looked at the bald head of Meng Xia and sneered, I didn't expect you to dare to come. Don't you be afraid this time, will we cut your scalp one by one? Meng Xia and the Duke's house were surrounded by masters. I didn't expect the child to dare to say that Meng Xia had to cut off his scalp. After Meng Xia's glimpse, his heart was angry and his face was extremely embarrassing. He said, give me the hands and feet of this kid. Yes, less master. Some seven order guards rushed to rush to Huang Xiaolong. When these guards were cutting their blades to Huang Xiaolong, suddenly, a drink came from afar, who dares to hurt me? The surrounding airflow was shocked, and a thunderbolt was formed. Those seven step guards were hit by the lightning electrical flow, and only the body was numb, and the body was stagnant. At this time, Fei Ho, who had returned from the martial house, finally came back. As soon as he came back, Fei Ho displayed his own sound and wave skills that he had not used for many years. This thunderous sound is similar to the Tianqi. Just when these seven order guards were hit by lightning and the body was paralyzed, many masters of the Duke's house suddenly saw a tens of meters long galaxy floating from a distance. The speed was lightning fast, and they immediately came to the crowd. Duke of the Duke, be careful. The Heavenly Snake Sword Zhou Tian Chuan When the galaxy, which was formed by Fi Hao, came to the crowd, the two tenth-ranked masters of the Duke's house, Mr. De and Mr. Er, drunk at the same time, and suddenly rushed to Fiwa, a huge snake appeared. It was swallowed up by Fei Ho, and at the same time, a positive square punched the bang. However, everyone saw that when the giant snake and the square boxing of the square hit the galaxy, it seemed to have hit the sea, and the sword and the punching force sank into the sea without any reaction. The Milky Way that Fi Hao had made was still coming, and it was entangled in the seven step guards of the Duke's house. The screams came one after another. In the blink of an eye, the seven step guards of these Dukes fell to the ground, blood splashed and dyed the restaurant. Second floor floor. This time, Fei Ho shot no more mercy, unlike before, just broke the other hands. Fei Ho's figure appeared beside Huang Xiaolong not looking at the seven step guards who fell to the ground, but his eyes were like a knife, looking at Meng Xia standing beside Meng Chen. Unexpectedly, the last time he spared the other side, the other party actually dared to lead the public to retaliate. Then this time, Fei Ho eyes cold, staring at Meng Xia's scalp. Oh, it's him, that is, he shot all my hair down. Meng Xia saw Fei Ho, and he cried with a look of horror. He hid behind the two Tenth Order powerhouses of the Duke's house, Mr. De, behind Mr. Er. The two Tenth Order powerhouses of the Duke's house, Mr. De, Mr. Er's face is a bit ugly. Just two people joined forces and could not stop Fei Ho. So, the other party should be the Tenth Order Late Peak powerhouse. Because, they are the Tenth Order Late Stage, and one person is the Tenth Order Mid Peak Peak. And the Duke Meng Chen looked at the seven step guards lying in the ground, 
and was shocked and angry, you, you dare to kill my duke's house guard. Delicious restaurants, the duke's house is attacking more and more violently. Seeing Fi Hao's defense will be broken. Huang Xiaolong's brow wrinkles, considering whether to use the space to hide, and kill the bald head Meng Xia first, suddenly, there was a sound of eagle in the sky, overlooking everything. Within the count of Wang Cheng, I heard the long-lost eagle voice. All the city people could not help but look up to the sky. And Fei Ho heard the sound of the eagle, the face was happy, the brother finally arrived. Meng Chen heard the sound of the eagle, and he felt a little familiar, but he couldn't remember it for a while. Now he saw Fi Hao's face with joy, and he couldn't help but sneer, it's the helper, it's just right, just can clean up together. I have to see who is the three-headed and six-armed, and dare to take care of my Duke of Meng Chen. After Meng Chen finished, he did not look back. Fei Ho is the end of the strong, not enough fear, even if there is a tenth order lay peak, everyone in the Duke's house can be cleaned up. Meng Chen didn't look back, but his son Meng Xia heard the sound of the eagle, but couldn't help but look back. When he saw the huge condor and saw the people above the condor, the mouth was huge and suddenly sluggish. There, then, with a look of horror, trembling, the whole body was like a flea. Hey, hey! His tongue was knotted, and his hand pulled the robes of his father, Meng Chen, and his hands could not shake. Meng Chen heard his son's voice different, his brow wrinkled, what panic! The sky is falling, the top is hanging. After that, they all turned around and looked at the sun with dissatisfaction. The sun is getting less and less. Used in the middle, a little thing is afraid of this, how to inherit his duke position in the future. Then he looked up and looked at his son's eyes. Like his son, in an instant, he saw a huge condor, saw the condor above, dressed in golden armor, not angry and powerful, Marshal Haoshan. Yuan, Yuan. Meng Chen opened his mouth and ate, and suddenly his mind rang, only to feel that the sky at the top of the head collapsed. At this time, the Marshal Haoshan, who was riding the Tenth Order Iron Claw Condor, has come to a few hundred feet and saw that a dozen people are besieging one person, and this person is actually his younger brother Fei Ho. A raging anger rushed from his heart to the brain. Who dares to hurt my younger brother? He stunned, his voice rolling, trembled. A horrible pressure and breath burst out of him, like the king of the king. Within a few miles, all the city people heard this roar. After the Marshal Haoshan smashed, he flew directly from the condor. In the midair, hundreds of feet across the sky, yes, it was directly hundreds of feet away, like a storm, falling from the sky on the second floor of the restaurant, suddenly at a glance, hit it down. The sky is roaring. At the same time, there are countless shadows, such as a piece of meteorite falling into the air. The Duke, Meng Chen, heard the roar, and the string in his heart almost collapsed. Teacher, younger brother? Marshal's younger brother. The untouchables turned out to be the Marshal's younger brother. The Dukes of the Dukes who were besieging the expenses heard the roar, and then a figure came and countless horror shadows fell from the sky, no worries, want to retreat, but it is already late. Numerous screams rang, and everyone flew out, smashed the floor, and the floor of the restaurant trembled and could collapse at any time. Mr. D, Mr. E.R. spurted blood, full of fear, sweeping all around, I saw that except for two people, everyone else has died. A slap, seriously injured two tenth order killing a dozen eight order, nine order. This kind of terrorist strength is only. The two looked at the man who had landed from the air and could not believe it. How, Hao Tian Yuan, Marshal. Haoshan's blow, after the people of the Duke's house flew, came to Fi Hao's body and had a loud voice, Teacher, the brother is coming late, how are you? Fei Ho looked at his brother and smiled, I am fine. At this time, Marshal Haoshan could not help but look at Huang Xiaolong behind Fei Ho. When he was in the air, he naturally saw Fei Ho fully protect the child. What is the identity of this child? 
is it the grandson of the younger brother? When Haoshan was wondering, suddenly, he saw that Huang Xiaolong's left ring finger was wearing a black ring. When he saw this ring, Haoshan's body was so intense that his eyes were wide and he could not believe it. Is it? He was shocked to see Fei Ho. Fei Ho knew what the brothers wanted to ask, and nodded to the brothers. Hao Tian saw the younger brother nodded, and the whole body shook again. Then his face turned red, and his face was so excited that he would kneel. Suddenly, he heard a sound of mosquitoes and flies in his ear, and he was about to squat. Stopped, a glimpse, the doorkeeper who had just shouted the exit could not recover from his life, and then bent down and changed his mind, the marshal of the kingdom of Latong has seen the lord. Less, less master. Next to Meng Chen, Meng Xia and his son, and the big gentleman, the second gentleman saw their kingdom marshal actually went there, the child salute, and called the young master, only feels whirlwind, there is a kind of unstable standing to faint a feeling of. This time, the sky is not just a collapse. Marshal Haoshan Huang Xiaolong was also taken aback. In front of this, he saluted himself. It seems that the old man in the 70s is actually the marshal of the Latong Kingdom. The marshal of Haotong Kingdom Haoshan is also a disciple of Shur Amen. Still a brother of Fei Ho. How big is the power of Shur Amen? Little master. Fei Ho sees Huang Xiaolong in a daze, not to be reminded by a small voice, Huang Xiaolong this time to come back to God, reach out and support the marshal Haoshan, marshal Haoshan, please start. Marshal Haoshan sees Huang Xiaolong helping him, and he is shocked and shocked, Xie Sheazu. Panic straight, then coldly looked at Meng Chen, Meng Xia, Duke Fu Dei, Mr. Tu. Meng Chen two fathers and sons, he naturally recognized. In the eyes of Marshal Haoshan, the killings were surging. Originally, if Meng Chen and others were besieged only the younger brother Fei Ho, this is the end of the matter, but now. He slowly walked over to the two fathers and sons of Meng Chen. After Mr. Da and Mr. Er, they suddenly turned their palms together and instantly printed the chests of the two men, directly exploding their chests. Two ten-order powerhouses, can't die anymore. Huo, Haoshan Marshal, me. Meng Chen's face changed greatly, and he trembled, I am the Duke of Meng Chen. Even if Marshal Haoshan is under a king, it will be above the top, but it can't just kill a duke. Marshal Haoshan Cold Channel, I know that you are the Duke of Meng Chen. When Meng Chen heard it, his heart was loose. Since he knew it, it would be good. However, when his heart was just loose, suddenly, the Marshal Hao Tian's hand suddenly slammed through his throat and then pulled back. Even if you are the Duke, dare to kill me, I am going to die. Marshal Haoshan looked coldly at the fallen Duke Meng Chen. That Meng Xia looked at his throat and blood spray, and his father, Meng Chen, who fell down in front of himself, opened his mouth with the biggest scream in his life. His face was white and his eyes turned, his pants were wet. Hao Tian slammed out, passed through his throat, did not look at the two, and then took back the long scorpion and returned to the front of Huang Xiaolong, less master belong to the late, let the young master be shocked. Huang Xiaolong shook his head, it's not your fault. If you don't come today, I don't know how to do it with Fei Ho. At this time, the generals of the martial house, the soldiers rushed to the delicious restaurant, saw the body of the Duke Meng Chen, Meng Xia two father and son and other people, cannot help but be surprised. Marshal, is this? A general asked carefully. Hao Tian cold voice, they are killing me, treat their bodies. Everyone was shocked. Put him out. Then, Marshal Haoshan pointed to one of them, the man was the captain of the soldier who received the gold medal of Fi Hao and did not go to the palace to inform. Marshal, forgive me, I am wrong, Marshal, forgive. The soldier captain suddenly stunned and screamed again and again, but the soldiers stepped forward and dragged them out. It didn't take long before they came. Call. Less Lord, now, will you come back to the Marshall House with me? 
Hao Tian turned to ask Huang Xiaolong respectfully. Little Lord? The marshal's generals, the soldiers, all looked shocked and looked at Huang Xiaolong unbelievably. You come over and worship the Lord. Hao Shen told the marshal house, the soldiers said. See the Lord. The marshals will be the generals. When the soldiers heard it, they quickly stepped forward and bowed down. You all get up. Looking at the generals, the soldiers crouched to themselves. Huang Xiaolong was somewhat unaccustomed. These are the generals of the Latong Kingdom. Even if the former grandfather Huang Kai saw it, he would also welcome himself. No. After everyone got up, Huang Xiaolong said to the Marshal Haoshan, Let's go. When I heard the door owner agree and go to the Marshal House, Marshal Haoshan's face was overjoyed and respectfully said, Yes, less master, less master, please. So, Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho, Hao Tian, Marshal House, the soldiers, all the way to the Marshal House and back. And Huang Xiaolong and others just entered the Marshal House not long after, Marshal Haoshan in the delicious restaurant will be the Duke of Meng Chen, Meng Xia and the Duke of the House to kill the news of many masters like a hurricane to the corners of Wang Cheng. Almost at the same time, the various families and nobles of Wang Cheng knew the news, and their faces suddenly changed. A duke was killed in Wang Cheng, the first time in more than 100 years since the founding of the Kingdom of La Tong. I heard that the Duke of Meng Chen led the masters of the government to besiege the marshal, the marshal, and the marshal was angry, and all the Meng Chen and others were killed. This Duke Meng Chen is also unlucky enough to get into the marshal, but the marshal is too overbearing and despising Wang Fa, even dare to kill a duke in Wang Cheng. The head of the Wang Cheng family, the duke, the marquis, the baron was shocked to discuss. In the king's palace of King La Tong, King El Yuzhe of the Kingdom of La Tong listened to the reports of the ministers. After a long time, he waved his hand, I know this, I will retire. The ministers stunned and did not dare to say that they had withdrawn from the main hall. They knew that the father and son of the Duke, Meng Chen, died in white. Now that the king did not say anything, it means that Wang did not pursue this matter. It was night, moonlight lingering. Huang Xiaolong stood in the courtyard of the Marshal House, and looked at the big, round moon in the night sky, recalling the scene of the restaurant today. What happened to the restaurant today, let him once again realize that his strength is still too weak. Although he said that he has reached the peak of the Fifth Order late stage at the age of nine, it has been shocking, but in the face of those Seventh Order, Eighth Order and Ninth Order powerhouses, his fifth grade late stage strength is still not enough. In addition, the Marshal Haoshan descended from the sky, under the attack, killing more than a dozen eight order, nine order strong, seriously injured two ten order, such strength, definitely more than the ten order late peak, definitely the ten order late peak strong. What is the strength of the tenth order late peak? Huang Xiaolong has not asked for a fee, but in Huang Jia's Wang, his parents have not said anything. After a while, Huang Xiaolong called Fei Ho. Door, you call me, what is your order? After the arrival of Fei Ho, he respectfully asked. Sit. Huang Xiaolong pointed to the stone chair in the middle of the yard. He walked over and sat down with Fei Ho and asked his doubts. What strength is the peak of the tenth order late stage? Fei Ho listened to Huang Xiaolong's question, and paused, and then replied. After returning to the door, after breaking through the Tenth Order late peak, our Wuhan world called it a congenital warrior. Congenital warrior. Huang Xiaolong said. Yes, the doorkeeper. Fei Ho nodded, when our martial arts absorb the heaven and earth aura and transform it into the body's meridians, the fighting spirit can temper the body, the soldiers can temper the muscles from one to three steps, and the fourth to sixth order tempering ribs. 7 to the 10th order is the quenching film. However, from the 1st to the 10th, the vindictiveness cannot strengthen our internal organs. Only when we break through the 10th order and reach the congenital level, the vindictiveness can strengthen our internal organs and the whole body. Therefore, as long as we break through the innate, then we can continue to strengthen through vindictiveness. 
the body of the body, the vitality will continue to increase. In general, the tenth order late peaks can only live a hundred years at most, but once they break through the innate, the life expectancy will be greatly improved, and generally the innate strong kin live too. A hundred years old, congenital peaks, and some kin live three or four hundred years old. Three or four hundred years old. Huang Xiaolong was a little surprised. Fei Ho nodded, yes, thirty years ago, Haoshan brothers have already broken through the innate, you don't look at Haoshan brothers now it seems only about seventy years old, in fact, he is already more than one hundred and ten years old. Huang Xiaolong had some accidents. He did not expect Marshal Haoshan to be more than one hundred and ten years old. At this time, Fei Ho said, when the seventh stage of the warrior breaks through, the vindictiveness will form a sea of breath in the position of the heart. If we break through the innate, then the vindictiveness will change and become a liquid form, so the innate vindictive power is stronger, and, after the transformation of the martial arts of the innate power, it can be condensed into entities. Wu Huo condenses into a solid. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are wide, if the martial arts can condense the entity, then when the martial arts soul can also call out their own battle. Yes, the doorkeeper. Fei Ho nodded, the higher the level of the Wushan innate, then after reaching the congenital, the condensed entity, the stronger the strength, such as Haoshan brother, his martial arts is the top ten martial arts. The black lion, now called, the strength is not much different from him. Not much difference, that is equivalent to a congenital strong. This is the real difference between the innate power and the acquired first to tenth order. Also, Huang Xiaolong thinks of a problem. If he breaks through the innateness, the martial arts will condense into a solid, and his own martial arts is a double dragon. The dragon can fly. Then, can you slam the black dragon on your left foot and step on the blue dragon on your right foot? Flying at high altitude? And he is a twin super martial arts, then break through the innate, the strength of Wuhan will go against the sky to what extent? However, it is difficult to break through the innate, difficult, too difficult. Just after Huang Xiaolong's own twin super martial arts broke through the congenital, the strength would be reversed to what extent, Fei Ho shook his head and sighed, to break through congenital, generally only those who have more than ten martial arts can break through. When the Wuhan awakens, the innate level of Wuhan has already determined the achievement of a person in the future, which is why Huang Kaid would be so fond of Huang Wei. Because Huang Wei has a ten level martial arts, as long as nothing unexpected, he can break through the innate. Must be more than ten martial arts to break through the innate. Asked Huang Xiaolong. Fei Ho indulged a bit and said, it is not certain. Sometimes people who have a ninth level martial arts can break through the innate, but the breakthrough is several times more difficult than those who have the ten level martial arts. As for the top eight martial arts people. It is also possible, but the probability is smaller, 100,000 people of the top 8 martial arts, not necessarily one person can break through the innate, as for the 7 level, 6 level martial arts, no matter how hard, it is impossible to break through the innate of. Huang Xiaolong nodded, if his martial arts is really a 7 level martial arts, then no matter how hard this life, it is impossible to break through the innate. Fortunately, his martial arts is not 7. Then there are congenital, there are levels. Huang Xiaolong looked at Fei Ho with a burning look. Fei Haoyi, then shook his head, smiled and said, The doorkeeper, above congenital, there is indeed a stronger sanctuary strong, I heard that breaking the sanctuary, the life of the body can break through a thousand, and the poison is not invaded, the knife and the gun difficult to enter, almost undead, but to break through the sanctuary, almost harder than going to heaven. It's harder than going to heaven. Huang Xiaolong stunned. Fei Ho nodded, congenital tenth order, every step of the breakthrough is extremely difficult, just like Haoshan brother, thirty years ago, it broke through the innate, and now thirty years have passed, just broke through the second order, only those who have super martial arts have the hope to break through the sanctuary, and it is not certain, just hope. 
Don't say that we are the kingdom of Latong, even if it is surrounded by hundreds of kingdoms, there is no strong sanctuary. Fei Ho said. Hundreds of kingdoms do not have a sanctuary strong. Huang Xiaolong has always been eyes. How many people in the kingdom of Latong, I am afraid that there are two or three hundred million, and hundreds of kingdoms are tens of billions of people. Do not necessarily have a sanctuary. Actually, ten years ago, I have seen a sanctuary strongman. At this moment, Fei Ho looked awkward and recalled. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are bright. Fei Ho met, could not help but smile, at that time, the subordinate was in this broken edge of the imperial city, I saw this sanctuary strong, but only seen one side. Speaking of this, Fei Ho's face is a bit embarrassing, his ten-step strength, in fact, is not qualified to meet the sanctuary strong, but just happened to meet the sanctuary strongman flying over the imperial city, he looked far away. Broken Edge Empire Huang Xiaolong was the first to hear the empire. At this time, Fei Ho explained, the kingdom of Latong is one of the kingdoms of more than a thousand kingdoms under the rule of the empire. We have hundreds of kingdoms around the kingdom of Latong. Although there are no strong people in the sanctuary, but the emperor of the broken blade the city has a strong sanctuary to sit down. Our continent is called the Snowy Continent. In addition to the broken blade empire, there are more than a dozen empire. This is just our human race. In addition to our human race, there are also beasts, elves, dwarves, and tree people. The golden giants and so on. Fei Ho continued. Huang Xiaolong heard his heart. Broken Blade Empire. Windy Snow Continent. Orc, Elf, Dwarf, Tree Man, Gold Giant. This martial arts world is so vast, so vast, so wonderful. He wants to cultivate, to become stronger. When you arrive at the Broken Blade Empire, see the legendary Sanctuary Powerhouse. One day, he will also become the legendary Sanctuary Strong. After a while, Fei Ho left. Huang Xiaolong sat there, and he could not calm down for a long time. At this time, he realized that the world is so colorful. After a long time, Huang Xiaolong slowly calmed down. Now, let's break through the Sixth Order and talk about it. Huang Xiaolong stood up and shook his head. What sanctuary, what is innate, is too far away for him now, and now the most realistic problem is to break through the Sixth Order. However, he has a feeling that it should be in these two days to break through the Sixth Order. Back inside the room, Huang Xiaolong took the Hanya bed out of Shura, and then sat on it, running Shura, and the double dragon martial arts appeared behind him, constantly consuming the nine emptiness of the void. After coming out of Huang Jia's Wang for several months, Huang Xiaolong's San Jiang Wushan is also different from a few months ago. Now, the black and blue San Jiang scales are more solid, and the body's four claws are thicker. Less. A night passed. When the sun came in through the window, Huang Xiaolong stopped the cultivation, then took the cold jade bed, and left the room. When he left the room, he saw Haoshan and Fi Hao walked in from outside the hospital. See the door. The two bowed to the moment. Even if Marshal Haoshan is a congenital powerhouse, it is also necessary to worship the rituals. This is the door rule of Shur Amen. In Shur Amen, the door is the supreme. This rule, even if Huang Xiaolong is the current owner, cannot be abolished. Huang Xiaolong could only bear the two people's rituals before they let the two get up. I want to go out and go shopping, and I want to buy a house. After the two got up, Huang Xiaolong said, although Marshal Haoshan is a disciple of Shura, but he has lived in this martial house for a long time, Huang Xiaolong is inconvenient, and he does not want to if you own a house in your own city in Latong, it is much easier to cultivate or do other things. When Marshal Haoshan heard it, his face was a bit stunned. He said, the doorkeeper, aren't those guards, the slaves are not good? I will replace them now. Huang Xiaolong shook his head and smiled and said, no, it has nothing to do with them, but I want to buy a house, 
it is so convenient. Haoshan heard the words, this is a loose heart, but Huang Xiaolong is the door owner. Since Huang Xiaolong said this, he did not dare to force Huang Xiaolong to live in his martial house again. The subordinates now accompany the door to the past market market to select the government. Hao Tian said. No, you send two people, and Fei Ho follows me in the past. Huang Xiaolong thought about it, let a marshal of the Latong kingdom follow him to pick the house, I am afraid that in this king city, even if he wants to keep a low profile, it will not work. Huang Xiaolong still doesn't want to be too eye-catching. That's good, let's arrange it. Haoshan also knows the doorkeeper's concerns, respectfully. The restaurant, he has commanded to let all the generals at the time, the soldiers are not allowed to reveal the identity of Huang Xiaolong, so now Wang Chinch's major families, nobles do not know the identity of Huang Xiaolong, the martial less master. After a while, Hao Tian sent two Fuzhong guards to come over. The two guards and Fei Ho followed Huang Xiaolong out of the martial house and went to the property market. Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho went to the property market before going to the property market. In the Silver Moon Forest, Huang Xiaolong killed a lot of mercenaries and got some gold coins, but it was not enough to buy Wang Cheng house. Therefore, Huang Xiaolong intends to sell the Black Moon that was obtained from the elders of the Purple Swordsman. Black Moon is a high-level method of Xian Pin, the price is not low. After a while, Huang Xiaolong came to a martial art called Du Feng. The four people of Huang Xiaolong walked into the gate, perhaps because of the dawn of the day, the trading front hall was still a bit deserted. I don't know what the four people want to buy and sell. Seeing Huang Xiaolong come in, the front office manager asked. I want to auction a high-level martial art. Huang Xiaolong said directly. Xian Pin Senior Exercises the manager looked at Huang Xiaolong with amazement. Usually, few people took the high-end exercises of Xian Pin to auction. Not bad. Huang Xiaolong said lightly. Please, please enter the inner hall to talk. The face of the manager changed, his smile filled, and then Huang Xiaolong invited four people into the inner hall, let Huang Xiaolong sit down, told the people below to send tea, and then quickly left notify the top. Not long after, a sixty-year-old man wearing a robes came in, it was Lin Long, a long-time elder in the Defeng trading market, followed by the manager. Lin Yuan came in, his eyes fell on Huang Xiaolong, and the color of the flash disappeared. Oh, in the next auction house elder Lin Yuan, I heard that the little brothers want to auction a high-level martial arts. Lin Yuan came in, smiled. Huang Xiaolong didn't open his mouth and pretended to put his hand into his arms. Actually, he took out a black booklet from the Shura ring and put it on the table. Lin Yuan's eyes narrowed, picked it up, and then turned it over. Black Moon He was taken aback, this Black Moon, he heard, after cultivation, the cultivator has the power of the moon, especially at night, this set of power is stronger. After receiving a little heart, Lin Yuan smiled and said, This is indeed a high-level practice of Xian Pin, I wonder how the little brother should auction. I need money now, you give it a price. Huang Xiaolong thought about it and said, If you bring this black moon to the auction, you have to wait at least two or three days to get the money. Therefore, Huang Xiaolong intends to sell it directly to the auction, so you don't have to wait two or three days. When Lin Yuan heard it, he knew that Huang Xiaolong was in urgent need of money. He pretended to be pretending, this little brother, you know that if you sell it directly, the price will be much lower. When it comes to this, it looks like a generous one, so, I don't press the price, 50,000 gold coins. After that, I reached out and pointed five fingers. 50,000 gold coins. Huang Xiaolong heard, sneer in the heart, Dare to love this old guy really is a child, just take a 50,000 gold coins to send yourself? Suanpin's advanced exercises are auctioned out. Generally, 300,000 gold coins can be auctioned. If they are sold directly, 
there will be at least 250,000 gold coins. Even if it is a meta-level intermediate practice, it will be sold directly, and there will be 100,000 gold coins. Huang Xiaolong did not talk to him anymore. He took the black moon and received it. He stood up and said to Fei Ho, let's go. After that, they will leave. Slow. Lin Yuanjian Huang Xiaolong had to go, suddenly opened his mouth, and then his body flashed, reaching out and stopping, and Huang Xiaolong was stopped. At this time, more than a dozen people dressed in Feng the of the auction robes. Huang Xiaolong looked cold and looked at each other, what do you mean? Lin Yuan just smiled and disappeared. Looking at Huang Xiaolong, little brother, are you so anxious to go, is it a guilty conscience, is there a problem with this method? Huang Xiaolong looked at each other with interest, I have a problem with my merits. Lin Yuan sneered and said, yes, we lost a high-level martial art in the past few days, which is the Black Moon. When Huang Xiaolong heard it, he sneered in his heart. It seems that the other party wants to force the sale. He even found such an excuse. The other party's meaning is that Huang Xiaolong's Black Moon is stealing this Du Feng auction. Forcible trading, the past life on the earth, Huang Xiaolong encountered several such things. Like this, I am not embarrassed about you. Lin Yuan then said coldly, take the black moon to us for the auction, we can let you leave, otherwise, steal our auction, you should know the end. Now, he doesn't even want to give 50,000 gold coins. 5,000 gold coins, when they fall into his pocket, enough for him to spend, happy and happy for some days. Among the kings, all the big families and noble children, he recognized that Huang Xiaolong was born, certainly not a big family disciple of Wang Cheng, so he dared to do so, not to worry about Huang Xiaolong's revenge afterwards. He has done this a few times. Fei Ho listened to the auctioneer, Lin Yuan, who even opened his mouth and said that this black moon was stealing the Feng auction, and they all looked at each other with interest and did not shoot. However, Fei Ho couldn't stand it, but the two guards who followed the Huang Xiaolong in the martial house couldn't help it. One of them went forward, and one palm waved, and Lin Yuan's right face angered, when I licked the dog's eyes, I dared to bully us to the younger one. Snapped. One palm, Fan Lin far back a few steps, I saw Lin Yuan's right face five fingers red seal clear. You, do you dare to do it? Lin Yuan screamed at his burning right face, roaring, and his eyes were stunned. Because the two guards did not wear the martial house guard robes before they came out, they just wore ordinary casual clothes, so Lin Yuan does not know the identity of the two. Hands, kill me, kill the black moon. Lin Yuan followed and shouted. After he finished, he was flashed and attacked Huang Xiaolong. However, when he had just arrived in front of Huang Xiaolong, suddenly, a flash of a figure, Fei Ho's sword in his hand waved up, countless swords and flowers like snowflakes. When Lin Yuan was stunned, when he wanted to escape, the countless swords and flowers had not entered his body for a moment, and a scream rang, and Lin Yuan retired and went to the inner wall pillar. The two guards in the martial house kept turning, and every time they turned, there was a guard who fell down at the auction. These two guards are assigned by Marshal Haoshan, and the strength is naturally not weak. Although it is not the tenth order, it is also the peak of the late nine stage. How can these guards resist the auction? After a while, the two guards of the Marshal House stopped, and all the guards at the auction had fallen to the ground and suffered. Less Lord, are you okay? The two returned to Huang Xiaolong and respectfully said. I'm fine. Huang Xiaolong shook his head, then went to the auctioneer Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan stood up and stood up, saw Huang Xiaolong in front of him, a look of horror, little brother, misunderstanding, this is a misunderstanding it's my mistake. The one that we lost in the auction days ago is not the black moon. You look at my pig's head, it, it. Misunderstanding. Huang Xiaolong sneered, you are now sure that the part of your auction lost is not a black moon. In fact, 
Huang Xiaolong also knows that the other party's so-called mistakes and the so-called auction will be lost, but the other party husband only. There is no such thing at all. Lin Yuanqiang smiled and smiled more ugly than crying, OK, I am sure I remember it wrong. Just then, suddenly, a loud drink outside, whoever eats the ambition of the leopard, dare to make trouble at my Feng auction. Then, outside the footsteps, listening to footsteps, come a lot. Lin Yuan's face is a joy. Then, a middle-aged man with a beard and a thick eyebrow was rushing into the inner hall. The inner hall is large, and dozens of people are coming in and not crowded. After the middle-aged man came in, he looked at the dozen or so guards lying on the ground and his face sank. President Lin Yuanjian middle-aged man came in and fled to the middle-aged person, President, save me. This middle-aged man is Du Bei's, the president of the Du Feng auction. What happened? Du Bei's asked, cold eyes. Lin Yuan he hesitated a moment, pointing to a few people of Huang Xiaolong and said, when the president is not there, we will lose a high-level martial art in the auction, that is, these people are stealing. Xuan Pin Senior Exercises Du Bei's heard the words and suddenly turned his head and flew the elders Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan screamed and fell to the corner of the inner hall. Surrounded by silence, Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho and others were surprised. Lin Yuan trembled from the ground, his mouth was full of blood, his left face, and he couldn't believe the president, yes, president. What do you mean by saying that they have stolen our exercises and then brought them to our auctions? Du Bei's looked coldly at Lin Yuan who climbed up. Only idiots will believe Lin Yuan's lie. Lin Yuan's face turned red, President, me, me. You thought that I was holding me recently and doing a few strong things to buy, I don't know. Du Bei's eyes were cold, Lin Yuan heard, his body trembled and his face pale, the President, this is, yes. Well, you don't say anything, if you look at your sister's face, I will have you abolished, wait, I will settle with you. Go down. Du Bei's waved, let people Lin Yuan took it down. At this time, Du Bei's turned around and looked at Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho, under Du Bei's, the discipline is not strict, such a thing happened, to several accomplices. It doesn't matter. Huang Xiaolong said, since things are clear, then it will do. I don't know what the little brothers are going to auction. Du Bei's asked, waving his hand and letting the influx of guards all retreat. Since everything misunderstood the ice release, Huang Xiaolong did not have arrogance, then he sat back again and took the Black Moon Scorpion out. Suanpin Senior Exercises, Black Moon. Du Bei's looked at the Black Moon that Huang Xiaolong took out, like the previous Lin Yuan, some surprised. Not bad. Huang Xiaolong said, I want to use the money now, I will not auction it, sell it directly, I don't know how much Du can give. Du Bei's indulged and said, 3,000, I don't know what the price of the little brother thinks. 3,000, 5,000. Huang Xiaolong has some accidents. If it is an auction, this black moon may be able to auction a high price of 350,000, but now he is selling directly, this Du Bei's even gave such a high price. However, in an instant, Huang Xiaolong understood Du Bei's intention. The other party gave such a high price. I want to take this opportunity to settle with myself. At the moment, Huang Xiaolong did not give in, and sold the Black Moon to the other party for 350,000. After a while, Du Bei's personally sent Huang Xiaolong to the auction. President, although the Black Moon is a high-level method of Xian Pin, but 350,000 bought it, is it high? Du Bei's behind an elder carefully said, and, they shot seriously injured our guard. Du Bei's looked at Huang Xiaolong's backs, his eyes deep, and shook his head, you don't understand. He naturally can see that Huang Xiaolong is not simple. If he can make a good relationship with Huang Xiaolong, he has a hunch that they will auction later. The reward you get will be even greater. After Huang Xiaolong left the auction, 
he went directly to the property market. After several selections, Huang Xiaolong bought a house called Tian Xian with 250,000 gold coins. This Tian Xian house is not far from the Marshall House. It is separated by three streets, from the Marshall House to the Tian Xian House, which is half an hour. On this day, Suanfui Yuan is very large, with nearly a thousand square meters. This is also an important reason for Huang Xiaolong to purchase this palace. Because Huang Xiaolong intends to cultivate and train his own forces from now on, only a large enough government can do it. Although he is now the master of Shuremen, Shuremen is not a force built by himself. After purchasing Tian Suanfu, Huang Xiaolong went to the slave trading market with Fi Hao three people. Since he owns his own government, he naturally needs to buy some slaves to take care of it. After a while, when Huang Xiaolong came out of the slave trading market, he bought 16 slaves. Among the 16 people, four were orcs, two were elves, and two were mountain dwarves. Talent is a human race. Seeing that Huang Xiaolong actually bought two dwarves, Fei Ho is somewhat difficult to understand, because most people buy servants will not buy dwarves, but Huang Xiaolong is the owner, and Fei Ho does not ask. The four Huang Xiaolong came out of the slave market with 16 slaves. They did not return to the Marshall House first, but went to the Tian Xian mansion. When I arrived at Tian Suanfu, Huang Xiaolong strolled around. Tian Suanfu had a total of more than a dozen large rooms and several yards, and there was a large square behind it. Overall, it was quite satisfactory, just because the house was deserted for some days, so in some corners, the yard has grown a lot of grass. From the sixteen servants, Huang Xiaolong selected an orc named Bo Li, and asked him to arrange for everyone to clean and clean up Tian Xian. After doing all this, Huang Xiaolong took the three people to the Marshall House and returned. However, when Huang Xiaolong returned to the middle of the road, he suddenly heard a familiar surprise call behind him, Little Dragon. Huang Xiaolong stunned, turned to the first, only saw a shadow to himself to rush over, turned out to be Li Wei. Is Li Wei not in Jixian? How come to Wang Cheng? Little Dragon, really is you. Li Hao rushed over, smiled, looked extremely happy, and then hugged Huang Xiaolong. A scent came from the nose. Huang Xiaolong smiled, and did not expect to encounter Li Wei in this Wang Cheng. Xiaolong, how come you came to Wang Cheng? Huang Xiaolong did not speak, Li Wei was pleased to ask. How come to Wang Cheng? Huang Xiaolong did not know how to open it. Don't you also sign up for Starry Academy? Li Xiao asked when Huang Xiaolong did not know how to answer. Register for Starry Academy. Huang Xiaolong stunned. At this time, Li Cheng and Li Fu came together in the distance. This time, Li Cheng sent his daughter Li Wei to Wang Cheng. Uncle. Huang Xiaolong called Li Cheng, and he took it out of Li's Huiwei. Li Cheng looked at Huang Xiaolong with deep thoughts and smiled. Xiaolong, I haven't seen you for a few months. You have grown a lot. In the past few months, Li Wei has been thinking about you all the time. Hey, what are you talking about? Li Wei was a little shy and sighed. Li Cheng laughed and then turned around and said to the Fei Ho behind Huang Xiaolong, I have seen Fei Hao's predecessors. On Huang Jia's Wang, Fei Ho showed the strength of the Tenth Order late stage, and Li Cheng naturally heard about the boxing defeat of Huang Jia's Wang. Fei Ho nodded indifferently. Xiaolong, did you find a place to live? Or, live with us? Li Wei said, Li is doing silk business, and he is doing a lot. In Wangcheng, there is also a small storefront and a small manor. Of course, the manor the area is only 200 square meters, far from being comparable to Huang Xiaolong's Tian Xian. Live together? Huang Xiaolong looked at Li Wei and paused, No, I found a place to live. Oh. Li Hao whispered, some disappointment, but then, his face smiled, revealing two small dimples. This king city is big, it is much more fun than our county, 
go, let's go shopping together. When I finished, I pulled up Huang Xiaolong's hand. Go shopping? Huang Xiaolong's forehead black line. However, in the end, it was still being held by Li Wei for more than an hour. After more than an hour, Huang Xiaolong was able to get out, and then returned to the Marshall House with Fei Ho. The four people of Huang Xiaolong came out in the morning and returned to the Marshall House. It was already afternoon. After returning to the Marshall House, Huang Xiaolong called the Marshall Haoshan. The door master. After Haoshan came over, he respected Huang Xiaolong with respect. Huang Xiaolong let it up, and then to Fei Ho, Hao Tian two humans, you are all sitting. One finger next to the chair. After the two sat down, Huang Xiaolong asked Haoshan, I want to know about Starry Academy. Haoshan's meal, I didn't expect the doorkeeper to ask myself to come over to ask the Starry Academy, and then suddenly, Starry Academy is the first college of the Latong Kingdom. The owner wants to enroll in the Starry Academy? Immediately, Haoshan reported the history of Starry Academy and some of the college's systems to Huang Xiaolong in detail, said for 20 minutes, and then said, Do you want to sign up for Star Academy? Huang Xiaolong practiced Shu Rao, and also had Shu swordsmanship, and repaired the ghosts and claws. In fact, he couldn't enter the Starry Academy. It didn't matter in Huang Xiaolong's opinion, but Hao Tian asked, Huang Xiaolong did not openly deny it. At this time, Haoshan went on to say, if the door owner enters the Starry Academy, it is of great benefit to the practice of the door. The Starry Academy has class competitions every year, grades and colleges, every year, grades and grades. The first place in the college's total competition, you can enter the Longian Valley Cultivation, this Longian Valley is a cultivation treasure, not only can quench the flesh but also strengthen their own vindictive quality. Longian Valley, tempering the flesh, strengthening the quality of vindictive. Huang Xiaolong was shocked, he was the first time I heard that there is something that can strengthen the vindictive quality. Yes, the main owner, this Dragon Flame Valley has a natural dragon vein at the bottom, into the Longian Valley cultivation, it can indeed temper the flesh and strengthen the vindictive quality. However, only useful for the Tenth Order or less, after reaching the Tenth Order, enter the Dragon Flame Valley the effect of cultivation is not great. Fei Ho also has an interface. Natural Dragon Veins This Starry Academy has a natural dragon. Huang Xiaolong's eyes blink, although it is only useful for the Tenth Order or less, but it is also very powerful, at least for the current Huang Xiaolong, it plays a big role. And, the first year of the Starry Academy and the first of the college championships will reward the medicinal herbs, the first prize of the first grade will reward the four high-grade Lingdan, the second grade will reward the first class spirit of the first grade, the third grade. The first reward is the middle-level spirit of the five products. As for the first round of the college competition, the five-grade high-level spirit is rewarded. Haoshan said again. Four high-end spirits. Five products, first, middle, high. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are straight and straight, and this Starry Academy is really willing to give up, even the five high-end Ling Dan are willing to come up with rewards. A rare kind of spirituality like the five-grade high order, even in the kingdom of Latong, even if there are more gold coins, you can't buy it. At the beginning, when Huang Xiaolong's grandfather Huang Kaid would collect the dragon and tiger Xian Yuan Dan for Huang Xiaolong for more than ten years, he was sorely hurt. Later, Huang Xiaolong gave his father Huang Peng to swallow, and the dragon tiger Xian Yuan Dan was only four high end. And, if you win the first round of the college championship, you can represent the Starry Sky Academy to the Imperial City of Broken Blades and participate in the Battle of the Imperial City. Fei Haodeo. Go to the Broken Blade Imperial City, participate in the Battle of the Imperial City. Huang Xiaolong was shocked. Yes, the Broken Blade Empire is the first of all the Kingdom Colleges. Every year, you will go to the Broken Blade Imperial City for a test. It is called the Battle of the Imperial City. Hao Tiandeo, 
if you can stand out in the battle of the Imperial City, before entering 100, you can enter the Broken Blade Imperial College to become a disciple of the Broken Blade Academy, whether it is for the family or the kingdom in which it is located, it is a great glory. And, there are 11 to 100 in the top 100 in the pre-war battle of the Imperial City, rewarding the 6th stage 1st class pandans. 2nd to 10th place, rewarding 6 middle class spirits. As for the 1st place, it is a reward for the 6 high end Ling Dan. Haoshan said this, excited. That is the 6 grade high ranking remedy. 6 high grade medicinal herbs even for his congenital second-order power is also extremely eager for the baby. Fei Ho is also looking forward to it. Huang Xiaolong swallowed his throat and snorted. Niang's, six high-end Ling Dan. If the tenth-order peaks of the people swallow a six-product high-level panacea, I am afraid that there is hope to break through the innate. After a while, Huang Xiaolong slowly calmed down. Subsequently, Huang Xiaolong asked Haoshan about the registration method and requirements of the Starry Academy. The day after tomorrow, Starry Academy can sign up, the age of the door, naturally no problem, just, in addition to the age of 12 years old, also requires the Wuhan must be more than 9 levels. Hao Tian replied. 9 grades or more. Huang Xiaolong brows, if you want to check the Wuhan, then your own twin super Wuhan thing is it not exposed? In fact, if the door master does not have a ninth level martial arts, it does not matter, I can also arrange the door owner to enter the Starry Sky Academy. Haoshan has not seen Huang Xiaolong Wuhan, see Huang Xiaolong frowning, thinking that Huang Xiaolong's Wuhan is below the ninth level soul. As a marshal of the kingdom, he arranged for one person to enter the Starry Academy. This ability is still there. No nine levels of martial arts? When Huang Xiaolong heard that Marshal Haoshan had misunderstood that his martial arts had no ninth level, he could not help but shake his head and smiled. He thought about it and said, Actually, my martial arts is not without ninth grade. I just worried about my martial arts exposure problem. Hao Tian and Fei Ho looked at each other and the door owner worried that his martial arts were exposed. Generally speaking, even if it is the top 10 martial arts, don't worry about this problem. Just when the two were puzzled, suddenly, Huang Xiaolong's body was shining, and then, one black and one blue two dragons suspended in the head behind Huang Xiaolong. Two heartrending pressures emerged from the two dragons. Then, a momentum of the world was born from Huang Xiaolong. The two looked at the martial arts behind Huang Xiaolong, and the body suddenly shocked and his face was hard to believe. Double, twin martial arts. Fei Ho trembled. The door master turned out to be the legendary twin martial arts. Dragon? San Jiang? Twin Super Wuhan? Then, Marshal Haoshan looked excited, his tongue trembled, and some incoherent. God, twin super martial arts. The door owner turned out to be a twin super martial. Both have a feeling of excitement and dizziness. Suddenly, the excited two people stood up from the chair and suddenly crouched down to Huang Xiaolong. The door is invincible. The door is invincible. The two continued to bow down, and each time they bowed, they called it once, and they were completely disappointed. Looking at the constant worship, the excited Marshal Haoshan, Fei Ho too, Huang Xiaolong stayed, and then speechless laughter, is not the twin super Wuhan? Is it so exciting? You all get up. Huang Xiaolong said. However, the two did not stand up for a while. Marshal Haoshan was so excited that he even had tears in his eyes, the door is the twin super martial arts, this is God bless me to repair Luimen. After that, I will be able to revive and reproduce the glory. Twin super martial arts. Such a rare talent let alone the Broken Blade Empire, even the entire snowy continent, there are not many. Broken Blade Empire founded more than 2,000 years ago, there has never been a twin super martial arts. Fei Ho is also excited and incoherent. After 10 minutes, the two talents stood up, but still excited. 
my twin super martial arts, you should not leak out. After the two got up, Huang Xiaolong began. The doorkeeper please rest assured that we are dead, and we promise that we will not leak out the super Wu view of the doorkeeper. Fei Ho, Hao Tian, and two people squatted again and vowed. Huang Xiaolong nodded, and it was because he believed in the two that he only showed his twin super martial arts to the two. The two were absolutely loyal to Shi Amen. Huang Xiaolong let the two get up. After the two got up, Huang Xiaolong asked, You can see, how many grades do I have in this twin super martial arts? Hao Tian and Fei Ho looked at each other and did not speak for a while. After a while, Hao Tian said, In general, the Black Dragon martial arts is a 12-level martial arts, but I should watch the Black Dragon martial arts. The ordinary Black Dragon is different from the Black Dragon, and the Blue Dragon has not been recorded in history. Not recorded. Huang Xiaolong was amazed. Yes, the door owner, because the Wind and Snow Mainland has never had a Blue Dragon martial arts soul, although I cannot determine the level of the Blue Dragon martial arts of the door, but I can be sure that the Blue Dragon martial arts of the door master than the door owner the variation of the Black Dragon martial arts is even stronger. Hao Tian said. Huang Xiaolong was a little surprised. The Wind and Snow Mainland has never had anyone who has owned the Blue Dragon Wushan. Is this one unique? Finally, Huang Xiaolong asked two people about the Black Dragon Wuhan. After a while, the two men retired. After the two men retired, Huang Xiaolong was sitting in the yard and meditating. Although it is still impossible to determine how many levels of his two super martial arts, it is certainly above the twelfth level. Then, Huang Xiaolong thought about the battle of the Imperial Imperial City and the division of Shi Amen. Finally, Huang Xiaolong thought of Li Wei's gimmick. Don't think about it, try to cultivate it. Huang Xiaolong stood up and he had to break through the sixth order before entering Starry Academy. Back to the room, Huang Xiaolong took out the Hanya bed and sat on it. The Shura smashed up and the Sanjiang continued to swallow the void. Nine stagnation in the body of Huang Xiaolong constantly roared, constantly impacting. So, I don't know how long it has passed. Suddenly, a slight cracking sound that only Huang Xiaolong can hear is like a crack in the eggshell. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are happy. Sixth order, finally broke through. Nine stagnation gas continues to flow in the sixth order meridians, undulating, maneuvering, and the sixth order meridians expands more than the fifth order meridians, which can enrich more vindictiveness. A night passed. Huang Xiaolong came out of the room and moved his hands and feet. Then he came to the middle of the yard and slammed the iron pile to the tree. A palm print was printed on the iron pile, which was one inch deep and the iron pile humming. Breaking through the sixth order, Huang Xiaolong now has more than ten stones in his fighting power. Under one palm, there are nearly two thousand pounds. At the same time, Huang Xiaolong found that when he hit a palm, the bursting power of the whole body muscle was much stronger than before, and the whole body muscles were more full and solid. After trying to break through the sixth order vindictive power, Huang Xiaolong flew up, and the sword of Shura appeared in his hand. He suddenly swayed out, and countless blades became violent rain, covering the entire yard, and the man's roared like a giant thunder. Always. However, what is surprising is that under the blade of the blade, the flowers and grass in the yard are motionless, as if the attack of Huang Xiaolong did not fall on it. After a blow, Huang Xiaolong attacked again. This time, countless blades were turned into drizzle and the sound was as small as a mosquito. If you didn't listen carefully, you could hardly hear it. In the past few months, Huang Xiaolong's understanding of the tears of Shura has deepened. In this way, very soon, two days passed. In these two days, Huang Xiaolong stayed in the yard and stayed at home. Apart from practicing Shurao and Yi Jinjing, he was practicing the tears of Shura. On this day, Marshal Haoshan personally came to Huang Xiaolong's yard with a recommendation letter from Starry Academy, and gave a letter of recommendation to Huang Xiaolong. 
As long as you follow this letter of recommendation to Starry Academy, you don't have to check the martial arts, you can also enter Starry Academy. After Marshal Haoshan and Huang Xiaolong said some things, they arranged the previous two guards to follow Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho to the Starry Academy. Starry Academy is located in the north of the center of Wangcheng, not too far from the Marshall House. After an hour, the four people came to the front of the Starry College. Just let Huang Xiaolong feel a bit sullen when he first arrived at the gate of the Starry College, he met Li Wei, who also came to sign up. Little Dragon When Li Wei saw Huang Xiaolong, he was as happy as he was the day before yesterday. Li Wei hugged Huang Xiaolong, and many people around him looked over. Although the two are still nine-year-olds, they are looked at by everyone, and Huang Xiaolong still has some tender faces. Uncle Huang Xiaolong called Li Cheng behind Li Wei, and then opened a distance with Li Wei. This girl seems to be addicted. Every time I see myself, I must hold it. What makes Huang Xiaolong stunned is that Li Cheng is the youngest son of her, regardless of her daughter. Li Cheng nodded to Huang Xiaolong with a smile, and then respected Fei Ho for a predecessor. I have seen it the day before yesterday, so everyone did not talk about the old, they went into the gate of the Starry Academy, and went into the gate of the Starry Academy. It was a very large square. The square was actually paved with a rare star stone in the world. Of. This kind of star stone has a faint aura of heaven and earth. People put it in it, and it is refreshing. Every piece is worth a thousand gold coins. How many star stones do you need in such a big square? This Starry Academy is really rich and rich. Above the square, there have been many people standing there, there are hundreds of people, and obviously they have all come to sign up. Huang Xiaolong glanced at a few people and then went to the square to sign up. When I came to the registration, I saw that the woman who was responsible for the registration was actually a woman who seemed to be only in her twenties, Lu Feng, and ice muscles. It was so beautiful that it was just a little cold. Teacher, hello, we are here to sign up. Li Wei came, the dimple was revealed, said. Xiang Maiki looked up and saw Li Wei's lovely dimples. Some of the cold faces were loose and loose. They squeezed a smile and nodded, name, age. Li Yi answered one by one. After Xiang Maiki recorded one by one, he took a wooden sign to Li Wei and asked Li Wei to go to the inner hall for Wuhan detection and other aspects. Although the rules for admission to Starry College are 9th level martial arts and under 12 years old, other assessments are required. Li Wei got the wooden sign and retreated to the side waiting for Huang Xiaolong. At this time, Huang Xiaolong stepped forward and took out a letter of recommendation directly from his arms. Xiang Maiki saw Huang Xiaolong take out the letter of recommendation. The smile that had just been squeezed out by Li Wei suddenly disappeared. His face was covered with frost and his eyes were even disgusted and disdainful. These martial arts did not have nine levels, through family power. She is extremely disgusted with the special enrollment students who have won the recommendation letter from Starry Academy. Name, age? Asked Xiang Maiki coldly. Huang Xiaolong, nine and a half years old. Huang Xiaolong said. Xiang Maiki recorded it, and then threw a star-shaped star with two thumb-sized stars on the ground, this is a student ID card. The star student card rolled to the feet of Huang Xiaolong, so glaring. Fei Ho and the two guards met, and his face was angry. When he was about to go forward, Huang Xiaolong reached out and shook his head. The three men waited for it. Fei Ho smashed the star student card. Huang Xiaolong looked at Xiang Maiki who threw his student ID card to the ground. His face was cold and indifferent, where is the tuition fee? Since the other party is so, then he does not have to give the other person a good face. Xiang Maiki said coldly, Are you dumb, don't ask someone. Bold. Fei Ho saw the other party even dare to say that the door is dumb, snarled, and the Ten Order powerhouse rose. Xiang Maiki sees Fei Ho as the Tenth Order powerhouse, staying in bed, but not afraid, sneer, 
do you want to make trouble? After that, the whole body momentum was also released, and a huge butterfly was suspended behind him. This young Mikey's martial arts turned out to be a butterfly. However, unlike ordinary butterflies, the butterfly martial arts behind them are colorful and colorful, with eight wings behind them, and the wings are gold and silver. Colorful Butterfly Huang Xiaolong had some accidents. This colorful butterfly martial arts is also a rare martial art, although the grade is not high, but it is also the top nine martial arts. Wuhan, in each level, there are also high and low points, there are ordinary, first class, top three. At this time, in the other direction of the square, three people flew over, and the speed was extremely fast. Soon they came to the public. The three people, like Xiang Mikey, wore the starry school teacher Jin Bao, apparently also the college teacher. One of the eyebrows has a fine line, like the third eye, which looks like a demon and is beautiful. After Zhong Yuan came, the eyebrows and fine lines moved, and Xiang Mikey said, Maki, what happened? After that, I looked at Fi Hao. Xiang Mikey looked at Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho, and said coldly, it's just a waste with a recommendation letter, screaming at family power and wanting to make trouble. Take the waste of the recommendation letter. Taking advantage of family power. Make trouble. Huang Xiaolong's face was cold. Previously, he was only a little uncomfortable with this woman. Now, it is extremely uncomfortable. Even if Huang Xiaolong is holding a letter of recommendation to sign up, he does not enter the college through his own ability assessment. It is also a college thing, it seems to be still it is not a stinky woman to take care of her. She is just a teacher. Now she has sent this dissatisfaction to herself, and she obviously chose the wrong object. It turned out to be a waste disciple who took the recommendation letter and signed up. Boy, you want to make trouble, choose the wrong place. You don't look at the place here. Zhong Yuan said to Huang Xiaolong, Now, you kneel down. Apologize to the bear teacher, this is the case, otherwise. Generally, with the recommendation letter to sign up, the background is not weak, so in the view of Zhong Yuan, just let the other party kneel down to apologize, already very tolerant of each other. Otherwise, he just cancelled the registration qualification of the other party and let the other party get out. Apologize? Fei Ho and the two guards saw each other to let Huang Xiaolong apologize, and all of them were furious. At this moment, Huang Xiaolong looked at Zhong Yuan, one finger Xiang Mikey, and then sneered. I also give you this and this female dog bear a choice, kneel down, apologize to me, this is the case, otherwise. Speaking of this, Huang Xiaolong eyes flashed. Since the two have to make trouble for themselves, he really wants to make a noise now. No one dared before, no one does not dare to be in the future. At this time, the major family disciples who came to the registration around the square were also surrounded. I heard that Huang Xiaolong dared to let the two teachers kneel down to apologize to him, and could not help but for a moment. This buddy is too powerful. That Xiang Mikey and Zhong Yuan stayed, and then his face turned red and purple, and the anger was extremely extreme. A waste disciple who took the recommendation letter and signed up for the bill actually asked them to apologize to him in turn. That Xiang Mikey was so angry that Huang Xiaolong, the two groups of meat on the chest beat, and said, I will cancel your registration now, you will take me with your three slaves. Huang Xiaolong smiled coldly, to cancel my qualification, you are a teacher, you are not qualified yet. Huang Xiaolong said the facts, such as Huang Xiaolong, who is holding a recommendation letter, is only forcing the director to have more than eligibility to cancel their registration qualification. You. Xiang Mikey was so angry that she did not know how to answer. Indeed, according to the regulations of the college, only the vice president can cancel the registration qualification of Huang Xiaolong. She was angry at the moment and said that she had forgotten the matter when she cancelled the registration qualification of Huang Xiaolong. At this time, 
Zhong Yuan said with a cold smile, although we do not have the right to cancel your registration qualification, we have the right to propose to the vice president to cancel your registration qualification, and we are college teachers, you are making trouble at the college, we have the right to detain you and hand it to the college law court. After the Zhong Yuan finished, the whole body flashed and the Wuhan was called out. His martial arts turned out to be a mountain. A triangular Montenegro with three eyes. Three eyes Montenegro. The three-eyed Montenegro, like Fiwo's Milky Way, is one of the natural martial arts. However, the Fiyo Galaxy Wushan is a variation of the natural river, and the three-eyed Montenegro is mutated from the mountain of nature. To make. Zhong Yuan summoned the martial arts, and instantly became a soul. The whole body seemed to be covered with a layer of black armor. He suddenly rushed to Huang Xiaolong. This Zhongai Yuanko said that he would detain Huang Xiaolong, but if Huang Xiaolong was hit by him, I am afraid that I will not die and I will be abolished. When Huang Xiaolong saw it, his face was cold and he said slowly, Kill, he. Yes, less master. Has been waiting for Huang Xiaolong's order to listen to the listener, shouting loudly, the galaxy Wuhan summoned, instantly Soul, full force punched the other side. At this time, the two guards of the martial house also greeted Xiong Mikey and two other teachers. Boom! A huge shock, I saw that Zhong Yuan and Fi Hao both collided with each other. The body of Zhong Yuan continued to retreat, and the black body of the whole body was dull. You, the Tenth Order Late Peak. Zhong Yuan looked at Fei Ho with surprise. In the past, Fei Ho only exposed the Ten Order breath. Zhong Yuan thought that Fei Ho was only the ordinary Ten Order, but he did not expect it to be the Tenth Order Late Peak. And it is the Tenth Order Late Peak with the Milky Way. Starry Academy, the Tenth Order Powerhouse, still has some, but the Tenth Order Late Peaks are rarely rare, and although he is the third grade teacher of the First Academy of the Kingdom, it is only the Tenth Order mid-term. Fei Ho didn't bother to be surprised by the other side. After a punch shocked back to the other side, his body flashed and he immediately came to the other side, suddenly punching, crushing heart. Huo's fist print broke out, and the space seemed to be broken and burst. Zhong Yuan looked terrified, and then his eyes blinked. The fine lines of the eyebrows suddenly split and a black vertical eye appeared. This is the life-threatening skill of his martial arts. Soul of the Soul A huge black ray shines from its vertical eyes, and the black light forms a black eye, exuding a strange and heart-warming atmosphere. The black light of the black eyeball collides with the broken heart punch. Hey! When the two collided, I saw that the black light of the black eyeball continued to rupture, and then bursting open, the powerful airflow swept across the square and the body of the clock suddenly trembled and retreated. Fei Ho also stepped back a few steps, while his mind screamed, everything disappeared in front of him, leaving only a huge black eyeball. Zhongga Yuan's body retreats, seeing Fei Ho's eyes confused, not sneering and proud, this is the power of his soul and soul, can quietly affect the enemy's mind, so that the other side's eyes appear illusory. Zhongga Yuan's eyes stunned and flashed, and flew up, suddenly pointing to Fei Ho's eyebrows. Take the wind. The powerful fingers continued to rotate, and a burst of storms was rolled up. When I saw the fingers, I hit the eyebrows of Fei Ho. Suddenly, the eyes of the original eyes were fierce, and the eyes of the heroes flashed. Then, the soul of the Milky Way was entwined. As his body rotates, each rotation will rise a big circle. Soul of the soul. Now, I will let you see my life skills. Fei Ho sneered, the galaxy Wuhan instantly strengthened five times, and the double fists were instantly hit, and the other side was smashed by the wind, and then the double fist hit the chest of Zhong Yuan. Zhong Yuan screamed and flew out, rolled out dozens of feet and landed on the square. The enrolled disciples who had come around to see the excitement had already escaped far away. When they saw that Zhong Yuan was defeated by Fei Ho, they were all shocked to stand there, silent. Li Cheng and Li Wei are even shocked. 
Li Cheng shocked Huang Xiaolong's suggestion that there would be a recommendation letter from Starry Academy. Obviously, this recommendation letter cannot be won by Huang Jia's Wang Huang Liz Wang, let alone Huang Liz Wang, even if they are in Tianfeng County where the county is located. The county kings can't win the recommendation letter from the Starry Academy. Li Cheng was even more shocked by the strength of Fei Ho. At the same time, it was hard to believe that Huang Xiaolong actually dared to let Fei Ho seriously hurt the Star Academy teacher. Here is the Starry Academy. What is Huang Xiaolong's snuggle? Also, how did Huang Xiaolong have two more Ninth Order late peaks? Because the two guards of the Martial House came out wearing casual clothes, everyone did not know that they were Marshall's mansion. On the other hand, Xiang Maiki, who was in the midst of a fierce battle with the two Marshals, saw that Zhong Yuan was beaten by Fei Ho and was also shocked. At this time, the clock source swayed from the square floor and looked at Fei Ho. His eyes were scared, the Wuhan strengthens. The Wuhan intensification is a kind of sacred soul skill in the soul of the martial arts. He did not expect that the life-threatening skills of Fei Ho would be enhanced by Wuhan. At this moment, suddenly, dozens of figures came from afar and the tyrannical atmosphere was overwhelming. Huang Xiaolong turned to look at the dozens of figures coming from the sky, his eyes were condensed, and the master of the Starry Academy finally came. Huang Xiaolong's eyes fell to the forefront, and the one with the strongest temperament was a 60-year-old man. This old man, the atmosphere is stronger than Fi Hao, but it is much weaker than Haoshan. It should be an infinitely close to the 10th order late peak powerhouse. Vice Deputy. Zhong Yuan saw the arrival, surprised and shouted. And Xiang Maiki is a happy face, hey. Father. The Vice President of the Starry Academy is actually the father of the bear? Huang Xiaolong had some accidents, and Fei Ho had some accidents. At this time, everyone has stopped fighting, and the two guards have returned to the side of Huang Xiaolong. Xiang Chu and the masters of the Starry Academy rushed to see the clock source, and the brow wrinkled, what happened? Zhong Yuan has not yet opened, then Xiang Maiki will go forward, hey, this waste with a recommendation letter comes to our college with his family guards. Like this waste, you must cancel his registration qualification. Oh. Xiang Chu couldn't help but look at Huang Xiaolong. The Starry Academy was established for more than 100 years. For the first time, someone dared to make trouble at the college. The deputy dean, just cancel his qualification, he is too cheap. At this time, Zhong Yuan looked at Fei Ho with hatred, this person seriously injured the college teacher, it should be killed, otherwise this case will open, after everyone dares to make trouble at the college. After Zhong Yuan finished, Xiang Maiki continued, Yes, hey, you must kill it, and, not only, to kill his three guards, like this kind of waste that the family forces are making trouble at the college. This, one refers to Huang Xiaolong, also should be detained, let his family patriarch personally come over and bring him back, and then publicly apologize to our college. Huang Xiaolong listened and sneered, but did not speak. He wanted to see what the father of the female bear said. Xiang Chu listened to her daughter and Zhong Yuan, and looked calmly at Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho, and suddenly said to her daughter, Give me the recommendation letter. Xiang Maiki stunned, but still took the recommendation letter that Huang Xiaolong gave her. When Xiang Chu took the recommendation letter and saw a small sign at the corner of the recommendation letter, his eyes were condensed, and sure enough, this recommendation letter was sent by the dean. Each special enrollment has ten places, usually he is responsible for him, but this time, there is only one exception. For the first two days, the dean who has always ignored the matter has personally asked him a quota. And this letter of recommendation is sent by the dean himself. Xiang Chu Brows, since it is the recommendation letter sent by the dean himself, he will not be able to deal with it. This waste with the recommendation letter from the president will only have the right to dispose of it. Xiang Chu will recommend the letter, think about it, and Huang Xiaolong said, Little guy, 
as long as you and your three guards apologize, I can do it. Don't worry about it. Everyone stayed and couldn't believe it. The Star Academy teacher was seriously injured, just apologize for the ceremony. Hey, you. Xiong Mikey was anxious and was about to speak. Xiong Chu raised her hand and said, OK, don't say more. Xiong Mikey couldn't help but look at Huang Xiaolong with a hateful look. Just when everyone thought that Huang Xiaolong wanted to apology to apologize, Huang Xiaolong suddenly said, Why should we apologize with us? I want them to apologize to me. After all, one finger Zhong Yuan, Xiong Mikey. What? Everyone was shocked and looked at Huang Xiaolong in an incredible way. Is this kid crazy? Didn't he understand the words of Xiong Chu, Vice President of Starry Academy? What do you say? Would you like to apologize to you? Xiong Mikey almost blew her chest. The father just let the other person apologize, and it has already made her feel extremely uncomfortable. Now the other party is actually like her, but she wants her. Apologize. Hey, you also saw that this waste does not put our Star Academy at all. Xiong Mikey turned around and said to Xiong Chudeo. Xiong Chu looked at Huang Xiaolong, but his face sank. This family relying on the family forces and getting the recommendation letter from the dean was too ignorant. In the past, he looked at the face of the yard and just let the other party apologize. It is already very tolerant. The other party even dared to get into the inch. At this time, Huang Xiaolong looked at Xiong Mikey and sneered, You keep saying that I am a waste. I keep saying that we are making trouble. In this case, take the video recorder of the square and let everyone see how we are making trouble. The image recording ball is a kind of recording record. Like the Starry Sky Academy, the square must have such an image recording ball. Xiong Chu's face was cold, go, take the square video record ball. Yes, Deputy Dean. A teacher respected it, and quickly left, and soon came back, holding a sphere like a crystal ball in his hand. Open the record ball. Xiong Chu said. Subsequently, the teacher ran vindicatively and entered the record ball. Soon, the images were refracted from the record ball in the air and the images were seen from the previous events. First, Xiong Mikey threw Huang Xiaolong's student ID card to the ground, and then Zhong Zhong III came over. Instead, Huang Xiaolong apologized, and then Zhong Yuan shot Huang Xiaolong. Finally, Fei Ho shot seriously injured Zhong Yuan. Xiong Mikey and Zhong Yuan looked at the scene of the refraction of the recorded ball, and his face became more and more ugly. The family disciples who came to sign up all four weeks were all clear about what was going on, and they couldn't help but whisper. Xiong Chu looked at the image and his face was sinking. After the image was released, Huang Xiaolong said coldly, We have no trouble, but you keep saying that we are making trouble, he wants to kill me, my guards fight back, this is trouble? Is it that I have to stand here to kill him, it is not a trouble? Not. One finger clock source. Zhong Yu and Zhen, I do not know how to answer, but angry and hate. Huang Xiaolong looked at Xiang Chudeo, everything is very clear. Since it is not our trouble, then I would like to ask, why do we have to apologize to them? Just because they are your college teachers. Xiang Chu is silent. Hey. At this time, Xiang Mikey is about to open a defense. Xiong Chu suddenly shouted, Stop! After drinking, turn around and turn to Huang Xiaolong, Little guy, this way, you will sign up for all expenses this year, exempt. Stop here. Sign up for all expenses, exempt. Everyone can't help but stay, and they all look to Huang Xiaolong. Seriously hurt the college teacher, not only nothing, but also can be exempted from all the fees. Huang Xiaolong and Xiang Chu looked at each other and slowly nodded. Then they said to Fi Hao three people, let's go. After that, they left with the three people. Everyone looked at Huang Xiaolong and left his figure, and his looks varied. Xiang Chu did not speak, 
flew in a flash, left the square, and everyone around it slowly dispersed. Star Court College Hall Xiang Chu sat there, the whole body exudes a faint starlight, and the hall is extremely suppressed. Xiang Maiki and Zhong Yuan stood behind them for a long time and did not dare to speak. The recommendation letter from the child is sent by the dean. After a long time, Xiang Chu suddenly began. Xiang Maiki and Zhong Yuanyi, the dean sent out. This. Well, you all go out. Xiang Chu continued. When Xiang Maiki was still opening, Zhong Yuan pulled his sleeves and blocked his eyes. Then he took a ritual and left the House of Parliament. Huang Xiaolong, who left Starry Academy, did not return directly to the Martial House, but went to Tian Xian House. After coming to Tian Xian House, Huang Xiaolong strolled around. After two days of cleaning and cleaning up, the weeds in the wall courtyard were mixed. The objects have all been removed and the room dust has been cleaned up. Huang Xiaolong called the Orc Boli six people. He simply asked about the two days of Suanfu. After the question, Huang Xiaolong gave the Orc Boli some gold coins, let him buy some furniture and buy some flowers, plants. Decorate the house. After Huang Xiaolong intends to enter the Starry Sky Academy, he moved to the Tian Xian house to live and practice. Tian Suanfu is also very close to the Starry Sky Academy. The college students cannot live in the college dormitory. After doing all this, Huang Xiaolong returned to the Martial House with Fei Ho. What? The Starry Academy teacher dared to shoot the young master. After the two guards returned to the Martial House, they reported the incident happened to Marshal Haoshan. Marshal Haoshan listened, angered, and shocked the entire Martial House shocked the earthquake. Yes, Marshal. One of the guards said, and the woman said, cancel the registration of the younger master. Cancel the registration qualification of the young master. Marshal Haoshan's body momentum soared, rising to the sky. Yes, not only that, but the woman also said that she would detain the lord, and then. The guard said this and hesitated. And then? Say. Marshal Haoshan shouted. Yes, Marshal, the woman said that the lord will be detained, then let the marshal come back and bring apologize to the college. The guard rushed. At that time, Xiang Maiki said that he would detain Huang Xiaolong and let his family patriarchs take it back and publicly apologize to the college. In fact, Xiang Maiki did not know that Huang Xiaolong's family patriarch was Marshal Haoshan. What? Marshal Haoshan stood up in anger, one palm, and shot the stone chair next to the hard iron. And, the man said that he would kill the predecessors of the Fi Hao said another guard. Killing the younger brother to show the crowd? Marshal Haoshan finally became furious and shouted, Tell me handsome, call the 10th Army and press the Starry Academy. The 10th Army is the 100,000 Army. The 100,000 strong army pressed to the Starry Academy. The two guards were shocked. Not too fast. Marshal Haoshan saw the two still standing there, glaring. Yes, yes, Marshal. The two men panicked and ordered. Iron Claws Eagle. When the two left, Marshal Haoshan suddenly slammed into the sky, and then, a huge iron eagle appeared in the sky above the Marshal's mansion, an eagle rang, and could be heard in a few miles. All the guards of the Marshal house, the slaves looked at the high-altitude condor, and his face changed, and he had to make a big deal. Only when there is a big event, the marshal will summon his ten-step Mount Iron Claw Condor. All the Eighth Order guards of the marshal house, all gathered in the square. Then, everyone in the marshal house heard the voice of Marshal Haoshan. Yes, marshal. Suddenly, the figures flashed, and all the Eighth Order guards in all corners of the marshal house rushed to the square in front of the marshal house. A repressed atmosphere before the war is filled. Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho heard the sound of Marshal Haoshan in his small yard. Go, go out and see. Huang Xiaolong came to the square in front of the Marshal House with Fei Ho, and saw the Marshal Haoshan who was about to lead the 100,000 strong army to the college. 
Huang Xiaolong instantly understood what Marshal Haoshan had to do. Slow. Huang Xiaolong said. Less Lord. Marshal Haoshan sees Huang Xiaolong coming, and quickly goes down from the condor and salutes. Haoshan, I don't want things to be big. Huang Xiaolong thought about it and said that things are big, whether it is against Huang Xiaolong or Marshal Haoshan. Huang Xiaolong knows that his recommendation letter is the Dean of the Starry Sky Academy to the Marshal Haoshan. The relationship between the two should be good. If Marshal Haoshan is now heading 100,000 troops to the Starry Academy, the relationship between the two will only be stiff. The conflict between the Marshal House and the Starry Academy is big. Also, this is Wang Cheng, Marshal Haoshan is so big in Wang Cheng, and the impact is not good. Less Lord. When Haoshan had to speak, Huang Xiaolong shook his head, this matter, stop here. Yes, my brother, since the Lord is okay now, this matter is still forgotten. At this time, Fei Ho also said. Haoshan stood there and did not immediately open it. After a while, he said, yes, the Lord, Haoshan obeys. After that, the right hand waved let all the guards of the martial house disperse, and withdrew the handsome order. After a while, Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho, Marshal Haoshan returned to the front hall of the martial house. The three sat down. Lord, you are the master of my door, but in the king of Latong, I am in danger again, please the door to rule. After sitting down, Marshal Haoshan suddenly stood up and crouched down. Huang Xiaolong quickly hurried. Haoshan, get up. Please take the murder of the door. Marshal Haoshan still crouched there. Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but look at Fei Ho. Fei Ho advised Marshal Haoshan, Brother, since the Lord has let you get up, you will get up, and the fault is not in you. Marshal Haoshan hesitated a moment, and this got up, Zeman Lord. The rules of Shuri men are strict. If it was in the past, Huang Xiaolong was injured in the jurisdiction of Marshal Haoshan. The disposal is certainly not light. Although it will not be executed, it is affirmative to abolish it. Of course, Huang Xiaolong is not injured now. After the Marshal Haoshan got up, Huang Xiaolong asked, Is there any news from the elders of Yuming? At the beginning, Huang Xiaolong heard Fei Ho said that they had gone to the king of Mohi King, so the Marshal Haoshan inquired about these days. Yu Ming News Returning to the Lord, the Master has no news, depending on the speculation, the Master is only afraid to have left the Mohi Wang Cheng. Haoshan respectfully replied. Huang Xiaolong was somewhat disappointed, but he also expected this result. Yu Ming went to Mohi Wang Cheng for three years, and it has not been possible to stay in Mohi Wang Cheng for the past three years. He respected me and left me at the Shuri Men headquarters to leave something to Huang Xiaolong. That thing is very important for Huang Xiaolong to practice Shura, so Huang Xiaolong would like to ask N.A. Yuming, where is Shuri Men headquarters? Marshal Haoshan also does not know where the Shuri Men headquarters is. After a while, Huang Xiaolong returned to his small yard from the front hall. Just return to the small yard, a small figure will come. Little guy, where have you been running these days? Huang Xiaolong did not dodge, smiled. This little figure is naturally a devouring purple monkey. These days, the devouring purple monkey has never seen a monkey shadow. Hey! The spirited purple monkey squinted on the shoulders of Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong met, shaking his head and laughing, I am afraid that only he knows the meaning of this little guy, the world of Wuhan. After the monsters break through the tenth level, they reach congenital and can speak, so the devouring purple monkey is still very for a long time, I can only use his hands to express his meaning to him. After a while, Huang Xiaolong let the spirited purple monkey play by himself, and then entered the room, sitting on the cold jade bed and began to practice Shura. After a sixth order, he absorbed a lot of speed. The double dragon martial arts behind him also rose a big circle, the black ons on the black dragon continued to flash, and the blue dragon was blue light. Three days passed quickly. In these three days, 
in addition to cultivation or cultivation, Huang Xiaolong completely stabilized the sixth order strength in three days. The nine-story Qi Qi did not have a sense of blockage in the sixth order meridians. It's finally the day of school. Huang Xiaolong came out of the room and the morning sun was very bright. Today is the school day of Starry Academy. After a while, Huang Xiaolong took Fei Ho, and the four guards of the martial house guarded the martial house and went to the Starry Academy. The Stars College happened. Marshal Haoshan arranged two more tents next to Huang Xiaolong. Guard. Not long after, Huang Xiaolong came to the Starry Academy. However, today the college has already started school, only the college students wearing the student ID can enter the college, so the five people can only Huang Xiaolong to the college gate. After Huang Xiaolong entered the college, he inquired about the teachers and students of the past and went to his class. Little Dragon What Huang Xiaolong didn't expect was that he had just arrived at the door of the class and heard the familiar shouts of Li Wei. Huang Xiaolong looked and saw Li Yijang rejoicing, shaking his hand to himself, showing two sweet dimples on his face, Huang Xiaolong smiled, he and Li Wei were in the same class? In fact, Huang Xiaolong does not know that every new student of the Starry Academy is the same class, because there is only one class in each session. However, the appearance of Huang Xiaolong has caused those new students to whisper. He is the horrible waste. On the day of registration, his guard injured the college teacher, not only nothing, but also saved all registration fees, too strong. Bullet. It is also a waste of family power. If it is not a recommendation letter, is he qualified to enter the Star Academy? I think his martial arts is at most six. On the day of the registration of the square, many freshmen saw the scene of Huang Xiaolong and Xiang Maiki, Zhou Yuan, and others confronting each other. Huang Xiaolong listened to these whispers and frowned. Xiaolong, you are on my side. At this time, Li Wei did not pay attention to everyone's arguments. He took Huang Xiaolong and sat down beside her. Huang Xiaolong shook his head and smiled, but it was not good to refuse Li Hao's kindness in public. It didn't take long for Huang Xiaolong to sit down. Suddenly, a blonde child wearing a light gold robes and about ten years old came in. The blonde child was very eye-catching, but his attitude was somewhat arrogant. Zhang Tang. He is Zhang Tang? I heard that the registration day, his martial arts is the Bright Tiger, the 11th class Super Wuhan. Our Starry Academy has been established for more than 100 years. There have never been Super Martial Arts students. It has already alarmed the Dean and the Vice President. The Dean and the Vice President personally opened him as a disciple. The two Presidents have accepted him as a disciple? This is a star that the Star Academy has never had before. In the discussion of the crowd, the blonde child went to a space in the middle of the first row of the classroom and sat down. Sitting in the second row, Huang Xiaolong looked at the blonde kid Zhang Ting, but did not expect the other party to be an 11th class martial arts, Bright Tiger. It seems that Huang Xiaolong's eyes are touched. The blonde child Zhang Ting turned over and then touched Huang Xiaolong's eyes. But when she saw Huang Xiaolong, the blonde child's vine eyes turned awkward, the kind of eyes, and when she signed up, Xiang Maiki looked. The disgusting look was exactly the same when Huang Xiaolong took out the recommendation letter. Then, he looked back with disdain. Huang Xiaolong disgusted the other side, disdain to the bottom of his eyes, sneer in his heart, and the feeling of the other side instantly fell to the lowest point. Just when everyone was talking, suddenly, a glamorous woman wearing a teacher's star robe came in and turned out to be Xiang Maiki. Seeing Xiang Maiki, Huang Xiaolong, is this female dog bear a class teacher? Xiang Maiki entered the classroom and walked onto the podium. She said, I am your class teacher, Xiang Maiki. It confirms Huang Xiaolong's thoughts. After Xiang Maiki finished, her eyes were like a blade, and she stared at Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong's face is indifferent and directly ignored. Xiang Maiki saw it and smiled coldly. 
Then she talked about some rules, systems, and some trainings to be learned in the future. The course was mentioned one by one, and finally the upgrade method was mentioned. Starry Academy has only three grades, and the sixth grade is the first grade. As long as it breaks through the sixth order late peak and reaches the seventh order, you can participate in the second grade upgrade assessment. The assessment can be promoted to the second grade year, and the third grade must break through to nine. The order is okay. If he was 22 years old, he still did not break through to the seventh order and passed the second grade, and Starry Academy would expel him. Xiong Mikey said, it is extremely difficult for the average person to break through the seventh order at the age of 22, but it is not difficult for you to have nine or more martial arts. If you are willing to cultivate, as long as you are willing to cultivate, you can break through the seventh order before the age of 22. Speaking of this, Xiong Mikey has a meal, and the tone has changed, of course, I am talking about a college disciple who has nine or more first-class martial arts. As for some college letters, the waste, even if the college is trained, is destined to be a waste. Xiong Mikey looked at Huang Xiaolong intentionally or unintentionally. Huang Xiaolong frowned. These wastes with the letter of recommendation to enter the college, some are also seven, six martial arts, and may even be five, four martial arts, they even practice to 40, 50, or even 60 it is impossible to reach the second grade of the seventh grade promotion, so they must be expelled from the college by the age of 22. Xiong Mikey still seems to be resolving hate and continues to say, while staring coldly at Huang Xiaolong. The classroom freshmen are watching Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong became the focus for a while. When Xiong Mikey said this, the tone changed again. The original glamorous face was full of smiles and said, Next, I will introduce you to our college's century-old super genius, Zhang Teng classmates. Zhang Teng, Zhang Teng students have 11 first-class martial arts souls and bright tigers. They are the first disciples with super martial arts in our college for more than 100 years. At this time, the blonde child Zhang Ting stood up and nodded to everyone, his head was raised a little high. Xiong Mikey took the lead and applauded, and many new students also applauded. The blonde child Zhang Ting felt the applause around her eyes, her face was envious, her eyes were adored, and her expression was even more proud. It was only when he saw a face that was indifferent. When Huang Xiaolong, who did not applaud the meaning, still sat there, his face could not help but disappear. Looking at Huang Xiaolong, his eyes are even more disgusting. At this time, Xiong Mikey continued, tell everyone an amazing news. We are just ten years old, and we are already a fourth order fighter. And it is the fourth peak. Ten years old, already the beginning of the fourth stage. This is too horrible. Many of the students in the classroom were shocked by their eyes, and they were envious and looked at Zhang Teng admiringly. Zhang Teng, listened to the dean and vice president said, you have learned the fighting skills. Xiong Mikey asked Zhang Ting Xiao. Yes, teacher. Zhang Teng smiled. Then you can show it, let everyone see. Xiong Mikey said. Good. Zhang Teng nodded, then walked out with a look, went to the open space in front of the classroom seat, stood still, and then the light rose, a giant tiger suspended behind him, this giant tiger, all body bright, throughput with a flame of light, a tiger whistling sounds, and the pressure of a super Wuhan is spread out. Then, Zhang Teng Fei jumped up and shouted, Hua Yan Zhang. Then, one palm and the other palm spread out, each palm shot, a tiger claw-like palm print appeared in the air. As the new students watched, they kept applauding and the classroom applause continued. Huang Xiaolong looked at it but shook his head. What kind of tiger flame is supposed to be the high-end fighting skill of Suanpin is good, but this Zhang Teng exhibition is full of flaws and mistakes. Zhang Ting, who heard the clap of the crowd, was even more eager to display. In the end, he even screamed and shouted, The holy tiger is out, invincible. Invincible world? Hearing Zhang Teng Jiao, 
Huang Xiaolong couldn't help it anymore. Hey! He laughed, Huang Xiaolong's laughter was abrupt, the classroom was quiet, and everyone looked at Huang Xiaolong. Xiang Maiki's smile disappeared, looking at Huang Xiaolong coldly, Huang Xiaolong, you stand up for me. Huang Xiaolong frowned, but eventually stood up. Li Lan could not help but look worried. What did you laugh at? Xiang Maiki shouted coldly. Huang Xiaolong smiled indifferently, I laughed so badly to the extreme fighting skills, you even said a lot. What? Xiang Maiki's face was angry, a waste you signed with a letter of recommendation is not qualified to comment on other people's fighting skills. Huang Xiaolong sneered a little, I am not qualified to comment? Then you have a qualification for a bear to say that I am a waste. Bear? Everyone listened to Huang Xiaolong and dared to face it. Xiang Maiki is a bear, and all of them are colorful. You. Xiang Maiki is almost mad, pointing to Huang Xiaolong, chest meat undulation, okay, well, since you don't admit that you are a waste, after three days, the freshman has an assessment test, if you can check before going ten, I will admit that you are not a waste. It is a bit too much for the assessment to enter the top ten to admit that it is not waste. However, Huang Xiaolong sneered, is it a waste, do you still need to admit it? Well, if I check in the top ten, I want you to kneel in the college square and learn to call the bear three times. Learn to call the bear three times. Xiang Maiki's beauty shots out of the cold, as if to swallow the yellow dragon, gnashing his teeth, if you do not enter the top ten. If I don't go into the top ten, I will drop out of school automatically, and I will learn to call the bear three times in the college square. Huang Xiaolong said coldly. Xiang Maiki's pretty face is uncertain. How, don't you dare? Huang Xiaolong sneered. Good. Xiang Maiki bit her lip, her eyes flashed and passed, she did not believe, a waste with a family recommendation letter can also be assessed into the top ten. Huang Xiaolong saw Xiang Maiki bite his teeth and promised to sneer, then went out to the door of the classroom. Stand up, where are you going? Xiang Maiki yelled. Where do I go, do you still need to tell you? Huang Xiaolong heard the words, stopped, sneered, and finished, turned out of the classroom, but after passing through the vine, Huang Xiaolong said, a self-righteous idiot. Ginger vines look awkward and then understand the meaning of Huang Xiaolong's words, his face is red, and a waste with a letter of recommendation to sign up is dare to say that he is an idiot. His whole body was shining brightly, and his eyes looked at Huang Xiaolong who left the classroom with anger. Xiang Maiki looked at him and ignored Huang Xiaolong, who was leaving the classroom, and even more angry and unable to speak. After Huang Xiaolong went out of the classroom, he went straight to the library. Anyway, listening to the class did not matter to him. He just went to the library to check the information. The library is not far from the classroom where Huang Xiaolong is located. When he came to the library, Huang Xiaolong took out the student ID card, passed the inspection, and went to the bookcase related to the introduction of Wuhan. He picked up a book called Wu Xiao Type and began to read it. Stand up. This Wu Shao type explains some of the innate characteristics and abilities of various martial arts and martial arts. Huang Xiaolong's memory is very good. He read it very quickly. After more than an hour, he read the book of Wu Shao type and read the book Wu Shao type. After Huang Xiaolong's martial arts type of the world and a lot of insights into the characteristics and abilities of various martial arts. After reading this Wu Soul type, Huang Xiaolong picked up another Wu Soul level. This Wu Soul level mainly refers to the difference between the martial arts at all levels and various weapons. The rank of the soul is assessed. Well, twin martial arts. When turning to the last few pages, Huang Xiaolong suddenly saw that the last pages of the book were actually the twin martial arts, and could not help but look carefully. The twin martial arts, if they are of the same kind, can fit together and become one, and they can split up and become two independent beings. When I saw this, 
Huang Xiaolong was taken aback. Twin martial arts, can you fit? No wonder, when he was just awakened, he was in a fit way. Later, the Fourth Order Metamorphosis, the San Jiangu soul split up and became two independent existences. Huang Xiaolong went down and looked down. His eyes were bright. The following is how the twin martial arts fit and how to split. After a while, Huang Xiaolong finished watching, and my heart was overjoyed, good. With this method, after he double body fits into one, and then summons, he is not afraid of others knowing the secret of his twin martial arts. Huang Xiaolong read the above mentioned twin martial arts how to fit and how to split again, remember it in his mind, and then came to the bookcase about the demon script. According to the demon text on the demon treasure map obtained in the Silver Moon Forest, Huang Xiaolong looked for it one by one. After a long time, he translated the demon text on the treasure map. The demon holy place, the Vientian Mountain, no wind tunnel. Huang Xiaolong frowned. The location of this treasure map is actually a demon sacred place? In this world, the Yezu is a very powerful race, even stronger than the orcs, and the Yezu always hates human beings. It is difficult to go to the Yezu holy land. At least for the current Huang Xiaolong, it is impossible. After translating the demon text on the treasure map, it was noon. Huang Xiaolong went out of the library and did not return to the classroom. He went straight out of the college. When he was out of the college gate, the four guards of Fi Hao and Marshall's house met. Huang Xiaolong came out and hurried forward, less lord. Huang Xiaolong nodded, let's go. Then I took the five people from Fi Hao back to Tian Suanfu. On the way, Fei Ho couldn't help but ask, there are no masters, the college has not finished class, how come you come out in advance? The other four people also looked at Huang Xiaolong, and they also had the same doubts in their hearts. Huang Xiaolong said, the female bear on the day of registration is my class teacher. What? That female bear is the head teacher of the lesser master. Fei Ho was shocked, and then the voice sank, the young master, is it today, she is embarrassing you. Huang Xiaolong smiled and said, the cold words and ridicules will definitely be inevitable. Then, Huang Xiaolong simply told Fei Ho a few people to bet with Xiang Maiki three days after the new student assessment test. After listening to Fei Ho, he couldn't help laughing. He could almost imagine that three days later, Xiang Maiki would have to squat in the square to learn how to call the bear three times. Not long after, Huang Xiaolong returned to Tian Suanfu, and the orc bully and others saw Huang Xiaolong, Fei Ho several people, and quickly went forward. Huang Xiaolong let it up, came to the hall, and then asked the orc bully these days some cases of Tian Suanfu. The orc bully answered one by one with respect. In the past few days, the furniture that the hospital should buy has been purchased. Some of the yards are also filled with flowers and plants. In addition, the orc bully also makes some old support and walls refreshed. After listening to Huang Xiaolong, he nodded and said with satisfaction, you have done a good job. Let's go ahead. Orc bully respectfully should be, this took the other slaves and turned away. After the orc bully and others left, Huang Xiaolong retired four guards from the martial house and then asked Fei Ho, Fei Ho, do you want to break through the innate? Break through innate. Fei Hao Yi, and then eat and eat, door, the door owner, do you have a way? Huang Xiaolong nodded. I can let you break through innate within five years. Five, five years. Fei Ho looked shocked. He has just broken through the tenth order late peak. If it is normal, it must break through to innateness, at least twenty or thirty years. Now, the doorkeeper can let him break through the innate within five years. After the shock, Fei Ho looked excited and followed the doorkeeper for so long. He naturally knew that the door owner had absolute certainty to say so, and could not lie to him. You sit down. At this time, Huang Xiaolong said, I pass you a set of exercises. Menfa. Fei Ho, then sat down. Then, 
Huang Xiaolong passed a set of internal exercises Lei Shui to Fei Ho. Although this set of Lei Shui is not comparable to Yi Jin Jing, but cultivation to Da Chen, the power is absolutely strong, comparable to this world. Product Practice The martial spirit of Fei Hao is the martial art of the Milky Way. If you combine the Lei Shui and integrate with your own fighting skills, the speed of cultivation can definitely be improved a lot. There will be no problem in breaking through in five years. Thank you for your great dear. After recording Lei Shui, Fei Ho crouched down and gratefully said, the subordinates must swear to follow the door. Huang Xiaolong waved his hand and then lifted it up. Fei Ho's loyalty, he naturally knew that if not, he would not pass this thunder to him. When you return to the martial house, let Haoshan come over, I also teach him a set of exercises. Huang Xiaolong said. The subordinates are brothers and sisters. Fei Ho's face was a joy, once again thanked. Huang Xiaolong let it up, and then told Fei Ho about some of the mysterious places of Lei Shui. After Fei Ho comprehension, Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho said that they want to buy slave training, and then cultivate the idea of power. Please rest assured that the matter will be handed over to Fei Ho. Fei Ho respectfully said. Huang Xiaolong nodded, which allowed Fei Ho to withdraw. After Fei Ho left, Huang Xiaolong came to the yard to cultivate the Tears of Shura. After practicing the Tears of Shura for a while, he practiced the ancestors of the previous world, such as the Palms of the Sword, the Sham Swords, and the Luhan Boxing. In the afternoon of the college, Huang Xiaolong simply did not go. In fact, he entered the Starry Academy, mainly because the Dragon Flame Valley can temper the body and strengthen the vindictive quality, as well as the class, the grade, and the first prize of the final prize, five products, of course, more important the first of the college championships can go to the Broken Blade Imperial City to participate in the Battle of the Imperial City. As for the class, it is a waste of time for him. When he is in the class, he will go to the class. In the afternoon, Xiang Maiki saw her ignoring herself in the morning. Huang Xiaolong who left the classroom directly did not come in the afternoon. It was even more angry. This waste, wait three days after the new test, I have to see how you squat in the square to learn the bears. Xiang Maiki thought, but when she thought of the nickname that Huang Xiaolong gave her, it was annoying, now, this the bear address has been spread among many new students and old people. In the afternoon, after Huang Xiaolong practiced the past martial arts in Tian Suanfu, Fei Ho passed the Martial Haoshan. When he came over, Martial Haoshan looked excited. Obviously, Fei Ho had already taught him Huang Gong Long. The matter of the law said to him. After the arrival of Martial Haoshan, Huang Xiaolong taught a set of five Yang Shuo to him. This set of five Yang Shuo power is similar to Lei Shui, Marshal Haoshan used the second order from the congenital first step. For more than 30 years, if you practice five Yang Shuo and break through the third order in the future, it should take only 10 years. Don't look at this decade, it's a long time. It's extremely horrible to break through the third order from the second order. It is extremely embarrassing. Even if some people who have the first class martial arts of the 11th level break through the third order from the second order. It will take more than 10 years. It can be said that the repair of 5 Yang Shuo is only the cultivation speed of Marshal Haoshan who has the top 10 martial arts. It is comparable to the cultivation speed of those who have the first class Wuhan. Of course, the 5 Yang is only to let the Marshal Haoshan improve the cultivation speed cannot change the defects of its innate martial arts, the possibility of the top 10 martial arts breaking through the sanctuary is extremely embarrassing, the 11th class martial arts people the possibility of breaking through the sanctuary is greater than that of him. Even so, Marshal Haoshan has been grateful for his snot. The doorkeeper please rest assured that Haoshan will not disappoint your high hopes, work hard to cultivate, and break through the third order as soon as possible. After the five Yang Shuo was recorded, Marshal Haoshan yelled at Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong nodded and helped him. After a while, Huang Xiaolong asked the Marshal Haoshan to return to the Marshal House, 
and let the martial Haushan people bring the little guy of the devouring purple monkey to this side. After the martial Haushan left, Huang Xiaolong sat in the room on the cold jade bed, and then called the Sanjiang Wushan out, but it was not cultivation, but according to the method seen in the library today, running the vindictiveness and slowly letting the Shuang Long Wuhan fusion. Under the vindictive operation of Huang Xiaolong, a black and blue Shuang Long began to entangle slowly, black and blue ray continually swallowed, merged, and finally, the radiant radiance, San Jiang finally merged into one, and changed back to the way when the martial arts awakened. In the past, when Wu Wu was awakened, it was a two-headed snake, but now it is a double-headed dragon. After the San Jiang Wushan fits, the long way that is distributed is more powerful and the body size is doubled. However, in the combined state, Shuang Long devours nine secluded temperaments more slowly than splitting up. Huang Xiao Long tried to devour nine secluded qi under the combined state, and found that the cultivation speed was slower than splitting. After practicing for a while, Xiu Xiao Long began to practice Yu Jin Jing. Huang Xiao Long had a feeling. Recently, he should be able to open the meridians of the fourth trend of the Yu Jin Jing, and then cultivate the fifth trend. If the fourth trend meridian is opened and the fifth potential is cultivated, then Huang Xiaolong's internal strength will be enhanced a lot. At that time, even if he does not use vindictiveness, he can kill the sixth order late strong. Time passed, very quickly, and three days passed. In these three days, Huang Xiaolong has been staying at Tian Suanfa for cultivation. He did not go to the college. He was so angry that Xiang Maiki was biting his teeth. However, she thought that Huang Xiaolong's waist could not be tested in the top ten. On this day, Huang Xiaolong came out of the room and moved his hands and feet. Today is a new test. Looking at the sky with a clear sky, Huang Xiaolong thought, it is really looking forward to it. Huang Xiaolong went out of the yard and had already respectfully waited for the fee there to go forward. Let's go, wait for our past college. Huang Xiaolong let it up then said. Yes, the doorkeeper. When Huang Xiaolong came to the college, I saw that Xiang Maiki and the new students had gathered in the college square. Huang Xiaolong arrived and everyone looked at it. I didn't expect you to take the recommended ways to sign up. I really dare to come. Xiang Maiki looked at the arrival of Huang Xiaolong, cold and cold. Huang Xiaolong smiled instead, why don't I dare to come? Wait for the new test, I am in the top ten, I am afraid that you will go back. Xiang Maiki's eyes blinked, my Xiang Maiki will never regret it. Huang Xiaolong came to the crowd to stand up. At this time, the blonde child Zhang Ting's eyes were disgusted and stared at Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong's face was indifferent. At this time, Li Wei came to Huang Xiaolong and looked worried, Xiaolong wait for you to really get into the top ten. At the annual meeting of Huang Jia's Wang, Huang Xiaolong showed the fourth order initial strength and defeated Li Wei in one fell swoop. Li Wei did not know. Do not worry. Huang Xiaolong gave Li Wei a peace of mind. After a while, Xiang Maiki saw that everyone had arrived, and began to talk about the content and methods of this new test. The best way to detect a new strength is to pass the competition test. Therefore, the content of this new test is to compete against each other. Each round is divided into five groups. The lottery is used to determine the opponent. Five people win each round. Kin enter the next round of the test, and finally decided the top ten in each place. The test location is in the square. Because today is the day of the new test, the square is surrounded by many old first-year students, second-year and even third-year students. However, just as Xiang Maiki finished the test content and method, a voice sounded, Mr. Xiang, this is too much trouble. I see this, let me take the challenge of everyone, who insists on my attack. The longer the time, the higher the ranking. Everyone saw it and couldn't help but look at it. I saw that it was just a vine. When the voice of Zhang Ting fell, it suddenly caused a commotion of the surrounding people. This kid is the vine with the super martial arts bright tiger. 
frenzy. I want to take all the new challenges. Man is crazy, that is strength. Many old people talked about it. Xiong Mikey is a glimpse. Ginger has taken all the new challenges. This new student, but there are nearly a hundred people. At this time, at the corner of the square, two tall old men stood up. One of them was a deputy director of the Starry Academy, Xiong Chu, and the other old man's eyes were big, especially the ears, which were twice as big as the average person. People will never forget. President, Zhang Teng is still young and young. Xiong Chu said to the old man, his strength is strong, but this new student is nearly a hundred people, how can he get it? The old man is a grandson of the Starry Academy, Sun Zhang. Sun Zhengji didn't care, smiled and said, I don't get in the way, children are young, and the youthfulness is normal. What's more, Zhang Teng has a super Wuhan. Although this new student is nearly a hundred people, you should not underestimate the super Wuhan Guang Ming Sheng. Tiger's ability. The meaning of Sun Zhang's words is undoubtedly saying that with Zhang Teng's current strength, it is absolutely easy to pick up the challenges of nearly 100 new students. Xiong Chu could not help but stunned. You will know when you wait. Sun Zhang smiled at Xiong Chu. Just when Xiong Mikey hesitated to consider whether he really let Zhang Teng take over all the new challenges, his ears sounded the voice of his father Xiong Chu. Everyone looked at Xiong Mikey and waited for Xiong Mikey's decision. After a while, Xiong Mikey glanced at everyone then nodded to Zhang Teng, good. It is good. When Xiong Mikey finished, the surrounding was even more turbulent. Xiong Mikey actually let Zhang Ting accept all the new challenges. At this time, Xiong Mikey stepped forward and waved her hands. In the square, a large circle of 10 meters was circled. The test was carried out in a large circle. If a big circle was made, it was lost. Zhang Tang first flew in a circle, fell into the circle, stood up with his hands, and scanned the crowd, who dares to come first. The sound of Zhang Ting fell, and there was a brief silence. I am coming. At this time, a fat man with a fat body jumped into the circle, and the whole body flashed, and the martial arts behind him called out, it turned out to be a chubby shape like a sand beast. The soul, the soul of the martial arts, has two soft tentacles, which are extremely cute. Many new students met and laughed out loud. Huang Xiaolong also shook his head and smiled. The appearance of this martial artist was too funny. However, Huang Xiaolong saw the martial arts in the library a few days ago. He recognized that the martial spirit of this fat man is the top ten martial arts, called Tolong. Tolong is not a real dragon but has a bloodline of dragons and is a kind of Ye Long. The fat man called out the martial arts, and suddenly rushed to the front of the vine, a boxing out, the punch is not weak. Huang Xiaolong saw that this fat man has reached the third order mid-term. However, although the fat man reached the third order mid-term, but compared with the fourth order vine, it was much worse. Zhang Tang looked at the fat man who was attacking the front, and his left hand lifted, and the vindictive release, suddenly rushed up. Hey! Then a small shock, the fat man was smashed by Zhang Teng, the body has been retreating, the body fluffy, retreat to the edge of the aperture. Zhang Teng stood there, raised his hand and took a palm, and the fat man was swept out of the aperture. Has a top 10 martial arts, the third order midterm fat, defeated. And before and after, just three breaths. Everyone saw it, but it was awkward. There are six new students coming forward, all of which are defeated one by one. The longest one is four breaths, and the fastest one is just a breath. After defeating the seventh person, Zhang Teng suddenly went from bottom to top, flashing a little bit of light, and the light flickered. The vine, which was originally exhausted by seven tests, became a fascinating look. This is the vindictive recovery. Some old people around saw him, and they stunned. Resilience recovery. After Ginger Vine broke through the fourth stage, the bright and holy tiger changed, 
and the possession of the life-threatening technique turned out to be vindictive recovery. This life-threatening technique was too abnormal. In the distance, Xiang Chu was also amazed. At this time, he realized that the former dean, Sun Zhang, said that Zhang Teng could easily take up nearly a hundred new challenges. Every time he defeated one person, he could restore Jiang Tao for a little time. The vindictiveness of the loss, even if there are dozens of new students, can easily be defeated. Xiang Chu's eyes are bright. Sun Zhang also looked at Zhang Ting with satisfaction and smiled, our college has been established for more than 100 years. The war of the imperial city of the Broken Blade Empire has never been able to enter the top 100. Now this vine appears. Give us hope, after we have tried our best to cultivate, 20 years later, Zhang Teng can definitely enter the top 30 in the battle of the imperial city. Xiang Chu said with a smile, after 20 years, if Zhang Teng can enter the top 30 in the battle of the imperial city, this is the century-old glory of our Starry Academy. At that time, our Starry Academy will be able to get the Broken Blade Empire. Great reward for the great. Sun Zhang nodded and smiled. At this time, Huang Xiaolong stood in the new crowd and watched Zhang Yan, who was defeated by seven people in a row, and was not eager to shoot. Just after Zhang Tang defeated seven people, suddenly, Li Wei, standing next to Huang Xiaolong, jumped up and fell into the aperture. Zhang Teng saw that Li Wei had challenged him and could not help but sneer. He knew that the relationship between the woman and the waste Huang Xiaolong who came to sign up with the letter of recommendation was very good. He looked at Huang Xiaolong in the distance, turned his head and looked at Li Wei, and his eyes flickered. Zhang Ting looked at Li Wei, coldly said, Sorry, I have always hated the waste of the family power. And I hate people who stand with waste. Wait. I will not be merciful, you want blame, blame that waste. Finished, one refers to Huang Xiaolong. The meaning of Zhang Teng's words is self-evident. Everyone can't help but look at Huang Xiaolong. Some of the freshmen who were standing next to Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but step back and set a distance with Huang Xiaolong, so as not to let Zhang Teng misunderstand and be caught by the fish. Ginger saw it, his face was satisfied. Then he turned his head and slammed it to Li Wei. Huayan Zhang. A tiger shaped palm print with a bright tiger flame instantly printed on Li's chest, and the Fourth Order vindictiveness was completely released. At this time, the vine was doubled in comparison with the previous one. Everyone was shocked. They were surprised by the strength of the vine. They were also a little surprised that Zhang Teng had exhibited a high end fighting skill and a flame of the Black Scorpion. Before, Zhang Tang defeated the first seven people and had never applied Hu Yan Zhang, but now he has shown his work on Li Wei, showing the hatred of Zhang Xiaolong against Huang Xiaolong. Everyone could not help but shake their heads and looked at Li Wei with a pity. In this attack, Li Wei was seriously injured, at least two or three months in bed. It's too bad for a waste to be innocently involved. Xiang Maiki looked at Zhang Tang Hu Yan and tried to hit Li Wei's chest. His brow was wrinkled, but in the end he still did not stop. Li Wei's eyes were terrified and panicked, but with her ability to break through the Third Order, she could not escape the attack of Zhang Tao's sneak peek. Just when everyone thought that Li Wei was going to be shot by Zhang Ting, suddenly, a flash of people flashed, and then he hugged Li Wei. The two men turned around and escaped the attack of Zhang Teng. Zhang Teng's palms fell, everyone was shocked, and they were all surprised. Then they looked at the past and saw that Li Wei's attack on the vines was just the waste of Huang Xiaolong in the mouth of Zhang Teng. Including Xiang Maiki are also some accidents. Huang Xiaolong ignored the eyes of everyone and looked at Li Wei in his arms and said, Are you okay? The original panic Li Wei slowly settled down. Two small dimples revealed, Little Dragon, I am fine. You go first, let me come. Huang Xiaolong said. Little Dragon, you. Li Wei looked worried. Nothing. Huang Xiaolong waved his hand, then took the palm of his hand and sent Li Wei out of the aperture and turned to look at Zhang Teng. At this time, 
Sun Zhang, in the corner of the square, looked at Huang Xiaolong who saved Li Wei from Zhang Teng's palm. He could not help but ask, who is this new student? He can see that he can save from Zhang Teng's palm. Li Wei's Huang Xiaolong is not weak. Xiang Chu couldn't help but the dean did not know who the child was. President, this child is coming up with your letter of recommendation. Xiang Chu did not think much, replied. What? He. Sun Zhang was taken aback. Xiang Chu saw Sun Zhang's astonished look, and could not help but feel strange. Sun Zhang saw the doubts in Xiang Chu's heart and thought about it. He said, My recommendation letter is for Marshal Hao Tian. How, Hao Shen Marshal? Xiang Chu slugged a bit, exclaimed. It turned out to be Hao Shen Marshal. Marshal Hao Shen, the three dynasties who led the army. Under the king, the Hao Shen Marshal above the Wan Will. Then, Xiang Chu Ji uses a fine sweat. Fortunately, there was no wrong decision to cancel the registration qualification and kill the three guards that day, otherwise it is not. At the thought of this, Xiang Chu is cold. Starry Academy is the first college of the kingdom. It can make Starry College jealous. There are only two people in the entire Latong kingdom. The first one is King Wang Zhe, and the other is Marshal Haoshan. If Xiang Chu knew that one of the three guards that Zhong Yuan suggested to kill was the younger brother of Marshal Haoshan, I was afraid that the back would be colder. You, is it okay? Sun Zhang looked at the sudden forehead sweat constantly oozing out, and Xiang Chu, who was rubbing his forehead sweat, could not help but ask. President, I am fine, nothing. Xiang Chu panicked. Sun Zhang did not think much. He turned to look at Huang Xiaolong, who was confronted with Zhang Teng in the distance, and said, The old guy in Haoshan actually recommended this child to come over. It seems that this child has a very close relationship with him. Is it that he the illegitimate child? Although Marshal Haoshan is already more than 110 years old, the fertility of the innate strong will not be affected by age. There are some innate powers and the three or four hundred years old are normal. It is no wonder that Sun Zhang will think so. It's just that if Marshal Haoshan hears that Sun Zhang says that Huang Xiaolong is his illegitimate child, I don't know what to think. You said, how long can the kid stay in Zhang Teng? Sun Zhang asked, turning. Xiang Chu hesitated a moment and said, there should be three breaths. So far, one can insist on four breathings, and one person, Huang Xiaolong can insist that the three breaths are already very good. Xiang Chu sees that Huang Xiaolong is not weak. So do this judgment. Sun Zhang heard the words, but shook his head. Xiang Chu saw that Sun Zhang shook his head and apparently misunderstood the meaning of Sun Zhang. He said, the dean means that this Huang Xiaolong can only insist on two breaths. No, it's four breaths. Sun Zhang said. What? Four breaths. Xiang Chu can't believe it. Just now he thinks that Huang Xiaolong can insist on three breaths is already very good, but the yard actually said that it is four breaths. If this Huang Xiaolong can really insist on four breaths, then this Huang Xiaolong is not only a waste, but in the new students, strength and talent can definitely rank in the top 20. Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu's dialogue everyone did not know. At this time, Zhang Ting, who was confronted with Huang Xiaolong, looked at Huang Xiaolong and said coldly, you finally came out, I thought you were afraid to come out, so, you it's not just a waste, it's a timid waste. Huang Xiaolong sneered, this world, self-righteous idiots are really many. When it comes to this, I can't help but think of the slogan that the other party smugly screamed when he practiced the tiger flame in the classroom, and looked ridiculously, the tiger is out, invincible world. Ginger Vine's face ugly, the whole body is bright and vindictive, and behind the bright tiger martial arts, the tiger screams, the tiger trembles, the sky changes. Tiger anger, the wind is changing. Zhang Tang has no reserve strength and his momentum has been rising. He has risen a lot more than Li Wei's shot. 
I will let you see how much the gap between my college's 100-year-old super genius and your waste with the family recommendation letter to sign up. Zhang Tang cold voice, his eyes flashed golden, then flew up, I came to Huang Xiaolong in an instant, and I was too fast to see some of the first-year-old students. Everyone was shocked. I didn't expect that the Zhang Tang under the full strength of the show was so strong that it was not weaker than some first-year-old students. Zhang Tang came to Huang Xiaolong two meters in front of him, his eyes stunned, and suddenly he shot to Huang Xiaolong's heart. Huang Xiaolong looked at the vine that he had photographed to his heart. His face was cold. Suddenly, a tyrannical violent force emerged from Huang Xiaolong. Like a flood, like a volcano that was so quiet for a thousand years, it was so awkward and so amazing. When everyone had not had time to react to what was going on, Huang Xiaolong slammed out his fists, and his fists were golden, and he instantly slammed into the heart of Zhang Teng. Hey! A slamming sound, Zhang Teng screamed, the small body repeatedly retreated, every step back, the mouth of the mouth will overflow a blood, has been exiting a dozen steps before stopping. All the light power of the previous body was completely blasted, and even the bright tiger behind it was ashamed, like a cat who lost the tiger. Everyone is shocked. Silence and silence, as if time has stopped. Whether it is a first-year freshman, or a first grade, second grade and third year old, all lose their minds, and their minds are blank or blank. With eleven super martial arts bright tigers, breaking through the fourth order vine, the college's century-old super genius, actually lost. A punch. Impossible, impossible. Isn't he the waste to sign up with a letter of recommendation? How can it even have Zhang Teng? Xiang Maiki stood there, shaking her head, not convinced of what she saw. In the far corner, I just said that Huang Xiaolong could insist on the four-breathing sun Zhang in front of Zhang Teng, and Xiang Chu was even open-mouthed, and even the chin almost fell. Four, fourth, lay peaks. Xiang Chu tongue nodded. Just now. Huang Xiaolong's fist out was actually the vindictive power of the fourth order Lei Peak. And Zhang Tang rubbed the blood of his mouth and looked at the blood of the robes of the robes, I, this is my blood. Like everyone else around, he still didn't believe it, he was injured. Huang Xiaolong heard the words, could not help but sneer, blood flows out of your mouth, isn't it yours? Is it still mine? After that, he slowly walked over to Zhang Tang. You. Zhang Teng looked at Huang Xiaolong who came slowly. He turned a horrified look and stepped back. The previous disappointment, the previous disdain, the previous disgust had long since disappeared. Instead, he replaced it. Only endless fear, yes, it is fear. The fourth order late peak. The fourth order late peak, this waste turned out to be the fourth order late peak. He murmured repeating it over and over again. At this time, he was not fully awake, and his mind was still determined to hold the recommendation. The letter Huang Xiaolong who came to sign up is a waste. Waste? Huang Xiaolong listened to the smothered vine, his body flashed, and his palm snapped out. Zhang Ting was terrified. When he was about to raise his hand, Huang Xiaolong's palm was printed on his chest. Hey. In the middle of a shock, the sound of the cracked bones sounded. It was printed on the chest by Huang Xiaolong. Zhang Dan only felt that the internal organs were shattered. A horrible breath was constantly stirred in his body, constantly biting and tearing. However, just when he was going to scream, Huang Xiaolong was printed again, then, the third palm, the fourth palm, the fifth palm. In an instant, Huang Xiaolong took out a dozen palms and said. The tight and dense bone cracking sound continued to sound, Zhang Tang was not photographed, but after Huang Xiaolong's dozens of palms, the entire chest slammed back, the whole person bowed, like the same only cooked large lobster. The horror of Huang Xiaolong's dozens of palms was torn in his body. Under the extraordinary pain, the original eyes with their eyes couldn't stand the pain again, and their eyes actually burst into tears. 
A hundred years of super genius, previously defeated seven people in a row, arrogant, dare to challenge all new students, but now it is painful to cry from Huang Xiaolong. Everyone looked at the waist and the vines that flowed out in painful tears. There was no idea, and the itchy throat could not help but swallow. This is what is more than a trial, it is simply a terrible beating. Some freshmen don't even look over their heads. I, I. Zhang Tang tried hard to express his strength, but when he wanted to admit defeat, Huang Xiaolong was again in the palm of his hand and interrupted his shouts. Enough, stop, give me a hand. At this time, the shock Xiang Mikey finally reacted, screaming and screaming, and finished, one palm shot, and separated Huang Xiaolong and Zhang Teng. The two separated, and the vine fell straight down, the whole body twitched, the soft cockroaches were there, the face was down, and the blood in the mouth did not flow out. Zhang Teng, Zhang Teng. Xiang Mikey lifted it up and looked confused. The Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu in the corner of the square saw the vines that fell to the ground, and they all woke up in amazement, and the heart broke out, and it was a bad thing. The two of them flashed and they came to the crowd in an instant. Looking at the sudden appearance of Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu, everyone was shocked. President, Vice Dean. The people recognized Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu, and they all called the ceremony. Xiang Mikey also got up. Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu did not have the heart to think about the people, and they were slightly lower, one person and one hand, respectively, holding the left and right hands of Zhang Teng, hurriedly rushed and entered the body of Ginger. Everyone held their breath and they all watched nervously. This is Sun Zhang, Dean of the Starry Sky Academy. Huang Xiaolong looked at Sun Zhang's ear that was twice as big as the average person. He said that Marshall Haoshan said that this Sun Zhang ear was born not because of cultivation, but because of cultivation. This became the case after the skill of the door. At this time, Li Wei, who watched Huang Xiaolong almost smashing Zhang Teng into a meatloaf, also came back from the shock and came to Huang Xiaolong. He was worried, Xiaolong, wait for them. Zhang Teng, a pro-disciple of the dean and the vice president, is now being beaten by Huang Xiaolong. If the two deans are angry, they will expel Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong didn't care, and gave Li Wei a reassuring look, it's okay. At this time, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu both took their hands back from Zhang Teng and stopped the vindictiveness. The two looked at each other and they all saw the shock in their eyes. Just now, the two men entered the body of the vine, and when they healed, they found that there was an extremely fierce and high-quality vindictive body in the body of the vine. This extremely high-quality vindictiveness is clearly left by Huang Xiaolong. After looking at each other, they didn't know what to say, but they didn't know the matter, but the two people were so relaxed that Zhang Teng has not been abolished. Otherwise, the two have even a crying heart. The two men looked at Huang Xiaolong, who was five or six meters away. The eyes were bright and golden, as if they had seen a peerless treasure. The Fourth Order Late Peak Huang Xiaolong's age is almost the same as Zhang Teng. Less than ten years old, he has reached the Fourth Order Peak. What kind of anti-day talent is this? Zhang Teng Wuhan is the eleventh class first class Guangming Tiger, so is Huang Xiaolong? The two excitedly shuddered, is the top eleven martial arts? Ten levels of top martial arts. When I thought that Huang Xiaolong had the eleventh level top martial arts, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu both looked more and more thieves and bright thieves, and that eyes looked at how Huang Xiaolong had the feeling of breeding sheep into the tiger group. Of course, the two did not think that Huang Xiaolong Wushan may be twelve, but the twelfth level is too rare, the entire Broken Blade Empire, the twelfth level Wuhan owner, no more than ten. And Huang Xiaolong, may you have it. Therefore, the two would rather believe that Huang Xiaolong's Wuhan is the top eleven. In the eyes of everyone around, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu are standing there staring at Huang Xiaolong, and many people are gloating. In the freshmen of these schadenfreudes, when the old man thought that Huang Xiaolong was going to be unlucky, Sun Zhang suddenly smiled at Huang Xiaolong, 
your name is Xiao Long Xiao? I am Sun Zhang, Dean of the Starry Sky Academy. The tone is so soft, as if I am afraid that the big sound will scare Huang Xiao Long. Everyone glimpsed, then sluggish, watching their Dean's most brilliant smile ever. At this time, Xiang Chu was a haha -ha smile, I am the Vice President Xiang Chu, we have seen it a few days ago, hello. Hello there. Always with the old face, the stern Vice President Xiang Chu, even said to a new student, How are you? Everyone seems to be in the thunder. Sun Zhang then smiled and said, Little dragon, you just started to be really embarrassed, and then take a slow step, then Zhang Ting is afraid that you will be scrapped. Xiao Long? Just now Huang Xiao Long, now directly called Xiao Long. Everyone only felt their eyes turned white. Although Sun Zhang said so, but his tone was so polite, he had no blame. Just then, suddenly, there were more than a dozen people flying in the distance. The first person was a third grade teacher, Zhong Yuan. Blinking, Zhong Yuan ten people came to see Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu, could not help but go forward. After the ceremony, Zhong Yuan Dao, President, Deputy Dean, you are better, I just got a report, said the first year freshman contested. This Huang Xiaolong ignored the rules and tried to attack the vine, causing the vine to be seriously injured. I was trying to detain it in front of the two deans and let the two deans fall and fall. When Zhong Yuan said this, he turned to Huang Xiaolong and waved his hand. He said to more than a dozen law enforcement officers who followed him, Go, take this Huang Xiaolong to me. Zhang Teng is a pro-disciple of Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu. Now he is seriously injured by Huang Xiaolong. He wants to come in Zhong Yuan, and he has a chance to perform well in front of Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu. Yes, Captain Zhong Yuan. The dozens of law enforcement officers answered. In addition to being a third grade teacher, Zhong Yuan is also the captain of the law enforcement team. Just when more than a dozen law enforcement officers were about to catch Huang Xiaolong, Sun Zhang had some annoyed sounds, give me a hand. When I heard Sun Zhang's opening, the dozens of law enforcement officers could not help but stop. Well, you all retreat, this thing, we will deal with it. Sun Zhang waved and said, just the bright smile disappeared. However, that Zhong Yuan apparently did not hear the meaning of Sun Zhang's words, thinking that Huang Xiaolong seriously injured Zhang Teng, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu were both angry, so they retired them and had to deal with Huang Xiaolong personally. Zhong Yuan smiled and said, President, a new student, how dare you bother to personally dispose of it, we can do it. After that, the figure flashed and stalked Huang Xiaolong, and he did it himself. Just when Zhong Yuan came to Huang Xiaolong, suddenly a figure flashed, his body shape was faster than the clock source, and he waved and slaps the clock source back and forth. There is silence around. Zhong Yuan glared at his left face and couldn't believe to see Sun Zhang, who had just been in front of Huang Xiaolong. He just slapped him and turned out to be their dean, Sun Zhang. At this point, Sun Zhang stared at him like a knife, he never saw the dean so sharp eyes, let his heart burst into a cold. You didn't understand what I meant. Sun Zhang's face sank, give me a roll. At this time, even if the Zhong Yuan was a pig, they all saw that their dean, Zhang Zhang, was very angry and very angry. Yes, yes, dean, I will leave, this will roll. Zhang Yuan's face changed dramatically, and he was terrified. After that, he had to panic with the law enforcement team, but at this moment, Huang Xiaolong's voice ringing, slow. Huang Xiaolong's voice was abrupt, and everyone saw it. Huang Xiaolong looked coldly at Zhong Yuan, who was about to panic, and said to Sun Zhang and Xiang Chudeo, expel him or expel me. When everyone stayed, I didn't expect Huang Xiaolong to ask for it. This Zhong Yuan, Huang Xiaolong has long seen that it is not pleasing to the eye. Of course, Huang Xiaolong knows that if Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu's head are normal, it is impossible to expel him. He is so talented, no matter which kingdom college he goes to, 
which Kingdom College will fight for him? Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu looked at each other. However, the two did not speak for a while, because this Zhong Yuan identity is not only as simple as the college teacher and the law enforcement team leader. His sister is Wang Hao, although he is not allowed to be pampered, but with this identity, Zhong Yuan is also considered to be King Lu. Zhe's little sister. Expel me. Zhong Yuan stopped and looked at Huang Xiaolong, as if he had heard the best joke in the world. Huang Xiaolong ignored the other party, and then to Sun Zhang and Xiang Chudeo, if I won the first grade at the end of the year, I will expel him. Huang Xiaolong also knows that his talent is no better, so he asked Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu to expel a third grade teacher. They could not just agree, and after returning on the day of school, Huang Xiaolong also asked Marshal Haoshan to check this clock. Source Identity The first grade of the grade competition Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu, as well as everyone around the room were shocked, their eyes wide open, and Huang Xiaolong is now in the fourth order late stage, the class competition is definitely the first, but only five months from the end of the year. However, some old students in other classes in the first grade have a lot of sixth order late, and even sixth order late peaks. How could Huang Xiaolong win the first place? With Huang Xiaolong talent, if you have another two years, maybe this is possible. When Zhong Yuan listened, he even laughed and looked at Huang Xiaolong with a sneer, Boy, you said that you won the first grade at the end of the year. Huang Xiaolong did not speak and looked at Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu. Good. After a while, Sun Zhang nodded, If you end the year, you won the first grade, in addition to the normal rewards of the college, I also teach you a set of skills. Everyone was shocked to hear that the dean, Sun Zhang, not only agreed, but also rewarded the skills of the game. In fact, Sun Zhang agreed because he did not think that Huang Xiaolong could win the first grade at the end of the year, so he promised nothing. This way, Huang Xiaolong's grievances can be alleviated. Of course, Huang Xiaolong can also be encouraged to cultivate. Good. Huang Xiaolong said. On the side of Zhong Yuan heard the dean's consent, there was some anger in his heart, but he did not dare to show it face to face, and in his opinion, Huang Xiaolong could not win the first grade at the end of the year. Not only him, I am afraid that everyone will think so. At this time, Huang Xiaolong looked at Xiang Maiki. This new test, with the strength he just showed, will undoubtedly win the first place, then it is time for this bear to fulfill the promise of betting. Knowing that Huang Xiaolong and Xiang Maiki bet the new students, see Huang Xiaolong's eyes, they also looked at Xiang Maiki, a strange face. Huang Xiaolong looked at Xiang Maiki's cold voice, the gambling contract of the new test, you will not forget it. Xiang Maiki's body was shocked, her eyes were flustered, and she dared not look directly at Huang Xiaolong. The pretty face became pale. Gambling? Just when Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu were confused, suddenly, the pretty and faint Xiang Maiki squatted down in front of everyone, so he squatted directly on the square floor, then opened the cherry mouth, Wang. 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 Called three times. Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu were stunned. Just when Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu were stunned, Xiang Maiki, who had called three times there, suddenly stood up, covered his face and ran away, disappearing without a trace. Everyone is sluggish. Huang Xiaolong looked at Xiang Maiki, who disappeared without a trace. Suddenly, he felt that the other party was not so hateful. At least he dared to say that he dared to do it. Originally, Huang Xiaolong thought that Xiang Maiki would definitely deny the previous bet for some reason. Xiang Chu watched her daughter disappear and finally shook her head. As Xiang Maiki left, the new test was not carried out at the end. Huang Xiaolong and others dispersed. Sun Zhang looked at Huang Xiaolong's figure and his eyes flickered, it seems that I have to go to the martial house these two days and find the old guy in Haoshan to have a chat. Xiang Chu heard the meaning of Sun Zhang's words and smiled, with the friendship between the dean and the martial Hao Tian, coupled with the identity and strength of the dean, 
the dean will accept Huang Xiaolong as a disciple, and Marshal Hao Tian will definitely agree. Sun Zhang nodded. He didn't worry about this. However, what made him curious was what Wu Wuolong Wu Wu was in the end. The old guy in Haoshan should know. Sun Zhang thought, after a while, he took back his mind and looked at the still comatose Zhang Teng. He smiled at Xian Chu, let's go, we still have this first. The little guy's injury has stabilized and said. Xiang Chu also smiled and nodded. Then, the two with a stunned vine, a flash of shape, disappeared in place. After Huang Xiaolong left the square, he did not return to the classroom, but went to the library. On the first floor of the library, as long as it is a disciple of the college, you can enter and read at will, but the fighting skills and exercises are only on the second floor, the third floor, and the fourth floor. You must complete the college mission and reach a certain point before you can enter. Of course, Huang Xiaolong came to the library not to learn the fighting skills and exercises. Although he has been in this martial arts world for nearly ten years, he does not know much about this martial art world, so he has to read more books. Learn more about this world. After reading two books about Wuhan, Huang Xiaolong came to a bookcase and suddenly saw a book called The Life of the Dead. The Life of the Soul? Huang Xiaolong's heart moved, took it up, and read it one page at a time. The more he saw it, the more he became fascinated. The book not only introduced the various souls of the martial arts, but also introduced some of the life-threatening skills, and will use some of the life-threatening skills. Power and weakness have been said, although not detailed, but let Huang Xiaolong open his eyes. After more than an hour, Huang Xiaolong put the book back and picked up another one. When Huang Xiaolong read the books in the library, the entire Starry Sky Academy set off a wave of crazy discussion. I heard that today's freshman test, a new student named Huang Xiaolong almost abolished the vine with Super Wuhan. This is absolutely true. At that time, I was in the square, and Huang Xiaolong suddenly burst out of the fourth order late peak strength. The fourth order late peak. How big is this Huang Xiaolong, less than ten years old? This is too horrible. I also heard that this Huang Xiaolong was registered with the recommendation letter from the dean. Before that, Zhang Teng still screamed that he was a waste. Every corner of the Starry Academy is talking about it. Whether it is the old students of all grades or the teachers, they are shocked. Similarly, more people are guessing what the Wu Xiaolong Wuhan is. Near noon, when Huang Xiaolong came out of the library, some of the new students who saw the test process in the square at that time, the old students recognized Huang Xiaolong, all pointing fingers and eyes were weird. Huang Xiaolong listened to the surrounding arguments and shook his head. He did not expect the news of the world to spread so quickly. It is now two or three hours away from the morning test. In the discussion of everyone, Huang Xiaolong went out of college. Less Lord. Waiting for the four guards in the Hao or Hao and Marshall houses to see Huang Xiaolong come out, they will welcome the front. Huang Xiaolong nodded, then took the five people back to Tian Suanfu. Less master, I heard that you will almost give up the vine today. On the loop, Fei Ho laughed. You also heard about it. Huang Xiaolong glanced, smiled bitterly. Fei Ho five people smiled, Fei Ho smiled, that Zhang Teng is the first disciple of the Starry Academy to have a Super Wu soul for more than 100 years, and is also a pro-disciple of Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu. The young master will almost him. Abandoned this matter has caused a sensation in Wang Cheng. Even Wang Cheng has caused a sensation? Huang Xiaolong stunned, his brow wrinkled, but then his brows were on display. Since the matter has come to this end, it is useless to think more, and the sensation will be sensational. People who are interested should soon find out that he and Marshal Haoshan have unclear. The relationship, there is Marshal Haoshan, no one should dare to treat him, at least in Latong Wangcheng, he is safe. After a while, Huang Xiaolong returned to Tian Suanfu. After returning to Tian Suanfu, Huang Xiaolong retired from the hall of the Marshall House and went to the hall. 
he asked Fei Ho about the cultivation of Lei Shui in the past few days. Fei Ho replied with a happy face, the door owner taught the subordinate Lei Shui, after the cultivation in these days, the temperament is improved very fast. According to his temperament in recent days, he did not raise the speed. In five years, it should be able to break through an eight in four years or so. Huang Xiaolong nodded, and then asked Fei Ho to buy slaves and cultivate power in the past few days. Fei Ho and a pair of Huang Xiaolong reported. In the past few days, Fei Ho has carefully selected 26 servants from the slave market, and began to teach people how to practice and cultivate all aspects of their abilities. After listening to the report, Huang Xiaolong nodded with satisfaction. I have been going to the Silver Moon Forest for two days. After a while, Huang Xiaolong said, You should wait until the end of the college grade. What? Do you want a person to go to Yunya Forest to practice? Fei Ho's face changed, and he couldn't help but worry, Lord, this, subordinate, or follow the doorkeeper. Huang Xiaolong waved his hand and said, No, in the past five months, you will stay in Tian Suanfu, train and train them, and you must insist on practicing Lai Shui every day. Fei Ho would like to say that Huang Xiaolong shook his head and said, Well, don't say it anymore, I have already decided. With his current strength, and then with the life of the soul, the space is concealed and the shadows follow the wind, as long as they don't deep into the Yunya forest. There should be no danger, and Huang Xiaolong does not want to rely on Fei Ho and Marshal Haoshan. Fei Ho sees this and can only respect and lead. Just when Huang Xiaolong decided to go to Yunya Forest for two days, the Marshal House came to an uninvited guest, Sun Zhang, Dean of the Starry Sky Academy. When Sun Zhang arrived and met with Marshal Hao Tian for a while, he explained that he wanted to accept Huang Xiaolong as a disciple. What? You want to collect yellow, Huang Xiaolong as a disciple? Marshal Haoshan stunned, the tone became somewhat unnatural, and then undoubtedly, he shook his head, no. Jokes, Huang Xiaolong, but they are the masters of sure amen, and a small star school dean is also qualified to accept their doorkeepers as disciples? No. Sun Zhang stayed, and looked at Marshal Haoshan unexpectedly. Originally, he thought that by virtue of his own identity, he personally asked the Marshal Haoshan to accept Huang Xiaolong as a disciple. Marshal Haoshan definitely agreed, now, even refused. Sun Zhang's face is not happy. Marshal Haoshan saw Sun Zhang look, thought about it and said, Sun Zhang, in fact, this thing, I can't do the Lord. You, can't you do the Lord? Sun Zhang said, that Huang Xiaolong, he, isn't your illegitimate child. Illegitimate child? Marshal Haoshan's forehead immediately emerged with a black line and cold sweat. Does this old thing think that the door owner is his? Marshal Haoshan looked solemn and solemn, Sun Zhang, don't say it is me, even my master can't do the Lord. You, your master? Yu Ming's predecessors can't do the Lord. Sun Zhang looked surprised, Yu Ming, that is the innate Tenth Order powerhouse. Even in the Ming dynasty cannot do the Lord? What is the identity of Huang Xiaolong? Marshal Haoshan nodded to Sun Zhang. In fact, he still has no words to say to Sun Zhang, that is, his masters are not qualified to accept Huang Xiaolong as a disciple. Marshal Haoshan's ancestors. However, saying that going out is too horrible, so Marshal Haoshan did not say to Sun Zhang. Although the two were friends, the former Marshal Haoshan did not talk about Sun Shuming about Sun Shu, so Sun Zhang did not know that Marshal Haoshan was the person who repaired Luimin. After a while, Sun Zhang came out from the Marshal's mansion and looked at the sky. The blue sky was blooming, and the sun was shining. I didn't expect that the identity of the little guy was so simple. Sun Zhang said to himself, Is it a prince who broke our blade? Then he shook his head. After the martial house, Sun Zhang returned directly to the college. Night falls. The heat of the day slowly dissipated with the night, and the night wind was cool. Huang Xiaolong sat on the cold jade bed of Tian Suanfu, 
and his body was running through the nine veins of the meridians. However, he was not practicing Shura. He had been thinking about these two days. Since the twin martial arts can fit and split, they should be summoned separately. Now, he has to try to study how to summon the twin martial arts. If he can freely control the twin martial arts to summon, he will not have to worry about being discovered by his own martial arts. Generally, he will test the enemy and, if necessary, summon the black dragon martial arts. But every time Huang Xiaolong tries to call out the Wuhan, the black dragon and the blue dragon will appear at the same time, and they cannot be summoned at all. It is like having one person's left and right hands with two different words at the same time, almost impossible to get. Because people can't use one heart at the same time. Although it failed again and again, Huang Xiaolong was not discouraged and continued to practice over and over again. As night passed, the sky became clearer. Although it was still unsuccessful, Huang Xiaolong found that his control of the Sanjiang Wushan was more convenient. In the past, Huang Xiaolong called the Sanjiang Wushan to breathe three times, so now only two breaths will do. From the room, Huang Xiaolong moved a little bones and heard the screams of morning exercises from the backyard. He couldn't help but walk to the backyard and saw the backyard square. The slaves who bought back from Fihao were practicing the Luhan boxing method. The Luhan boxing method was Huang Xiaolong. Teach it to Feihou and let him pass it on. Huang Xiaolong looked at the posture of these slaves and punched. He nodded. Although it was only a few days, these slaves had already practiced in a good way. They had a good understanding of martial arts and fighting skills. This is what Huang Xiaolong originally asked for Feihou. To cultivate the forces, one must be loyal, and the other must have a certain degree of comprehension of martial arts and fighting skills. Less master. Fei Ho saw Huang Xiaolong come over and hurry up. Huang Xiaolong nodded, then pointed to the orc Bo Li who was practicing Luhan boxing in the backyard square. He said to Fei Ho, you can give more attention to the Bo Li. When it is time, let Bo Li be responsible for supervising and training them, so that you you can also spend more time practicing. Yes, less. Fei Ho respectfully said. Let's go, you go out with me. Huang Xiaolong said to Fei Ho, there have been some days in La Tong Wang Cheng, and did not really go shopping, Huang Xiaolong intends to walk. Also, after two days, he went to Yunya Forest to practice. This is five months, so he has to prepare and buy some things, and go to see Lieselgia Silk Shop, recently in the month. He was a lot taller and he was already 1 meter 5. By the way, he went to the Ljia Silk Shop to order several sets of clothes. Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho took the four guards of the martial house and went out to Tian Xian, and walked down the street. In the morning, the sun was very bright and the air was fresh. Huang Xiaolong looked at the streets and civilians, and there were some shops that were getting more and more lively. I was in a good mood. In fact, the ordinary life is also a kind of happiness. Through several streets, Huang Xiaolong and six people came to Li Zilgia Silk Store. Since it was only a few days after school, Li Cheng, who sent Li Wei to Wang Cheng, has not returned to Kixian County. Li Cheng, who is at the Zilgia Silk Store, saw the arrival of Huang Xiaolong, and hurriedly greeted him from the store. Little Dragon, Fei Ho's predecessor. Li Cheng smiled. Huang Xiaolong nodded and called his uncle, and Fei Ho nodded to Li Cheng. Then, Li Cheng invited Huang Xiaolong to the in-store hall to let the next person hurry to the tea. This time, Li Cheng was even more cautious in front of Huang Xiaolong. Even when he sat down, his hands were nervous and he did not know how to put it. Huang Xiaolong met, knowing that Li Cheng should have heard about the new life test. He almost abolished the thing of Zhang Teng, and even heard the news that he had some relationship with Marshal Haoshan. Now that Wang Cheng has spread, it is no secret that he has a relationship with Marshal Haoshan. Of course, as for the relationship, everyone is speculating about the various versions. Uncle, I am coming over this time, I want to order a few sets of clothes. 
After sitting down, Huang Xiaolong said. Don't make a few sets of clothes. Li Chenji stayed, and then quickly stood up and personally went to get the tailoring tools to Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong smiled and said that the next person would do it, but Li Cheng insisted on personally giving Huang Xiaolong tired, I got a little embarrassed. Looking at Li Cheng, who personally tailored himself, Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but think of Huang Peng's Wang's parents Huang Peng and Su Yan. If parents know that they are now in Wang Cheng, Li Cheng personally tailored his clothes, I don't know what to think. After a while, Li Cheng gave Huang Xiaolong a full body, and everyone sat down. Huang Xiaolong thought about it and said to Li Cheng, Uncle, I am in Wang Cheng, I don't know what I want, I don't want to let me mother knows, so don't tell me when you go back. Li Cheng heard the meaning of Huang Xiaolong's words and quickly said, Xiaolong, you can rest assured that these things, I will not say more when I go back. Huang Xiaolong nodded, or waited until the end of the year to go back to Huang Jia's Wang, parents must ask this question, it is really a headache. At this time, suddenly there was a noise and a loud noise outside the shop. Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but frown. He could hear that someone was making trouble outside, and Li Cheng heard the noise and drinking outside, and his face was a little bad. In the past few days, a group of people came to the store to deliberately make troubles. I heard a lot of people in the store and didn't expect to come again today. Outside the noise and drinking louder and louder, Li Cheng had to stand up, to Huang Xiaolong and Fei Haodeo, Xiaolong, Fei Ho Seniors, you sit first, I will go out and deal with it. Huang Xiaolong shook his head, let's go out together. Since someone came to the Ljia Silk store to make trouble, he was too embarrassed to sit here and ignore it. Li Cheng listened to Huang Xiaolong to go out with himself, and he was naturally happy. So, the seven people of Huang Xiaolong walked out of the hall and walked to the front shop. When a few people came to the front shop, Huang Xiaolong saw only a dozen people wearing cyan suits throwing and throwing things in the store. These people yelled as they threw and fell. What silk is simply a stinky cloth that comes out of the rubbish. It smells terrible. Even with this stinky cloth, we make clothes for us. Mom, I am impatient. Give me, hey. Some of the shop guys who tried to stop them were added by these people. There are already six or seven people lying there in pain, and it looks like they are not hurt. Li Cheng met, his face changed, and he was anxious and angry. Stop, give me a hand. But the dozens of people in the blue collar suit did not seem to hear it, but they even tried to wrestle the shop. Li Cheng was angered. When he was about to go forward, suddenly the other person flew up and his arms opened. He suddenly grabbed Li Chenji and his strength was not weak. It was the late seventh stage. Li Cheng was shocked. When he was about to raise his hand, a figure was faster than him. In an instant, he shot the other side, and the other screamed, crashing into the ground, and the whole body shrank into a ball. It seems that it is not alive. It is. The shot is a nine-level guard of the martial house. The thing changed suddenly, and the dozens of Tsing Yi people who had been so hard and slammed things stopped and looked over. A middle-aged man who looks like a Tsing Yi leader looks at the Tsing Yi who is huddled in the distance. His face sinks and he looks at Huang Xiaolong. Who are you? This is our Green Eagle Gang, you better not to worry about nothing. The middle-aged strong man said quietly. After the Tsing Yi people stopped wrestling, they all came behind the middle-aged strong man. Green Eagle help. Li Cheng's face changed dramatically. Green Eagle help? Huang Xiaolong's eyes were puzzled. At this time, a tenth order guard from the marshal's house said to Huang Xiaolong, the young master, this Qing Ying gang is one of the three major gangs of Wang Cheng. The helper Zhang is a tenth level master, and many nobles with Wang Cheng. The relationship is good. One of the three major gangs of Wang Cheng? Huang Xiaolong nodded. These gangs are actually plain, that is, the so-called gangs of the former earth. But since this Qing Ying gang is the three major gangs of Wang Cheng, 
then the forces do not seem weak. Huang Xiaolong looked at Li Cheng, Li Jiashop should not be blamed with the Green Eagle, then the other party should be instructed by someone. Yes, our Qing Ying gang is one of the three major gangs of Wang Cheng. At this time, the middle-aged man was proud, and then looked at Huang Xiaolong with a stern look, in this Wang Cheng, few people dare to hurt. Our people. Huang Xiaolong's face is indifferent, let's say, who told you to come over and make trouble? The middle-aged man heard the words and his face was gloomy, kid, who is your family's disciple? If you do this, it may bring disaster to your family. His words are not alarmist, and many families in Wang Cheng who have offended the Qing Ying gang generally have no good endings. The sound of the middle-aged strong man fell, and the four guards of the marshal's house couldn't help but look at each other. They all laughed. The evil of the door? A green eagle gang to destroy the marshal house? Huang Xiaolong also shook his head and smiled. The middle-aged brawny and other people saw the marshal's mansion laughing, and their faces were even more ugly. At this time, Huang Xiaolong said to the four guards of the marshal house, you go up and take them down and ask who is instructing them to make trouble. Yes, less master. The Green Eagle helped the middle-aged and strong-haired people to change their faces. They just wanted to be shocked, but they were already late. The four guards of the martial house flashed their bodies and sealed them off. The screams sounded. These Green Eagle help disciples are generally fifth order, sixth order strength, middle-aged strong-headed leader is stronger, but also the seventh order late peak, how is the marshal's four ninth order, ten order guard opponent? Soon, these Green Eagle help the disciples lie on the ground. Wang Ning, a tenth order guard of the martial house, looked at the middle-aged man who was lying on the ground and asked in cold voice, We ask the Lord, who is telling you to come over and make trouble? The middle-aged man was glaring, snorted, spit out a foam, and did not answer. Wang Ning saw it, smiled coldly, his hands were clawed, and suddenly grabbed the other arm then twisted it and broke it. The middle-aged brawny screamed. If you don't want my feet to be broken, I will honestly say it. Wang Ning said coldly. I, say, I said. The middle-aged man was pale and trembling. A few days ago, there was a man who came to our Green Eagles to tell us that the Green Eagle helped the Lord do this. Let us help the Green Eagle. The disciple is here to make trouble. Commanded. Huang Xiaolong's eyes flashed, can command the Green Eagle to help the Lord do this, then this person, identity is not simple. So who is this person? And why is it against Li? However, the middle-aged brawny did not know the identity of the other party, so the interrogation did not produce any results. Huang Xiaolong looked at Li Cheng, Li Cheng shook his head, and he couldn't think of who Li had had a deep hatred with. Is it they? Suddenly, Li Cheng's face changed, and Huang Xiaolong said, Xiaolong, you still can't remember, I am on the 80th birthday. When it comes to this, Li Cheng looks sad and resentful. 80 birthday? Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but think of the day when Li Lao's patriarch Li Mu's 80th birthday was the mysterious man who possessed the poisonous snake soul. At that time, the other party also sent the body of Li Jun's eldest brother Li Feng to celebrate his birthday. Huang Xiaolong turned to the 10th Order Guard Wang Ning and asked, Where is the headquarters of the Green Eagle? Is it the two people who have the venomous snake spirit? Ask the Qing Ying gang to help Zhang Wei know. Huang Jia's Wang and Li Jia are world exchanges. Since this happened, Huang Xiaolong could not care. Returning to the Lord, the Green Eagle Help Headquarters is in the corner of the city, not very far. Wang Ning replied quickly. Xiao Long, I am going with you. At this time, Li Cheng stood up. Over the past year, Li Jia has been tracking down the murderer's whereabouts. When he thought of his son Li Feng's tragic death, Li Cheng looked sad and angry. Looking at Li Cheng, who was sorrowful and angry, Huang Xiaolong nodded and then turned to Fei Ho. Wang Ning said a few people, take him, we are now Qing Ying to help the headquarters. 
middle-aged brawny. Yes, less master. Wang Ning several respectful responders. So, Huang Xiaolong, Li Cheng, a few people will go out of the Li Jiaxio shop, and then go to the Green Eagle Help Headquarters. Two months later, within a cave in the Silver Moon Forest, Huang Xiaolong sat there, and his body was constantly flashing. Suddenly, there was a wave of space behind him, and a black dragon appeared. After the black dragon appeared, his body flashed and disappeared, and then a blue light appeared. A blue dragon was suspended behind Huang Xiaolong. After two months of persistent hard work, Huang Xiaolong was finally able to summon his own Zhuanglong Wuhan. That's right, it's a single call. In the Silver Moon Forest for two months of hard training, Huang Xiaolong's body is stronger than before leaving Tian Xian House, and the fighting spirit has been upgraded from the early sixth stage to the initial peak. The moonlight is like water, and there is silence around. Within the cave, the black and blue rays alternate. After more than an hour, the black and blue rays disappeared. Huang Xiaolong took all the dragons and martial arts back into the body, opened their eyes, and stood up and came out of the cave. Looking at the cave outside the quiet moonlight, but not seeing the spirit of the purple monkey figure, Huang Xiaolong shaking his head, this little guy must be squatting on his cultivation, and I don't know where to go. Huang Xiaolong leaped down from the mouth of the cave and fell to the ground. The sword of Shura appeared in the hand, and floated out of the body. He suddenly swung out, and saw a piece of bladed man's like the stars shining constantly, sometimes violent, roaring sometimes it is extremely subtle and difficult to find with the naked eye. The sound of Shura's crying, like a ghost, continued to drift around. After two months of hard training, the power of Shura's tears has increased a lot. In this way, Huang Xiaolong will be able to cultivate the tears of Shura to the realm of Dachin in less than half a year. Just when Huang Xiaolong practiced the tears of Shura, suddenly, the ground suddenly vibrated, boom. 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 The violent shock continued to approach this side. Huang Xiaolong turned to look at it. I saw a very distant place. A huge orangutan with a height of ten feet was chasing a small monkey half a meter tall. One rabbit and one monkey came forward. The orangutans kept catching up and slamming their hands, but each time they were flashed by the little monkey, hiding in the past, the orangutan roared. Looking at this funny picture, Huang Xiaolong couldn't help but laugh, this little guy. The nature that is chased by giant orangutans is the devouring purple monkey that did not know where to go. Whenever Huang Xiaolong sat quietly practicing, the devouring purple monkey ran out, not long after coming back, often chasing a big guy behind. This kind of thing, the little brother of devouring purple monkey did not do much. Sometimes, it really makes Huang Xiao Xiao hurt. Hey! Far away, the demon-stained purple monkey saw Huang Xiaolong, and his eyes were happy, and he called to Huang Xiaolong to call, and that meant to be clear, and it was alive. At this time, the giant orangutan suddenly took a photo to the devouring purple monkey. Boom! But a loud noise, the devouring purple monkey appeared on the ground before a giant pit, gravel splash. The spirited purple monkey jumped, touched the back buttocks, screamed at the huge orangutan, just now everyone the guy almost shot his little ass. When Huang Xiaolong saw it, he shook his head and smiled. His figure flashed and leapt. The sword of Shura swayed out and attacked the giant orangutan that had already reached tens of meters. See Huang Xiaolong's shot, the devouring purple monkey stopped and fled, and Huang Xiaolong attacked it. This giant orangutan is a kind of monster called the Iron Tail. It is not only powerful, but also has a strong defense. The skin seems to be coated with a layer of iron. The sword is usually hit by it, and the sparks are splashed. It is difficult for an iron orang to see one, and it is not known where the poisoned purple monkey is hit. Fortunately, this iron orangutan did not break through the seventh order, but the sixth order lay peak and Huang Xiaolong's Shura blade cut iron. After a few minutes, the iron orangutan was cut by Huang Xiaolong.
The blood of the beast was sprayed, and the iron gorilla crashed to the ground. After the other party did not move, the devouring purple monkey climbed onto the other's body and began to harvest the fruit. The devouring purple monkey clawed the scalp of the other side, took out the demon, and swallowed it. I don't know how the devilish purple monkey is discerning. Generally speaking, the monsters below the seventh order are difficult to bear the demon, but the demon spirits will provoke an hunter each time, and there must be a demon in the body. Dan. After the devouring purple monkey swallowed the iron-eared demon, Huang Xiaolong stepped forward, his hands were clawed, and suddenly he sucked. The blood of the iron-eared body was constantly absorbed by Huang Xiaolong, and he continued to enter Huang Xiaolong along the hands of Huang Xiaolong. After a while, the blood of the iron orangutans was completely absorbed by Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong jumped into his body and his hands suddenly slammed against a big tree 20 meters away from the front. The moonlight disappeared and it instantly became dark. Two black paw prints appear. Hey! Then, across a dozen meters, the tree was born and caught by Huang Xiaolong, two and a half meters of bark, half a foot deep. Above the tree, printed with two black paw prints, around the paw print, distributed with darkness, the leaves of the whole tree began to turn black and yellow. Looking at the power of the first trick of Shura's ghosts, Huang Xiaolong nodded with satisfaction. These two silver moon forest cultivation, in addition to Shuang Long Wuhan can be summoned alone, Shu Rao Tears, Wang Gaiki Xiao, and Shu Rao, Yi Jinjing are greatly improved. If you are at the college or staying at Tian Suanfu, progress can never be so fast. At this time, the sight of the devouring purple monkey screamed. You mean, have you found some treasures in this iron gorilla cave? After the hands of the purple-eyed monkeys, Huang Xiaolong said, the devouring purple monkey nodded, then turned and waved to Huang Xiaolong, carrying Huang Xiaolong along the iron-eared go back in the direction of chasing. Twenty minutes later, the iron orang came to a dense forest with Huang Xiaolong, then walked in and soon arrived before a giant hole. Hey! Came to the giant hole, and the devouring purple monkey screamed excitedly at Huang Xiaolong. When he first flashed in, Huang Xiaolong followed. Entering the giant cave, a strange fragrance will float from the front. This scent is getting stronger as it continues to deepen. After a while, Huang Xiaolong came to the bottom of the giant cave. I saw that the underground of the cave was very broad. There were more than a thousand square meters. From the ground floor to the top of the cave, it was thirty or forty meters high, and the middle of the cave was actually one. The giant trees that the seven or eight people can hold together, the giant tree branches stretch, and many are rooted in the top of the cave. Between the leaves of the giant trees, there is a little bit of sparkling light. Huang Xiaolong looked at the giant tree in front of him, stayed in bed, and then ecstatic, it is hard to believe, this is the iron tree. Iron tree, can produce a strange fruit, called iron fruit, people who cultivate vindictive swallow iron fruit cultivation, not only can improve vindictiveness, but also can refine the body, strengthen the whole body muscles, muscles, and even five or six, if it can for many years, swallowing iron fruit cultivation, the whole body defense is like iron, and like the iron orang, the sword is generally okay on the body. Hey! At this moment, the demonstration violet monkey flashed, climbed the iron tree, reached for an iron fruit, and then licked it and swallowed it. Huang Xiaolong smiled. Sometimes he really suspected that the nose of the spirited purple monkey was not a dog's nose and it was more spiritual than the dog's nose. Otherwise, how can every stranger and fruit in the mile be found? Huang Xiaolong came under the huge iron tree and waved his hands with a wave of iron. He swung down an iron fruit, caught it with his right hand, and pierced it. Suddenly, a liquid like a syrup liquid flowed into the mouth of Huang Xiaolong, and then, a warm current. Flow to the various meridians in the body. Huang Xiaolong quickly sat down and ran the shura, constantly refining the iron fruit. With the refining of iron and steel, the nine cent of the six-layer meridians began to tumbling, rolling, and rushing. 
At the same time, Huang Xiaolong could clearly feel the faint iron fruit aura constantly moistening his whole body muscles, bones and even the five internal organs. Lu Wei, his body muscles are constantly solid. A black and a blue double dragon continually coiled behind Huang Xiaolong, and the void was nine and the air was rolling. Promoted to the sixth order, Huang Xiaolong Shuang Long Wuhan swallowed nine secluded speeds a lot faster. A night passed. A little bit of sunlight was transmitted from the top of the cave, and it was warm on the body of Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong took the Sanjiang Wushan back into the body and stopped the operation of the exercises. After standing up, the two fists swung out and slammed into shock. The two punches were printed on the wall of the mountain cave 20 meters away, one foot deep. The mountain wall was shaken and the gravel was scattered. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are bright. This iron fruit is really a good thing. After a night of cultivation, his body muscle strength has obviously increased a lot, and when attacking, the gluten's bursting power is stronger. This cultivation will continue, and the physical and explosive power alone will be able to double the strength of the same rank. Huang Xiaolong took back his hands and looked around. He saw that the spirited purple monkey was sitting on the trunk of the iron tree and refining the iron fruit. This little guy didn't know what was going on. Refining and refining, but swallowing iron fruit, Yangguo, these heavenly and earthy medicines, need to sit and refine. However, if not, it would be too enchanting. Huang Xiaolong saw that the poisoning purple monkey was still refining the iron fruit, and did not wake it up. He came to an open space in the distance, called out the Shurao blade and began to cultivate the tears of Shura. Time is slowly passing. Soon, another month passed. This month, Huang Xiaolong stayed in the cave at the bottom of the earth for most of the time. He practiced the Shura swordsmanship during the day, repaired the ghost claws, swallowed the iron fruit at night, and cultivated Xiu Luo and Yi Jinjing. Occasionally, Huang Xiaolong and the devouring purple monkey will go out of the cave and kill the monster together. This month, Swallowing iron fruit cultivation every day, Huang Xiaolong's muscles, bones and muscles, the internal organs are constantly moistened and strengthened by the iron fruit aura, compared with a month ago, it is more than double. Moreover, a few days ago, Huang Xiaolong finally broke through the middle of the sixth stage with the help of the iron fruit. Sixth Intermediate Generally, people who have the top ten martial arts are practicing. From the early sixth stage to the middle stage of the sixth stage, it takes about one and a half years, but Huang Xiaolong only used it for three months. A month later, more than a hundred iron fruits on the iron tree were swallowed by about half of Huang Xiaolong and the devouring purple monkey. On this day, when Huang Xiaolong was sitting under the iron tree and practicing Shura, suddenly, the footsteps sounded outside the cave. Huang Xiaolong's heart stopped and he stopped practicing. At this time, the outside sounds. That iron tree really grows in this huge hole. There should be no mistakes. According to Bao Jian's above, it is in the bottom of this huge hole. The smell of the fragrant smell should be the fragrance of the iron fruit. The footsteps are getting closer and closer. Listening to the voice, the other party should be two people. Huang Xiaolong stood up, and the demixed purple monkey also jumped down from the tree and came to the shoulder of Huang Xiaolong. He looked at the entrance to the underground cave. Not long after, two young people in their twenties appeared in the eyes of Huang Xiaolong and the spirited purple monkey. Both of them are wearing light black clothes, above the chest, with a bird pattern, apparently the same sect. When the two came to the ground and saw Huang Xiaolong and the devouring purple monkey, they couldn't help but apparently did not expect a ten-year-old child and a small monkey. However, when the two saw the huge iron tree behind Huang Xiaolong, their eyes were bright and their faces were ecstatic. Iron tree. Iron tree is really here. One of them even laughed loudly, Haha, Wu Gan, I said that Baijian said that it is correct. The iron tree is in the bottom of this huge hole. With these iron fruits, we swallow and cultivate, within three months. 
kin break through the seventh order. Yes, by the end of the year, we will be able to win the top three in the Zongmen Outer Discipline competition. Wu Gan, a tall and thin young man, also laughed. The two talked and laughed and completely put Huang Xiaolong, a ten-year-old child and a little monkey in his heart. In the eyes of both of them, all the iron nuts in front of them were theirs. Huang Xiaolong did not speak, stood there, and looked at the two laughing people with great interest. From the perspective of wearing them, they should be a disciple of the tyrannical kingdom of neighboring countries called Jufeng Valley. Jufeng Valley is not weak in the Tyrannosaurus kingdom and is one of the big gates of the Tyrannosaurus. After a while, Wu Gan and two Jufegu disciples laughed and stopped. At this time, they turned to Huang Xiaolong. What about this kid? Wu Jian asked. How did he find it here? Was it lost with the family elders and found it by mistake? Another Yunfengu disciple Chen Yun sneered, How can he find it here? Anyway, the secret here can't be leaked out. This iron tree has more than 100 results per year. We are here to swallow iron fruit cultivation every year. 10 years. Inside, you must be able to break through the eighth order. Speaking of this, he came over to Huang Xiaolong. When he came to the front of Huang Xiaolong ten meters away, Chen Yun pulled out his long sword and looked at Huang Xiaolong, the kid, you were lucky, you can find it here. It seems that you have swallowed a lot of iron fruit. The iron fruit tastes good. But, unfortunately, we met us, everything in the future is ours. And you can only die. Chen Yun's sword in his hand slammed into the throat of Huang Xiaolong. Do not worry, it will be a sword. It will not be very painful. Just when Chen Yun's sword was stabbing Huang Xiaolong's throat, he suddenly stopped in the air. Chen Yun's face was stiff and he couldn't believe it. He saw the sword tip being pinched by Huang Xiaolong's fingers. Just as his face was stiff, Huang Xiaolong's figure flashed and a cold blade flashed past. Chen Yun stood stiffly there, his eyes sluggish, and his eyes slowly dimmed and fell to the ground. You are right, it is a sword, it will not be very painful. Huang Xiaolong face indifference. When Chen Yun fell to the ground, the neck slowly oozes and stains the red ground. Chen Yun. In the distance, Wu Gan looked at the companion who had fallen down and called out. At this time, Huang Xiaolong came over to him. You. Wu Gan's face changed dramatically, with a look of panic, panic, and then retreat. Until now, he still can hardly believe that Chen Yun actually died in the hands of the ten-year-old child. Chen Yun is like him, the sixth order late peak. Who are you? Wu Gan looked at Huang Xiaolong, who was approaching, and asked in a panic. Who I am? It doesn't matter. Huang Xiaolong kept on stepping and continued to walk towards the other side. For Huang Xiaolong, who he really is is not important, because there is no possibility of an intersection between the two. Wu Gan heard the murder of Huang Xiaolong's words, suddenly turned around, and his body was like a wind, and fled to the underground tunnel. However, when he just got up, suddenly, a figure was blocked in front of him, and a fierce temper came from him, scaring him to hide. When he returned to the original place, he looked at it. It was the little monkey who just blocked him. After the spirited purple monkey forced the other party back to the original place, the mouth screamed and screamed. Huang Xiaolong saw it and couldn't help but smile. The Jufegu disciple may not understand the meaning of the spirited purple monkey, but Huang Xiaolong could understand it. The little guy is clearly saying that you want to escape and you have to ask your monkey monkey's claws. Although Wu Gan did not understand the meaning of the spirited purple monkey, but he could see the sarcasm in the eyes of the spirited purple monkey, could not help but anger, the body violently rose, the Wuhan summoned. What makes Huang Xiaolong stunned is that the other martial arts is actually a kind of sinister beast. The only difference is that it has a tail behind it. What is this martial arts? Although Huang Xiaolong read through the books of the Wushao Academy in the Starry Academy Library, he did not recognize the martial arts of this martial art. 
However, the martial arts world, the martial arts are thousands of strange, some mutant martial arts are quite a lot, even if it is alive the sanctuary of the millennium does not necessarily know all the martial arts. This Wukan called the Wuhan, and the long sword suddenly waved to the devouring purple monkey. Sunset over the river. The sword is swaying and steadily sinking forward, seemingly soft, but contains endless murder. The demon-stained purple monkey saw it, grinned, did not retreat, and flew up. The two claws suddenly came out, and the claws were sharp and fierce. The layers were stacked and the air flow was stirred. Huang Xiaolong stood there and did not do it. He could see that the Jufegu disciple did not break through the Seventh Order. As long as the other party did not break through the Seventh Order, the devouring purple monkey would be enough. Sure enough, the Jufegu disciple was caught in the chest by the devouring purple monkey, his body shape continued to recede, and the blood instantly oozing out. Wu Gan looked at the claws of his chest and was shocked and angry. At this time, the devouring purple monkey rushed up again. B, you are looking for death. Wu Gan screamed with a long sword, and the sword was like a sun in the same round. He continued to rotate, and he continued to bloom. He threw the spirited purple monkey back and flew, and he had to re-enter the hole. The passage escaped. However, how could Huang Xiaolong, who was on the side, let him escape? Huang Xiaolong's figure flashed and he immediately came to the other side. Give me a roll. Wu Jian screamed with a sword. Huang Xiaolong looked at each other coldly, and the sword of Shura appeared in his hand. Cold and cold, the tears of Shura. The flying body floated, and the blade of Shura waved out. Under Wu Gan's horrified eyes, countless swords appeared, turning into a torrential rain, and suddenly thundered his body around twenty feet. Huang Xiaolong floated to the ground and took the sword of Shura back to his arm. The blade disappeared and the thunder disappeared. Wu Gan fell down. When he fell, his eyes remained horrified, desperate, and stunned. He was covered with blood holes all over his body, as if he was pierced by a drop of extremely hard tears. At first glance, there were hundreds of blood. The hole is terrible. Wu Jian lay there and suddenly the sound of Shura's crying sounded in his body. After a few breaths, the sound of Shura's tears disappeared. Huang Xiaolong looked at the other side's panic, desperate eyes, indifferent, the taste of iron fruit is really good, but unfortunately, you have no chance to taste. Wu Gan stopped moving. In fact, even if the two did not kill Huang Xiaolong, Huang Xiaolong did not intend to let the two leave. As the two had said before, the secret of the iron tree in this huge hole could not be revealed. Although the power of an iron fruit medicine is not comparable to that of the previous Huang Xiaolong swallowing, this is an iron tree, which can produce more than 100 pieces of iron fruit live iron trees every year. The baby value of this iron tree is the countless times of the golden fruit that Huang Xiaolong swallowed before. With this iron tree, Huang Xiaolong will come here every year to swallow iron fruit for a month or two. More importantly, with these iron fruits, his parents Huang Peng, Su Yan can make another breakthrough, and he my sister Huang Min Yu Sol also began to wake up. With this iron fruit, I can better lay the foundation for cultivation. His disciple Huang Xiaohe is also. After a while, Huang Xiaolong cleaned the bodies of the two men. When dealing with the bodies of the two men, Huang Xiaolong found some gold coins on the bodies of the two men, Du Dan, and a book called Bao Jian. This treasure, Huang Xiaolong looked through it, not a book of exercises and fighting skills, but a book that introduces the origins of various rare and precious medicines between heaven and earth and the role of various rare and precious medicines. Of course, the book introduces the location where various exotic medicines may be born, and does not point out exactly, just mentioning the possibility, so this requires individuals to look for it. After the bodies of the two were cleaned, Huang Xiaolong did not continue to stay in this huge hole to practice, and the remaining iron fruit on the iron tree was all collected into the Shura ring, and the giant hole of the spirited purple monkey went out and continued to the silver moon. 
go deep in the forest. More than a month passed. Somewhere in the Silver Moon Forest, the lake is green and pleasing to the eye. A small, light-colored body is constantly swaying in the lake. It is Huang Xiaolong. Although only ten years old, but Huang Xiaolong has a slightly strong body, these four months, Huang Xiaolong is a lot higher, already more than one meter five. At this time, a monkey head suddenly emerged from the lake. It was the devouring purple monkey. The little guy who was devouring the purple monkey emerged, and with a wave of his hands, the lake splashed and splashed with Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong smiled, turned over and jumped, escaped, and swung out. One person and one monkey play in the lake. Half an hour later, Huang Xiaolong and the spirited purple monkey came out of the lake and put on their robes. For more than four months, it is time to go back. Huang Xiaolong thought, now rushing back to Latong Wangcheng, just to participate in the college's grade competition. Yunya Forest has been suffering for more than four months. Huang Xiaolong has reached the peak of the sixth order midterm and has already broken through to the sixth order late stage. Thus, Huang Xiaolong and the devouring purple monkey rushed back to the city of Latong. Ten days later, Huang Xiaolong and the devouring purple monkey appeared in front of the gate of Latong Wangcheng. They looked at the four words of Latong Wangcheng above the gate of Latong Wangcheng. Huang Xiaolong's heart suddenly burst into an unspeakable feeling. Latong Wangcheng, I am back. After a while, Huang Xiaolong and the spirited purple monkey entered the Latong Wangcheng, and the figure of one person and one monkey slowly disappeared. However, Huang Xiaolong did not immediately return to Tian Suanfu, but went directly to the Starry Academy. Huang Xiaolong came to the Starry Academy and just entered the square and met Li Wei. Little Dragon Li Wei saw Huang Xiaolong far away, and screamed in surprise. He rushed over and, as in the past, hugged Huang Xiaolong. The square and the teachers and students looked over and Huang Xiaolong smiled. Well, everyone else is watching. Huang Xiaolong said. Li Wei is only letting go. After a few months, Li Wei also grew a lot, and the pretty face became more beautiful. When I laughed, the two dimples were more charming, my eyes were smart, and the curved eyebrows were cute and naughty. Li Wei was stared at by Huang Xiaolong, his face was reddish, his expression was a bit shy, and he bowed his head. Xiaolong, tomorrow is the class and grade competition, you have to be careful about Zhang Teng. After a while, Li Wei looked up and said, the last time he was seriously injured by you, he was cured by the dean and the vice president. Months of crazy cultivation, the strength has improved very fast, has reached the fourth order late peak. The fourth order late peak? Huang Xiaolong was a little surprised. I did not expect that the kid also reached the fourth order late peak. Suddenly, Huang Xiaolong's eyes were condensed, and only in the distance, Zhang Tang was coming over with a group of people. Li Wei turned to the head and saw Zhang Tao, a pretty face change, came behind Huang Xiaolong, it seems that there is some taboo on this vine. Huang Xiaolong saw Li Wei react, and his brow wrinkled. Zhang Tang came to Huang Xiaolong and looked at Li Xiao behind Huang Xiaolong. The mouth sneered and said to Huang Xiaolong, I just heard from others that you are back. I didn't expect it to be true. Tomorrow is the class, Huang Xiaolong, this time. I want you to regret it and completely regret it. Speaking of this, one finger Li Wei, tomorrow class, I have to see, can you save her like last time? Ginger Vine said that in the end, the eyes of the twinkling eyes of the evil, can be seen to the deep hatred of Huang Xiaolong. The last time, in this position where he is now standing, Huang Xiaolong defeated him in front of everyone, and made his so-called college century super genius become the laughing stock of the college. Not only that, but the entire Wang Cheng has treated him as a joke after a meal. In these five months, he lived in the ridicule of others almost every day. He hated and hated Huang Xiaolong. Hate all things related to Huang Xiaolong. In these five months, he practiced madly day and night 
just for the end of the class, in front of everyone, defeated Huang Xiaolong, he defeated. Huang Xiaolong looked at his hate, as if he wanted to swallow his own ginger, and his face was cold, tomorrow? You don't have to wait until tomorrow. Call your sick cat Wushan. Sick cat martial arts. The people who followed Zhang Teng could not help but look colorful. Ginger's face is angry and red, and his eyes are twinkling with cold, well, Huang Xiaolong, if this is the case, then you don't have to wait until tomorrow, I will kill you now. After that, the whole body is bright and full of vigor, and the soul will be bright. The holy tiger is called out. Zhang Teng's momentum is rising, the fourth order, the fourth order mid-term, the late, the late peak, suddenly, the momentum reached the fourth order late peak, Zhang Teng once again rose, even broke through to the fifth order. The fifth order. Is the vine not the fourth order late peak? God, it has broken through to the fifth order. To horror. In less than half a year, it broke from the fourth order to the fifth order. Everyone was shocked, including Li Wei. The college rumors that Zhang Teng reached the fourth order peak, but no one knew that Zhang Teng had broken through to the fifth order. Zhang Teng will fully reveal the whole body momentum, listening to the shocking discussion among the people around him, and his heart is smug and proud. In order to make the whole school shocked at the end of the year, in order to make the whole college shock, he even swallowed the family. Collecting a hundred years of elixir, forcibly breaking through the fifth order. Huang Xiaolong, I broke through the fifth order, is it very shocking? Zhang Teng looked at Huang Xiaolong, sneer, I don't believe, you can break through the fifth order. Generally speaking, even if Huang Xiaolong has eleventh level martial arts, it is difficult to break through the fifth order from the fourth order late peak in five months. In Zhang Ting's view, unless Huang Xiaolong swallowed a rare elixir like him. However, this should be impossible. Ginger's eyes glared with a flash of light, the last time, you played a total of fifteen palms. This time, I want to return you thirty palms, one hundred palms. After the vine finished, suddenly jumped up, won the palm shot to Huang Xiaolong, this palm contains all the hatred of his five months. Hua Yan Zhang. The Tiger King is out. A giant tiger came along with the palm print. In the far corner, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu stood there, and saw the vines showing their strength. They were also surprised and surprised. The two obviously did not expect that Zhang Teng could break through the fifth order before the class. In fact, the two were early. I have already arrived at the square to see things clearly, but I have no intention of stopping. Xiang Chu exclaimed, Zhang Teng really did not let us down, broke through the fifth order in five months, originally thought that the new class, Huang Xiaolong can win the first, but now it seems not necessarily. Sun Zhang's eyes are deep and said, I have always been very curious about what Wu Wu's Wuhan is a martial art. This time, Zhang Teng broke through the fifth order, and Huang Xiaolong should be forced to call out the martial arts. President, you said, this time, two people, who loses who wins. Xiang Chudeo. Sun Zhang Shen said, it should be a tie. And Huang Xiaolong stood there, looking at the palm of the hand, the vine, the eyes are cold, and there is no action, the palm of the hand is empty, and the palm of the hand greets the other side. The vine in the air suddenly felt a force that made him sturdy and unable to resist, such as huge waves. Boom! Then, as the gravel was hit by a huge wave, the body of the vine suddenly trembled, and then flew out. When the other party's body had not fallen to the ground, Huang Xiaolong's figure flashed and came to the other side, his eyes cold and stunned. Stop! Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu both exclaimed, the body shape rushed, but still a slow step. Huang Xiaolong's palm print was once again printed on the chest of Zhang Teng, and it was a dull scream. The body of Zhang Teng suddenly slammed into the ground from a high altitude. The whole square was shocked, and the star-shaped stone around the square collapsed. It was shocking. Zhang Teng, like a dead dog, lay there, twitching, 
opening his mouth and making a faint sound. The two figures descended from the air. Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu finally arrived. They saw the vine lying there like a dead dog. The faces of the two changed greatly. They rushed forward, fighting and running, and fully entering the body. Start to rescue as you did last time. The freshmen and former teachers and students who followed Zhang Teng looked at Huang Xiaolong with horror. Several freshmen who have a good relationship with Zhang Teng are scared and fleeing, and dare not stay in the same place. After Huang Xiaolong slammed Zhang Teng into the ground, he walked into the ground and looked at each other coldly. This time he took a heavy hand. He wanted the other party to fully understand the gap between the two, so that he would always be in him. In front of the force. Aside, Li Wei stood there, watching the vine smashed into the ground by Huang Xiaolong, and still did not react for a long time. The strength of Huang Xiaolong is so strong that it is so strong. In the past five months, she has been working hard to cultivate, and thought that the gap with Huang Xiaolong has been closer, but now she knows that the gap between her and Huang Xiaolong is so great. At this time, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu stopped their vindictive input, then stood up and wiped their forehead sweat. Fortunately, fortunately, the two responded quickly. Otherwise, if Huang Xiaolong was like last time, he would come to a dozen. Palm, that vine is really abolished. The two looked at each other with a smile. Originally, the two thought it would be a tie-breaking game, but I didn't expect it to be a trick. In front of Huang Xiaolong, Zhang Teng was defeated by one stroke. Failed. Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu both looked at Huang Xiaolong in a complicated way. This little guy gave them a lot of surprises, but fortunately, their heart tolerance is not too weak. That, Xiaolong, you little guy, every shot is too heavy. Sun Zhang smiled. Huang Xiaolong didn't care, if it's okay then I will go back first. Then he turned and left. Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu opened Zhang Kao and wanted to say something to Huang Xiaolong, but in the end they still didn't know what to say. They could only watch Huang Xiaolong leave with Li Wei. Until the figure of Huang Xiaolong disappeared, the two shook their heads and smiled. When Huang Xiaolong disappeared, the corner of the square, Xiang Maiki slowly walked out, and his face looked complicated and Huang Xiaolong left the direction. Xiang Maiki, like Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu, actually came to the square. After Huang Xiaolong and Li Wei left the college, they went back to Tian Suanfu. On the road, Li Wei, who recovered from the shock, said to Huang Xiaolong with excitement about the five months, what happened to her, and some interesting things happening in the college. Huang Xiaolong looked at the snackless face of Li Wei, smiled, and he liked to see the two small dimples on his face when Li Xiao Xiao smiled. Not long after, Huang Xiaolong went to Tian Suanfu. Less Lord, you are back. When Huang Xiaolong returned, Fei Hugong came out from Tian Xian Mansion and saw Huang Xiaolong. His face was overjoyed and he hurried forward. Huang Xiaolong stepped forward and patted his shoulders and smiled. I am back. Let's go, let's go in and say. Huang Xiaolong came to the hall and the three sat down. After sitting down, Huang Xiaolong asked Fei Ho about the situation of Tian Suanfu in the past few months. Fei Ho answered one by one. According to Fei Ho, in the past five months, he went to the slave market and carefully selected some slaves, including Orc. Li Etal, now Tian Suanfu has a total of 68 slaves, and after his training and training, each person has a certain foundation for the practice of Luo Hanquan taught by Huang Xiaolong. When these slaves buy back, they all have a certain temperament basis. After five months of training, they will display Luo Hanquan against the enemy. The strength is weak, comparable to the fifth order powerhouse, and the most powerful orc bully is comparable. The strength of the sixth order powerhouse. Huang Xiaolong listened to Fei Ho's answer and nodded with satisfaction. At this time, Fei Ho looked hesitant and said, Less master, tomorrow is your college grade. I have inquired, this time in your first year of college, 
the strongest is called Lu Hao, this Lu Hao, the strength is very strong, it has reached the peak of the sixth order period in a year ago, and now I am afraid that it has broken through to the seventh order. Lu Yan Huang Xiao Long Brows, Seven Steps Below the tenth order, there are two watersheds, one is the fourth order, and the other is the seventh order. Once the seventh order is broken, the strength is overwhelming, and it is definitely not comparable to the sixth order late peak. If this Lu Hao really breaks through the seventh order, tomorrow's grade game is a little troublesome. Yeah, Xiao Long, this Lu Hao, I often listen to our teacher Xiang Maiki. Three years ago, after he reached the sixth order late stage, he has been the first in our first year. It has been three years, every year. The game has never been lost, and he is still the prince of our kingdom of La Tong. Then, Li Wei said. Oh, prince of the kingdom of La Tong. Huang Xiaolong had some accidents. Yes, less master. Fei Ho said, this Lu Hao is very valued by Lu Tong King Lu Zhe, I also heard that tomorrow, your college grade, Lu Tong King Lu Zhe will personally come to watch the game. King Lu Zhe personally came to watch the game. Huang Xiaolong was amazed. It seems that King Lu Zhe really attached great importance to this son and even came to watch the game himself. And speaking, this Lu Hao has something to do with the lesser master. Fei Ho continued, five months ago, the young master and the clock source gambled, if the young master won the first grade, Sun Zhang was expelled. He, and this Lu Hao is the son of Zhong Wangzi. The son of Zhong Wangzi. Huang Xiaolong is stunned. Zhong Wangzi, that is, the sister of Zhong Yuan, so to say, Lu Hao is Zhongai Yuan's nephew, Zhong Yuan is this Lu Hao's nephew. Lu Yan. Huang Xiaolong read it in his heart. Seventh order? It seems that tomorrow's grade game is a bit interesting. Less master, in fact, this year's grade game, you can't win the first, there is nothing. The young master is now ten years old, and Lu Hao is already nineteen years old. Fei Ho saw Huang Xiaolong pondering, thinking that Huang Xiaolong was worried about tomorrow's grade game. Cannot help but open the door. The main talent of the door is enchanting, and the strength is also very strong, but Fei Ho feels that with Huang Xiaolong's current strength, it is still too difficult to defeat the seventh order powerhouse. Huang Xiaolong heard the words, could not help but smile, put a wave, and then asked about the situation of Fei Ho practicing Lai Shui. Fei Ho answered one by one. Right, I have something for you. After a while, Huang Xiaolong remembered something and took out ten iron fruits. This is iron fruit. Fei Ho looked at Huang Tailong's iron fruit, and was taken aback. Li Wei heard it, but it was also beautiful. Yes, it is iron fruit. Huang Xiaolong smiled, this time I went to the silver moon forest to practice, and the little spirited purple monkey found it. At this time, the sight of the devouring purple monkey screamed. His hands were drawn, apparently showing off to Fei Ho and Li Wei. Fei Ho and Li Wei saw the cute action of the devouring purple monkey, could not help but laugh. However, finding iron fruit is indeed something worth showing off. Huang Xiaolong gave Fei Ho and Li Wei five iron fruits each. After a while, Fei Ho and Li Wei left the hall, and Huang Xiaolong also returned to his small yard to practice Shura swordsmanship and Shura ghost claws. Not long after, Marshal Haoshan heard that Huang Xiaolong came back from the Silver Moon Forest and came to Tian Suanfu from the Marshal House. When he saw Huang Xiaolong, Marshal Haoshan also talked to Huang Xiaolong about the Lu Hao, and his tone was full of worry. It seems that not only the teachers and students of the college, but even the Fi, Hao Tian and the two do not think that they can win the first grade this time. After the Marshal Haoshan left, Huang Xiaolong thought. Night, slowly coming. Moonlight shrouded the earth. Huang Xiaolong sat on the cold jade bed, and San Jiang continued to devour the nine emptiness of the void. A night passed. The sun shines, and the starry academy finally ushers in the annual event. 
The end of each class and the end of the year is finally here. The sun was shining, and when Huang Xiaolong came out of the room, Fei Ho had been respectfully waiting there. When Huang Xiaolong and Fei Ho, the martial house guard Wang Ning came to the college, the college was already crowded. As today is the college class and grade competition, the college championship event, so the college specifically approved, college students can bring their own family, slaves to enter the college to watch the game. Of course, each person can only take up to five people. Entering the college, Huang Xiaolong went directly to the temple sanctuary. The annual college class, grade and college championships are held at the college sanctuary. The temple of the Starry Academy is several times larger than the square in front, and tens of thousands of people do not feel crowded. It's Huang Xiaolong. He is this newborn Huang Xiaolong? I heard that Zhang Tang broke through the fifth order, and he was almost scrapped yesterday. When Huang Xiaolong arrived, the hall was humming. Now, Huang Xiaolong is already a celebrity in the college. In addition to the new students, even some old students, the teachers recognize him. Huang Xiaolong ignored the opinions of the people and then walked to the corner of the main hall. Little Dragon At this moment, a surprise sound rang, Huang Xiaolong looked and saw Li Hao rushing to him with a happy face. Huang Xiaolong smiled at Li Wei. I heard that this time, not only the king will come to watch the game, but even the martial Haoshan will come to watch the game. Marshal Hao Tian also came? I heard that the super perverted Huang Xiaolong is the illegitimate son of Marshal Hao Tian, I wonder if it is true. At this time, many people in the hall talked about it. Huang Xiaolong put these people in his ears and could not help but smile. Suddenly, Huang Xiaolong felt a cold gaze staring at himself. He couldn't help but look around and saw the clock source in the distant crowd. In front of Zhong Yuan, Standing an imposing 18, 9 year old young man, surrounded by young people, surrounded by charming college teachers and students, it seems that this young man is Lutong Prince Liu Yan, this time the strongest student in the first year of the population. At this time, Liu Hao looked over to Huang Xiaolong and the two of them collided. He is Huang Xiaolong. Liu Yan said. Yes, he is. Zhong Yuan stepped forward and replied quickly. Liu Hao nodded and looked indifferent and looked blank. As time went by, there were more and more people in the temple. It didn't take long. Suddenly, someone outside the temple shouted, King, Marshal, Dean. King Liu Zhe, Marshal Haoshan, Sun Zhang, Dean of the Starry Sky Academy, came together. Suddenly, Huang Xiaolong and the hall all looked around and saw a middle-aged man wearing a pale yellow robe stepping into the temple, surrounded by a group of royal guards. The middle-aged man is undoubtedly King Liu Zhe. Liu Zhe's second step is Sun Zhang, the head of Marshal Haoshan and Starry College. When King Liu Zhe arrived, everyone couldn't help but rush to salute. Oh, everyone is excused, get up. King Liu Zhe came to the podium of the main hall, waved his hand, let everyone get up, and then sat on the main seat of the dragon chair, and Hao Tian and Sun Zhang were sitting on both sides. After the three men sat down, the other big dukes, the generals, sat on both sides. It didn't take long for everyone to sit down. Sun Zhang stood up and then talked about some of the rules and rewards of the class, the grade, and the college championship. When it comes to rewards, Sun Zhang's voice is improved, in addition to the past rewards. In addition, the king rewards each of the first million gold coins in each grade and a set of primary techniques. One million gold coins. The primary practice of the land. Everyone is alone, and their eyes are hot. Even Huang Xiaolong was taken aback. One million gold coins are not a small number and the primary practice of the land is not available in La Tong Wang Cheng. Huang Xiaolong's eyes are stunned. If this time he won the first place in the first grade, then with the previous Sun Zhang's promise of his set of skills, isn't it a set of techniques and a set of skills? He does not need to teach his parents and younger brothers and sisters. Of course, 
he learns more about his fighting skills and has nothing to do with him. So, now, the test begins. Sun Zhang glanced at the week and finally began. The sound of Sun Zhang fell, the hall was silent for a while, and then the classes began to test. The Starry Academy has a total of three grades, so it is divided into three major regions. However, only the first class in each class is eligible to compete for the first grade, so each class in each grade will be tested first. The first grade class has the most classes and there are 14 classes. And Huang Xiaolong's class is in the first grade and 14 classes. In the class competition, the competition was not carried out in the way of elimination. Instead, the class leader's class teacher nominated the strongest two of the class to compete. Whoever wins the first place is the class first. Of course, if it is in the class if you don't accept it, you can also go ahead and challenge. The first grade of the 14th class, the strongest is Huang Xiaolong and Zhang Teng, this is a well-known thing, but yesterday, Zhang Teng was almost scrapped by Huang Xiaolong, the injury is not 10 days and a half months, cannot be restored, so, Xiang Maiki only can nominate Huang Xiaolong and another student named Chen Hao. However, this student named Chen Hao has just broken through the fourth order. When he came on stage, he directly confessed to Huang Xiaolong. When he saw this result, everyone was stunned, but it was not unexpected. Even the 11th level super martial arts broke through the 5th order ginger. Ratan was almost abandoned by Huang Xiaolong, let alone this 4th order Chen Hao. Chen Hao's direct admittance is also a self-knowledge. Chen Hao admits to losing, no one in the first grade of the 14th class naturally dares to challenge Huang Xiaolong. Therefore, Huang Xiaolong did not need to start the game and directly won the class first. When Xiang Maiki announced that Huang Xiaolong won the first class of the first class, she looked at Huang Xiaolong on the stage and looked a bit complicated. In the 14th grade of the first grade, Huang Xiaolong was the first to win the class first, and the other 13 classes were still in the test. Therefore, when Xiang Maiki announced the result, many people looked to the side and the hall whispered awkward. On the rostrum, Lu Tong King L. Yu Zhe also noticed this side, watching Huang Xiaolong on the stage, laughing at Marshal Haoshan, he is Huang Xiaolong? Heroes are young, Haoshan, when we were about ten years old, is it only four steps? Marshal Haoshan smiled and said, yes, Wang Shang. L. Yu Zhe nodded, then looked at another son, L. Yu Hao, with a smile in his eyes, and smiled. I heard that Huang Xiaolong and Zhou Yuan are betting, the first grade is to win the first place, wait, maybe he still wants to compete with the nephew for the first time. Although L. Yu Zhe said this, but his manner is relaxed, obviously, he does not think that Huang Xiaolong can really compete with his son for the first time. After the class, the first class will be grouped and tested according to the lottery, one after the other. In the end, the first grade was determined. In L. Yu Zhe's view, Huang Xiaolong should have no chance to play against his son and will be eliminated in the middle. Marshal Haoshan saw the look of King L. Yu Zhe, knowing his thoughts, just laughing and laughing, did not say anything. After a while, the first class of the first grade, 14, decided to the first place, the class decided to the first, then the next is to compete for the first grade. Now. Please ask the first class in the first grade to draw the lottery. On the rostrum, the vice president Xiang Chu stood up and said. Huang Xiaolong and L. Yu Wei's 14 people said that they had drawn the ball. Huang Xiaolong got the number 4. On the 4th, meaning that Huang Xiaolong's opponent is the first of the four classes, a young boy named Yang Mingui, who is 17 years old, has entered the college for 8 years earlier than Huang Xiaolong and has reached the sixth stage late. Late sixth stage. When Li Wei saw that Huang Xiaolong had drawn it, it turned out to be number four, and he could not change his face. Little dragon, wait, or else, are you still? Li Wei looked worried and didn't know how to speak. Nothing. Huang Xiaolong heard the words and laughed. He knew what Li Wei wanted to say. 
After Huang Xiaolong finished, he gave Li Wei a reassuring look and then slowly walked onto the stage with Yang Mingui. Came to the stage, Huang Xiaolong stood. Yang Mingui's skin is very white, looks handsome, looks at Huang Xiaolong, smiles, Huang Xiaolong is it? I did not expect that my first opponent will be you, I heard that yesterday, even the fifth order vine has been you the palm is almost abolished. But you are not my opponent now, you still take the initiative to admit defeat. Yes. Huang Xiaolong looked indifferent. However, he could see that Yang Mingui did not mean ridicule. It was good heart to persuade himself to take the initiative to admit defeat. Get out. Huang Xiaolong looked at the other side, and then said. Yang Mingui stunned and then shook his head, since you still don't give up, well, I am shooting now, you have to be careful. After that, the body's vindictive power is released, and the body shape flashes, and it has come to Huang Xiaolong, a fist to the chest of Huang Xiaolong. When Huang Xiaolong saw it, he raised his hand and greeted Luo Hanquin. Boom! Then, Yang Mingui's body shocked, and even stepped back a few steps to stabilize. Everyone stays. You, Sixth Order? How is it possible? Yang Mingui couldn't believe to look at Huang Xiaolong, loose the right arm that had just struck with Huang Xiaolong, and his right arm trembled a little, only to feel numb. After everyone stayed, they sucked in the air and there was a mad commotion. This Huang Xiaolong, he actually reached the sixth order. How old is it? Lian Yang Mingui was shocked by him. This is too enchanting, too horrible. Even on the rostrum, King El Yuzhe, and Sun Zhang, Xiang Chu and others were shocked and couldn't believe it, especially Sun Zhang, Xiang Chu's eyes were wide, his mouth was wide open, and his expression was exaggerated. Yesterday, the square, Huang Xiaolong defeated Zhang Teng, has already shocked Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu, but in the eyes of the two, Huang Xiaolong is also in the late fifth stage, and later in the peak, now even the late sixth stage of Yang Mingui is Huang Xiaolong shocked back. What is this concept? After the shock, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu both trembled and excited. The two even had the urge to rush to Huang Xiaolong in front of Huang Xiaolong. When everyone was shocked, Huang Xiaolong looked at Yang Mingui and said, You still use all your strength. Huang Xiaolong can see that Yang Mingui did not use all his strength. Otherwise, he could not easily retreat him. Yang Mingui stared at Huang Xiaolong. The previous contempt heart completely disappeared. Instead, he was dignified. Just a blow, let him know that Huang Xiaolong has enough strength to be his opponent. That's good. I take back my previous words. Yang Mingui said, You are qualified to be my opponent, Huang Xiaolong, I will use all my strength to fight him, I hope that you can fight with me with all strength. After Yang Mingui finished, the whole body shined up, and there was a person behind him, a giant wearing a red gold armor and sitting there. This is the martial arts of Yang Mingui. A person. To be exact, it is an ancient race. Yang Mingui's Wuhan is an ancient ethnic martial art called Immortal King. It is said that many ethnic groups were abandoned by the Protoss in ancient times, and the Ming Wang is one of them. The ethnic martial arts are also among the martial arts, and in general, the ethnic martial arts are high-level martial arts. The Immortal King like Yang Mingui is the top 10 martial arts. Of course, the first grade of 14 classes, the first of each class, generally have 10 first class or top level martial arts, if not such a talent is not likely to win the class first. Yang Mingui summoned the martial arts to the Ming dynasty, and suddenly there was a golden circle behind him. His body shape flashed and he suddenly slammed into Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong's figure flashed and he slammed into a punch and the two collided. The temper is stirring and the airflow is rolling. This time, Yang Mingui was still a few steps back from Huang Xiaolong. When everyone saw it, it was a big surprise. Those who do not move the martial arts of the Ming dynasty, recalling the Ming Wang, whether it is the physical strength or the defense, 
are stronger than the same order strong, but Huang Xiaolong can still shake it off. Huang Xiaolong's physical strength is not better than Yang Mingui. Still stronger? Moreover, Huang Xiaolong still does not call Wu Hun. After Huang Xiaolong punched Yang Mingui again, his body flashed and he came to the other side, and his palm was printed on the chest of the other party. Don't move the king's golden circle. When Huang Xiaolong's palm print was printed on Yang Mingui's chest, Yang Mingui's eyes flashed through the golden man's, and the golden circle suddenly rose after him, and his body continued to rotate, forming a defensive circle, Huang Xiaolong's palm print. Hit the golden circle, as if hitting the hard iron wall. You can't break my defense. Yang Mingui looked at Huang Xiaolong, only the seventh order can break my open gold circle. Do not move the king gold circle. This is the life-threatening skills of Yang Mingui's martial arts. Yang Mingui and the enemy against the enemy, after exerting the Ming Dynasty gold circle, with his current strength, only seven steps can break his defense. Broke in. Huang Xiaolong's face was indifferent, not necessarily. After that, the palm of the palm printed on Yang Mingui's chest suddenly pressed forward, and a fearful feminine force suddenly rushed into Yang Mingui through the immortal king gold circle. Yang Mingui's eyes widened, his body trembled, and he retreated backwards, until he retreated to the top of the stage to stabilize, and his mouth bleeds. Everyone on the stage saw it, and it was awkward. You, this is what fighting skills, can actually break my unclear king gold circle. Yang Mingui is difficult to channel. This is the terrible thing of the palms. Even if the palms are struck by the two walls, they can fly each other, and the wall has nothing to do. Huang Xiaolong did not answer, and his figure flashed again. He came to the other side and shot it again. Yang Mingui was shocked. When he just wanted to dodge, he was shot by Huang Xiaolong, and his figure fell and fell to the stage. Yang Mingui defeated. Everyone looked at Yang Mingui, who had fallen down the stage. He hadn't reacted for a long time. After a while, a piece of noise rang, and Yang Mingui lost. Moreover, Huang Xiaolong actually won so easily, even Wu Wu was not called. Yang Mingui stood on the stage for a long time without moving, and everyone around him stunned. He didn't listen to his ears. He looked at the unclear king of the golden circle. He was extremely confident and did not move the Ming Dynasty gold circle in front of Huang Xiaolong, but he did not use it at all. Until now, he still can't accept this fact. Yang Mingui's face changed in shade. This game, Huang Xiaolong wins. Yang Mingui only woke up when he presided over the teacher's judgment. He looked at Huang Xiaolong complexly and said, I admit that I am losing now, but next year's grade, I will definitely beat you. Next year. Huang Xiaolong looked indifferent, then shook his head. The next year, with Huang Xiaolong's cultivation speed, he should be able to break through the seventh order. When he is promoted to the second grade, Yang Mingui, who is still in the first grade, has no chance to fight with Huang Xiaolong. However, Yang Mingui saw Huang Xiaolong shake his head, apparently misunderstanding the meaning of Huang Xiaolong, thinking that Huang Xiaolong disdain his challenge. Huang Xiaolong, what do you mean? Yang Mingui was angry. Huang Xiaolong turned and stepped down, when you next year, you will be promoted to the second grade. Yang Mingui stunned and stared at Huang Xiaolong's back. Promoted to the second grade next year? What does Huang Xiaolong mean? Yang Mingui's eyes are wide. On the rostrum, King El Yuzhe looked at Huang Xiaolong's figure and smiled at Marshal Haoshan, the strength of Huang Xiaolong did not expect to reach this level. It was really beyond my expectation. The old minister is also a bit surprised. Marshal Haoshan laughed, he knew that Huang Xiaolong broke through the sixth order, but Huang Xiaolong just showed his strength and surprised him. Originally, he thought that even if the door owner could win, he had to go through some hard work, but he did not expect to win so easily. Huang Xiaolong easily defeated Yang Mingui. 
In fact, even Fei Ho was equally surprised and surprised. It didn't take long for Huang Xiaolong to defeat Yang Mingui. The results of the other twelve people in the first grade were also coming out very quickly. However, this round is seven people, so one person can enter the next round without a trial, but this person is not determined by the lottery, but is decided directly by Vice President Xiang Chu. Xiang Chu decided to L. Yu Hao. L. Yu Hao is recognized as the strongest student in the first year of the college. Xiang Chu decided that L. Yu Hao would directly enter the next round of trials. Naturally no one disagreed. And Huang Xiaolong got the number six in this round. On the sixth, the first grade of the sixth class of Hudong, Hudong's strength is weaker than the previous Yang Mingui, is the sixth order mid-peak peak, so the result is no suspense, like Yang Mingui, Huang Xiaolong easily shot down. Standing under the stage, L. Yu Hao quietly looked at the test of Huang Xiaolong and Hu Dong on the stage. His face was calm and he could not see his thoughts. In fact, his face is calm, but his heart is equally shocked. Originally, he and his father L. Yu Zhe thought that Huang Xiaolong could not have the chance to fight with him. He would be eliminated in the middle, but he did not expect that even Yang Mingui would not be Huang Xiaolong's opponent. L. Yu Yu's heart is complicated. Among the dozens of princes in the kingdom of Latong, his talent is undoubtedly the best, most loved by his father, but his proud talent is in front of Huang Xiaolong, nothing. And Zhong Yuan, who stood behind L. Yu Hao, looked at Yang Mingui, who was defeated by Yang Mingui and Hu Dong. His face was gloomy and ugly. After a while, the second round of the test ended, Huang Xiaolong and the other two were promoted, entered the third round. Together with L. Yu Hao, the lottery decided to the third round of the test. I don't know if it is intentional or unintentional. The third round of Huang Xiaolong's opponent was Chen Qiang on the third, and did not touch L. Yu Hao. However, Chen Qiang's strength is also very strong. It is recognized in the first grade. The second rank student is only under the head of L. Yu. The strength is the sixth order peak. The Wuhan is the same as Yang Mingui. It is the top ten martial arts, a kind of animal. The soul is long-armed. Although Chen Qiang is much better than Yang Mingui, in the end, Huang Xiaolong also easily defeated him without calling out the Wuhan. Seeing that even Chen Qiang was lost in the hands of Huang Xiaolong, everyone around the stage was even more shocked and shocked. Finally, Huang Xiaolong and L. Yu Hao are promoted to the next round of competitions, that is to say, the two will compete for this year, the first grade. No one thought of the end, it was Huang Xiaolong who wanted to compete with L. Yu Hao for the first grade. Before the grade, several previous days, first grades, and even second grades, some teachers and students of the third grade had discussed the first grade, Everyone it is recognized that only Chen Qiang is qualified to compete with L. Yu Hao for the first year of the first grade. But now, it is Huang Xiaolong who just entered the college this year. Standing on the stage, Huang Xiaolong and L. Yu Hao confronted each other. The two looked at each other and none of them spoke. Under the stage, everyone was inexplicably nervous, and the hall was silent. Li glared at the eyes and stared at Huang Xiaolong and L. Yu Hao on the stage. The small hands were tight and the palms were sweating. You made me very surprised. Finally, L. Yu Yan broke the silence, but you should know that you can't win me, so you still admit defeat. Huang Xiaolong heard the words and looked calm, just, Yang Mingui also let me admit defeat. But the result, Yang Mingui fiasco. L. Yu Hao heard the meaning of Huang Xiaolong's words, did not anger, smiled and said, but, I am not Yang Mingui. Speaking of this, the whole body momentum is no longer reserved, completely released, a stronger than the previous Yang Mingui, Chen Qiang the breath of the second is emitted and shrouded in all directions. The Seventh Order L. Yu Hao Prince really broke through to the Seventh Order. With the seven-step strength of L. Yu Hao, the first grade in the first grade, there is no suspense anymore. I don't believe in killing me. Huang Xiaolong can also win the L. Yu Hao Prince. 
If I saw the seventh order strength of Liu Hao's prince, I would have taken the initiative to admit defeat. This Huang Xiaolong even dared to stand on the stage, simply not self-reliant, dead face, strong support. The audience was shocked and disgusted around the stage. Of course, some of the talents of Huang Xiaolong are inevitably ridiculed. Listening to the ridicule of everyone around me, Huang Xiaolong looked indifferently at the opposite side to release the vindictive Liu Yan, 7th Order. However, Liu Hao broke through the 7th Order, and Huang Xiaolong had already expected it, so he was not surprised or surprised. How? Do you want to fight? Liu Yan looked at Huang Xiaolong. Get out of it. Huang Xiaolong's face was calm and slow. Liu Hao couldn't help but know that after his seventh order strength, this Huang Xiaolong actually dared to challenge. Huang Xiaolong's strength is indeed very strong, but he and everyone can see that Huang Xiaolong's vindictiveness is only the sixth order mid-peak peak. The seventh order is a watershed. Even if the sixth order power is stronger, it is impossible to win the seventh order power. This is a recognized fact in the world of Wuhan. Does Huang Xiaolong want to break the facts recognized in the world of the martial arts by virtue of his six-stage midterm peak? Liu Yan looked at Huang Xiaolong. After a while, he nodded. Since you are not willing to directly admit defeat, then I will do it myself. Speaking of this, the body martial arts will be called out. As a golden light burst out from Liu Hao, a huge virtual shadow appeared on Liu Hao. A huge monster like an eagle like a dragon appears in front of everyone, and a strong atmosphere and pressure like a hurricane are swept up. Tianpeng The martial arts of Liu Yi's prince turned out to be Tianpeng. The martial spirit of the first king of Latong King is Tianpeng. The people around the world saw the martial arts that Liu Hao had called out. Huang Xiaolong also had some accidents. Tianpeng is one of the strongest martial arts among the top ten. According to legend, Tianpeng is the descendant of the ancient Tianlong, with the blood of the ancient Tianlong, and Huang Xiaolong saw that Liu Yiwu's soul Tianpeng is somewhat different from the legendary Tianpeng Wuhan. Legend has it that Tianpeng Wuhan has only two wings, but Liu Hao has four wings, and above the four wings, there is a little golden light, Tianpeng Wuhan's wings are not golden. Variation. Huang Xiaolong's mind flashed past. Liu Peng's Tianpeng Wushan is a mutant Wuhan. Tianpeng was originally a top 10 martial arts. With the addition of mutations, it is infinitely connected to the 11th level of super martial arts. Unexpectedly, this Liu Hao's martial arts turned out to be a variant of Tianpeng. Liu Hao called the martial arts, and the whole body changed. The whole body had a kind of whistling sound around the body. Yes, it was the sound produced when the wind speed was too fast. Everyone saw a continual appearance around Lu's body. The blue wind, the wind is generally colorless, but now, it is blue. Cyan wind. Huang Xiaolong's face was dignified. He knew that the next hit by Liu Hao would be a flash of thunderstorm. Huang Xiaolong, if you can take my shot then you are qualified to compete with me for the first time. If you even take the shot with me, then you will not even compete for the first place with me. At that time, Liu Hao's indifferent voice sounded, and then Lu's figure flashed and suddenly disappeared. So fast. This is the first thought of Huang Xiaolong and everyone around him. Fast, Liu Hao's figure is almost reaching a certain limit, leaving only a touch of green shadow in the space. However, when Liu Hao hits Huang Xiaolong on his body, suddenly, Huang Xiaolong's figure flashes in Taiwan. On the last stroke, more than a dozen figures were left. Liu Yu's remnants of the place where Huang Xiaolong stayed in the place disappeared. Well, Liu Yan's confident punches fell through and could not help. He is the seventh order powerhouse, calling out the martial arts, although there is no soul, but the speed has been much faster than the average seventh order powerhouse, even by Huang Xiaolong escaped. The attack of Liu Yu's prince is lost. What is the body of Huang Xiaolong used? Is it his life skills? 
even the King El Yuzhe on the rostrum, Marshal Houtian, Dean Sun Zhang, Xiang Chu, and others were also taken aback. I was surprised. The speed of Huang Xiaolong's body when he escaped Lu Lu was not slower than Lu Wei. Yes, Huang Xiaolong's performance is just his life threatening skills. When Huang Xiaolong broke through the Fourth Order, the martial arts changed. The soul of the soul could only increase his speed by about one third, but now he reaches the Sixth Order mid peak, and his speed can follow his speed. The promotion has reached two thirds. The strength of Huang Xiaolong is stronger than that of the Sixth Order Late Peak, and the speed is also faster than that of the Sixth Order Late Peak, and the speed is increased by two-thirds. The speed of the figure is comparable to that of the Seventh Order Head. L. Yu Yan saw that he had failed. After the accident, he did not attack immediately. Instead, he stood there and looked at Huang Xiaolong, Yes, you are stronger than I imagined. Since you can escape my previous blow, then you I am qualified to compete with me for the first time. Speaking of this, one meal, however, it is only qualified. Then, you will enjoy my storm-like attack. I see how much you can hide. Times. Lu Hao finished, his body flashed, like a blue light flashed through the space, has come to Huang Xiaolong, the speed of his body is actually much faster than before a punch, the punch is broken, produced a cyan wind blade. Huang Xiaolong's eyes were condensed, and he looked at the punching force. At this time, he had no time to dodge, but he could only pick it up. The body was running and fighting, and a Luhan fist greeted him. Hey! Huang Xiaolong's boxing force collided with Lu's boxing force. The two men collided at the same time, and their body shape retreated at the same time. L. Yu Hao stepped back three steps, and Huang Xiaolong stepped back five steps. Hey! L. Yu Yan saw Huang Xiaolong even took a punch and could not help but scream. Everyone around them was shocked. The vindictive power of the Seventh Order powerhouse is even more than twice as strong as the Sixth Order late peak power. Huang Xiaolong can actually take a Luke fist. Although Huang Xiaolong has retired two steps and his strength is slightly inferior to that of L. Yu Hao, this is already very shocking. Under the stage, Chen Qiang, who was previously defeated by Huang Xiaolong, was the second-ranked Chen Qiang. He had lost to Huang Xiaolong before, but he was still dissatisfied with it. Now he can see that Huang Xiaolong can take a shot from L. Yu Hao, and he will not accept it. He knows that if he it is impossible to get a punch in the land. This Huang Xiaolong's physical strength did not expect such a strong, and his vindictive grade is so high. On the rostrum, King El Yuzhe said. On the rostrum, everyone is a master. Naturally, it can be seen that Huang Xiaolong's physical strength is stronger than that of the Sixth Order Late Peak, and the vindictiveness is extremely high. Otherwise, it is impossible to get a punch. It seems that the nephew will win the Huang Xiaolong, only the soul can be done. King El Yuzhe continued. What Wang said is. At this time, a large duke on the rostrum stood up and smiled, after the prince's soul, the strength of Huang Xiaolong is strong, and it is impossible to resist the prince attack. Other big dukes have also spoken. Marshal Haoshan did not speak and looked at the two on the stage. At this time, L. Yu Hao has turned into a blue light, his body is constantly flashing, and he is constantly attacking. As he said, his attack will be a storm, but what makes people more and more surprised is that L. Yu Hao how strong the attack is, how strong, Huang Xiaolong can always block or hide. Huang Xiaolong does not seem to have the power to fight back, but that calmness, the calmness of the people makes people feel suspicious. The storms attacked dozens of tricks. L. Yu Hao suddenly stopped and his brow wrinkled. At this time, he also saw it. This attack continued, and it was difficult to defeat Huang Xiaolong for half an hour. Yellow Xiaolong, you still call out your martial arts. L. Yu Yan looked at Huang Xiaolong, next, I am spiritual, you can't resist my attack. He is like everyone else, 
very curious about Huang Xiaolong's what kind of Wuhan is Wuhan in the end, is it really as the rumor of the current college, is the top 11 martial arts? After Luu finished, Tian Peng Wu spirit disappeared, the whole body Jin Mang burst, and instantly soul. After the soul, Liu Yan covered a layer of the same hair with Tian Peng, the eyebrows were golden, and behind the scenes, there were four wings. Luu's soul, the body's vindictive power surged again, and the momentum went straight to the roof of the temple. In the instant of soul, the four wings behind Liu Hao, the blue light flashed, and his whole person seemed to disappear from the space. Huang Xiaolong's eyes narrowed. He knew that Liu Hao was not really disappearing, but that his body shape was too fast, and it was so fast that people had this visual misunderstanding. At this moment, the space in front of Huang Xiaolong violently oscillated, and the sound of Xiao Xiaolong was a sigh of relief. This is the scream of enthusiasm and the speed of the whistle. I couldn't think too much about it. Huang Xiaolong's momentary display of the life-threatening technique followed suit, but it was still a step later. After the soul, the loose speed reached a terrible level, and a punch had already hit the chest of Huang Xiaolong. Hey! When it sounded, Huang Xiaolong's body suddenly trembled, and he stepped back and forth, and he stepped out of the step for more than a dozen steps. He only felt a burst of burning pain in his chest. This is the first time Huang Xiaolong was injured after coming to this world. Liu Yi was in a boxing and did not continue to attack. He looked at Huang Xiaolong with a look of surprise. Huang Xiaolong, who directly suffered his fist, actually only stepped back a dozen steps. It seems that he was only injured by the skin. Huang Xiaolong's physical defense is so strong. Liu Hao was surprised and everyone around him was equally astonished. On the rostrum, King El Yuzhe blinked and looked thoughtful. As for Li Wei, when I was surprised, my heart was even tighter, and my face was very worried. Huang Xiaolong, I said, after I am spiritualized, you can't resist my attack. At this time, El Yu Hao looked at Huang Xiaolong, How? You are not going to call your Wuhan. All around, Everyone looked at Huang Xiaolong. Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu both stared closely at Huang Xiaolong. The two of them wanted to know whether Huang Xiaolong's Wuhan was the 11th level martial art. Feeling the burning eyes around everyone, Huang Xiaolong looked calmly at Liu Hao and slowly said, Since you want to know my Wuhan, then I am going to let you see what my Wuhan is. Soul. After Huang Xiaolong finished, there was a dead silence around him and everyone was in a tight heart. Suddenly, the airflow behind Huang Xiaolong suddenly swayed. The black light shrouded the square, and then the black light flashed. A black dragon floated silently behind Huang Xiaolong and overlooked the beings. A horrible dragon is swept up like a hurricane. Everyone looked at the black dragon that was suspended behind Huang Xiaolong. He didn't move, didn't open his mouth and even seemed to stop breathing even temporarily. Whether it is King El Yuzhe, Sun Zhang, Xiang Chu on the rostrum, Xiang Maiki, Li Wei and Chen Qiang, who were previously defeated by Huang Xiaolong. Everyone looked at the thick four claws under the black dragon's belly, and it was like a black iron with a dragon scale, which was full of endless majestic black dragon eyes. On the stage, El Yu Hao also stared at the black dragon with his eyes. This is an ancient dragon. The ancient dragon, the real dragon. And the top black dragon among the dragons. Suddenly, a college teacher at the audience shivered. Ancient dragon. The top black dragon of the Shenlong family. Suddenly, the whole hall rang loudly, everyone shouted, everyone was excited, excited, ah, looking at the martial arts that existed in the legend as if they had the black dragon martial arts, not Huang Xiaolong. But they are. Ancient Shen Long, even the weakest dragons are also 12 level ordinary Wuhan, and black dragon, is the top dragon among the ancient Shen Long family, is the top 12. 12 level top. On the rostrum, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu were excited to stand up from the seat, and they couldn't shake their whole body. 
It turned out to be an ancient dragon, black dragon. Sun Zangia was incoherent, it turned out to be the top 12, the top 12. Top 12, not the top 11. The top 10 levels are already shocking, so what is the concept of the top 12? When Xiang Chui I thought about the achievements that Huang Xiaolong might achieve in the future, his lips were trembling as if he had eaten a hundred pounds of pepper. In the history of the entire Broken Blade Empire for more than a thousand years, Huang Xiaolong talent can definitely rank in the top ten. Moreover, Xiang Chu and others can see that Huang Xiaolong's Black Dragon Wushan is also mutated. Everyone was shocked, excited, excited, except for two people, that is Marshal Haoshan and Fei Ho. The doormaster turned out to be able to summon the Sanjiang Wuhan alone. The two men stared blankly at the black dragon behind Huang Xiaolong. The two knew that Huang Xiaolong was a twin martial art. In addition to the black dragon, there is still a more powerful blue dragon. The two looked at each other across the crowd. Since Huang Xiaolong just returned from the Silver Moon Forest yesterday, he did not tell the two people that he could summon the Sanjiang Wushan alone so the two also know now. On the stage, L. Yu Hao, who was shocked for a long time, slowly woke up, his eyes looked at Huang Xiaolong intricately, and he even gave birth to a strong embarrassment to Huang Xiaolong. Oh, this is human nature. I didn't expect your martial arts to be an ancient dragon, black dragon. L. Yu Hao pressed his heart and said slowly, however, even so, you can't change the ending of your defeat. Next, you have to be careful, I, I will show my fighting skills that I have been working hard recently, and I have a hundred knives. After that, L. Yu Wei will slowly pull out the saber that has not been used. When the saber is pulled out, a humming sound will sound. The saber was pulled out, the knife was on the body, the light was refracted, and the coldness of the coldness was revealed. Above the blade, a red eye and a fierce beast that was fangs were daunting. This is the treasure knife of the royal family of La Tong, the sword. L. Yu Hao will lift the knife slowly, holding the knife with both hands, and suddenly smashed it to Huang Xiaolong. Hundreds of knives. Hundreds of knives, low-level fighting skills. The space is stirring, the glare of the knives appearing, there are a hundred full, like the flood, the yellow dragons are blasting, and the space around the body of Huang Xiaolong is completely shrouded. Everyone held their breath. Under the watchful eyes of everyone, Huang Xiaolong did not know when there were two cold blades that were not long or short, and then his hands waved out, his voice was cold, the wind of hell. Hundreds of bladed ons appeared out of thin air, and the space air swelled, forming two hurricanes. The hurricane continued to rotate, and the sound of a whimper from seemed to pass into the ears of the people clearly and then entered the mind and entered the depths of the soul. Hey, hey, hey! Constantly hitting, the wind of continued to rotate, and all the knives of Lu Hao were smashed, and then flooded with Lu Hao. Lu Yan looked at the two groups of hellish wines that drowned in his face with horror. The sound of the sobs caused by the wind of made him feel trembled. In the tremor, Lu Hao panicked and opened four wings behind him. The wings suddenly rushed, and a rotation, like a group of blue light, instantly moved. However, it is still a slow step. The two groups of wines drowned, and instantly rushed to the group of blue light. Boom! The glaucoma was dim and the speed slowed down, gradually revealing Luu's horrified eyes. In the end, the blue light disappeared, the wind of swept, and the body shape of Lu Hao retreated backwards. When he retreated to the edge of the stage, the wind of swept in front of him and then disappeared. Looking at the wind of that swept into the eyes, Lu Yan only felt that the back pores were large, and the back clothes were completely soaked by cold sweat. Just now, he actually felt the breath of death. Death is so close to him. Lu Yan gasped, looking to the right hand, only the right arm and the right half of the body's robes were all smashed by Huang Xiaolong's hell's wind above, bloody, but fortunately only the skin injury. After the horror, his eyes looked at Huang Xiaolong in a complicated way. 
he knew that if Huang Xiaolong had just left his mercy, his right arm was afraid of being scrapped. I, lost. L. Yu Yan took a deep breath and slowed down to Huang Xiaolong. After he finished, it seemed as if the whole body had been drained and almost fell. Everyone around is stunned. The Prince L. Yu Hao actually lost. Take the initiative to admit defeat. Breaking through the seventh order, with the variation of Tian Peng Wuhan, or lost to the sixth order mid peak peak of Huang Xiaolong. In the world of Wuhan, the myth that the sixth order can never be defeated by the seventh order is finally broken by Huang Xiaolong. Everyone is caught in an incredible and unbelievable shock. On the rostrum, everyone has the same mind. King L. Yu Zhe sighed, I didn't expect even the children to be Huang Xiaolong's opponents. Speaking of this, he smiled gratefully at Marshal Haoshan, I didn't even think that Huang Xiaolong's Wuhan actually turned out to be an ancient dragon, black dragon, I, I am very much looking forward to Huang Xiaolong winning the first place in the college championship and going to the Broken Blade Empire to participate in the Battle of the Imperial City. L. Yu Zhe said that he was very upset. He really looked forward to the scene when Huang Xiaolong went to the Broken Blade Empire to participate in the Battle of the Imperial City. If Huang Xiaolong could win the pre-war of the Imperial City, this is not only the glory of the Starry Academy, but also the entire Luo. The glory of the kingdom. Marshal Haoshan also laughed, the old minister is the same as Wang. He also looked forward to it, because he knew that not only the Starry Academy, the glory of the kingdom of Latong, but also the glory of Shuremen. Moreover, Huang Xiaolong's participation in the battle of the imperial city is only a starting point for glory. After that, there is even more empire battle. After a long time, Sun Zhang stood up from the rostrum. He was excited, excited, and looked at Huang Xiaolong on the stage. He said, this comparison, Huang Xiaolong wins. First grade first, Huang Xiaolong. First grade first, Huang Xiaolong. Around the crowd, Sun Zhang announced the results, all boiling. Li Xiao smiled, Fei Ho smiled, Marshal Hao Tian smiled, Marshal House Guards laughed. The whole hall was boiling, and the Zhong Yuan standing in the crowd, but his face was grey and pale, and his eyes looked at Huang Xiaolong on the stage with surprise and hate. Huang Xiaolong won. Winning the first grade, then he gambled with Huang Xiaolong. Zhong Yuan only felt dim in front of his eyes. Huang Xiaolong breathed a sigh of relief when he heard the results announced by Sun Zhang. After a hard fight, I finally won the first grade. It didn't take long, the second grade, the third grade, and the first result of the college championship came out. The first in the college competition was a guy named Chen Cheng, who was a student in the college. At the end of the peak, after waiting for two months, will represent the Starry Sky Academy to the Broken Blade Empire to participate in this battle of the Imperial City. The inner court was established by Starry Academy to select some of the most talented students in the third year. There are only ten students in the inner court each year. The first result of each grade and the first result of the competition came out. Then, L. Yu Zhe and Sun Zhang both presented the award to Huang Xiaolong. At the time of the award, L. Yu Zhe and Sun Zhang were inevitably encouraged by Huang Xiaolong. Huang Xiaolong looked at the prize in his hand, and his heart was excited. One million gold coins. A set of low-level exercises, a set of low-level fighting skills. More importantly, a four-product high-level Ling Dan, Star Yao Dan. With this Star Yao Dan, then with the Iron Fruit, when his father Huang Peng's strength can be upgraded. This star Yao Dan, Huang Xiaolong naturally does not swallow himself, but left to his father Huang Peng. Now that the semester is over, and after a few days, he will be able to return to Huang Jia's Wang. The college grades finally ended and everyone dispersed. However, when everyone left the hall, L. Yu Hao said to Huang Xiaolong, I hope that next year, we still have the opportunity to fight. Next year? Huang Xiaolong nodded. The next year, that is the second year of the two. After the crowds dispersed, 
Huang Xiaolong also took Fei Ho, Martial House Guards, Li Wei several people out of the college, and then returned to Tian Suanfu. Upon returning to Tian Suanfu, Li Wei looked at Huang Xiaolong with a smile and said that Huang Xiaolong was defeated by El Yu Hao and Chen Qiang on the stage today. Huang Xiaolong looked at Li Xin, who was so happy, that he could only be Li Wei for more than an hour. After more than an hour, Li Wei left Tian Suanfu. After Li Wei left, Huang Xiaolong called Fei Ho to take out the reward of one million gold coins, let Fei Ho see if he could buy the house around Tian Suanfu. Now, there are more slaves, and Tian Suanfu seems to have some small, need to be expanded. Acquisition of the surrounding government house Fei Ho looked at the one million gold coins in front of him, and then nodded, Yes, please rest assured that the owner will do it. As long as there are enough gold coins, I believe that the owners of the surrounding government houses will sell them, and Fei Ho inquired that there are several houses in the surrounding government houses, which are all the generals of the great generals of Haotian. It is not difficult to buy them. After Fei Ho left, Huang Xiaolong returned to the room and began to practice Shura. According to the previous rules of the Starry Academy, the second day after the grade competition, each class, the first grade of the grade was concentrated in the college square, and then by the Dean Sun Zhang, Xiang Chu two people went to the college Baodai Longjian Valley cultivation. I think that Longjian Valley can not only temper the flesh, but also strengthen the quality of vindictiveness. Huang Xiaolong can't help but look forward to it. Now, he cultivates Shu Rao, and the vindictiveness is nine suffocating. The quality is already the top of the temperament. If it is re-enhanced, I don't know how much it can be upgraded. The night gradually dissipated and the sun shone. Huang Xiaolong stopped practicing, went out of the room, practiced overnight, and the spirit felt better than ever. Yesterday, the exhaustion of the exhaustion was completely gone. Gatekeeper, good news. When Huang Xiaolong came to the hall, Fei Ho looked forward with joy and said, the brothers said that they contacted the teacher, and the brothers reported the news of the door to the master. The master is very happy. Come to the kingdom of Latong overnight. Contact your teacher. Huang Xiaolong heard the words, but also a happy. Yes, the doorkeeper. Fei Ho respectfully said, however, the master is in the Mohi kingdom, and it is only ten days or so from the Mohi kingdom. Ten days. Huang Xiaolong nodded, and waited for nearly two years anyway, and did not care about the ten days. Ten days later, Yu Ming arrived, then, Huang Xiaolong can know the news about Shuramen headquarters from Yuming. However, Huang Xiaolong entered Longjian Valley to practice, and it took half a month to come out after half a month. When Yu Ming arrived, he could only wait a few more days. After a while, when Huang Xiaolong came to the college square with Fei Ho, many of the first students of the class had arrived. After Huang Xiaolong arrived, it naturally attracted everyone to look over. Huang Xiaolong may not recognize these students, but these students all know Huang Xiaolong. Yesterday, the college was the first test, and Huang Xiaolong was the most dazzling and most eye-catching one. Even Chen Cheng, the first in the college championship, did not have Huang Xiaolong dazzling. 12 Level Top Martial Arts Huang Xiaolong will always be written into the Kingdom of Latong and even the history of the Broken Blade Empire. In the crowd, L. Yu Hao, who was defeated by Huang Xiaolong, looked at Huang Xiaolong in a complicated way. He was the first in class, so he was also qualified to enter Longjian Valley. Yesterday, the college test was just over. Dean Sun Zhang informed Zhong Yuan that he would not come to the college in the future. Don't come to the college. Zhong Yuan was expelled. After the expulsion, Zhong Yuan ran to the mother of Liu Hao for crying for a long time. After a while, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu arrived. When the two arrived, they scanned the crowd and saw Huang Xiaolong in the crowd. Their eyes were bright and their looks became different. As the dean's Sun Zhang and the vice president's Xiang Chu, they even laughed at Huang Xiaolong and even ordered. Nod. Everyone saw it, 
but he was envious and envious, including Chen Cheng, the first in the college championship, because even he did not enjoy this treatment. But then, Sun Zhang opened his mouth and laughed at Huang Xiaolong, Xiaolong, how was it sleeping yesterday? Is it good? How was your sleep yesterday? Good or not? Everyone has a feeling of dizziness. Even Huang Xiaolong has a glimpse. Fortunately. Huang Xiaolong nodded. At this time, Xiang Chu smiled and said to Huang Xiaolong, When you are a long-term body, you must eat well and sleep well. Long body? Eat well and sleep well. Everyone heard the words, even more speechless, looking at Huang Xiaolong, envious of the water. Well, since everyone is here, now we will take you to Longjian Valley. Sun Zhang opened his mouth and then looked serious, remember, enter Longjian Valley, don't go around. Don't go around at random. Huang Xiaolong's heart is moving. Is there any danger in Longjian Valley? Then, Huang Xiaolong and L Yu Hao followed the Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu behind the square, and then came to the back of the college, Longjian Valley was in the back of the college. Half an hour later, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu came to the valley of Hushan with Huang Xiaolong and others. Before the valley, stood a boulder of more than 10 meters high, above the boulder, with three words in the ancient script, Dragon Flame Valley. I will say it again, wait for everyone to enter the Dragon Flame Valley, don't go around. Before standing in the valley, Sun Zhang once again apologized to Huang Xiaolong and others. The crowd nodded. Sun Zhang saw this, and this with Xiang Chu took everyone into the Dragon Flame Valley. I don't know if it is an illusion. When I entered Longjian Valley, the Shuang Long Wushan in Huang Xiaolong actually moved, but only for a moment, after that, the Shuang Long Wuhan recovered. Huang Xiaolong did not put it in his heart and followed the people to move on. With the deepening of the Dragon Flame Valley, the temperature is getting higher and higher. In the end, Huang Xiaolong feels that the skin has a feeling of pain. Ten minutes later, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu came to a cave with Huang Xiaolong and others, and then entered the cave. As soon as they entered the cave, a heat wave came. The cave passage is six or seven meters. The mountain walls on both sides of the passage are smooth and face-like. Every five meters or so, there is a bright stone embedded in the cave. It is dry and bright. About a hundred meters into the cave, before coming to a stone gate, Sun Zhang opened the stone gate. Inside is a stone room of about ten square meters. The center of the stone room is a circle of five-pointed starburst. Besides, there is nothing else. Zhang Yu, you go in. Sun Zhang said. Zhang Yu is the first of the thirteenth grade in the first grade. Zhang Yu went in with the words and then came to the middle of the pentagram of the five-pointed star, and sat down. Sun Zhang continued to advance with Huang Xiaolong and others. Before each stone door, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu opened and let one enter. Soon, except for Huang Xiaolong, all the first grades of the first grade were all arranged. Then, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu took the rest of the people to a stone step, followed the stone steps and went to the cave. Second floor. On the second floor, there are also many stone rooms, and the first class of the second grade is arranged in the stone room on the second floor. Later, Sun Zhang and Xiang Chu took the rest of the people along the stone steps to the third floor of the underground. The first class of the third grade was arranged in the third floor of the stone room. Finally, the remaining first grade, second grade, third grade, and college first race. Huang Xiaolong four were arranged in the fourth floor of the stone room. Before coming in, Sun Zhang briefly told Huang Xiaolong and others about the situation of the stone chamber. The closer to the stone chamber in the underground, the stronger the gas of the dragon flame will be absorbed through the array of stone chambers. Therefore, the better the cultivation effect, and the four-layered Huang Xiaolong can practice for half a month, that is, fifteen days but the first, second, and third floor Lu Yan and others can only practice for five days. This is the biggest benefit of the first grade. After entering the stone room, Shimin closed, 
and Huang Xiaolong came to the middle of the stone circle in the center of the stone room. He sat down and ran the shura, and suddenly the light of the law below rose sharply. Then, the double dragon martial arts in Huang Xiaolong suddenly flew from the body of Huang Xiaolong. Out, coiled in the stone room in the air, the dragons burst. This, what is going on? Huang Xiaolong was taken aback. The Sanjiang Wushan was not controlled by him and flew out of his body.